Yeah, yeah it was just it. like friends hanging out. Yeah. Oh, that just sounds nice. Hanging hey. out at the party. Here we go. Ugh. What a set of days it's been. It has been a crazy set of days. And there's plenty of crazy days to come. It's so funny being like a, you know, fan of the whole EFAP channel, getting that, like, descent with the director, and then suddenly an insane back and forth between myself and several others screaming about taking content away from everybody and stuff. It's just like, what the fuck's going on? But here we are. That's the miracle adventure of EFAP, I suppose, or just the internet. Mm -hmm. Definitely. There we go. As soon as that, as soon as that discourse blew up, I was like, Mahler is going to be here. I can sense it. You can it's smell gonna... it. <laughs> what well, is crazy because uh, the two like groups, if that could be said as a thing, are just fucking moving further and further away from each other, or like remotely understanding each other. We'll say after that yeah. debate, I have more understanding of the uh, the position of why I should be allowed to steal everybody's stuff, <laughs> but what? it's still... That's your position, Mahler? Fuck no. I mean, that, that I understand the position. Mahler specifically. Just yes. you? Be careful here. Just me. Well, this is the thing. There were so many interesting tidbits about that conversation, which was uploaded, what, like six hours ago? So, EFAP chat, you know, you should have watched that already. That's how that works, I guess. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Where it was like... The, impl the, the, the implication was, um, so if everyone can do it then, like stealing stuff because they have the community aspect, transforming the content. And um, XQC said, like, no, 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 no. It needs to be like the, the higher up people because they need to have the community in the first place. It was just like, I feel like this will be a bit top heavy in terms of who it's going to benefit as a whole system. Well, he said it's very top heavy. He said it's very top heavy and capitalist because that's a big word. That is a big word. There's, there's syllables it's a big word there. for XQC. That's pretty impressive. And it bothered me that the only person in that conversation that actually correctly pointed out that XQC was not being capitalist, what was being like a leftist in that conversation, was Pisco, who was probably the most left part, person in the conversation. That part was Pisco funny as fuck with, where he uh, said, are you guys communists? <laughs> like, I was like, wait, was like, like, the basis of capitalism is property rights, and you're talking about taking someone's property without like their permission, their intellectual property. But it'll make the world a better place, Sage. Not a, okay, he's communist. He's going Corantos with the <laughs> sane person opinions. What the fuck's happening? I know. But that's also, you weird. are taking the labor of others, right? You're benefiting off the labor of others. So that's yes, a capitalist, right? I'm throwing you under the bus, Chad, you communist. I was actually just going to mention that I think... would never take the, the labor of others. <laughs> that's what I, mean, I think the same people, depending on their political identity, might conceptualize the same thing as either property or labor. Mm-hmm. There's a lot, mm -hmm. really. There's yeah. a lot. Well, uh, we're gathered here today to discuss the insane development in the React sector of the, the whole YouTube sphere. like it's at a funeral. Like it is. Gathered it's here a funeral today for... To witness the death of content. <laughs> the death of reason. All like, content uh -huh. ever. I, I had to... I was brought to a point in that conversation where I was told, like, just, just having chat on the screen, no matter what you're looking at, means you've transformed it. Meaning it's, like, yours now. That was insane. Wow. Uh, uh, really? Uh, just having a chat uh, scrolling? Just chat. And yeah. I even said at one point, like, uh, how couldn't I just at that point just, just, it doesn't even need to be chat that relates to the fucking video. I could just have chat in general. They're all just saying random shit. Like, if I transformed it now. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different world. Like, this is the thing. We're from the EFAP world where we've got pretty, I would say, I guess, relatively high standards on how to transform stuff. To the point where if someone's talking once per two minutes, we're like, eh, eh, it's a bit uncomfortable, you're kind of basically just taking the video. Meanwhile, in their world, it's like, I cannot talk for the whole thing. I can, uh, he even made a point about how his well, chair... People get mad. People get mad when you pause it. In that too, these, yeah. Uh, I, I, I was going to say that streamers. he said his chair, like, adds more than most YouTubers or whatever. He was very, uh... Yeah. Um... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I recall Mahler at one point, I wanted to start doing, um live reactions myself so i asked you like what was the rules like how, how do you not get copyright struck and you basically said you know pause constantly which is you know the name of your show and you also put like a pause constantly is the name of our show that's right <laughs> okay welcome to pause it's constantly. close enough <laughs> hey, true it's, it's pause the chinese constantly. rip off it's the it's the chinese pause constant yes pause constantly pause constantly okay oh wait call, so. pause constantly i went to um i went to high school with him he's a he's a really nice guy uh yeah if you guys see him say hi to me 
Yeah, and so and the other rule was you have an overlay that while you're paused, you put up and it's like 65% um, opacity or something. And then generally that means that the auto flagger won't get you. So that's, that. that's most of the trouble on YouTube is getting automatically flagged. And then the rules for Twitch experience. are basically steal it. It doesn't really matter. The rules for Twitch are there. Watch, watch full TV shows. But you understand the reason the... for that is because Twitch doesn't have a content ID equivalent, right? Apparently, um, but like they still get in trouble here and they were different things, right? That's only if they someone to wonder, it. That's only once. Yeah, someone Twitch, notices yeah. live. Twitch does oh, have a content yeah. ID equivalent, though. Chad, Twitch does have one. Yeah. But then they've oh. got they've got one for music allegedly, but like there was a big fucking ruckus where loads of people were getting clapped for stuff, and then it just stopped. So it doesn't happen mm. anymore. And people are just listening oh. to. Copyright music, no problem, so, apparently. It's very weird. I don't know. I, I, used, I used to know somebody who worked at Twitch back, this is like eight years ago, so it's old information. But basically, when YouTube developed their own in-house copyright ID system, Twitch bought the old one that YouTube was licensing. And they used that for a while. Um, but yeah, I think it was primarily music. Also, however, uh, Twitch doesn't have the staff right now internally to actually manage everyone. Yes. Um, you could You could just stream whatever the fuck you want on Twitch right now. And... Roll the dice, you're not going to get banned. You can yeah, stream you think they can TV manage shows, the big... just don't say a word. You think mm -hmm. they can manage the big streamers, at the very least, right? I mean, that's where most of the eyes Actually, are. Actually, they tend not to ban the big streamers, because that's well, the majority obviously. of their revenue. Yeah, right, because they, they want the money. Them, so. Yep. I mean, Kai Senate has just instigated a riot in New York. I doubt he's going to get banned <laughs> for that. It's nope. probably white supremacy's fault. <laughs> I think it's Chud's fault. Man! I, well, what's the difference? I, I've seen, like, I saw a small streamer, you know, maybe like a hundred viewers. He got mugged during an IRL stream and got banned for violence from Twitch. Yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, oh, he, like someone comes up and just steals from him and like beats the shit out of him, and he's like banned for violence. However, <laughs> the riot that was just incited was on stream. Way more violence. He's not going to get banned. There's obviously in this in this mugging. What race was the uh, perpetrator and victim? Can I just? Uh... <laughs> Wow. Look at this uh, it, guy obsessed. I know. I disavow all violence. There you go. We did do you, it. Do you, do, you have to, do you have to ask, Chud? Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, Dev. I can't believe did you have to ask on that. our stream. <laughs> You're all fucking horrible, horrible people. Anyway, enter the watch together because we got to get this yeah, started. We We're going to be here for a while. All right, everyone. Oh. I hope you pee peed and poo pooed and you brought provisions. Yes. So it's going to be a long journey across the desert. Um, also, well, I guess if it's with Wild, who here has not met each other? Because there's probably at least someone, right? Um, I think I know everyone here. Does everyone know everyone here? Met each other, haven't we? I, there's, there's a couple one. of people I'm not familiar with. Ugh, yeah, right. name them. A few pretty... people I haven't spoken with. But All right. I'm familiar with everyone. Chud, this is Rags. Say hello. 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 hello, I am Rags. I'm a dog. I run a podcast. Hi, um, I talk Ch about Chad, things. I'm Mola. Hi. Okay, hello. There you go. I think that's it, right? You know everyone else. Um, oh, well, I, I kind of know Short Fat Taku. He's a chaser. Is that is that right? Wow. I'm pretty sure you said this last <laughs> yes. time. True. Like, yeah. yes. yeah, Same jokes, recycling them. Why not? Oh, you're wow. on the chaser. And, and also, on you, uh, you react to and steal my content all the time. Oof. Yeah, because you asked Ooh. me to. I wouldn't watch it otherwise. Boring. <laughs> Oof. Boring <laughs> oh, content. Man. <laughs> Burn. See, that, that's like, that's basically that's like you're lucky I steal your content. <laughs> <laughs> you should like, be I, grateful. I don't, I, I, I don't necessarily know about, about um, this recent debate you had, Mahler, but I know in general, even if I were to lose some viewers because somebody, it's like a streamer that I know and like watches my stuff, I'm actually okay with that because I, I want to get their input. You know? I am okay I with it. people it, being okay with it. You must understand. Yeah, it, it I've, I've seen that. plenty of Chud watching videos. He transforms them. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be his problem if he tries to defend people like XQC because he's going to find out that. Mm -hmm. Do you ever watch his reactions, uh, Chud? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny. I don't want to like be the oh, I knew ages ago guy, but I'm going to do that. I criticized <laughs> XQC for this ages and ages ago, I think when Hassan was getting criticized because I was like, look, original video 10 minutes, his upload 11 minutes, but there wasn't like a big uproar about it at the time. And, um, you know, because he's been doing this for ages, this, you know. It's only mm -hmm. recently he's been called out heavily for it, and I think it's because of the Mutaha tweet and the drama around that. Yeah, I mean, you know? uh, I don't know if you know, but like the H3 uh, Hassan segment on the Leftovers podcast was pretty hilarious. Hassan that says, that, yeah. finally, XQC is criticized when it's just been me for years, <laughs> which is <laughs> really funny. <laughs> it's like, he's definitely not the only one, but my God, he's, uh, 
He's one of the best perpetrators of it. Also, Chud, I'm calling you out specifically because I feel like you're the only person that will probably make the mistake. Uh, don't oh. show the... Don't show, yeah. yes. You got it? Okay, okay good. Now, I I'm think gonna... everybody's yeah. in. Is there anything anyone wants to say before we just don't jump what? into oh, what this words? is going to be? Hello, anyone? Hello, Why what? Only... Sorry, what's happening? <laughs> I said, does there anything anyone the wants to say to begin all of this before we kick into what I've got as a compilation? Well, yeah, actually, what, I've been what? curious, like, how, uh, how, how early in the conversation are you starting us off? And, like, you're going right back to the start to... So that we're going to start with that? three major examples of XQC's reactions edited to show the majority of them. I skip past most of the actual video because I don't want to make the exact same mistake that he does. But, uh... We're going to watch that for context, and then we're going to start looking at arguments for why that's a good thing. Right, Mala, okay. for someone who hasn't seen your debate with uh, XQC, what, what is your position on this? Just um, I know that there's a lot of different... Like, I think Jack's Films focuses on credit. I think Mutahar is going with, like, the, the theft angle, and uh, I think he's with Transformative as well. We here on EFAP, and myself included, of course mainly a focusing on transformative we that's what we want as to whether or not it harms a creator i feel like uh you know there's ways to prove that's the that goal it... right <laughs> <laughs> well it, it's complicated in terms of whether or not it does uh but well i was well, asked this it's like don't react, you want to I, mean... I, I was told like you know when you guys react to something you might replace them in seo you might you know be able to down like like uh change their reputation or whatever and i was like yeah but if it's criticism that's that's totally fine that's like the idea um yeah, yeah, but when you're totally. just stealing it that becomes unethical like it it's mm -hmm. not like it's kind of annoying when you say like you shouldn't steal people's stuff because it can uh you know replace them in seo and then someone says yeah but you do that when you provide a breakdown of everything they've said it's like that's obviously a different thing like i don't know why we would even is it you're using them for entertainment when, just when... making sure we're we're good okay as oh, long as well, we're good we're it's good. funny to have right like <laughs> i would argue that efab and um you know sitch and adam as as uh video reacts sitch or podcasts adam, that's a new <laughs> Don't you normally call it Adam and Sitch? I mean, I've been on Evo. I almost did right here. there. That I was like, <laughs> this guy. You know what, there was maybe a pause. I'll... I heard it. I did. Yeah, because I was like, maybe I should actually give the actual name this time, just to be clear. But um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, the, the we're, we're, as podcasts, we run both of the ones that I assume on the internet pause the most and recreate. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like we're for every competitive, definitely competitive pauses. But yeah, like the. You know, there's, there's plenty of podcasts that look at videos, but I don't think anybody pauses as much as we do. Yeah, we're over pausers all, well, all here. When you so. say um, when you say transformative, are you do you mean from a legal sense, or are you, are you saying um, some different? Way? I would say because this came up in the debate as well. I'm kind it, of it, gunning yes. for moral because legal. Yes, there's an angle in legal that annoys me a little bit, which is the whole like you shouldn't have more than a particular percentage of the original content in whatever you're making, otherwise it's not fair use. When I'm like, ah, I don't know about that. Well, it's supposed to be that like every part. You have to use it. Like, so I think no, you use 100%. There's a con there's if you're concept of minimal 100%. usage. You must only use the smallest part possible to make the point you need to make, right? That's another right. thing as well. That's not necessarily so, so what either well, EFAP or yeah. um, Sitchin no, do, I, though, right? I'm cool with that. React, right. you know, even extensive reacting isn't necessarily legal, but morally, I like, for example, if you had Lord of the Rings and your reaction was 15 hours long, breaking down every scene, the movie studio is going to fuck you in the ass. Mm -hmm. But like, it's totally reasonable that, that you're not going to yeah. get the same experience. Yeah, like, no one has you know 15 I mean? hours to watch the whole video. Like, well, and it's been said so. that I don't know that my videos would actually make it through like a court case about fair use. I don't know. It's it's complicated. <laughs> Can you imagine the jury watching the entire 15 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Is this fair use? Oh God, it's it sounds like the uh, Chris Chan trial where they're just watching every part of the Chris Chan documentary, oh, no. <laughs> hundreds of hours. <laughs> Exhibit B, Sonic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my God, what's A? Um, I think we all know what that's going to be, don't we? Oh. Oh. Well, so anyway, <laughs> the uh. I'm fucking his mother. That's what I mean. Sorry. Oh my God. You mean God. grandmother, don't you? That's not an exhibit, well, is it? What kind of fucked up zoo is this? I mean, it could be. <laughs> In any case, I, yeah, I go from a moral perspective of what I believe is transformative, which is uh, I've discovered complicated the whole discussion dramatically because some people believe, like I said, that having a chair on screen or having chat up is enough to be transformative, which uh, mm -hmm. comes across as a tad insane, but that's the difference yeah, between 
different communities, that is right? An insane take, yes. Well, I even well, asked. I don't know if I got an answer, but I even said like, what if there was no chat, no chat? It's just a re-upload, but you have the comment section of that community. Is that good enough? Which sounds well, insane, I, right? I, I, Again, I think the whole. Uh, for me, I think the biggest thing is like, could someone watch your video and get a close enough experience to the original that they could forego watching the original? That's good. I just, yeah. I just, yeah. I that's, just that's, think that's the important question. Is that does this replace it in the market? And meanwhile, the reaction obviously it doesn't, right? You know, someone reviewing um fucking Shazam or whatever, and then we respond to it in full. I feel like we don't replace it necessarily in terms of the experience you would have gotten from their review. Ours is a completely different thing where we clinically like break down every point and talk about whether or not we think it's valid or whatever which which i feel is a very different uh piece of content compared to what they made and then of course i think it's protected by criticism and, but don't you uh, think that the argument would essentially be that transformative is that you're taking something and turning it into something that is substantially new what's the problem in it substantially yeah. Well, sure, well, but I mean, I I think it's fine to be able to like have a discussion about what you think substantially is, but that you know what I mean, like just because it's not a clear line doesn't mean that there isn't. Yeah, some, and I'm, you know, know my suggestion is that we hold it pretty high. Um, yep. Even like I said to the point Actually, where if we let something play for like a minute and a half, we start getting a bit uncomfortable. We're like, mm. we say yeah, something. Frankie, that actually reminded me of something. What you just what you just said. You all remember um the Sargon Aquila obviously thing, right? Mm -hmm. How yes. he ended up winning that court. I read about this. Yeah, so what, what I, I assure was, you it happened. Yeah, yeah, he he took that video, he cut it around a bit, but it was like a hundred percent her content, and he re-uploaded it with a different title. And the reason he won the case is because even though it was entirely stolen content from from her point of view, the fact that he re, it was the action of recutting it and the fact that it was him who re-uploaded it with that other title made it transformative because he was mocking her and he was using entirely her, her own words to do it. So uh, even even small edits, I think, can end up working out as being mm -hmm. a new thing. I think you can make a yeah. really solid argument that if your edit transforms the thesis of the video, like if it's if or the it intention of it, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. So when I when I when I would appeal to the, I, well, pardon Sorry. me, go go for it. Well, I was just saying that if the original video had one intention in mind and your edit created a different intention that argued with the original one, I think it would be impossible to argue that that's not transformative. Personally. Right. Sorry, like transforms the message. Yeah. I mean, I just think it's probably worth clearing up. Right? In our discussion here today, we gathered here today, <laughs> I'm assuming we're all willing to just say this is not necessarily for court. This is more personal moral perspective. Well, yeah. Um, right. And I was naively under the assumption that we we all mostly understand where the line is, like we can all kind yeah. of tell. But it's like no, the more people you meet around this this side of YouTube or Twitch, whatever, the more you realize like oh shit, you have a completely different point of view to the to the angle that like if I'm there smiling, I've transformed it. It's like fucking hell. Right. <laughs> you know, I I actually thought that for a minute, but I actually I don't I don't think I agree with you, Muller. I think everyone knows, just some people don't care. It, it's you like, sure? It's like a piracy. Yeah, yeah, it's like with piracy, you know, like everyone knows they shouldn't actually be pirating movies or torrenting or whatever. But, I you know, would download fuck. a car. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, fuck it, I want it. I fuck I download you. a like, baby. That's, you know, the the well, attitude isn't some sort of principled stance. It's just, no, nah, I want it, and I don't really care. I, I oh, think yeah. I, I think everyone knows intrinsically. I think everyone has a pretty good sense of fairness intrinsically. But I think what I don't think it's that they're like lying. I think they end up convincing themselves. You know, XQC well, and these other people convince themselves that they're adding something, they're transforming it, even when, you know, they're really well, not. I, I don't know, it's like, I thought that everybody, I thought everybody agreed with the concept that if you create something that you own it, like, that you ought to own it, you know? But it doesn't <laughs> well, like well, yeah, say that. There's well, many yeah, socialists out there not who do not agree other with that people. at all. It depends. If it's someone <laughs> it else's really shit, depends. then it should be mine. Really? Right. It's, it's the community stuff, Fringy. It's our yes. stuff. It's our yeah. I, I guess I just I don't know. Like I th I thought that it was we generally thought it was a good idea. It's like ah, you you created something out of nothing when you went out and you made that piece of art. You you know you you painted that painting. You wrote that book or something, and now you get to own it and you get to decide how that is engaged with by the world. But nope. like I guess we don't feel that way. <laughs> No, nope. <laughs> there's there's a there's a bunch of people out there. There's actually a fair amount of political theory out there where it's like, okay, because you have, you, even though you're making this piece of art, well, you've eaten food by uh, who has been grown by a farmer, and so because you've engaged in some sort of consensual trade with a farmer, that farmer also has a stake in what you do, right? 
and that that stake okay, exists well, I mean, in I, perpetuity. I, so every single I, person I, you've, you've ever interacted with also now has a stake in whatever you make, which is retarded. But some people <laughs> actually think this. Okay. There you go. <laughs> there's there's angles to everything. You can't be original in any way, shape, or form. Which, by the way, does get rolled out every once in a while. It's like everything is derivative. Everything comes from something else. Okay, so well, fuck it. Yeah. Why have any <laughs> rules about anything? Whatever. <laughs> I just okay. <laughs> so people th- are asking. Oh, go ahead. I think part of the issue, like, I don't think XQC is a malicious guy. I don't think he's thinking like I'm going to steal everybody's content. I think. Part of the issue is the way he's mm. framing the dynamic in his head, where it's like when he has an audience looking at him through a webcam, it's like he's having his friends over at his house. Yes, and he correct. Just wants to, yeah. He just wants to play videos for people. It's just like I'm watching a movie with my buddies. Hey, you guys want to watch The Dark Knight? And then he'll play that on Twitch. And it's like, dude, you can't digitally broadcast that. There's the, there is a, these are different worlds, and you're sort of overlapping him in your head like this weird venn diagram mm-hmm. that shouldn't be you yeah. know what i mean you know to, to his credit though it's actually pretty easy to fall into that headspace i think everyone has who's, who's ever streamed like oh this is just me and my friends but actually there's like a thousand people watching or 500 people watching or whatever it is why do you say well, that in front of friends all retarded don't say that about me <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna disagree i'm gonna disagree with this because i haven't actually seen a lot of xqc content until I seen well, clips. And I never really understood. Yeah, there you go. I never really understood his appeal until I listened last night to Mahler having his conversation slash debate with XQC, and he's very, uh, he like he's very minded about how to make money and how to make content. And I didn't really get the impression that he was like, oh, these are just with my friends. No, no, he's like, oh, I'm going to do this to make clips to make money. He just seemed very business minded in that conversation. And I think another big problem that he has is that he comes off like a huge asshole in the conversation. <laughs> There's no humility to anything he's talking about. Like even like even with Hassan, when Hassan had the whole chair saga, and Hassan's like still an asshole. At the end of the day, Hassan was kind of like, okay, I did it wrong. Where with XUC, for like 90% of that conversation till the very end, where he eventually concedes that he would just be willing to pay uh, content creators like any amount of money, essentially, to use their stuff, which... I'm curious if that's like a real opinion or if that was a debate opinion. <laughs> but until that point, he was just kind of like, oh, he had like this ego that he can, he gets to deserve to do this because he's a larger streamer and he's a successful streamer and therefore he knows better how to manage other people's content. Right. He was definitely rude in some of the interviews that I, or just little, like little conversations <laughs> that he was having. Yeah. Right. Um, because yeah. anybody who has a problem with them on Twitter, even like if they are not personally hurting from what he's doing, it's just like, I don't care. Suck my balls. Like he'll just say that over and over. It's like, oh, yes. Dude. But I think it's unfortunate because I think that's why he's popular, that he has this like childish appeal to like, oh, the like, fuck you, mom. I'm not going to bed. Like I'm assuming. That's <laughs> what you feel is this well, well, yeah. Like, what would you prefer then? Would you prefer like you, you approach him and he's like, hey, you're stealing from me. He's like, yeah, I am. Fuck you. I want to. This is mine now. Fuck you. Or would you prefer him be like, like go on some sort of moral crusade? Well, no, I have a right to this. And you like, you're actually wrong about this. And no, I'm in the right. Like w- which attitude do you prefer? Just the fuck you. I got. Well, you, I mean, I would prefer the latter, make... honestly. But... You're basically really? highlighting the difference yes. between XQC and Hassan, by the way. I can okay, see fair like enough. teenagers yeah. and like preteens being much more into the yeah. He just says fuck you to everybody who even tries to get something from him. And... Yeah, mom, I'm 13 now. I eat unhappy meals. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was you, Mahler, or was, um, I forget his name. The guy who 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 yells a lot. Who I was glad ended up yelling a lot. XQC a lot. Was talking about how like. Mahler you know, and them they often all... get them confused. Yeah. Yes. People, I'll get those too confusing. Uh, like they're saying that like. If if XQC and Abos, who I did not expect to come on and basically defend uh, X in that situation, <laughs> that was that was a wild card. <laughs> that was that was very surprising. Um, you know, when they, people were coming on, talking about like, oh, that they'd be totally fine uh, sharing revenue with these people, and someone was like, well, wait a minute, nothing's stopping you from doing that. You can do that now. You can just and it's like, well, money for free. Yeah, it's like it's like, well, there's no system in place for me to do it. Like it's like, well, what do you mean? You could just PayPal them the money. It's like, well, no, no. There's no system that's automatic that's easy. It's like, oh, so you just want it to be really easy for you to do. Okay, I understand. Wait a second. Do you say Abba Abba defended XQC? Dude, he went he went further than XQC, I believe. Abba Abba just struck Poe for the content from 
Yeah, Destiny Sorry. brought that up, and uh, and Abba was like, you know, that that he's gonna. I can't remember if he said he's gonna draw that back or if he's gonna do something else. But the apparently he said he said he's changed his mind in the last few days <laughs> or something. Yeah. What the fuck? It was clearly just like a little bit, little bitter act that he did. I yeah. think from the looks of it. No, dude, seriously, it felt like it wasn't even Abba I was talking to. Uh, he yeah, he said was, uh, that he'd bizarre. be fine if I fully uploaded his like entire channel onto my channel because it would count as transformative as long as my community react to it in chat. I can monetize that, apparently. I don't buy it at all. I really don't think that's actually what he believes, but that's what he said. You think said. that was just a debate opinion? I don't know. People were saying, like, did he, was he trolling? It's like, I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> it was throwing me off. The, the thing is, but William actually made a good point on Twitter about this. He said, like, we don't want it to be where you can't react to each other and genuinely in good faith and argue via YouTube videos, because that's the whole culture of YouTube is fighting with each other, overtakes and stuff right. through react content. Right, but it's like, why can't, I mean, obviously we can draw a line, as we all seem here to do, between what you're talking about, where we react to each other, argue with each other, criticize each other, and, oh, let me play this video that you guys are going to like while I go make chicken nuggets. Put in yeah, a course. little bit of effort to, like, make it into something that offers something new as an experience. Yeah, and I feel like everyone actually wins then. Instead yeah. of yeah. pretending it's, it's, like it's everyone the solution. wins. It is the solution that everyone is looking for, that everyone agrees with, on the whole. I thought Dark Viper's got a bit more of an extreme view, maybe, but everyone else, I think, is like, yeah, just put some effort in and we're golden. But no one seems to want to do that. It, it is literally yeah. insane, because if XQC oh, yeah. was to react harder, uh, I feel like he would benefit and the creators <laughs> would have less of a well, case yeah. to say it's not transformative. Edit the uploads so that you cut out a lot of the dead air of him just eating or whatever. But his defense of that, of course, is that like they need the context, otherwise they don't know what he's reacting to. Which, you know... <laughs> I feel I, again. I feel like that speaks to the nature of how much of the heavy lifting is being done by the original creation rather than yeah. you. Absolutely. <laughs> well, and we can get context for that because a lot of people are asking, "How has this come to be again? Didn't we do all of this a year ago or so, and then a year uh, well, before that?" Unfortunately, I I don't know if it was like uh, yeah, it's over on the uh, on the 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 like changing people's minds substantially. I think on like React content. There have been um, big blow-ups, like, as far as a decade ago, and it's only gotten worse. It's like it goes Sorry, guys. both directions yeah. at the same time. It's like, there's way more of it, and it's way worse. But also, people seem to be getting angrier about it. So I don't know what's uh, going to happen exactly. I don't know. I feel like people got really angry back when the Jinx stuff was happening. Well, and that actually facilitated change, right? But this and one... Like, at least, at least Jinx was Jinx black, was... racist. <laughs> racist. <laughs> at, least, at least, like, he was there the what, whole time. What was time the Jinx story? <laughs> Oh, right, well, he just basically, like, made YouTube videos where he would, like, watch other people's videos in full and basically only go, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was pretty great. Anyway, like and subscribe. He had a laugh like. track. In fact, there was a content cop on him from oh, Redubs yeah. once upon a time. Yeah. But again, I the, think... The him was that at least he sat there the whole time and watched the whole thing. He was always there. He didn't get up for, like, <laughs> long periods. I, I, I think people really have to say there's been a butterfly the effect. There's been a domino butterfly effect where iDubs walked back as content cops, and then there was that woman Ole, that black woman, that yeah. was like, "You deserve reparations for Jinx, basically." <laughs> and I think that you know people are feeling emboldened because the Jinx now has been cleared, maybe in some ways because the content cop apparently doesn't apply. But the content cop was correct. Jinx wow. was just a content thief. You yeah. know, yeah, simple as. Um, I, you're saying we rolled back the police and now the criminals are coming out? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes, exactly. So mm, we need okay. more content cops. More, if, more if racist ever, content cops. If you ever were to make an effort to really good faith jinx, though, or at least his content, I think the idea would be, hey, what if there's people who just want to watch these YouTube videos and essentially have a laugh track? Like, they feel like there's a friend in the room with them. And I guess I understand that, but it, it also is kind of a shitty excuse at the same time. <laughs> I feel like it almost speaks to a more fundamental problem that uh, yeah. about, like, the nature of... The like, I don't know, is this, like, loneliness or something? Like, yeah. I don't well, know. I mean, people... I, I, people I agree, yep. People, People are seeking a human connection, I think. Sorry, go ahead, man. No, it's like, this came up in the conversation that you had last night, where it's like, people can want or like something, that doesn't mean it should be legal or moral. Just because people it was, want It something. was insane how many times I got told, like, yeah, the people want it. It's like, I don't fucking care. Why are we, yeah, Why is yeah, that enough to just make the thing things. happen? Insane. Why do no. I have to, like, retread some of the most basic principles ever known? I, I was asked for examples. Like, give me an example. I think I went with uh, people wanting to see children fight to the death. Like, and he was like, mm. <laughs> well, that's like a crime. 
<laughs> so Why yeah, should it be? People want it. Yeah, people want it. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, For the market. <laughs> so what happened was Lemino, for those who don't know, is a very talented YouTuber. Makes videos at this point like once per year or something. Does extensive breakdowns of events in history that, uh, let's just say, you may have found in other places, but the way he does it is very unique, very informative, very creative, and very cool. He puts out a video. I think it was was it an hour and forty or something? It's about the JFK assassination. I fully yeah, recommend like it. That. Really good video. Um, and people started reacting is it, is to it. Full it. schizo or? What do you mean? No. Like okay, so it's it's actually like historical. Like okay, it's not like a schizo idea. Okay. What? Well. Listen, the JFK is asking for the conspiracy like theory. Or... Yeah, he's the boon king. He's the boon king. He's the boon king. Don't worry, mate. Okay, Listen, you let you fucking that. live. There's so many aliens did weird it. stories about the JFK assassination, man. I just want to know if this is like a oh, he talks about the aliens time. and the cave okay, people okay, 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 and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's all in there. You know the ones who did it. Yeah, yeah. Did Jesse Ventura oh, okay, okay, personally shoot JFK? And Marge Simpson, it's, you could see her hair in the an grassy alien knoll. with a rifle in the Texas Book Depository. So the reactors rolled out. And then people started posting pictures of how in the search results you'd see Lemino's video, and then you'd see Hassan reacting to Lemino's video, and then you'd see HexQC reacting to Lemino's video. And I think XQC's was like 10 minutes longer than the original, and it was like, ugh. And <laughs> it's, it's, that's like the best way to actually get people to even know this is happening, just that image, because they, they recognize immediately what the problem is. Everyone does. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's unfair, right? Maybe the reaction is actually he's muted the video and he's talking over it like an audio commentary and that he's talking all about the production and stuff and it completely transformed it. You don't know. Have you watched it? Yeah, Mahler. Yeah, fuck you. I did. I did watch it. I watched a lot of his reactions and uh, let's just say that I know there's, there's a quote in here as well as um, he's obviously said. He does not upload the VODs to YouTube unless he considers them to be essentially transformative. While still gaining the utility of having done that on, on stream. stream anyway. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, just, just out of curiosity, uh, does his video appear above the original? I don't think it appears above. Okay. Do, um, and how big, how big of a channel is the original channel? Uh, pretty big. Millions of subs, I think. Five million subs. Okay. And the video's got right. like five million views or something like that. So, yeah. I, so he's, yeah. he's probably not starving or anything. He didn't like lose a shit ton of revenue. But like that's... It's never well, quite been know. my argument. It's just the one that seems to get people incensed on the topic, seeing that. Yeah, you know? everyone talks about that. But I, I don't think that the original creator at that level of viewership is necessarily being hurt. It's just like kind of a, a courtesy thing. It's, it's discourteous to do that, and it's shitty to do that. And it could oh, have well, an there impact. Might be, there, might there, might be, be. there might be an impact. Right. It's just that for them, it's there's not, not been, there's not good evidence I've seen that It's there difficult is an to prove. It's more of yes. an intuition thing of like, someone yes. says, I'm going to watch Lemon. Ooh, actually, I'd rather watch... I'd watch it with XQC or, you know, something like that. Um, and it gets XQC and, and Hassan and others into, like, the Lemino sort of uh, search results anyway, which is always going to be beneficial to their channel and it costs them nothing. Well, I mean, yeah, what is yeah. what is the loss that is incurred by doing this? Is there even a potential loss well, incurred by... Well, <laughs> XQC told me, he told me his loss is that the video might be boring as fuck and it'll cost him entertainment on the stream. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. I mean, there, there are wow. no downsides to the stream. It's all upsides. Okay. You don't <laughs> yeah. need to put any effort streamer, in. Basically. Like, yeah. Yep. Wait, yep. what? Streamer slander. Oh my god. So, <laughs> what we got first we in this wonderful oh, okay. compilation is checking out his uh, his his take on or his 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 reaction to Lemino's video. Is everyone ready to start this wonderful adventure? Yes. I love this part. Why is this a thing, though? We're not nice. watching children fight to the death. <laughs> I mean, we can do that at another stream if you want. Do it over at oh, uh, Adam and Sage. Totally. Look, I well, thought we're, we're kind of watching something fun here. I mean, we're watching internet children argue to the death. Is that children? Okay, okay. <laughs> well, this is not the return of world star hip hop. Up. All or geez. I mean, I don't want to steal you guys' thing, you know? I feel like that's plagiarism. Mm -hmm. You guys started that. You popularized it, so. Full respect. Thank you. Um, chat is here. Transformative. I'm here. We're all here. We're all chat is, yeah, with chat being present. Oh, wait, you, hold now. on. You were, you were just mentioning the whole idea of like, I wouldn't want to re-upload it if it wasn't transformative. But if chat is transformative, then it doesn't matter what his reaction is, right? Or whether it's boring. By so that's interesting. 
He's, I've got a clip of him in this compilation saying that having chat is not enough to transform it, and yet last night I believe he said that it was. Okay, well, I will grant him that his perspective has developed over the last couple of days. We'll call it Maybe. developed and not oh, discovered right. along the way. Times 16 speed. Louder again? Louder again? What? Louder again? We need an XQC translator. I don't have it's not one. Like he might have said. It's not like he, he might have said louder, guys. Like he's asking if it needs to be turned. I up think when you have about... nine individual minds listening to the lines, someone will be able to guess what it is like correctly. You can understand him. I've uh, discovered that my understanding of his way of speaking has developed to be stronger and stronger the more I listen to him. So that could be the key. It's like visiting a foreign country. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Kennedy assassination. Yep, that's the video. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was glad Fred. that he was able to read assassination. That's a big word. Yeah, Everything seems fine so, so far. All right. Yeah. Everything seems fine so far. We've already gone through a pretty significant so, chunk of the video. <laughs> like it's... This is a pretty big mm -hmm. chunk of the video. You're putting this on 16 times speed and he's just sitting there. What counts as fine when you're talking about an assassination? I guess he's trying to say <laughs> nothing crazy about the uh, event so far, which is just, it's just nothing. Yeah. We haven't gotten to the part but where no he got aliens. assassinated. So, like, it's probably yeah. Well, it's going to go off without well, a hitch. In, fine, okay. in the video, the assassination part is really just, yeah, so this is when he shot the president. And then, and it's just, it's a very matter of fact thing. Like, yeah, this is where he shot the president. And then he carries on with a list of events and the accounts of the witnesses. And then we're calling mm -hmm. the gunshots and then the grassy knoll thing and that sort of thing. So it's not like a big, super dramatic element of the video when, when Kennedy was allegedly shot in the back of the head in Dallas in 1963 mm -hmm. or four. Whichever one. Three. three. Who cares? Who cares? He's dead. Whatever. He's, he's dead now. now. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, right? Though people say this is like, oh, what is there to react to? Well, if there's nothing to react to, why are you reacting to the fucking video? Oh my video? god, Chud's already well, taken that off. point. Oh my gosh, oh, Chud. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll go and watch Maybe it. I've got nothing to say. It's worth uh, rolling out early, but when people are like, what? React harder? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, ironically, Literally, yes. Yeah. Well, and, yes. Uh, I don't know that. What are you supposed to say when someone was like, I have no idea what I could add to this? You're like, oh. I'm Man, there's so many. If only there was a way to solve this. Hmm. Well, but like, not I even the whole. Keep rebooting. Not even the whole. Don't watch it. But the whole like, you really have nothing you could possibly say about all of this incredible creative work. There's nothing. Mm. You can't talk about mm -hmm. how amazing the art style, like the general minimalistic uh, aesthetic of these like Lemino videos, or like <laughs> the like the music, or the the the, the tone that's being set. Clarity of information. Yeah, clarity of information, exactly. Like, how easy it is to follow along, how he presents it like a story, like a narrative, that you can follow, like, in a... In and a that it would have taken yeah. a while to order all of the events exactly. in a way that's satisfying and understandable. And then, of course... And then the know, 3D graphics, well, the map, yep. being able to visualize mm -hmm. where everything is, because... Guys, I watched guys, this video, and... Yeah? He did all of that. He said everything's good so far. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. 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 Brevity is the soul of wit. I mean, maybe yeah. I don't understand him like his chat does, but... Yeah, yeah maybe his thing. chat brought up all these points, and that counts. True, and chat is transformative. True. That was another thing I was going to say about the whole transformative angle. It's like, does anyone read all of chat? No. I do. They're just like, well, <laughs> you won't be able to with his, probably. <laughs> it's going to be going yeah. by pretty well, fast. You chat frogs, elements. YouTube frogs, YouTube frogs. The chat element only works with the live stream. Definitely not the re-upload, because who watches chat on well, the re-upload? They I would guess argue they do. The no one does that. Oh, Not Sitch. anymore. How like, could you say th there that? Was, there was like a time at like 2009, 2010, when chats were a lot slower. People actually did look at chat in, in re-uploads. It was a thing, you know, 12 years ago. But yeah, nowadays... Yeah, nowadays a chat box just just serves to show popularity. Because if your chat's going by fast, you're a big streamer. That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. I guess that was insane, right? You can be generous and say that, sure. 
I'm trying to good faith it, man. It's hard to <laughs> Good faith Gary over here. Yeah. That's the aim of this year was for him to become important. Okay. It's of events. It's a very strange way to go. Brilliant. I would have loved to have known what he was thinking about. What? What? Yeah. You know? But he was figuring something out. Yeah. He was okay. True. About... Yeah. It makes sense. True. <laughs> true. True. Riveting. Yep. But isn't strange good though to build a strong alibi if it's like kind of far out and kind of crazy? I mean. So, uh, just to give context, <laughs> what? what he's saying is. What we just got told by Lemino is the the nature of him working at the book depository meant that like the way that he got there, how he got the job, is very convoluted. If he, his goal was to eventually have a position to assassinate the president, and now he's saying, yeah, but isn't that good because it makes it look even less likely that you were planning to do that? The mistake he's making, of course, is Lemino's point is that there's no way he could have planned to do it that way because the president wasn't planning to come here before right. the job was, and he's about to realize that. The building had... Like when he said I missed the point. I'm 16. Yep. I, I, maybe I missed the point, but th that... Just that I was advocate. You could say that he's doing that. He, said he didn't want to tell the other guy that he had an argument and say that he's going back to fucking fix the argument or whatever the fuck, right? And he just came yeah, up with this fucking like rod. That's like, that's like something. I'm okay with that as commentary. It's like, okay. It's so difficult to understand what he's saying. It is hard. Uh, I don't chat. I'm going to be like, what does he say? I don't always know, okay? So I can't translate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he was. Oh, look at the chat. Look at the chat. Look at the chat at the top. Listen, you're even stealing as, uh, his content. A fellow yes. Canadian. <laughs> Fireball, Fireball you legend. <laughs> Fireball, what are you doing in XQC's stream? That's not a place for you. <laughs> See, even you as a fellow Canadian, I can't fucking understand this guy. <laughs> yeah, but you're French, not a fellow though, so French like Canadian, are you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't even I'm very really... anti French. Wow. Well, you know what? If there's what? anything I know about Canada, it's that half the people speak French and the other half let them. You Dude, I saw that like, joke yesterday. Like five percent, like five percent of yeah. us speak French. It just, it just forced on the rest wow. of us. We all hate it. Okay. Hey, I mean, to be fair though, a significant yeah. chunk of our military. Yeah, the French people. It's really? It's French? Yeah, lot, lot, lots of them in, in the military. Yeah. Been raiding by province by by a lot. Like it's interesting. The, the mm. Well, well it, isn't the main reason is because like Quebec has uh, is a has lots of poverty and they, it's kind of used the same way in America where you can, you pull people out of poverty by putting them in the military. Kind of, yeah. I mean, it's defense yeah. squad. I mean, oh. I, it's a pretty good job if you don't have another way to make money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One thing I appreciate about Bowler and Co. is how I can understand what you're all saying. Oh, thank you very much. That's the <laughs> nicest thing anyone's <laughs> ever said nicest to us. Compliment. Thank you. Despite all of our different accents, we're still speaking the Isn't same. Isn't that nuts? Crazy. I, we're an assemblage of people from all around the world. <laughs> I can often understand Adam, too. Yeah. John? West Coast. Only often. <laughs> in the bedroom. Yeah, observant of them. Yeah, observant of them. Oh, come on. That's very observant of them. That's fucking obvious what that is. That was not obvious. I'm sorry. This oh, is I, didn't, thing. I didn't actually. I didn't actually catch it now. You got to understand when you like crack it, it sounds clear as hell. But when you haven't, it sounds like noise. Yeah, I often feel like when a minority speaks. Wow. And maybe he put it to the side as soon as he got in, to leave it there like it's nothing, and pick it back later? Comment? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm 16 again. Oh, fuck, how does he know all that? <laughs> I'm not even sure if he means, like, how does... Like... The guy... Because this is about the two people, the guy who tells him about the president uh, coming this way. I'm not sure if he's saying how does he know all that, or he's asking how Lemino knows what he knows. I don't know. Mm -hmm. The round of the Wait, hold up. Sorry, only... sorry, just a small pause. Just a small pause. So this random employee that isn't plotting anything. Don't pause. Oh. Stop pausing. It's wow. already two hours, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That completely annihilates the transformative community aspect of it because they just it's literally like, just want to watch the video. Well, he said that yes. it's tr you know like no. he doesn't even need to be there. He he did say that right. on the debate that <laughs> that's why he considers himself replaceable. That He's was a, a whole other thing too. Nobody cares what he has. Just go to say. and watch Jeez. the video yourselves, well, guys. That's true. Adam. They want to watch it with the community, <laughs> apparently. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, maybe he does actually think that this is me hanging out with my friends watching TV.
No. I really do think that, yeah. And then you got some yeah, dipshit nice. talking in your ear the whole time. Like, the <laughs> Isn't that funny? You can't it. understand. But it gets to the point where you're <laughs> yeah. trying to watch a TV well, show and your friend keeps pausing and injecting his opinions and you're like, shut up. I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. Give me that remote. <laughs> I, 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 you, you, you ever had that one friend who'd be beside you on the couch just constantly talking through the yes. movie? Yes. Yes, yeah. I'm no longer friends with that guy. <laughs> One thing you are missing, though, the reason the community members think like that, if you're in chat, right, you can do memes with each other and shit. I'm not yeah. excusing it, but I'm just saying that's the mentality. Right. That's why they'll do it in totally. chat. Yeah. Don't, you think it's, Chad, don't you think it's nuts, though, that he's almost superfluous? They don't even want him to stop. They don't want him to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. No, kind of, yeah. He's a, it's a chat room. They're, they're just hanging out with their friends. Totally. Totally. But, like, it's to the point where he's detrimental to the experience, the fucking yeah. host. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, XQC oh, is detrimental to any experience. <laughs> <laughs> Route and shit like that, and the guy who's plotting this mega plan that has multiple steps doesn't know about it. How not? <laughs> what? So every three and a half seconds for us is like a minute in the video. It's a lot. To maybe help people understand, any section that has the time 16 in full, it, you have to watch that section 16 times to have the experience of how long it actually takes for him to talk again. Isn't technically, when you go with that path, in practice, it'll that line will be less blurry and more mixed than one separating to the other? Isn't technically, when you go with that path, <laughs> in practice, It'll that line will be less blurry and more mixed than once. <laughs> like I understand all of all the right, English. No, I, the words, yeah, the words. I, I, I can. I understand the words. <laughs> I recognize those as English words. But when That's they're in ridiculous. a sentence together, I don't know what's trying to be conveyed. No, nope. the line is less blurry. What don't you understand? I think now that I know he's a Quebecer, <laughs> I understand everything. <laughs> the other. I thought he was like Swedish or something. It, <laughs> that didn't click with me as. Why? Did, did you, I thought he yeah, was. Just, I, I think he's you know, in Montreal, man. Now that I know, it's like, oh, okay, I get, I get what he's saying. <laughs> I just wasn't <laughs> hearing it right. It makes far less sense for someone like Oswald. No, okay, gotcha. It makes far less sense for us to practice. Damn, that's tough. It's a good video. It's a good topic too. I think. I mean, these are pretty. Big separate events. On the morning of November the 22nd. <laughs> I don't yeah. even know what events he's referring to. I, I, I big just, separate just, events. Sure, they're pretty big separate You very events. well may be right, these big separate events. I mean, JFK assassination, that was a very small minor thing. That's, you know. Big separate events, not small connected events. No. Oh, wait, sorry, listen. I've got us back. Listen, this is bad. XGC's getting torn to shreds here, and I've got to defend him. Do You're it. supposed to defend him. What are you doing? That's your job. Get on with it. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. I think this is quite evidently clear bigotry against French Canadians. <laughs> yes, and, it is. Yeah. You know, as yeah. What's your point? Is anti-white racism? I must yes. stand up and say no longer. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, There's right. a bit of defense. I don't want people getting mad at me in my chat. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, this is it's... retarded on XGC's part. What do you want me to say? You fucking morons. <laughs> Wait, are the oh, people asking circle, you to yeah. defend yeah, this? Everyone agrees it's retarded. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> None of us knew you were going to say that. Brad is being uh, a transformative experience for you, I see. I wish I would know more about, about the context of how a day in that building goes like. Is it normal for people to go down and, like, and say, say close, a, uh, close a thing? Are they closing shop for the day? Like, it's kind of it's hard. Like, wow, that's, that's like actually kind of an interesting that's, observation. Yeah, that's something, yes. I think. It's a fair, like, yeah. is... One is, point to HGC. One, how many points have you made? Two or three? <laughs> two or three? It's three, two. And how three far is two. he? Because okay. I know, again, I, I think it... I, I think... I'm glad you pointed out, Rags, that, like, what? Four seconds is equivalent to a minute? Like, yeah, like, as we're watching this... It's really fast. <laughs> there is yeah. a lot of video that is passing in those moments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, 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 it is nothing. Okay. All right. True. This guy doesn't hear a guy that's two windows to his right with a sniper installing and like moving around on the boxes, but he hears people talking from a, an entire level under. Yes, because one of those is louder than the other. Theoretically, you can construct a sniper very quietly, right? You don't need to be yeah, loud. Yeah, because people talking is almost certainly going to be louder than somebody moving around some cardboard boxes.
Yeah. I don't know what he means by installing a sniper, but like connecting pieces and making them click rating. in and stuff. Listen, listen, he's yeah, Canadian. He they have uh, by government law, clown horns have to be attached <laughs> to all sniper rifles. Okay. <laughs> we do have guns here. It's just a little harder. <laughs> can you confirm there's clown horns on them? I yep. you you can put one on. We have to continue, right? you know. <laughs> You can take world. them off from the default installation. Uh, clown horn would use weaver rails. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I got all the way out. Fly it's flying by. Here we go. Even though it's a good point, I still think sometimes when something that is a little bit extraordinary in life, you talk about it with whoever you're with. If, there, if you see somebody with a gun or a rifle out of anybody in the street or in the building, see somebody with a rifle, it can be a topic of conversation that you have with your son next to you. So, oh yeah, I talk, I spoke about that, and then and then we spoke about it. Not talking about it, or even mentioning it, I think it's kind of. Uh, I don't. So the the what's been said is that this guy spotted a gun, but he didn't say anything because he thought it was relatively normal that when a president's motorcade goes around in different places that you have like agents, you know, deposited right. with guns. Um, XUC is saying if you saw that gun though, you would have said it to someone. It's like not necessarily. Well, the guy the guy who gave that um, uh, that explanation said that his impression he got from the movies, uh, he had watched movies, and in the movies, whenever the president was around, you know, he had all the Secret Service guys with the rifles and everything on rooftops and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he thought that was part of, uh, you know, he thought that was part of it. A lot of the speculation was in the video, and then it also talked about, I believe, that this guy, that his girlfriend said that he was kind of, uh, he, he liked to exaggerate sometimes. That's true, yeah. So well, also, a lot of this context is in the video. No, no, that's just, uh, that's this is my thoughts. This is text. Text, I ass. Death in Texas. No way he hits that. No way he hits that. Well, I got some uh, news for you, maybe. <laughs> Somebody hit that. I don't know. <laughs> I got. Uh, well, hang on. Did they? Did they? Did they? Oh, no. Or was it allegedly? Alien? Allegedly. allegedly. This When's the sequel of the grassy no of this one? That's what I want to I know. make no claims. Where's the male models? No, sh that shot is insane. Can only recall hearing two it, shots. No, it that actually is isn't. Chat, chat. Guns are not, aren't like movies. That shot is fucking insane. No, calm down. I get it. People shoot fucking pigeons and what? It's a good fucking shot, dude. I mean, yeah, it's a good shot, but calm down. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to ask uh, what your take is on, on the shot taken from what we understand. If it was it's a good him. shot, but it's nothing crazy. I mean, the the video does uh, talk about how it's definitely not ideal because where he was in the book depository building, he's looking down at someone who is moving slowly, but still moving in a car facing away where not all of their body is visible and there was obstruction from a tree. Uh, but still, I mean, if you're, um, I think that. Oswald was in the military before this. Um, I forget if they go into it. Um, I forget if they go into it before this. Uh, I know that the Carcano rifle that he had, he'd like posed with it before. And so I, I assume he'd used it because the rifle would have to be, uh, you know, the, the, the scope would have to be zeroed and everything. But um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's not like, like, oh, I can't believe he possibly made the shot. It's like, no, no, he's just like, well, the record, you know, by the way, crazy I'm, shot or anything. I'm happy whenever he says anything. That's a that's a plus. Even if True. it's bad commentary, I don't mind as long as he's saying something. Bad commentary, it's something. No commentary. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I've got someone calling you out on my chat, Mauler. Well, everyone, I guess they okay. say. So he is reacting. Okay. You just don't like what he says. They think he's he's like this is good. That this is a good amount of reaction. Yes, do, they do. Do, do they spot the numbers in the top right when when they show up? Or no? I don't think they're paying attention to that. Okay. Just <laughs> I don't think. Them. Well, that person doesn't I mean, know numbers. Like, he's, he said a few dumb things, but I mean, if we're just going off of, does he react to it or just play it? That's a different conversation, yeah. It, it, well, it's it's two different conversations. Whether or not he's providing, like, good commentary, mainly the topic is, like, is he transforming it? And if he's yep. talking, even if he's getting things wrong or making weird observations or anything, like, it's still... That's something. Yeah. Yes. He's putting his own content into it and thus transforming exactly. it. But key on transforming. He hasn't completed that process, and I don't think he ever will. He's going to remain Lemino's content for the vast majority of this. As you can tell, every time it hits time 16, maybe I made a mistake in showing how fast it goes by because it makes people think that this is actually real yeah. time or something. No, I yeah. think that's what's <laughs> happening. Yeah. The well, experience so... is not the same, so. 
he's added probably combined what sixty seconds of. That would commentary. probably be generous, but yeah. But they're generously, yeah. right? And how long like, has it been so far? So we we're about minutes. like twenty-eight yeah. minutes into the Jesus. video. Yeah. Jesus. I think that. Wait, no, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, the the trick is though that. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, I was saying that the trick is though that he's conceptualizing it and his chat is conceptualizing it totally differently. It's like transforming it isn't the goal. It's making it feel like you're hanging out with your friend watching it. Right. Which he and considers like, transformative. At least he told me that anyway. Yeah. Right. So and that's that's kind of what I mean. Is like it's almost it's almost like there's no possible way that he will come to an understanding with us because he he's just like yeah I'm doing an entirely different type of thing. And I right. guess what we're really yeah. saying yeah. is that type of thing morally correct to no. content creators? <laughs> no. His argument will basically be that the experience of hanging out with someone watching TV is different from the actual TV show itself in a vacuum. Those are two different things. And so if you're watching him, you're actually watching something different than just the video. Which is dumb, it's, but that's probably, that's probably well, wait, well, wait, 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 wait. It's true. Like, that is a true thing. If you're watching something with someone else, it can drastically change the experience. But that mm. doesn't mean that it's morally right, legally right, on any level. Or so, like, that was kind of the thing that was kind of annoying in the conversation is that, like, these, like, the words transformative and value kept getting, like, mixed together. Because it's, like, it's true that someone like XQC, who has built this massive audience and has this large community... Like, there is a value that people, individual people, can gain from being in the community, having friends in that community, wanting to hang out and chat, having to, to watch something with other people. That's all true. That's fine. And there's also value for XQC, like, cultivating specific things that people want to watch and kind of, you know, because there's like a million things to watch and, you know, what are you supposed to watch? But none of that is enough, I think, in most of our opinions, to just basically, you know, watch someone's content. Like that's not well, enough. You can, you can add these extra bits of value, but that's not enough for fair use. To gain the utility of that video as well in its entirety. You know, when you've watched right. the video to its completion with minimal commentary, you have extracted all of the value from that video for yourself. Like, yeah. it's right, worth noting right. that that's the case when you haven't transformed it. It's like you've basically gotten all of the value that the original creator put into that work and you get all of the benefit. And what is it? You know, even mm. like what is what is a creator getting is a conversation in and of itself. But like that act alone is, you know, it's like it's worth considering whether or not you know consider that good or bad in and of mm -hmm. itself, regardless of the impact on the original creator. I think it's also worth mm. considering how how that compares to any of us doing gaming streams because I, I think that uh, uh, well, that's, that's a big I, old very I different know. conversation. I would say. <laughs> I think that it might be something that we might not want to go into now because it'll be a, a bigger topic of its own. But I think that yeah, I, I definitely can see the argument for, hey, watching TVs with your buddies is the experience that's being sold because my streams, I like I stream on a couch with my two dogs crawling around me and I joke around with my chat. I mean, ultimately, they're there to kind of hang out with with me while we play the game. But I, I guess, I mean, uh, am I always transforming it to a reasonable degree? This I'm not is actually really easy, okay? Yeah. Technically speaking, playing a video game on stream is not considered transformative content and can be DMCA'd by game companies. Mm -hmm. um, but they soon realize that actually it's beneficial to them for that to happen. So they set up these agreements where you can monetize gameplay content on YouTube and Twitch and so on, right? And so I they happily... I agree with that, and, and I and I do know that. But uh, what I guess what the question I'm asking is, how do we reconcile being okay with that with not being okay? Well, the with content that? creator Easily. agrees. Well, right. I mean, the game situation, the, the content creator agrees yeah, to let you use their all, content. In the, well, in the mean, other situation, they don't necessarily agree. Yeah, yeah. Consent's yeah. the important part, right? Because like, if someone, you know, for example, yeah, yeah, like like when I go to Chad and say, Chad, watch my video on your stream. I'm giving the consent, right? So when you do it, it's not like you're stealing from me because well, I'm like, yes, I want you to do it. What, what about well, also it being it's, in like uh, a business type setting changes things too. Obviously, like if you put the Super Bowl on in your bar and you're selling alcohol, you've got to pay for that. If you're well, the, watching the it at home with your friends, you don't necessarily have to pay for it. Like the commerce it's, changes uh, it as well. It's it's two pronged though, I would say, because like when you, if you, you talk about like. If the creator gives that consent, that's that's one thing. But even if the creator doesn't consent, if you transform it, you would we would consider that to be like, well, yeah, you've you've taken something, you've provided criticism, you've uh, added something to it, you've 
changed it and created a, a new viewing experience. But you don't need somebody's permission to do that. Like that's considered within the parameters of you know fair use. So well, if that's the case, then if that's the case, how much how much um, how much added value do you actually have to bring into it? Because I have no SQC idea what the line is. is. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. SQC has react. He's reacted a little bit. It's not nothing. So I mean, he's no, added it's something. not nothing. But yeah. just because you can't identify specifically where the line is doesn't mean that there is some you, threshold. Also, want it said yeah, it, that it, it um, does feel intuitively not enough. You know, watching There's a video mixed. without adding anything to it versus playing a game without adding anything to it is the different things because you have to yeah. play the game. You have to play the game. There is oh, a yeah, difference between watching somebody play a game and playing the game, and that's not the case in watching the video and having somebody comment every like five to ten minutes versus watching the video itself. You are still watching the video compared to yeah. watching gameplay versus playing gameplay. It's a reason why that conversation is kind of tricky. I think the best way to to, 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 that, Sorry, I think the best way to, to, to conceptualize that is just because you play a game of baseball doesn't mean that you've infringed on the copyright of the person who invented baseball, right? Because playing it is a performance in itself. Well, no, no, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I mean, but you're not you're not playing baseball with like official art art assets that were. But, I, but anyways, right. I'm not trying to defend that side, so that, that's why I wanted to just get the point out. I was trying to get out. But do you guys know about Atlas and Persona? It's a Sega subsidiary, and Persona is a Japanese role playing game franchise. And when Persona Five came out, Atlas made this big deal about DMCAing anyone streaming it past like the first hour of the game or something. It's like a hundred hour game, I, and I ended up streaming all of it. It's, so they stopped caring eventually. <laughs> but what I mean is, like, it does. Is there a a con, uh, I guess what would be the word for it? A uh, statute, uh, not statute of limitations, precedent. Uh, a precedent uh, yeah, I, I think I know what you mean an industry precedent to be like okay look video games we can stream it's fine like eh, there's no exceptions because if we allow one exception it'll topple the entire cast there, there are exceptions like you can't mod games and stuff like that and it is on their basically goodwill that we can do it so anytime any of these game companies could pull back these agreements and they could start dmcaing like let's plays and stuff well um, i mean I've played tons of modded games on my streams and nothing's ever happened with those but i if i play a Five it's only seconds. if they notice you doing it though, right? Like if they don't know no, no, you're doing it, then Maybe. they're not going to know. Yeah, smaller but, streams can kind of get away with it, you know? I guess, yeah, that might just be in content ID thing. Because <laughs> if I play like five well, seconds of an anime, boom, <laughs> instant yeah. claim. Oh, yeah, video games well, aren't I, in the content I, I ID guess, system. I guess the question. UV's music are, yeah. Actually, I, I guess the question is like, would it be considered like, is it moral though? Because like, here, let's say let's say a game company came out and said, listen, you can stream our game all you want, but like the first week, don't just blow through it in one fucking session and like completely remove all the value of playing the game. And would, would that be a reasonable compromise? You think? No, no, wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, I don't, I don't so think bes wait, wait. Besides the fact that obviously a lot of the game companies give consent to this, what, the reason the video game companies give consent or generally give consent to this is because. Playing a video game is primarily an interactive experience. And they feel like, I'm assuming based on their research, because these big companies, they've obviously researched this, is that if, if you watch someone playing an interactive video game, it doesn't mean you're necessarily going to go and buy it, but it probably means you're more likely to go and buy it, especially if it's a popular game, or you watch and go, oh, that looks fun, I want to play that. Where if you're watching like this Lemino video, okay, once you watch the video with XQC, that's it. It's gone forever. The person's never going to watch the video again. It's uh, so it's completely different from video games. I don't even know why we're even comparing these two. The equivalent well, would be is yeah, if I in agree. a stream you could get it so the viewer could play the game and have the same experience of playing the game as buying it. Then game companies would have a problem. That's that's yeah. right. It's yeah. like yeah. it's like if you were to like watch a video like of that. going on. It's like yeah, watching a video of going on a roller coaster is not going to provide you the experience of going <laughs> on the roller coaster. Yes. We'll, we'll see, Sitch. There's definitely some well, games that are just basically walking simulators, and you can actually just get the whole That actually is where the problem starts right. to come, yeah. yeah to have there with, like, amazing. long plays of those big cinematic games that don't have a, like, substantial sort of gameplay loop. Like, that yep. feels it's like a just, real conversation just, to be Right, there. right. Right, but I think that's a niche thing that but, you can have, like, a different yeah. idea about. But, the thing is, games companies, this happens. You get full gameplay videos of, like, in, you know, barely interactive games, and they don't DMCA that either. So I guess they just aren't, you know, they still presume right. there's some benefit they get from someone well, buying it somewhere, right? I don't know. So let's apply that to um, to videos, then. Oh, sorry, go ahead. 
Oh, well, that, that's what I mean. I brought it up mostly as because I know where I stand on that. I, I wasn't bringing up that question expecting to develop my own answer, but I, I mostly brought it up to because if we apply that concept to the watching videos and streaming it and have, making the experience, you're sitting down with your buddy watching a video that is like, can we make, can they make the arguments like, well, that's basically what you're doing if you play a game. What if you play a visual novel and you're just pawn through it and every so often you're like, wow, look at that hot waifu and that's it. Like you don't really say much more. You, you could maybe make the well, argument that that person's doing no more than a streamer just letting a video play. And and I'm not saying that they're correct. I'm just saying that it's it's an argument worth considering, you know, because I feel like people would make but, it. But, here, but here's the thing. The game company gives broad consent to do that. Um, if a video creator did consent for that up front, then that would be fine as well. Like if someone says, do you watch my video and you don't say anything, then that's fine because they've said, watch my video. They've not said you need to react to it or whatever, right? Yes. Um, so but if, I guess, but if XQC uh, uses uh, effective precedent, like industry precedent of yeah, but a lot of Twitch streamers will watch a YouTube video and nothing gets claimed, nothing happens. So whatever, like we're this this is just the industry. That's it. Because and I think that the challenge to that is is Atlas. Because if they said, oh, we don't want you streaming our games, but ultimately YouTube, all the content ID things just were like, well, we can't enforce that because we're not really enforcing it with anyone else. So yeah. By the way, there stream. is examples of enforcement of this like different companies who've gone uh crazy with like trying to protect their copyright even in the form of people providing let's plays it has happened yeah. here and there <laughs> um, yeah there's one guy that was using a, a multiplayer mod for zelda and nintendo yeah. absolutely brought the hammer of god down onto it so. yeah and nintendo's like that yeah well yeah. didn't the guy so, recently who that. completed the simpsons hit and run like complete remake remaster whatever and then like the announcement is just you'll never see it because legally yep. speaking he's got I no way that. to get that out yeah with Simpsons audio, I guess, and things like, or even clips from the show. Oh, that was uh, AMC, the, right? the uh, Metroid 2 remake. That too, yeah. Uh, came out yeah. like a year before the yeah. Metroid remake, you know, the actual Metroid 2 remake from Nintendo. Well, AM2R, the people who made that actually went on to make Ori in the Blind Forest and Will. Yeah, the I made Do you remember? Um, wasn't there an era in YouTube where Nintendo were like paying certain YouTubers to be able to provide Let's Plays? And then uh, like... uh, that was back yes. in like 2014. Yeah. I remember yeah that. They had a little yep. partner creator program thingy. Yes. Yeah, so, so basically, they ran a YouTube MCN. That's, oh, yeah. that's old, old stuff. MCNs. Mm -hmm. They had a what? Nintendo MCN where if you were part of the MCN, you could play new Nintendo games on your channel. <laughs> I just want to dispel a myth that's quite common. Nintendo aren't. They're still fucking vicious in protecting that IP and stuff, but they do have like other companies, this kind of prior agreement that you can create content out of their games. So that is actually a thing that Nintendo have now. The MCN's long gone. You can make your Zelda fucking videos, just don't use mods and you'll be fine, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with the amount yeah. of hours I've streamed Luigi's Mansion and gotten away with it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you so, so yeah, how, how, about how about this? Um, forget about um, consent and legality for a minute, okay? Just talking about every day. basic. <laughs> just talk about basic you know moral decency is it is it better if somebody decides to like wait say three or four weeks after a big video has come out and then reacts to it with providing almost no providing almost no reaction itself like xqc is doing versus completely sniping it like an hour after it comes out and it's, then taking like half the yeah revenue. of course it's got to be I guess it's, right. yeah better yeah so there's definitely some sort of cool down period where like okay if you wait okay. a little bit you can actually watch on stream this 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 video right i don't the, think the it's idea would ever be okay that to just you play it freely well yeah obviously but it would be better proportionately or comparatively yes, i guess it I would be say. better because obviously by by that the margin or the thing that's like being a focus on here is that you would feel like oh if the video has been out for a month so views have substantially dropped off you'd say okay well there's a less likely chance that the people that watch it from xqc would have watched it on their own by that by that time right you wouldn't be necessarily so stealing from the uh, market. You just still appeal yeah. to the principle that you should be transforming it and creating something that is like a new experience through your. No, of input. course, of course, right. Just, just yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, comparing the two different actions. Definitely less mm -hmm. harm incurred by right. the original creator. I mean, yeah, it would seem that way. Because I think you get like ninety percent of your views for a video in the first week or something. To be so. fair though, yeah. a channel like Lemino would be a lot more evergreen. Like these are the kind yeah, of videos that are going to yeah. keep that getting a lot of views for a long time, compared to the kind of thing where it gets a lot of views like in the first couple of days and then it completely falls off because it's only about being relevant to what's happening, you know, right now in the landscape. Right. 
mm -hmm. the problem is that like with XQC and Hassan, all these people that are reacting to it, it's like, oh, the you know, people are talking about this video right now. The algorithm's talking about this right now. So that's why they have to watch it so quickly. Do you guys think the same courtesy should apply to videos that get made that's like um, libelous, you know, where somebody is being like smeared? And it, it's just like, are you supposed to just let that video sit yeah, for a week when you know otherwise? Well, well it depends. Like, are, are, are you, like, if you're the subject of it or you're someone who's watching it to criticize it or to dispel it, I think that's totally fine. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if, if someone uploads curious. a video in, and in like 10 minutes you respond to it, but it's, you know, some horrible accusation and you dispel it, I don't think anyone has to be like, hey, whoa, you're taking up this space in SEO. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> well, I think, I mean, even if it's, you know, if you were to watch this Lumino video, okay, say you're some JFK, you know, historian, right? And you watch it and, you know, within three hours you're watching it and you're trying to debunk every point that he brings up because you think he's wrong. I mean, I think that's totally fine to do that. Well, that's, that's an interesting point because like political stuff, you know, if you want to put across a different political position, I think that there is an unspoken rule. Like, you know, Hassan reacts to Ben Shapiro videos. Um, whatever you think of his politics... It would be, I think we'd all agree it would be unreasonable for Ben Shapiro to strike Hassan if he's given substantive critique to a political point he's making. I think right. it's probably going to be his best stuff. Like yeah, best yeah, is sure, in transformative. Yeah. I strictly mean it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that, and that's the point William Matt was making is we don't want it to be where we're striking each other. We want to have this discourse because yeah. we all fuel each other with our takes and stuff and etc. Right. It's like using then, the tools you know, of the evil like when you take into that of, of DMCA people don't each want to other. strike each other. So. But but on that same token, be respectful to other people's creations, you know, in the sense of if you're going to watch it, transform it, add commentary, you mm -hmm. know, like be engaged with the material instead of just uh, instead of just watching the whole thing for like several minutes without saying a word. Well, I, I wonder if like a certain amount of time should go by where if you haven't said anything, it's just like, well, that's enough of that. If you want to check out the rest of it yourself, it's a good video. Yes. Go to this link. And then yes. whatever here on this if, stream, we'll go do something so. else now. Yeah. If you reach a point where you realize, damn, I'm not like adding anything. You should try and essentially correct it as much as you can by like directing people to the original creation, then stopping. Yeah, I think that's which is interesting, I mean, right? right? If you didn't react for like half the video and the video is excellent, you might actually do a lot of good by being like, I'm going to stop here and continue it myself. You guys should also do the same when the stream's over or whatever. It yeah, promotes right. the yeah. video. Watching, yeah, watching exactly. the first, because fourth, the first third, third, third already interested, right? So. As opposed to once they watch the whole thing, it's like, well, that's that's that, you know? That's mm -hmm. the end of that. Right. Okay, this is a build of, like, the average person at the time. What? Which is funny. He said it's the build, build of, of the average person at the time, which is interesting because, like, it's still hyper-useful information because of the limited amount of people that are in the building. Like, well, the, yeah, because there's a lot of black people who work there. And so exactly. if everyone describes the person as white, it's like, well, then it probably was a white guy. Bro, five, eight, bro, five ten in that neighborhood. Bro, he was very slender, very thin. Chat. What was the color of the two black dudes in this friend before? What were the color? Black. Desserts? Black. They were black. <laughs> oh. Say. It. Say. It. Yeah, his point is it's hard to remember shirt color, and he's Most correct. Most people don't even know. No, remember. It, it, this is it, it's it's hard it's hard to remember like it, it, when you're not paying attention to details and you're not giving it a task usually it's it's hard to remember that shit man you give well okay see for medium well, though I, being told what give... color is as opposed to seeing the color but... right but see but see that's to me that's okay that's a good critique because you're trying to add something yep you're saying you know you're saying look it is hard to that know is this a stuff comment. When you're not made a comment yeah. good, good sure for you so i've got one well it's I, like that's like three I, now I, I, I... <laughs> That's true. So I have a question here, and I'm pretty sure I know all your, all your answers. I think, but I'm just asking. Just you don't know me. Okay? Would <laughs> oh. would in a heartbeat. <laughs> would okay. Yeah. Listen. So I've heard the argument from a few a few people that if <laughs> from, from a, a few people uh, from from a few people that if you're watching a video on your stream, and mm -hmm. you uh, and that video is sponsored by let's say HelloFresh, and there's like a HelloFresh code in the video. If you <laughs> include the HelloFresh code in your reaction, you've basically paid for your reaction because now your viewers will go use their HelloFresh code. What do you guys think of that argument? 
That's retarded. I don't think that really counts. <laughs> I thought you were going to go down a different route and, and do the thing where it's like some people literally skip the sponsored segments. In the well, that's, that's even worse, I guess. But oh, like, yeah. Which is super scummy. Yeah, it is. There's even a fucking app on YouTube now where you can skip sponsored segments, which is the most entitled <laughs> shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, we watch them there, on, here at EFAB. We, we watch do. The we, some of our best, uh, some of our best stuff comes from watching people's uh, sponsorship reads. It's mm, funny sometimes. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so just, just a man then. Something like that. It's really weird for commentary just because, you know, again, good that he's commenting, but he's saying, like, what a useless description that describes, like, most people. And it's like, it's super useful. What do you mean? It's, it narrows it people down quite significantly. A lot of... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it makes sense. In any yeah. case, in Walter's defense, to fuck? other witnesses, this means when he was Again, I felt like that's an opportunity to tell me what you're confused about. I don't, I don't know what he was confused about. He just said, "What the fuck?" I'm like, all right. Now I'm confused. This is what, 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 it's oh. hard to visualize this without knowing what the windows are like, where the sun is at, what kind of light reflection you're looking at, the angle. It, this is how do you know all this matters. Six, what? Sounds more credible than the other guys, to be honest. I wonder why. Not that. Okay, In 1969, because he's black. Can barely tell anything about the gap top. This guy, Eagle Eye Andy, robotic, can know every fucking feature of this guy. Andy, what the fuck? I, I translate this one, okay? Really range people. <laughs> Can barely tell anything about the gap top. This guy, Eagle Eye Andy, robotic, can know every fucking feature of this guy. And Eye Andy, uh, someone who could look. Eagle Eye. <laughs> An Eye Eagle Andy. Eye. That's looked. obvious. Based that on the context Andy. alone. It was Andy. I thought, Andy. oh, because because it's Twitch speak, right? An Eye Andy, a blah 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 oh, Andy. <laughs> I, this is the thing, you, it's hard to tell. I, I think I did an okay job, alright? Tried. <laughs> now I get it. Yeah, not necessarily. Bad conclusions. Yeah, not necessarily. Bad conclusions. Yeah, not necessarily. Bad conclusions. Oh, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the end of the thought? Oh. What the? Yeah. Like, exactly. I'd love to know what he had to say about it, but never mind. What the fuck is happening here, dude? Uh, that's a hard. I guess. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you fire a shot from that from that position, you're gonna have echo on the other buildings and sound, and some will, fi will echo. Literally, echo will, might make you think it's two shots. True. And no one's disagreeing here. There you go. Oh no? yeah, okay. I mean yeah. <laughs> Attempts to assess direction of gun based on ear and testimony. <laughs> Alright man, I right. just graphs. Back in the days, there's something in the water. Everybody's on fucking drugs. I, I, I don't understand why he said this after he just said that the echo can repeat the shot and make it feel like it's coming from somewhere else. Because it seems like he's saying how insane that we have all these different directions coming from the audience. But that would ex be explained by the fact that the gunshot right. could have echoed off other buildings. Yeah. But he says oh, something was in the complaint. water. Oh, Weird. not fluoride back in the day, right? But um, I don't know when now. they started doing that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a lot of lead flying that day. Uh, but it's one of my complaints about like zombie movies and games and stuff, where like whenever you shoot, all those zombies know exactly where you are, pinpoint location. I know exactly where that shot was. I'm gonna go and eat whoever it was, and they all go there. I'm like, nah, yeah. it's not quite that. So no. Yeah. You're well, there's zombies. A hundred meters True. away. Zombies. If you're a away, you definitely can just get general direction. And rough distance at most. Mm -hmm. I I'm over it, dude. This is this is already stupid enough. This is this is just brain dead shit, man. Brain dead shit. 
I'm not exactly sure why he said that, but alright. Oh, I don't know it, either. It's one might think crossfire from projection, maybe. Maybe he meant like that they couldn't. Ah. Oh. Really so. Wait, well, shit! This is actually really, really interesting. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Chat, I want to be a nerd about this. Multiple directions. Based on witness testimony. Okay, okay, makes sense. From the east. What is happening? Oh, I, I have no clue. I don't know what what he figured out there. I thought that that was already kind of said by the first graph, but I think he gets it now. I guess that there were multiple what? directions you could assume the shots came from. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got some statistics no to talk about quickly. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know this, but despite making up only, uh, you know, I think you know the rest, don't you? 1% of this video's commentary, XQC makes up for 100% of yes, stupid there we statements. Go. Nine Space. percent. There we go. Uh, Quebecers make up 60% of the military. Quebecers? <laughs> you to call on that? Quebecers? Uh, yeah. yeah, no, Quebecers is an accepted Quebecers. term. Quebecers. Quebecois. Hey, puppies! Hey, <laughs> hey! I don't read refs. Mr. Campbell believes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm 16. I didn't know that. Oh. Just that, though. What? But what if we were to simulate this and to redo it, the same positions and shoot from the same spots and have people at the same positions and see what they hear and if it matches? Yeah, you could do that. Um, sure. I think you'd probably get the same result of you need the people to not know where the sound is going to come from to do the test. Right. The best people way, paying so. attention. If like you've told people that this is what the test is about, then they're going to pay, be paying like hyper close attention to where the sounds come from. I mean, you and could set them up really in a position and blindfold the them. So then you just have to like, you have to listen. We're going to set the shot soon and you have to tell us where you believe it came from. Like, that could be a fun test. Yeah. It sounded chat, it's true. Okay, chat, chat, chat. This, this is true. Nah, you have been to a gun range. Like a third of the way through the video here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When somebody, even, even close to you, even across from the hall, shoots a gun, even a rifle, you're going to feel that 100%. Maybe. You just heard a rifle shot above you. Why didn't you just go melee range and just uh, to, see what? So to explain this, okay. he's the Whatever. the the interviewer says you heard the gunshot. Why didn't you go up to the sixth floor? And the guy says, "Well, maybe because we were scared of the gunshot," which is reasonable. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and actually he's making fun of the interviewer, but I'm actually, I don't know if I'm the only one that th thinks this, but I'm fine with the interviewer asking the question to get that information on record. Why yeah. didn't you go so up? I, I was go. scared. Yeah. It's, like, yeah, that, sure. it's not yeah, like the interviewer enough. is saying yeah. that doesn't make sense. He's just making sure the question's asked. I just want to point right. out a bit of extra lore on this point. XQC has said that if there was a home invasion um, and there was a, someone downstairs with a gun, he would not go downstairs to challenge them. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, that's sure. Yeah, it's a very understandable position to take. But yeah, here he is criticizing this guy for not going upstairs. It's what I'm trying yeah, to no, go no, no. upstairs to no, the no. guy that you know has a gun in close the distance and get in melee range. He's making fun of the interviewer. He's saying, the interviewer is saying, why didn't you up to the sixth floor after knowing the gunshot was heard? Oh, okay, and then, I'll tell you on that. I didn't realize that. And oh, the next you see is saying, yeah, why don't you just go <laughs> melee range? You know, like like he's saying, right. like the interview is insane oh, yeah, to okay. ask that question. I mean, I'm in, I'm in streamer mode. I'm not really paying attention. Right. No, well, right. well, I, I thought the same thing. I that I got the same thing out of it. Right. So, it's What's up? What are you doing, dude? Because we were frightened. You think chat starts saying like idiot interviewer sort of thing? Why don't you go with PvP, man? Uh, Jesus. <laughs> What a gamble. What a gamble? What's their job? What? The encounter was brief, lasting no <laughs> Question Do the players not have radios at the time? If they can radio in or ask for help or backup or whatever, they went in alone and didn't detain anybody or or they need to cover the doors or the exits or whatever? Well, this was 1963, it. so it's very likely that radios weren't like the easy to carry around. And he was probably, this is one guy, these days. he runs in to try and find out as much as he can. He's probably panicking. The president just potentially just got killed. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot that's happening that makes this. I think a lot of people will be like Captain Hindsight. Be like, you should have gone yeah, here very, and done this. Easily <laughs> very stressful situation. Very impromptu. Um, and of course, I don't think anyone's been shot since 
I don't know the last president. Presidents. It would have been Reagan, right? I think Reagan was the last one. This was 63, so this would be... I mean, like, how long had it been oh, before that? since oh. the president had been shot? So, it, uh, U.S. presidents shot. Um, list of U.S. presidential assassination attempts. John F. Kennedy. William McKinley in 1900. Is this listed by... So, it looks like we had Lincoln, Garfield, McKinley... JFK, uh, and those were the ones who were killed. Yeah, but um, Roosevelt got shot, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, Roosevelt was shot, Ronald Reagan was shot, but survived. Uh, so, Reagan was, that was in 81. Theodore Roosevelt, the attempt was made in 1912. McKinley was assassinated in 1901. So it had been like 50 years since a president had been shot successfully or otherwise so i guess it's a you know a very strange thing for us to think and i'm but like nowadays we sort of live in a little bit of a different world you know we're post you know we are post you know the jfk assassination and the stuff like that so i guess you just have a different mindset back then you know in the 60s you know a lot of ways things are more chill in, in, well, in that element you know i think technology is also helps um like the secret service or whatever monitor stuff to prevent things from happening right sure i just yeah. mean like the yeah. mindset that you might be in in 1963 the idea that a president was you know like shot and killed it had it had been 50 years since it this since that had happened so, oh, so a lot of chill about involved, it well it just wouldn't probably yeah it wouldn't even come to mind yeah, um, yeah. you know so mm -hmm. might explain why a few blocks east of they did have radios so i don't know what the fuck is this guy doing he's letting people leave the building this is kind of annoying because like you know if, if me and adam are watching this video like this it, that, that'd be a good question it's like wait do they have what kind of technology do they have could they have done this you know more effectively yeah, when you know he's standing uh, he's sitting in front of a computer yeah, that has internet access he can look up this answer and try to get to the bottom of it and that would add more you know quote you know transformative yeah. you know value to the video because i mean i was looking it up right now because i am curious about that you know when, when exactly that happened so portable radios introduced in the 1960s. So they had like car were... radios, like, but it doesn't seem like they had the two way, like handheld radios until like the eighties or the late seventies. Yeah. It would probably be something like that. I would imagine because of course radios existed, you know, but it takes a while for things to get smaller and portable and higher quality. Right. You know, so people will one day look at this and be like, well, you know, body. Why didn't they have body cams? Like, well, it was 2007 and you know, it wasn't really a thing quite yet. You know, da, da, da. But, right. They, they did have walkie talkies, but it doesn't seem like this according to these articles I'm looking. It didn't seem like for whatever reason, the police used them commonly. Um, I don't know about the Secret Service, but maybe the Secret Service had them or the, right. the, the presidential detail had them with them. But the person, as far as I know, that is doing the investigating here. I think they were like a the Studebaker, I think was his name, right? I can't I can't quite remember, but wasn't he a policeman? I I can't quite recall, but I don't know if he was part of the the presidential detail or if he was part of local law enforcement. Right. Oh, I fucking I missed it. I should have said what when we were investigating when the radios were made, I should have said we should have I should have said we should have googled it. Ah. Oh. I missed it. Oh, that would have been so clever. Oh, Shame. well. Oh. Shame. Damn, man. Now I feel bad. Okay, hold up. Bro. Hold up. People on the fifth floor, right? Could they not maybe hear audio from the person rushing down from the sixth floor? Even though they're next to the window, maybe they could hear staircase. To the amount of people saying, stop pausing. <laughs> stop pausing. <laughs> yeah. Noises or whatever. Like you could As previously possibly hear some audio. Adams. It's such an interesting feedback loop because he starts to feel guilt when he pauses. Yes, it's yeah. the opposite. It's the exact opposite of, of you guys. And you guys. <laughs> and us, yeah. No, that's not how I... And I was thinking, well, I guess so while my mind was on it, they might have had portable radios the whole time, and it's just not a part of this particular video. You know? 
Sure. But like, you can look they might have been just they might have just been saying the normal things that you say in a situation like that. And, it, and it's not really an important part of this video's presentation of events. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'd be interested to know what their cryptographic technology was on those radios, because it might have been that it was mandated that they couldn't really talk about anything that important on them. That's a good point. Yeah, because maybe, maybe back then anyone could just have a radio and just yeah. <laughs> tune well, into I, it. As far as I know, the nature of radios is, you know, right. as long as you know the frequency, you can listen in. Oh, no, um, no, no. But... There's, um, there's cryptographic technology in most military radios, which is why our radios weigh a friggin' ton. And uh, and there there are handheld versions of them, but even then they look kind of big and chunky. So I imagine that if there were any in the 60s, they would be cumbersome if they were if they were actually encoded but uh, the police you, probably well, wouldn't be using that right because like like having police scanners and things like that to listen into police communications is just a pretty normal thing yeah right. but they're not usually doing like secret operations. yeah it's mo mostly like uh there's a thing over here go check it out guys he sure will yeah Military is a bit different, though, because you can reasonably assume that you will have counterintelligence that yeah, is trying yeah. to listen to your communications. And if they hear it, it might be really bad. So, right. But I would understand that if you're supposed to protect someone from assassination, you would want to have your <laughs> communications be encrypted. But uh, again, I don't know anything about it, really. I, I was just saying that that could be a possible sure. To, yeah. to to look into to get more information on why why the communication wasn't as effective as it could have been. Mm -hmm. um, worth mentioning, by the way, this is what uh, XUC would consider transformed enough to upload to his channel. This is on his channel right now. Nice. Yeah, so, he made mm -hmm. points every now and then. I feel like the way that it, I have edited it makes it seem like he's adding to it a lot more than he actually is. <laughs> Trust me. Well, I mean... You you cut it down that if you have watched the original video and you like XQC and you just want to see what he thought of it, yeah, you made the perfect edit. Sorry, I just want to say with the radio point, like, isn't it obvious that, like, Secret Service, Special Forces types P people have all encrypted in-loop radio with each other that wouldn't be accessible by external parties? Like, that's well, nowadays, even back then. Yeah, yeah, but even no, back then, oh, I don't know. Had that. I don't know. I don't know the answer that's to that question. I don't know. And that it's I only thought to bring it up because I thought that that might have been... That might have been a possible explanation as to why there wasn't a whole lot of radio chatter. Sorry, the dogs are amping up. And when they say something in the video of the cops decided or the police wanted to, you know, these things, the, the way that they did that might have been through the radio. I know, like, I mean, I'm just, you know, in the, like in the 60s, when you see uh, people with a military radio in the 60s, it's like a big chunky box, you know, and there's the giant antenna and maybe there's a guy with a backpack. Like, I don't know what the Secret Service had or was using or the police was using in 1963. Yeah. And remember, in this, uh, for those of you who have seen the Lemino video, it was discovered. Um, I say it was discovered, is that what they knew? But the uh, Lee Harvey Oswald interviews and interrogations after he was arrested are not recorded because the police didn't have a voice recorder. They didn't have a recorder. They just didn't well, have one. So, if you believe the deep state, right? If you believe the deep state lies <laughs> in the reptilian setup, yeah, yes. it's true. But that's allegedly what's happening. I'm going to assume that if he didn't upload it, it wouldn't make it any better, would it? Because he's still watching it on a stream. We're still he got it on stream, stream, right? He's still extracted yeah. the utility of it on stream, so... Yeah, he got yeah. it. It's, it's a step worse to put it on YouTube because then it acts as an alternative product, essentially, to the original, yeah. right? Oh, I mean, yeah, it, it takes up space in the search, yeah. As, an origin, uh, like, as it originally broadcasted, I would say that uploading, obviously, it lasts longer, right? It lasts indefinitely, but on stream, right. you've still extracted the value of that creation with minimal commentary. Yeah. Yeah. Stay. Fuck it, true. <laughs> Chat, hold up, hold up. Chat, Chat. Oh. I, I don't really blame them. I feel, like, I feel like when something big happens, seconds to minutes are like condensed. It's really hard to tell. True. Oh, yeah. Wait, why wouldn't they get at least deposed? I'll come down what? before well, he's bald and elder. The steps. Uh, <laughs> he is elder. That, that's pretty common. That's pretty common. Pretty common. <laughs> pretty common? I think pretty it's pretty common, common yeah. Okay. I think that. I think I someone that actually get... speaks English should have actually done this, not Mauler, who speaks Welsh. That's true. I do. <laughs> oh. that, that's a whole other set of flaws on top of the French, you know.
I think what's super important here, dude, is the shape of the staircase. Wait, wait. I know it sounds like not a big deal. The way that sound travels in a big flight of stairs with a big middle portion, like in schools, and this is completely different. It makes sense that if you miss a timing, you fucking miss a timing. It's difficult to saddens. I don't really know what he meant, but all right. Why is everybody so fucking dumb? It annoys that it annoys that everybody's so stupid. Uh oh, it's paused for me. Do you mean? Yeah, I got it buffering on my end. Yeah, yeah same. Uh, watch buffering. together's having a watch together's the video having a like crashed on my end. I had to refresh. Why? That's right. Let me refresh real quick. Just making sure. Yeah, watch together it's... might have just had a little tism. Oh no, All it's right. back to the start. Twelve. Well, uh, we're at thirteen oh five. Yeah, it's, yeah it, it could it, have been it, moments. You have to watch the whole thing again. Is, is, the, is everyone, can everyone see? Best, best moment, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm good now. Yeah. Okay. That's wild. What's that? Like that. What's he doing? Not <laughs> entirely sure. Oh. Oh. But according to yeah, little bunker. But according to yeah, little bunker. Yeah, little bunker. All right, someone translate that. Yeah, get a little oh. bunker. Uh, he made her? Is that what Jadmo is? He, he made had her? a little bunker. He had her, okay. He yeah. had a little bunker. Okay. Good. Yeah, my, my watch together is still messing up. Sorry, I can't help this time. Oh, no. Uh, yeah? Yeah, refresh the whole page. Yeah, I got it now. No, what right, is this bro. crime scene contamination uh, fucking protocol bullshit? What the fuck are they doing? Did you? Is that all you have to say about that? According to Mooney, Dallas Police Captain William Fritz tampered with the evidence. Oh, I can't. I'm over it. Okay, that one I didn't really hear. Did you what? Say that I think he's just upset that the idea that someone would have tampered with the evidence, which, yeah, it's, you don't want to hear okay. that. That's bad. Can you say more about it, though? Expand on that thought? Elaborate? No. You're asking a bit, a bit much there. <laughs> the fucking what is happening? Okay, dude, like, this is just troll. This is a fucking troll. To no. Hand. It's Police all a troll. I, don't, I wish I knew what he was talking about. It just the, yeah. the, what do you mean, The man? police. It's just a troll. The investigation. It's a troll investigation. A troll, a troll hey, killed the president. In his pocket. I wonder trolling. why... I wonder oh, why he doesn't elaborate, you know? If well, if you remember his head where it's just like, oh, I object to this, this isn't accurate, like, why not go into some like, details? Because his audience are desperately saying, stop pausing. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he actually <laughs> believes he'll upset Wild. his audience if he was to elaborate. If right, it was like, right. yeah. Which is insane, obviously. Yeah, I mean, imagine that mentality, right? It's like, oh, my audience is here for the, the video, not for me. I can't, I can't <laughs> interfere. It's like, Jesus. And then simultaneously right. argue this should belong to you. Like, this is... Your yeah, contribution is insane. I don't get it. Well, it's combination of bravado nah, and humility. I, 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 that's kind I, I, of interesting. I have, I have a good question. Sorry, what was that? It's sort of a, a combination of both bravado and humility. That's really interesting because they'll be like, <laughs> "Yeah, <laughs> mine now." But also, well, you know, they're not here to see me. They're just they're here well, to. Well, the highlight of the stream last night was he said that uh, he is absolutely and easily replaceable. If he was to go tomorrow, like he would be replaced in an instant. However, he is the best. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, he's it's the funny. best at being totally replaceable. <laughs> very mm -hmm. humble. He's the goat. I, I don't. I don't know if it's humble or if it's just like he thinks that helps his argument, even though it didn't. <laughs> Maybe we're we're all equal. Just some of us are more equal than others. That's what it is. There you go. Wait a minute. There's a hole here, right? If he carelessly dumped them on the ground, wouldn't he be? He wouldn't do it like that because he'd be scared of it. It would jump in the hole and he would lose evidence. I. I I feel like you wouldn't kill they drop fucking kids on the ground, knowing that they could probably be lost forever or some shit into the fucking wall. It's an, it's an okay comment, I guess. It, it, it's, okay. He probably, it's maybe he didn't like actually throw them or anything, he put them down wherever, you know? What? Okay, they lost me. I uh, they lost. So I have to go back. Chat. Yeah, this is very important. And I, uh, they lost me. I just don't. What, what the fuck did you? Yeah, this is a really simple part. This is just where they talk about. Yeah. So they found the rifle over here originally. Someone thought it was a Mauser because the profiles of what he could see was pretty similar. But then they looked at it and it was a Carcano rifle. And then they talk into tracking back the rifle where it was purchased and where it was, you know, delivered to and all that. So hmm. this well, is real. This part isn't complicated. 
loaded it downward into Allah the jinn. Allah the jinn. Allah the jinn. Allah. 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 Yo, Do you I know this is the 60s, okay, but but crime scene is something that, that they've already studied it for decades before that. It's not that crime just in, was invented in the fucking, in the 70s or some shit. Eh? There's still protocols that they all then follow. The entirety of the floor is a crime scene at that point. Anything that they do is contamination. What the fuck is happening? Um, I mean, that's kind of a fair comment. You wonder how this wasn't treated very, very carefully and how these mistakes got made. It would be neat to have. Mm -hmm. Considering it was the president, you know, who was one yeah. being shot. Because there was a lot of involvement from a lot of people. They did reenactments. They did all these interviews that are being used. There's a lot of pictures and photographs and videos and all the sorts of stuff. Like, there was extensive things that were done. It's just, they seem to have been done in a somewhat careless manner in some elements. Like, handling the, uh, you know, the shell casings... And, you know, what, what should be looking for evidence, like when they talk about the paper bag, um, how originally it was just like they didn't even think about looking for a paper bag, because, you know, why would you? Um, Though I would say like a lot of the developments of, like, treatment of crime scenes, probably, it's not like, because he's correct, it's not like it would be the first time they understand how you're supposed to not tamper with everything, but at the same time, it probably isn't as developed as it will be. Like, uh, oh, we strict... learned so much since the 60s, yeah. yeah. I mean, even in the video, they talk about dusting for prints and everything like that. Mm -hmm. That's something, also, back again... back in the 60s, they were probably looking for a black guy. There you go. But wow. again, this is something he could, like, stop the video, look up, try to, like, see... Like, look into the history of crime scene investigation, see if it's Yeah, like, I feel like it's worth emphasizing. You know, right. you made an observation, you could make a longer one. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I enjoy them when they come up. But they're, they're so They're fun, few. they're so much fun. So much fun. He just dumped yes, it. Uh. When you I don't know what he said. <laughs> he just dumped it. That's what he said. Oh. I got that one. I'm 16. Okay. So. It's consistent with the story? Huh? Huh? Would that have more context if we saw wh where he was in the video? Um, well, you'd be able to better figure out what he's reacting to, like, in general, but I don't know that that's that does much, you know? Like, we don't need to, uh, you know, review every single thing he says. It's just pointing out that he does say some things sometimes. Yeah, that's true. What the fuck is happening? No, we gotta pause constantly. <laughs> what is, yeah. the fuck is happening? He's been here this whole time. He was threatened and made it. But look at that timeline. Yeah, we're we're almost there. Getting getting into that uh final. Yeah. Oh like, man! The way and, like how much of that cumulatively in terms of observation? Three minutes. So far, maybe like four or five minutes tops. Also, oh Chad, God. I've got your chat up. Why are they so retarded? I'm gonna help him out, okay? <laughs> that <laughs> what what so you mean? So what's your said, transformative chat? What's saying? happening why, in the retarded chat? So was it? Why know. is the quality of the comment a part of the discussion? Is that really part of any legitimate argument? Did they miss the part where I said several fucking times that I don't mind if it's a shit comment as long as it's a comment? We're also trying to compliment some of the things that he says to point out that he is will... capable of reacting. I will say that the quality of the commentary is probably a, an element here, right? You know, the sniper I would wolf prefer thing. that he does more than just go, What? what? What's going on? You know, what does, we're in a place where the only thing that we were talking about was the quality of the commentary and transformative material, but unfortunately we're not in that place. We're mainly in a place of binary, like, is he even doing anything? Mm -mm. Right mm -hmm. now, no. Right now, yes. Like Oh, One God, thing to understand, there's a lot of like excuse. Well, I say a lot. There's like some XQC fans that are in my chat, so they probably just don't like oh, their why? god, their god king <laughs> streamer being criticized. Mm. And I, I do like the idea that it's up. like you guys are being mean to him while he takes someone's work <laughs> and just sells it on his own channel. It's like that's uh, chill. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. 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 Being a little bit mean. That's okay though. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck say that. Is that true? Is that true? Okay. Okay. Some of these testimonies all look fabricated, or altered, or um, after the fact tampered. Just that. Just multiple accounts look that they just tampered with.
Entirely. She caught a flea. Oh, are they? All right. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Chat, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be the one to say it, chat. I am the fuck, I am the chicken conspirationist at this point. This guy ate lunch four times, went up there, set up the gun, got Dr. Pepper, two of them, and started eating a whole chicken in two different locations. This guy, he's the guy just, he's just eating all day. He's a, he just can't get enough of this food, dude. He's bussing. I will say four <laughs> lunches is pretty great. Yeah. Four There's lunches, something there. Like the Hobbit. I'd like to delve into the chicken conspiracy, but I don't think he does. Ooh! This... Um, when you look at this at a glance, a head shape is a big deal. They both look like a peanut with, with, with uh, backed up hairlines. You could easily make that mistake. You could easily make that mistake. The way we see faces, this is resembling. Yes, you restated what they said, the video said. Good, yes. Well, I mean, yeah, the point is that a lot similar. of people mix those two up, but Lemino's personal commentary is that he doesn't believe that he would mix them up, but I mean, that's just down to everybody, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, true. That would be such a stupid, that would be such a stupid mistake, though, because if this, that's a floor that he knows he's going to be shooting at, he knows what floor it is, and he knows that the other employee would know what floor it is. And that it would it wouldn't work in the fucking he know either he's just very stupid or um I don't fucking know. Placed himself on the <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. As mentioned Hold at on. the beginning. I got one last time. Okay. I promise. Oh god damn! I'm gonna pull one last his time. I promise. Alibi conflicting compared to other people. When the other guy said, "I heard the shots and I went to the clock." I heard the shots and I had lunch, but I already had lunch, so I had lunch both same time and I teleported it. Well, me, I stayed AFK at the top. The, everybody has dumbass fucking alibis, like, what? Those aren't alibis. I don't even, I'm not sure what to do with any of that, it's just like... Well, uh, isn't using the word alibi implying it is wrong? Well, is he, is he trying to say that this is evidence that, that Oswald's innocent? Like, what is the point that he's trying to get across here? Not entirely sure. Okay. What? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> what? What? Bro. You being present more or less at the This kid's so shit, bro. Chat, chat. I can't even blame him, dude, because who knows what was going on at the time in the fucking news on TV. In a newspaper, well, he specifically was a bunch of fucking about a dog shit, plot. brain rot propaganda about fucking co communism and, and commie shit, and these guys were probably fucking absolutely. Now that this was like this was 1963, like the, the mm -hmm. idea of a communist plot was like that. That was probably not like some crazy conspiracy when he no. given what was going on with the world. Right. I mean, uh, but, but all right. Well, there would have been a real consideration that the USSR could have been involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. That's easily something right. that you have to investigate. Oh, our president was assassinated. It's 1963. Were the Russians behind it? Mm. There was on a edge confusion in 2001 shit. for a bit. Now, I know the Russians were behind the attempted assassination <laughs> of... Well, who was, it? What was his name in Secret Invasion? Uh, President... Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, what's his face? <laughs> that yeah, guy, yeah. Helicopters. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I know they were behind it then. So, yeah, it, you know. I, I, how can you blame him? Hold up. Also, if this guy was scared about some shit, they could have easily tampered him in any way they, any way that they wanted, right? If they, if they knew what kind of state of mind he was in and what he was saying, easily they could have led him into saying shit as much as they wanted to, without even have any, much leverage. Well, no, they're saying the guy was worried that if he gave an accurate... Um, assessment of who the suspect was that it would put him oh, know, that was, put him in the ire of the... That was a while ago now, Rags. I think now he's talking about uh, oh, yeah. Time Oswald 16, when being interviewed may have been able to be compelled to say anything, which is relatively mm -hmm. true, okay. sure. Sure. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Why wouldn't they do that undercover? What? He's been shot. He's been shot. <laughs> okay. Live reaction to history. <laughs> what? Why? Did he, what? You didn't know that this believe? happened? I don't like, know. <laughs> Guys, have you heard oh about my this? God. 
<laughs> Guy, I need to tweet. I need people need to know. Suck my balls. What a dis. Okay, I, I, bro, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Did he not? It. Did he actually not know that was going to happen? I, I think I, I it's that he didn't realize that's how it happened. Oh, maybe. Well, he's also not yeah, it seems to be so. saying they dropped the ball in how they protected him, I'm guessing, is what he's getting across, right? Yeah. Of course. Uh, right. But it's like, but that's I mean, just, I guess he's not American, yeah. so maybe we'll give him a pass, but it's like super well known. Yeah. What the yeah, fuck? I mean, yeah, it's pass. They, they had all these precautions and shit. All these precautions. And the armored truck hidden, people outside. It's time to move the suspects then. And they're just lining up a bunch of dudes, and they're just hanging. Bro, this is a fucking killing floor. Look at this shit. Is it? This is this is balloons, TD. This is this is a tower defense game. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Funniest thing he said. Yeah, the whole video, yeah. Nick, he's, Nick he didn't say his name right. He had to look to his right, and this guy's nodding his head. Dana, please. Okay, so you dumb motherfucker. Listen, when you are giving a press statement about the person who killed the person who killed the president. You want to be damn sure that the name that you say while making a public statement that's being broadcasted is the correct name. So he looked for confirmation that the name that he was saying is the correct name. Why, why, of, of, duh. Well. Like what? I, I, I don't know why he took issue with that exactly. Uh, it's, what if... He goes by the name of Jack Ruby. Yes, that, that sounds about right. That's all I have to say. Eh. Uh, Yeah. Did someone have so said words in their mouth three people while altering the written record? Three out of like okay, nine. So we'll... Then they should just ask Mr. Carr, who has eagle eye, in the fucking building here, out of steel, because this guy's got HD 4K of everybody's fucking accessories across the fucking board. Jigga Chad and... <laughs> Because in the other video, they talked about the guy with the machine gun on the ground firing more shots. They said that there was more than three shots in the other video where the, everybody was shooting and shit. It was machine gun on the ground, sideways, umbrella guy, back guy, MP5. I don't fucking know. There's, 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 there's a witness that is on the ground. He's next to a store. In the other, in the other store picked it up as well. The guy had a machine gun, and it was melee range of the motorcade. Can you stop on pausing for on one fucking, fucking second? <laughs> someone said that in chat. Too much. <laughs> Isn't it? It's wild. Like these these worlds. It's crazy. The video was nearly over. He's paused. Like wow, well, it's funny because if you'd be like, oh, 20 times, it's like yeah, in like what a two hour video, and each time there was a pause, it was maybe at most like 45 seconds of commentary. Totally mm -hmm. different. Paradigm, man. I'm telling you, he's not playing by this. Well, it's just, the I, I don't know. I think it speaks to something that is kind of the awkward elephant in the room when it comes to this subject is, dude, these people are here to see the video and extract everything that they can from that video here. <laughs> like, and none of that is going to be manifesting yeah, like, is there any... on that channel. Or maybe like a small portion. Is there of any that question here of like on. what's happening? It's like, it's, it's Lemino is entertaining his audience. That's what's happening. Yes, exactly. Which is cool, because <laughs> Lemon is great, but uh... Oh, just, you get all of the benefit of his work. <laughs> but yeah, but then it's like, you know, it's like XQC is the one that puts this on his channel. And it's like mm -hmm. the video, the word that gets passed around is cannibalized. Fucking on the ground. He was in a melee range with a machine gun. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. Motivations to choose from. Besides, what kind of clue... Fair enough, but that theory falls short when there's multiple parts that all are going the same direction. Sometimes <laughs> you can say one same doing direction, that, direction. Doing that, that, and they're both. <laughs> direction sounds like direction. Okay. Like it's, it's a fucking joke. Calm down. And across each I'm other. sick of this. I'm all, sick of it, damn it. I'm sick of direction. direction. That's another expense. story, though, and I have to give that some validity. That shot is insane, though. Uh... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the end of that thought. But what about the person who shot him? Did it? They, they didn't mention what they what, what they asked him. What was his motive? Why? Um, how did he even get there in the first place? What about that guy? Was he was rather famous for abandoning a secret service detail oh. and 
No, the Bobby. Because True. that is when... Oh, I mean, that's terrible, that's terrible security detailing right there. That's complete garbage. I don't even know what, what they didn't even allow that. That's just they dumb. They find themselves without the president that suddenly... Wasn't the point of the video that... Yes, yes. 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 The point of the video was that the Secret Service are like... The Secret Service struggled. They stressed the fuck out with JFK because he liked to talk and get close yeah, to people. Yeah, because he liked yeah. to do this. Oh yeah, because this is a broader point that was being made that like there were there were other opportunities for somebody to try and assassinate him that would have been mm, um, better, clearer, guess, straightforward as a task. Here, here's a question: Do you think when it was like you know getting close to white people, it was kind of a bit more okay? But then when he got close to a black person, there was like a slightly elevated stress increase because they were all racist at the time. I don't know, um, Chad. What do you think? Why, why did you? Why? Why? Why are you bringing that up? Well, I just want to know. You know. Everyone thinks racism is bad, right? Yeah, yeah probably. Well, uh, allegedly, yeah. Knife, <laughs> acid, poison. To shake acid, poison. Yeah. But, yeah, but how many witness testimonies did they get? Though we only got like three people, four people in this what? video. Didn't they? Uh, on the <laughs> what? We, we got a lot of people. The point of the video was that they got like dozens. Yeah, yeah then he had like all the graphs didn't to... make it into the video. And, and then the graphs that were about all of the people who thought what they, the direction of the, the sound of the shot as well. That was like a lot of, they talked to a lot of people and a lot of that was like covered in the video. And they, and this video included more than four people's direct commentary or question, you know, responses to questions. Where's this coming from? Chicken. When there was possibly hundreds, why didn't they just get everybody in and just, just inst instead, instead of doing it one to one precise uh, a testimony breakdown of one person, two, three, Fuck it, dude. Just go with, we'll just go with, with the average. The what? Like, like, just go with the <laughs> average report? Is he saying that just take the average testimony? I, I think he's saying, like, if you ask... That's probably what happened? Yeah, if you ask ten oh. people and they all, like, point to what? where the gun was fired, then you average it out. So you average it out to be in the space between where all of them point <laughs> to? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The sound. He's floating <laughs> over the streets, sir. Oh, my God. Even yeah, hundreds. So okay, sick. I'm dumb. I understand that this is opinionated. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like I like this this Lemino guy. I like his video. I can tell. Some <laughs> thoughts I have about the whole video. It seems a little opinionated in conclusion, but also in facts. I feel like some of those I've heard it differently in in other sources or whatever. But maybe I'm wrong. The fact the facts are given seems opinionated. I think he means biased. No, yeah. I understand his argument. I understand I, I his understand. argument. I get it. It's a, it's a bit, it's a bit like that. So, but uh, I I think it's a bit like this, right? Yeah, conclusion oh, wow. A, right. conclusion B, right? And a bunch of is things. Is that how he fucking like draws his bees? All hey, man. here and there and there. <laughs> down. And there and there and there. It's okay. He's transforming right now. <laughs> he is transforming. This is great. <laughs> it's much easier to go to yeah. B, right? Because because that's, that's, that's supposed to be what happened. That's how bees are drawn in in French Canada. Yeah. Right? Madness. I don't understand what the problem is. He drew a no, bee with mouse on MS Paint. It's fine. It's great. But he's saying, but people are like, oh, but dude, but what, what if it's this, and what if that, and what if this, and what if that? The the path. I feel like we're losing much a bit of clarity here. I think you know it's pretty clear. We got the red is the facts, and people are saying like B is most likely, and then other people are saying, but what if this and that and that and that that gives us A, and he's saying it's just too much of a reach. But so. Is he, is he, like, opining on philosophy right now? I like, it's just, like, I think he's just trying to discredit, like, the crazier theories, because they oh, require okay. too much of a reach. People are making that conclusion instead of just going, like, well, it could have just been that, because it's right next to it, right? It's how a lot of things are pointing out to it. I, I feel I, like I see a face what now I with B, you see? Like, it feels like he's deal. turning into a little critter. Is that no, the don't! No. It's hard to get there. There's, There's much more moving critter. parts. I should have saved it. Yeah. Everybody need to be coordinated, lie in the same direction, do all that shit. Which then it's like, well, that's much harder than just being what it is. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Very true. Remix. All right. Doodles. Oh, okay. So oh. no wrap up of anyway. That was Lemonos. Wow. Video. Was really You're right. YouTube. If you really, if you like this video, maybe like check out some of his other stuff and go to his Patreon. I think he yeah, links the video yeah. into his chat okay. and moves on. Okay, well, uh, that's that's better than Hassan, who immediately Nike. clicked off Jay's video. Well, pro, he, yeah, <laughs> Hassan actively prevents <laughs> people from promoting their own work, which is crazy. That's well, wild. Yeah. That's changed now, to be fair. Hassan has gotten better. Well, has he? yeah. <laughs> Actually, has he? yeah, you know what? You, you are correct that he's gotten better because he's gotten he better. actively yeah. said on the stream with uh, H3, which we can check out next, that uh, he's stopped leaving 
and leaving videos run, I believe. Okay, so that if we're moving not, on, uh, that's not actually true. Oh, that's, that's not true. Yeah. Well, well, well I just, on, I well, uh, I'm told. I, well, so I, so I guess it's probably worthwhile to clarify. I guess though, if, before we move on to something different, is it safe to say that the reactions to the other videos, um, the other prominent videos that have been part of this discussion, is similar to this? Uh, arguably, one of them I would say is worse. Maybe I can actually find. I mean, next you see. Yeah, he. Well, I mean, hang on, I'll show you. Uh, I just want to say one thing. Do it. XUC claims he got permission from some of the creators to actually upload the React. So I think I just don't want it to be that we're going after videos where like he's got permission because. Well, so this is just about whether or not they're transformative. Whether or not he gets permission for these, or pays creators, or gets licenses, that's uh, that would change a lot of um, whether or not it's valid to put it onto the uh, channel. I just think that like this this is considered transformative for some reason. Okay. But why? <laughs> like I just I well, wait, so <laughs> this the original video was an hour and thirty eight minutes, and XQC added fifteen minutes of content. Arguably. <laughs> well, okay, fifteen. Yeah, the the his video is fifteen minutes longer, and it's kind of interesting that um we kind of jumped ahead, but like your video that contained the sped up uh, hour and thirty eight. Uh, video at 16 times with his 15 minutes of ums and uhs and the occasional thoughts was only like what 24 minutes 21 minutes well it seems like on average yeah. there was an in interjection maybe every 10 minutes <laughs> see me right like, so just... i haven't sat down to figure out the maths but you know they i mean really I, just... I, I would think anyone being like neutral and unbiased would say that adding 15 minutes of you know commentary even if it was good commentary to an hour and 38 minute video is not enough but it seems just... like, again, that the fundamental divide in the discussion is that people do believe that that shared viewing experience is enough, even though, yeah. like, how much of that can you say stems from the creator themselves? Why would that be relevant as, like, an argument in terms of could you apply this to everything ever? As long as you have a chat, how how large does the chat or the community well, need to be in order for it to be transformative? transformative? Content about the is it transformative content about the content though, and not the viewing? Well, I guess experience somebody would probably content? argue. Right, yeah. I guess maybe the argument Legal, for the, yes. the pod would be like, yeah, but I mean, I can see the well, chat, so I can almost like vicariously live through the chat's reaction, even if it's you know months or years later. And it's like, I mean, it is an additional element that isn't present in the original, but is that sufficient? Is that enough? Is that good enough? No. I, I feel well, like well, I mean, I agree. the legal argument, you know, most react content yeah. might, may not I know you sound up in court. It's I'm not, not, I'm moral not argument, making right? the, yeah, I'm trying to focus more like, on Some people in my chat are being stupid. I just want to clarify. Right. I'm just trying <laughs> to focus on principles. So, well, feel, okay, like I understand a person who would like the experience of the chat. Like, I get that argument and it's fine. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's morally right. I just feel like a lot of people are saying, oh, because I like this thing. That makes it okay. It's like, well, I mean, no. People like to steal movies all, all the time. That doesn't make yeah. it okay. You know it's not okay to do that. Yeah. People like to watch children fight to the death, and we can't do that. Wow, you just stole my whole argument, Adam. You gotta pay me. <laughs> I only came here to watch that video, Mahler. Why are you... Ridiculous. You anyway, bring it up already. This, uh, this I split into... Uh, he, he's watching a video called The Cult in a Boarding School by Nexpo. Uh, it's pretty solid. I would fully recommend it, but it's a bit creepy. Interesting video. Um, yeah. like it's it's not a fun reality to find out about. In any case, he's watching it. I took out all of his commentary just to see how long it is with him not talking, and then sped it up. Small, tiny this video. Is, this is the end of it. The, um, the mood up. To get the mood. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. He comes back. He's coming back. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. 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 Good, good, good. good. Okay. Also long. All right. I just get terrified whenever I see just the chair. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I'm god. I'm 64. Wow. Times 64? Yeah. That's a lot, guys. That's a big number. <laughs> Every second that goes by is a minute. Yes. And so this is this is devoid of commentary. So you've cut out yeah, the commentary. Yeah, he he has some expressions, and I think I may have left in the times where he goes, <gasps> or oh, hmm. Okay, okay. Man, that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
64 times Whoa. 64. Every one of these seconds is a real life This minute. is uploaded. Like, I guess this is transformative. But the homeowner, he does no. do the thing. No! Oh, oh god. Uh... <laughs> I love how he turns the lights oh, then off. Again, it's just like, I'm not coming back anytime soon. Like, <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah. The walk away stuff is the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, so, okay, there you go. Happened there. Yeah. Well, I, I no. posted earlier in the uh, in the group chat, Mahler, that yeah, Hassan's still doing it because he did it yesterday to the uh, the New York protest. He just walked away. Well, from it. so but the, I think Frank's about is, to do I it. Believe yeah. Hassan, Hassan believes that like the the idea of transforming, you don't have to do this for like the news. So he believes that, like, you could watch CNN or Fox News Which, or whatever, and you don't have an obligation to transform it. I think there should be an allowance for some forms of content that you don't necessarily need to transform it if it's, like, a public sort of... Say, for example, sure. a disaster happened, and it's, like, you're playing the news report on it. So maybe one would yeah. say, like, he's excused because that looked like news. Like, all right. Ex exhibit D. If you could reasonably that, see it on in the that, lobby of any workplace you enter. Like the news. At is considered the most densely populated place that ever. Well, which one? What you are looking at. I saw this on Twitter. The most densely yeah, this is the place one that that's marked a lot of this as well. On an area of just 6.5 acres or four football fields, dozens of individual buildings yeah. have merged into one solid. Oh, man, you mean, don't do it. No. 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 He skips oh, out no, of the room. <laughs> Just oh no, it's like millions of dollars. No. Millions and millions of dollars, everybody. Millions of dollars. Oh, 64. Oh no. Don't tell me that the whole video completes and he's not here. Don't tell me that. I'd also allow that. No, but. Oh, he's back. Okay. As you oh, as you be back. aware, that was oh. what, like 20 minutes, half an hour? It would be between there because of the. It would be something big. Um, The rest of this is just the same kind of reaction he gave to the sure. whole. Uh, well, yeah, that's Lemino. that's the awkward part is in terms of how limited the reactions are when he's there. It's it's almost there's not much of a difference, is there? A lot of the time. <laughs> oh, you know, I guess the most that you could appeal to is small facial expressions. Yeah. Well, so, someone in your chat, Mahler, asked, like, what do you expect him to do? That's actually, a, you know, a fair. What do I expect him question. to do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that must be well, anything. A, anything would do. <laughs> so I have a solution for me. You know. uh my community picks out the best moments of streams. I compile them into a playlist and I play those while I'm AFK. Like, that's what you oh, do. Oh, aren't you so you virtuous, do mate? Else. Well done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good idea, though. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah. Or just, like, just leave and pause. So, yep. con consider all of your, like, you you are now an XQC reacts watcher. You've you've got all the context you need. That's what you've been getting. And then and then a Twitter fight breaks out. Here we go. Just a shame garbage like this fills the recommended tab. Who does YouTube pay the ad revenue to in a situation like that? I hope it's not XQC. Imagine being so small minded. <laughs> Who do you think they pay? <laughs> Do you think Dragon I care about sources. that revenue and it's computed into anything? I guess the name PFP explains it. I wonder what triggers people like- Wait, 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 wait. If he doesn't care, then why is he uploading it to YouTube? Uh, it's What's for the-, the he would argue yeah, it's obviously. for the content, for the fun, for the audience, for the- like, that it's- He really would want to argue to you that he's doing it because it's providing, like, good to the world. He can it's upload for the YouTube okay. folks. Wait, wait. As a YouTuber, yeah. you can upload, upload any video you want. Monetized. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. not monetize it. Yes. Or, or if someone copyrights, I should just let them have it because he would do that. Yeah. He said he would do that. He's got an editor he needs to pay. He's got an editor he needs to pay. So he's said that he oh. like the revenue he gets from this stuff is nothing compared to his other revenue streams, and so that's why he doesn't. As you just saw in the tweet, he said he doesn't care about it. Yeah, but the okay. but the problem is, it's not like okay. I'm getting he XQC get stuttered, uh, locked here. He wants to get personally, but in his view, he's got an editor that he needs to to pay the salary of, right? I don't know. That, I don't think I've ever heard him use that argument that that the editor is why he needs to monetize them. I think he would just okay. say like, "Fuck it, why wouldn't I monetize it? It's money where I can get money where I would otherwise no one gets money or whatever." Well, we should well, send if it he to the got a strike. Guy, you think he get? You think you fight it? You just let it. So no, yeah, he, no, he does make a point to say that it. any and all claims that come in, he doesn't fight. He lets them go. Like so. Well, no, no, wait, 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 wait. If he got a strike, 
would he fight it? Not. Oh, sorry. Like, um, yeah, sorry. I don't know right. if I've hit what he has to say about strikes. I don't think I've. Because if he got three strikes. Yeah. Which he yeah, could they... probably very easily get if someone wanted to, you know. People actually, yeah, gave a shit. Yeah, they just. Right. Did. Are you calling for brigading? Nope. I'm no. not calling for it. I'm saying theoretically. Okay. I'm saying no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. What just I'm saying is that questions. I think his opinion would be very different if he got a strike versus someone just wanted the money from it. Thank you so much. Revenue share. Audience split. Algorithm. I've heard this complaint a million times and most public figures try to attack it from multiple angles just to fall flat on their face. I'm watching a vid I like to my people. That's it. I'm a fan of the React's videos but I feel it's extremely unfair. The original video's provider needs to get a portion of the income from your React's videos. A 50-50 or more for him. They can claim the whole fucking thing and they do a lot of times. I swear you guys just make shit up for the hell of it. My stuff gets re-uploaded for the YouTube frogs that miss the stream. Get me contradictory analytics or facts. Anything else is ZZ. I know you're not the brightest, oh, but I didn't... Ex <laughs> what was that? Mahler, you can't get a Mahler robot voice? I don't fucking know how to do that. It sounds like oh, Chuck. AI now, they Mahler. Keep, Come on. They keep doing it for us. Our, I like the Chuck robot voice. Our... He's cool. Well, I was about to say, it's Mahler kind of unfair. One. It's kind of unfair to give the robot voice uh, to, to XQC's tweets because, like, we can really understand what he's saying. He types better than... very clear. Like he speaks, you know, I, I think. I think that's fair. And the okay. robot is just reading oh. it out? The robot. Expect you to be this intellectual. Wait, 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 wait. Forgetting the robot. Yeah, for what were you okay. going to say? So There's a massive part of this <laughs> argument that XQC is skipping over, which is that, yeah, you can make some argument that he doesn't care about, you know, when the video gets re-uploaded to YouTube because it's some, you know, minuscule part of whatever money he makes, right? But if the majority of money he makes is from Twitch and from the streaming of it, the That's idea is like... Right, and, and also subscribers. And okay, this is retarded. He can't, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, Chud. Hold on. Fucking Chud, 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 calm down. You don't know what I'm going to say. No, right. I will not calm down, okay. but I'll let you continue, okay. please. Wow, Thank tone you. police. I appreciate tone that policing. Okay. Wow. The whole the whole thing here is that he's saying, oh, it doesn't matter if I don't... He's like trying to make this argument that like, I'm not making money from this, it doesn't matter. But it does matter, because if he it didn't does. do... Yeah. If he didn't do this on his stream, if he just like, oh, I have to go AFK, or oh, I don't know what content to cover, I'm just going to sit here and, and play a video game or talk to you guys, he feels in his mind that that would cause a drop in viewership overall for him on his Twitch channel, and that would lead to him getting less money. So he does care. He is using this, this content to directly profit off it and grow his brand. And pretending otherwise is ridiculous. I think it's more that he probably just finds it easier to watch a video than play video games. But that being said, I think he still does play video games. Yeah, yeah, right? he still does. Um, yeah, but if, so. if this, yeah, but he's trying to like argue like this element of what he's doing isn't that important, and if it's not, then he wouldn't do it. I've got to be honest with you. SEC could go live taking a shit, and he probably still get a bunch of viewers. Like, well, then why doesn't he do it? Why doesn't he do that then? Like, <laughs> if that's if because so he wants to watch. Because he's just said it to you, hasn't he? For fuck's sake, he said he wants to. Watch well, he just wants to house. do it. He's like, I just want to do it, so I get yes, to do it. Is that simple. really the level of argumentation we have here? He just wants to do it. I would Correct. actually. I think I would chat on this one. He, he he wants to watch those videos, and so it's like I can watch them live. So it, it, you know, if we could monetize every element of our lives, I, I assume. Well, funnily enough, I wouldn't want to fucking <laughs> stream. My, I don't want to stream going to sh have a shit. But like, <laughs> what? Um, hey, even though mine are magnificent, I wouldn't want to stream them. Yeah, he was, I, I completely disagree with you based on what your argument was with uh, him last night. Well, so wait, he what? Seemed very minded. I disagree with Ch with Chud saying like, oh, we well, could just take a shit. Well, okay, wait, wait, case, wait, wait. So let's pretend he has ten actions he can take: going to have a shit, making right. food, going outside for a walk, watching a video, playing a game, uh, you know, etc. He picks the ones that'll have the highest engagement with the viewers. That's true. Exactly. Yeah, but there's yes. still things exactly. he wants to do anyway and finds fun. As long as they take all those boxes, that's, okay, but that's why he irrelevant. loves it. That, that doesn't matter. His argument. He's trying to make this argument like, oh, he's trying to dismiss and downplay the importance of him doing these actions. But as you said, he has all these different choices. He's choosing the one he thinks is going to get him the most engagement. I mean, yeah, no, I, I don't disagree with that. But I also think that he's doing it because he likes doing it. Okay. Isn't I mean, to me, that, to that makes his argument weaker, but... <laughs> Isn't uploading to YouTube also advertising for his Twitch stream? Isn't it like an advertising? So yeah. even if he doesn't make I mean, ad I, revenue I, off, the, I, off the videos, it's still advertising to get people to go sub to him on Twitch. I'm having a really quick look at his viewership. And, you know, just over the last week, it's kind of peaked, I think, 
it's a bit of a fucking wash, but you know, he's gotten decent viewership, about the same playing Counter Strike. On one day, he got mo- more viewership playing Overwatch. Same for another day. Um, mm-hmm. Just chatting at peaks, but I don't know if that's reacting or drama or whatever. So, you know, it's kind of a wash. I don't think that like him reacting to videos has given him significantly more viewers. Than no, 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 no. You're not understanding. You're not understanding. It's it's not a question of him watching a video versus him playing a video game. It's him watching a video versus doing nothing. Right, just sitting there. But like, why would he choose to do nothing? If you're going to just sit around in a chair and just watch someone else's video, or you're essentially just doing nothing. That's true, but he's entertained. He knows that his audience are more entertained. It, like, right, but that's what, right, but that's right, but that's my point. Like, if you, yeah, you could say he would make the same amount of viewership by doing something like playing a video game. It's like, okay, well then go do it. Um, well, because that's that the thing. Though, he he's sick, but he wants to watch a video with his stream. I don't, you know, and he doesn't. That's um, his mentality. He doesn't see like the video watching thing as that dissimilar from playing like Overwatch. He feels like the whole thing is it's it's all the community together doing right. stuff. He's so wrong. It's, yeah, that's true. But like, you it sounds like you're saying he recognizes that he could just have a shit and get the audience, but that he chooses to do the video ones because he knows the engagement will be higher, the entertainment will be higher. But like. That's as much as that's true. He wants to do it because he would wants to do that with people as well. He considers that all transformative too. He he yeah. might he might in his head just be like, listen, this video seems interesting to me, so I want to I want to uh, watch it. I don't know if you right? would have heard the debate, right? He said he doesn't believe anyone actually takes a moral issue with this that we're all virtue signaling. Yeah, I know which we're all okay. insecure uh, and yeah. He okay. I don't know if he honestly thinks that. Or if he's stupid, or if he's just saying it for the, the context of the debate, because he's trying to win a debate. Okay, I don't know where, because that, that's such a stupid opinion. Well, he's that's obviously he's a stupid person. See we're talking about. I mean, I yeah. don't know why he's trying to analyze <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Okay, well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Let's Let's see, you see, you agree with me as well. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, somebody well, in your, your well, chat well, just said you guys kind of are in reference to virtue signaling. What the is everyone just virtue signaling whenever they criticize people these days? No. Well, no, it's like sometimes yeah, you have real you criticisms see... and real morals. Yeah, it's so. It's hold on. I, I, I do have a question. Though. I do have a question about this. So, like, okay. let's say we take out the the material harm, right? Like the money lost, revenue lost, influence lost. If that's all out of the equation, if we could somehow guarantee that nothing would be lost from the creator, there's mm-hmm. still a bit of a moral question here. It's like, well, you didn't ask for my permission, right? You're still stealing it from me, even though there's, you're not actually stealing anything. You're, you didn't do it. You're, you're going over my head, basically. It feels right. like it's like it's disrespectful, right? Like that—that's what's going on here. It could be. I mean, it would be much less harm, but there's still a, a, an element to it. Sure. The problem is, it's difficult to prove harm in some of this stuff, and XUC relies on that in some of his arguments, right? Like, show me the analytics that prove harm. Um, and obviously, you can't prove that Lemono has been harmed by XUC uploading the videos to YouTube. It's just like we said earlier—an intuitive thing that you would think that, right? Um, well, well thankfully, not all morality is harm based. Well, w- Should I mean, you lefty? Would, would he okay? Appeal- <laughs> okay, sorry. I, would he appeal to any benefit that is going to be uh, flowing through to these creators? What is the argument that there's not harm that okay, people sorry, that right. new viewers are <laughs> actually just, watching? Well, no, no, I, I, I heard you, Frankie. I heard you, Frankie. It, it was something like well, I, I, I heard. I've heard some people say that, like, well, you're actually getting exposure from me watching this, and that, so you're Isn't getting a real benefit. I mean, yeah. that's also an appeal to a vague, difficult to ascertain kind of um, advantage, right? And how much yes. in particular would be another yes. one? You, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not even, I'm not even that interested in like the arguments that appeal to the vague, the you know, potential yeah. gain or loss, right? You want to try and hone in as much as possible on the principle, and the principle, yeah. I mean, you know, one of them in this case is. How much effort are you putting in? How much effort did the original person put in? And how much benefit are you extracting from that uh-huh. creation that they've made? You know, see, see, there are some people whose whose moral system is literally just harm based. So they only care about you know the the moral calculus of well, did did they take more than they give? And anything okay. other than that, any any like any yeah. consent conversations, any conversations about like friendship or loyalty, all of that goes out the window for those people. Okay, but then, I mean, you could always just, again, appeal to the notion that there is the potential for harm. But something that I think is worth emphasizing in this case is what is the downside risk for XQC, like, watching somebody else's video? If he decides to watch a video, like, surely the worst outcome is neutral, right? He doesn't really get anything from it, um, but he doesn't necessarily lose anything, whereas there's always, you know, upside, right, for gain of keeping people engaged with, like, very high-quality content that other people made. 
and then that funnels through in terms of viewership later, subs and donations like during the stream. What's what, the downside what is it? watching some what of these the videos argument? in this way? Other than what I is guess the argument that there is no harm. Because obviously, flag. look, people are gonna watch. The argument isn't there's the no on. harm, Adam. The argument that harm is hard to prove. <laughs> okay? Come on now. Yeah, keep it also not, yeah, look, keep up. If, if, if a thousand people are gonna watch a video. <laughs> And 500 of them are going to watch them through XQC, and 500 are going to watch them through the content creator. That's tangible harm. I don't like. But the 500 but watching through you... XQC may never have watched the video anyway. That's the point. So the, that's, the that's argument that it's not harmful yeah. is that those people were not, would never have been viewers of the video if it Which wasn't. I think it's highly XQC. unlikely. That's, that's it's highly unlikely. Made. Exactly. You said it yourself. <laughs> so obviously that he's harming people. Well, yeah, no, but. but, okay, he... but Sorry, to that in his favor in terms of the the highly unlikely i'm pretty sure that didn't he say that like he figured that nobody i can't remember what was what was it on the subject of tiktoks the other day when you were oh the to the, the creators that are getting cannibalized they were never going to kick off anyway so who cares yeah, that, those that's those kind of thousand people could be viewers at any time in the future but xqc has has taken that away from the content creator this is like shoplifting i mean it's I so fucking so, oh, 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 yeah, like i don't think that's true I don't think that's true, Adam, actually, because it there's is. definitely some, no, no, because there are some people who would never, ever, ever watch that video, but they only watch you XQC. You don't know that because they have, look, They're, that person okay. could live. Prove he's taking them away, Adam, right now. Do it. Prove it. So, so hold on. I can't, I can't tell wait, you. Wait, 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 Oh God, here we go. Wait, okay, okay. it is not, okay, stop, 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 stop. It's not upon yeah. Adam to prove this. It's upon the person doing the thing that's wrong yes. to prove it's not harmful, okay? What are you okay, talking okay. about? Okay. Let, let me put it this way, let me put it this way. Okay, okay. how would you prove no, a negative? No, Adam, no, prove you're not gay right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not proving you know, anything. You know, Divorce pick, Sitch right now. <laughs> look, pick, uh, look I'm, I'm happily married. I, like, I think that goes I'm a long happily way married. to proving that. I get it. <laughs> to, a, to a woman. I'm fighting so. on Adam. <laughs> I was anyway. about to say happily married to Sitch or... <laughs> <laughs> but but anyway, listen, I just want to make sure my argument is clear. Like if those thousand like that person that he's saying wouldn't have watched the video anyway, you don't that person could have watched the video in five years from now. That person yeah, could have watched the video two years from now. Here's like an he's argument literally taking would... away all possibility that that person I... could watch the video in the future. The future's a long fucking time. I don't know how old this okay, person here, is or here. what. Let me put it this way, Adam. Let me put it this way, okay? There's gonna be like we don't know who they are or how many there are, but there will be some of XQZ, XQC's audience. Why are only you conceding watch... that? Hold Why on, hold on. are you conceding that? Let me, let me finish it first. Let me finish it first. So there's okay, going to be I some of his audience the argument who, that you're who making, but you watch show me proof. Can you let him finish like the point <laughs> first? Okay, so so that's how... You know every... the point he's going to make. Come on, everyone's made this okay, point. Fine, fine, fine. The proof of it is that every single person here, every single person who has an audience, it's just like that sometimes. You know, like, like J-Mac is your big daddy, right? He watches you more than anyone else. If there's ever well, a conflict... He watches he, he watch... as much as he watches you. Uh, Look, I understand. No, he, yeah, he watches me too, I know, but like... Listen, listen. He's the worst yeah. example of what you're trying to prove. No, no, no. All, of course, audience overlap, but like if there's ever a, a scheduling conflict, he's in your chat room and not mine and not EFAPs. That's the point is that there's always some Based. viewers that are is just he? okay. Yes, well, thank yes. You. <laughs> well, we exactly <laughs> yeah. so, 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 the show. There, there are always some viewers who stick with their one guy, no matter what they're watching or what they're doing, and that's that. Now, we don't know who they are, but it's, it's just that's just how it is. That, that's the that is the content creation game. Is I that, still there are going to be some people that thousand percent because that person how? could. Because that person could stop watching XQC because they grow up and then stumble upon this video five years later and go, oh, I've never seen this. Let me, in, in, let Wait, me enjoy it. Is this a YouTuber really well, after five years, about... you're probably going to watch it again anyway. I mean, I've watched old videos. I've, I've Look, why are you things, making yeah. excuses for XQC here? I don't I'm understand. Not excuse. Like, I'm not making excuses. I'm, I'm, say, not I'm, making saying, excuse. okay. I'm saying statistically, this is likely. This is likely what's happening for some people, for some viewers. I yeah, just look. It's up to him. He this is why people prove. say Sitch and Adam he are not Adam and Sitch, prove. by the way. Just so you know, <laughs> he, he needs to one hundred percent prove that that person would have never in their entire lifetime ever watched this video without him. That is no, a he tall doesn't. order. He doesn't have to prove that. Why? Because we're talking you, you, about on, large groups second. of hold people and probabilities, not not no, like one hundred percent accuracy. You just made the argument. You just made the argument. That yeah. he does no harm because that person would have never watched that video if it wasn't for him. Never I, is no, a no, long I didn't, time. I didn't make that argument at all. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I said, let me, let, me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Okay, if I, if 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 
Let's say Dev. Let's use Dev here as an example. Okay. Okay. If Dev goes That's to the dollar awkward. meat store, <laughs> 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 and he and he steals yeah. and he steals a dollar's worth of pork hooves. Okay, to yeah. consume when he gets home, Fair right? And you catch him, and you say, Dev, you can't steal this dollar's worth of, of meat from the dollar meat store. And he says, well, wait a minute. If I had to pay meat. for this, yeah, if I had to pay for this, I never would have actually bought it. I'm only going to consume this meat by stealing it, right? Is that a good argument? Yeah, that's a horrible argument. I, mean, I feel I just, like we're feel comparing like this is tangible the theft to an um, abstract what, concept. Wait, what, the, is what the fuck theft. are you, it is? What are you talking about? Oh, well, no, no, Sitch, 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 I understand your point, you got but a now bunch of look, 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 on this look at the line, other, Sitch. I know, <laughs> hold on, bunch of excuses. Look, look at the, um, <laughs> there, there, th this excuse was used in like the 90s for mp3 downloading and what people yes, had to was, realize right, is that right. is that every single pirated copy of a song or a movie or whatever was not actually a lost sale because some people actually wouldn't obviously have wait wait stuff. yeah yes obviously every person that downloads a song or movie illegally would not have purchased it on its own number one okay but number two that's irrelevant because there is going to be people that do do that and then number three it actually does create a broader culture where there are a lot of people in general who say well if it's acceptable to do this behavior it's going to have wide reaching ramifications for the entire market where people yeah, say well you, i'm you not going to normalize gonna, it and yeah. it's, it's i'm going to yeah exactly you normalize it and they say i'm just going to go watch all this content Some, Some, with the movie that, comparison there's a lot of promotion. shoplifting no we're not normalizing shoplifting at all okay the difference with that is that with the movie example is there's a lot of marketing promotion that goes in that maybe people want to watch the movie the youtube video just randomly gets promoted dependent on what the algorithm feels like. That that to do with any, I don't understand what has to do with the argument. Yeah, well, why are you talking about piracy? Well, well, and here, here, I, I want to get wait, clear. It's the I'm same, actually wait. not on XUC's what? side here. I'm not. I'm no, just no, saying I understand. That I don't are. think, Look, I don't, I don't think the, the, the revenue harm argument is as right. strong as you think it no, is. It, it's no way. Wait, yes. It's true. Right. Yes, it's true <laughs> that there will be some percentage of people that will watch it on XQC and will not have watched it on their own. That's true. But to me, that's irrelevant for the shop of It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I just don't think we need to bring in the shoplifting thing. We just talk about the issue as it is without bringing No, in the because this is the problem. Why are you no, this sweating, is the Chad? Wait, why are you wait, so no, sweating this... over <laughs> Exactly. Because he's a, this is a exactly. Yeah. No. exactly. Exactly. This is the, wait, what this you is the problem. You guys do react content all the time. What the fuck are you on about? If I'm a thief, you're a thief. I know, okay? we're just we're just teasing you. I love you, Chad. Yes, okay. come we're on, just Chad. We're just friends. <laughs> Chad, you're Anyway. <laughs> no, so here's the problem because when we're talking about shoplifting, because it's a physical good. Everyone has been so conditioned to understand that it's wrong to do that. But when we're talking about this kind of non-physical good, like a movie or a YouTube video, people like suddenly like their brain shuts off and they're like, well, it's different. No, it's the same fucking thing. There's a reason it's called intellectual property. We're still talking yes. about property rights. That's why I got so yes. like fucking triggered when I was listening to you, Mahler, debate him last night. He kept saying he's a capitalist. He's not. He's literally arguing against property ownership and property rights. By yes. saying that it's, he gets to take uh, someone else's property and do whatever the fuck they, he wants with it. It, it is it is kind of God strange bless America. That, that it seems to be like the, <laughs> the, the notion that you've created something like a video or, a, you know, I guess more broadly a piece of art. The idea of like ownership of that, it's it, I don't know, it seems like uh, it's, it does seem like a lot of people are really resistant to the notion of ownership of uh, like. It's just because art. people are used to, it's because of the, and I, this can, actually came up in the debate that you guys were having last night, and I think it's really true. It comes down to the ease of use of stealing the material. Yes. Yes. Totally. Mm -hmm. Where we become so used to it, so used to logging on. I mean, what Chud said about the the sponsorship block things, and the, the like, yes. the sense of kind of entitlement Ad that block. Kind of comes yeah. along with that. Like, I understand right. that sentiment because we're so used to. I get on YouTube. That's all of the content I will ever need for the price of an internet. You know, just just if I if I pay for internet, I've got YouTube. I'm done. I'm set for life on okay. entertainment. I could spend so no the, money. Here's, here's, wait, no, I, I know why they're fucking shop with it. I figured it out. I figured it out in all your talking. Okay, <gasps> the store you. has paid a supplier to get that fucking beef hoof in. Okay, so that being stolen is depriving them is that of like that a investment Welsh that they've made or something. Yeah. Listen, shut up, shut up. Okay, listen, I'm talking. It's <laughs> a terrible argument. Dollar meat stores. This is a terrible argument. argument. Let him finish, whilst Sitch, I and then you can go. In principle, whilst yeah. I agree with principle, some of what you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. The creator that's putting the YouTube video up has not made that same level of investment, and there's no guarantee again that the person watching on XQC is going to go and watch the original video anyway. Well, that's okay. Okay. Let me let me tell you why that's a bad argument. Okay. Number one. If you're editing videos on YouTube, especially to the, the level that Lemonade is, he is paying editors. He is buying graphic design programs. He is 
drawing from years of experience in time. And this is the real Mm -hmm. thing. Time is money, okay? So for every hour that a a person is creating a YouTube video, that's an hour they could spend doing some other job getting that money. So no, you are stealing Um, from an investment from them. Here's a question on the shop list. If if somebody, if somebody, you know, could you always say, well, that person wouldn't have bought the chocolate bar if they weren't going to steal it? Wait, what? No, you know, that person wouldn't have bought the chocolate bar if they if they weren't gonna they'd only steal it. They wouldn't buy it. You could appeal to that. That that was the dollar meat pork hooves argument. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um Sitch, Sitch, so I actually have a question for you then. So so when I mentioned earlier my hypothetical, like let's just take the material harm out of the conversation. Right. Let's just Forget Why? about how and, and convenient. How just, convenient. Just for hypothetical sake, Adam. Okay. No, okay. let's say not. that like Why? let's let's <laughs> ignore. Well, you got to prove that before just we take it Just for the sake of argument, argument, let's just take that out. Is okay. with the dollars gained and loss, or the or yeah. the um the, you know, the re- revenues or new viewers, whatever. Let's just mm-hmm. ignore all that for a second. Is rewatching content still immoral? So I think most people, I would wager. Okay, and you know what I'm talking about, Dev, and Adam knows what I'm talking about, but I don't know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about when we start bringing up John Heidean moral foundations, okay? I yeah, think I most, I mean, yeah. yeah, I think most people, if you could, in a hypothetical scenario, remove all the money elements and, and uh, you know, all the things that you stipulated, I think most people wouldn't care overall, but there would still be a proportion, I think there'd be the minor- minority, but there'd still be a proportion of people that just still view it as, this is my property, you have to ask my permission. Yeah, but personally, right. I wouldn't the, care that's that the much. Consent, I don't have I, that attitude. Right? I mean, that yeah. is a really fundamental question, right? About well, I mean, it's kind of the nature of property, right? Is like you right. have a right to enforce the way that that property is dealt with by anybody, like in the world, basically. Yeah. I mean, you do if you believe in liberal capitalism, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, no, wait, so I, I think yeah. I think the thing is, we're all YouTubers here in one flavor or another. Okay, I think we all know what the curve looks like on a video when you first release it, right? You get a bunch Mm -hmm. of viewership initially, and then it tails off to a kind of flat line that gradually increases over time, right? We all know that. That's not all content, though. But generally, you would agree, right? Generally. Broadly speaking, that's the trend that you see, isn't it, Adam? (laughs) Yes or no? Yeah, for these throwaway YouTube videos, but not for, like, premium pieces Um, of content. Obviously, revenue streams can pop up all over the place in the future. That's the reason why they do it. Listen, in general, you get ninety percent of your views in the first week. Yes, even with lemonards. Thank you for talking. Was that a difficult YouTube video? Yes, but no, no, no. Premium pieces of content. You can obviously license them out in the future in other platforms. No, we're talking about viewership, which is what you claim is being stolen by the reactors. That's the main metric we're looking at discussing this. And conveniently for you, this is well, that's what you're saying. Is, not convenient though. for me. That's the whole point. You're claiming that someone is uploading a video and stealing videos <laughs> from the original video. So it's your fucking well, point. The thing well, I was if, if it's a premium very piece simple. of content that revenue streams can pop up in the future, but those revenue streams can't exist because that content has been all used up. Everyone's seen it, and obviously yeah. that's creating yeah. harm. That that's sort of the point that I I think because you're hinging your argument on once a person has watched a video they will most likely never watch it again. The tricky thing about that is that argument does kind of get nullified to the people that in, engage with media differently and when they like something they watch it a bunch of times. You know, so and I'm not saying that your argument is incorrect. Nor am I saying the argument that hey people get a favorite thing and then they rewatch it 20 times. I don't think either of those are incorrect. They just both happen. And they kind of cancel each other out as far as a, a, a as far as being a argument that could win the discussion, you know. It's, okay, yeah. so well, I think it's, it's, it's thing, up thing. to the content creator, obviously. So the content creator should be able to decide how their content is disseminated. So I, I just so I don't see any I, difference between this and the thing is, that. he's obviously not transforming the content in any meaningful I way. I don't disagree. And, that, and having this experience, this shared experience <laughs> thing, is not about transforming the content. It's about how you you consume the content. It's a completely different argument. Okay, let me put it to you this way. Let's look at the other end. If someone was to watch a video that was five years old, okay, and react to it on stream, do you think that would be stealing views from the original video? I mean, you could, you know, reignite interest in the content. Like, I mean, like Sitch has said, if someone wanted to react to our content, we would kind of do this cost benefit analysis on whether or not that would be good promotion 
versus lost revenue. But sooner or later, well, that, that your claim is that listen, look, look every claim is claim, let, let me finish. Just let me finish. Just, just let me finish, Chad. Just let me finish. Let me finish okay. the okay, argument. Go on, go on. Like when you do that cost benefit analysis. Every single creator should be able to do that cost benefit analysis themselves. It's not fair to say, listen, I fucking shoplifter should be able to do the cost benefit analysis on you, whether or not this is promotional for you, which is exactly what Hassan is doing. Hassan comes out and says, it's, it's Adam, more promotional yeah. for you than, a than money Adam. you would make. <laughs> Adam, so this is now a consent argument, not like the, the money of math, math of money argument. Because now it, 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 it relies on the consent of the it person. It is absolutely... Yeah. It is absolutely a consent argument, but that consent argument will obviously be made on this metric of whether or not it's more well, worthwhile for promotion. Well, the basic, or the basic is, point I'm making is really simple. The majority revenue. of a YouTuber's viewers is going to be within the first period of time, say a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. After yeah, that, yeah. any we reacts are unlikely. With we already dispense with that argument, Chad. Well, here, here. I'll, 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 I will reply to you directly. Because, Adam, you, because... You're make, look, you're making this assertion that doesn't exist for every single piece of content. Obviously, you can have, this is not true. I've had videos that have sat on my channel for six months and then gone viral out of the blue. Okay, Why do so they the go viral? Argument you're making Why do they go viral even, out of the blue? Usually an algorithm change, to be honest. Algorithm discovered it. So yeah. what you're saying isn't even factually correct. Okay, but also it could be that someone watches the video and then that also leads to not only a boost of viewership on that video, but also people coming to your channel and watching other videos too. Yeah. yeah but if so the why person, don't we see if that? The, if the person Well, makes, sometimes you do. You know, sometimes you do see that. Sometimes sometimes you don't. But what I haven't yeah. seen is proof that someone putting a React video up, right, has an observable, demonstrable negative impact on the video as an alternative. I've, yeah. I've not seen that evidence. So no, I, I have seen like positive impacts, right? So, for example, Chud, you've possible. watched my videos, and I've seen your viewers in my comments later on, right? Like, like but if five we want to look at videos later, we've you know, covered so this does, with the Hassan a, thing, and now with impact. XQC, these are the massive streamers, and they don't make the bump. But, well, yeah, not always. Clear, not I'm always. not. I'm not trying to justify. I, you know, obviously, I agree overall with what everyone is saying. The only point I'm making oh, is this argument. I like it. The only point I'm making is the <laughs> argument that it causes a demonstrable harm to the original video is not something I've seen good so evidence for. No, no, I don't think okay. that's consistent, Adam. I think yeah, it can. It's possible. I, I don't think it's consistent. It's hard to make that argument. Well, and I think right? a key argument yeah. is that the you people doing this don't and care and whether it does cause harm. You're still shooting at them. <laughs> but so, yeah, but yeah, I but remember, in your scenario, it Adam, it would mean that if they could either hit them, miss them, or it could provide them money. You know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> you shoot a gun and they just like a hundred dollars appear. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> it's just something I brought up to Destiny. I was like, though, do you, you think who is in the best? Look, Mahler, who is in the best position to do that cost benefit analysis? Is it the person stealing the content or the person creating? The well, so content? the point I'm trying to make is I said this to Destiny. It's like we talk about this that every time you do it, it can provide a benefit or a cost or neutral. But do you think these reactors like us on like XUC? Do you really think they're thinking about that? Like, they, oh, I hope this one benefits this person. They don't think about no. anything. No. They're, no, they're thinking no. about they their own think. bank accounts and how much, how rich they're getting. No, and, and of course, there's things you can do to make sure it'll benefit them. You can be like, look at this channel, go sub right now. Let's get them to blah blah blah. You know, stuff like that. Right. What, yeah. what if they did that on the back end? Like, what if YouTube had a thing where if you said, okay, we're now reacting to this channel. It instantly sent a a portion of the ad revenue to that person you were reacting to, and then that kind of acted mm -hmm. as a way to sort yeah, of yeah. That, that would be that would be a great solution. People people are saying that I'm switching between content, uh, uh, consent, and actual harm. I am sort of, but the reason is because the consent would obviously be dictated by harm. If somebody feels that someone is harming their how much money they're going to make with a video that's going to affect whether or not they consent if they feel like this is actually going to help my channel promotional wise and i'm going to benefit from it then they will consent right well, they're not going to know that i, I, don't, time, I don't know they? about that actually Adam, would be, I, mean, I, I wouldn't do it that way if, like, you if, could, if i if i lost viewers because somebody watched my my um my video i'd still be okay with that because somebody watched it I don't really care. Okay, what that's you. Look, You're look, a dirty yeah, you, <laughs> So <laughs> wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second here. You. So you are putting value on somebody watching it. So you're saying that would help you. That would benefit you. That would not be a harm. Other people okay. will have different metrics on how this harms them or helps them. I am saying that consent often is correlated 
with whether or not you think this is harmful or helpful to you, which is just logical, right? Well, mm-hmm. we, we've watched a video. We watched, was it, uh, who was it, the shoplifting video that you watched? It was... Um... And thought Slime? Oh, yes. I, no, it wasn't Thought Slime. He did stealing, one stealing content from anyone who well, uploads a video well, wait, wait, let me, let me just make in this favor of shoplifting is a moral good. Right. So, okay? no, no, I so want to be clear yeah, about that. We oh, watched God. a lot of these, <laughs> these shoplifting videos, and a lot of them make this kind of similar argument where they say, well, these big stores... They don't actually, they're not actually financially harmed by this little bit of shoplifting. And they make a million justifications, a million rationalizations to try to say that, well, the, these stores aren't really harmed by shoplifting. But that, but that's wrong. They and, are harmed. And, wait, wait, wait. And, okay. you know, they, they say like, oh, well, the stores should have to go prove that they're harmed by shoplifting. Yes. Right? And to they're me, the I same just, argument you're I, I think if you're the one doing the illegal action, you have to prove that it doesn't actually harm the person. I don't think the person you're stealing from has to prove that it's How can I prove that yes. something doesn't harm someone? I'm sorry, what did you say? How is it possible to prove a negative? It's nearly impossible. It's, yeah, you can, I mean, you know, is there a carrot in this box? No, you can so, You've got so to prove the positive point, which wait, is wait, that wait, harm wait, wait, is wait, being wait. caused. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait, wait, wait. There, okay. There's a difference between like trying to make a logical argument and sort of like a legal argument or even a moral argument towards like creating a harm towards someone, right? It's like, well, prove that if I didn't hit you, someone else wouldn't have hit you, right? It's like, well, I mean, what the fuck does that mean? Or prove if I didn't hit you, you wouldn't have been harmed anyway. Like, no, you're the one doing the wrong action. You're the one doing the illegal action. You have to prove. I don't care. It doesn't matter if it's a negative or not. You're the one that has to prove that what you're doing is acceptable. If we're talking about proof, if we're talking about proof, I remember seeing like, Mahler, what st- we kicked this off like a week ago now was a video on Destiny's channel, I think. And he showed some sort of a graph of somebody's video that got reacted to and how the average viewers before and after the reaction were pretty much the same. And I was like, well, if that's the case, you actually haven't lost anything. In fact, there was like a bump in the middle where, where there's a few more viewers came in from, from the reaction. But like, I think in a lot, especially if the videos that say older, like three or four weeks old, like past uh, being uploaded, mm-hmm. there's probably not much harm, actually. You, in... you don't know that, though. You don't know that because you don't know the future. Well, OK, but you're arguing that someone's going to react to it like, ye- you know, maybe watch it years later. The thing is, I think we could probably all agree on maybe we can move past this fucking autistic argument is that <laughs> if you react quit soon as the video comes out within like the course of a week, say, whatever you want that to be, then that does actually have more of a chance of causing harm. Um, than if you react to it after like a month, say. I think the the better solution would just be to have it that people can react to things right away because otherwise you get into this weird place where YouTube would be 10 days behind the rest of the news cycle and people would be talking about things that are already kind of not not current information on other platforms anymore. Unless but I was sufficiently transforming it, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you sufficiently transform right it, everything goes away and everyone, yeah. I think, totally. is generally cool. Yeah, yeah that's right? Yeah. Yeah. This is not a long verbal reaction. By transforming it. it. What, what so, hold say? on. If, if this only fucks over people who walk away from their chairs, I don't care anymore. Fuck them. <laughs> Good. They're shot. Well, and, and to, <laughs> to clarify, right? <laughs> yeah, going back to Jay's video, his big point was I just want you to fucking credit and direct people to the video if they enjoyed it. Remember, Hassan didn't allow like the uh, the pieces of information of the video to, to project, and he cut him off before he could promote his own video. If we did that, if we actually let them promote the videos, if we directed people to the channels, I don't think this would be anywhere near as big of a problem. It would be a I step agree. in the right direction. But... I agree. But like it people wouldn't, wouldn't be so, so angry. That's for sure. Yeah, people, it, it's seen as though you just chew up a bunch of people's content without even presenting who made it. It's like that's fucked yeah. up. That's a leech. That's what the, the Jack Storm talking about. Uh, whoever that sniper wolf. Yeah, Jack Storm's main <laughs> thing is please credit the fucking videos. Well, credit at the very least may well have the the benefit of someone being like, oh, I actually really like that. I might see what else they've made. You know, like it makes that easier and more more plausible of an outcome than or, if nobody knows where it came from. I honestly think the easier way is to just take it out of people's hands, do it on the back end, and even have a thing where it's like, hey, I reacted to your video last week. And here's you can choose which percentage you want to take, or say, "Nah, don't worry about it, man. That's your stream. There you go." Or well, you, 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 you can you can't do that. You, you can't you kind of do that with like the um with the, the content ID, right? You just say, "Well, this is my video," and you put it up, and then when someone well, like I, does a video of your video, you get you can like claim it. Like, well, you can, you can't do that. 
in a way that's more like if, it, if it's like everybody can claim all the time and it's like a door that you go through and the person whose content you're using is the one who makes the decision on it i think that that puts it in a place where it's less of a dick move than if you have to seek out yeah. the claiming process and be like yeah i'm hitting you for this money or if it's like hey i use your content for this 50 percent of my net revenue like so not youtube's cut just the net is yours if you want it or you could take all of the ad revenue if you want to be a dick or you could give it all to me if you want to be super nice mm -hmm. like, and I, I, I do ignore yeah. it and it does the 50 50. I, I, see that's that that just sounds like automated claims for everyone all the time and i don't think i like that, that well, no, no 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 i think i think what he's saying i think that will be the future will be that youtube and twitch will probably have to partner up whatever streaming services exist will have to partner up with each other and they'll have some system where when you upload a video or you could do it for all your videos you say oh if someone you know uses my video and they, or they want to use my video and they don't like properly transform it under the law you know i get to dictate you know how much of the money i get from the video it could be 100% yeah. it could be 9% yeah. whatever you want and so when the person goes to react to your video they have that option there to just say oh you know click or it just does it automatically and then they'd have to contest it otherwise you know, i do think that is going to be the future but until that is the future i do think it is on XQC and Hassan and people like that shoulders that if they're doing this kind of react content these if these millionaires Okay, if these multi-millionaires are doing this react content and they want to be in the moral right about this shit Fucking spend your money to hire someone to go calculate this shit and send these people the money Hold on station they might as well Sitch. just pay for the content, right? right? Sitch you're saying millionaires here with some spite. Are you suddenly a socialist? Are you going anti-capitalist on me? Here? No, I'm I'm spiteful that multi-millionaires are being, uh -huh. are being cheap but, motherfuckers when taking yes. content they're, from non-multi-millionaires. That's what I'm being spiteful about. They are okay. extracting surplus value from the proletariat. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, wow, no. Out of curiosity, uh, Chud, if we had data, let's just pretend for a second, the, uh, a video was getting 500 views per day, XQC reacts to it and uploads his vision, uh, video, vision, whatever. And then from then on, that video gets 450 views per day. Um, would you consider that evidence of harm? Um, yeah, I mean, there's other factors potentially, but I, I guess so, yeah. Because I, I was going to say you could even fight back at that. You have no idea what necessarily made that view count go down. You don't know that it yeah. wasn't a natural go down in, in any case. And if you did concede that that was harm, would you then be like, all right, enough, we've got to stop now. This is ridiculous. And actually, like, you know, push back. Yeah, I mean, heavily. the thing is, I don't, have a, I don't have a problem with saying that, like, these videos, it's like a, ungentlemanly, it's, uh, you know, it's, yeah. it's not particularly courteous and stuff like that. I don't think they should do it, just to be clear. I just don't the think... apex gentleman. I... <laughs> well, I'm British after all. Yes. Um, but uh, you know, I just think that this argument that there isn't an, an absolute harm caused is has not got um, much meat on the bone. And I think there's even something that was just shared there, where it's like, show me where the bump from XQC is. And correct, there's no bump from XQC, but there's no downward trend. The trend of the video My just guess. continues up. It would have done anyway would be that what he's pointing to is that an argument, and it's certainly one that Hassan has used, right, of like exposure, basically like, oh, well, no, but see, there is like, there's a, it's mutually beneficial, right? Because I get views and money and you get views and exposure. And I, I would say that a graph like that would probably more so point to like, whatever bump you get from this is small if if it exists at well all, you know? I, I think i think for small creators when done correctly it can be Explosive, more substantive yeah. like i'm still not yeah, put up so, some information so which was pretty conclusive that asan had helped the channel as much as loath as we all are to say that asan helped the channel out but let me ask you well, a question then. so there was an interesting part in Mahler's debate last night right i think it was you Mahler, or someone else brought up this concept of like okay xqc you're fine with people you know, reacting to your content or taking your content or whatever, supposedly. And he's fine taking other people's content. But what are content? you fine if someone, like, you know, whatever you're streaming, right? But <laughs> are you fine that. with someone copying your merch and then selling it themselves? And he had a huge problem with this. And he and we never really <laughs> could explain, like, what the philosophical or ideological difference is between those two I things. can explain it. I can explain well, it no, right but now. so not, do, do you think that there's a difference, Chud, between taking someone's content and and stealing their merch and selling it for yourself? Mm -hmm. You mean the merch is in the physical item or just the concept? Yeah, of like the if there's an XQC stuff, yeah. like mug or something that says XQC, someone else is going to, without his permission, reproduce that mug and sell it, or make it yeah. unique based on his logo or something, or something, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I guess what it would depend on is how is that new merch marketed? Is it merch? Is it marketed on like someone else's merch store collecting viewers where there's no proof they would have bought an XQC merch any, anyway? Wow. Or is it like... So I, wow. the impression I get, the impression that I get in terms of like why somebody would be upset about somebody selling merchandise that's based on their brand kind of stems back to sort of like the core, which is you should have some level of ownership over things that you have created, even if they right. are yes. like a yes. brand or an identity for yourself as a creator or, you know, less tangible than physical things that exist in space, like digital content. And sort of, it, you know, it ties back into, you know, people want to own the things that they create and that when you own something that you create, it seems like we all agree, right, generally, that you should have some right to say how that content is used with exceptions like criticism or parody, you know? Right. And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, of course. And, and I think well, in terms there's more of to the harm... that, There's more to it than that, because um, okay. just the profit margin on merch is so much higher. I think that's what it is. It's just going to be greed, I think. If XQC is, is complaining about, like, merch of him being sold not by him, it's going to be the fact that he's missing out on a lot more money than if someone just uploaded a video. There's a lot of money in merch. But then if the merch was, like, people that were never a merch... You know, there's no proof that they would have bought XUC's merch in the first place without the extra merch or existing. I don't really think XUC has got a leg to stand on. Like, well, if from we, his perspective, under right? his argument now. Well, if we use the example look, look, of if someone seem... makes a. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> okay, so if we use the example of <laughs> if I have a shirt with a little rags doggy on it and I sell it for $20 and someone else starts making their own merch and they said, nah, $10. They can't use the argument Ooh. of, well, they would have never bought a $20 shirt. So I didn't really yeah, rob yeah. them of a sale because they'll, they'll buy it at $10, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, so I actually I mean, did try to like, dig down well, with uh, XUC on this. He, at first, I think he said the markets would get confused. People don't know where, it, like, how to support him versus the others. And I said, okay, hypothetically, what if they did know? What if it was clear as day and that you have to clear a bunch of checks? Like, this will not support XQC. You're buying from a different blah, blah, blah before you buy it. And he's like, okay. And he moved into saying that uh, they wouldn't share, that he wouldn't be able to quality control it. As in, like, he said the term poison shirts at one point. So, like, the obviously the quality of them or the they could, you know, and he would theoretically be responsible. The dye said, will kill you if you wear it. And I said, theoretically <laughs> then, like, like hypothetically, what if they were perfect in nature? Like, no, there's nothing harmful about them, and you knew that for guarantee. And then he said that they wouldn't share his vision, that they would be created in a, in a nature that doesn't share his vision. I said, what if they did? And he said, not possible. I well, I mean, you know, saying, like, that's that's his property, right? it seems like each of those steps is all stemming from, again, a recognition that he owns the thing that he's created, which yeah, is that his he brand. should control yeah. derivative uh, some control development of, of his works. IP. Yeah, and he could be able to enforce the rights that he has over the things that he's created uh, uh, to the whole world, which is it's the basis of property. <laughs> like, it's a, yeah, it's a but the, the thing is, this is the you know, the argument of the cheaper items, what people buy. There's people that buy, you know, um, dodgy Rolexes that they would never buy a proper Rolex. Um, I don't know how strict Rolex are on controlling that, but like, you know, if there is a cheaper product that's inferior, um, but they never would buy a Rolex anyway, I mean, what skin is it off Rolex's well, nose if someone's buying a $20 I, Rolex so they can't afford a $10,000 one? I think the difference there is because Rolexes are very expensive and the cheap Rolexes are very cheap in comparison. It's not like a $10 shirt versus a $20 shirt. Look, I, I want to be clear that I'm only talking about um, content that isn't really transformative. Like, I really think what XQC does is not transformative in any way, shape, or form. So I obviously feel like... Not even with chat? Yeah, not even with chat, not even with the chair. I'm sorry. Like, not even with your stupid fucking commentary. Because it's it's just, like, it's so obvious he's just throwing that stuff in there to get around transformative content. I feel like what he's doing is a complete scam. Like, all, what we do, I, and, and ex, you too, Chud, like, I listen to your content quite often because I want your your feedback. I want I want to see how you... Oh, that's why I don't watch it. Oh. Yes, it was a lot of people don't oh, oh. like Chud's content because he thinks you know his reactions are stupid. But I kind of think he's I go a smart for the racism. Guy, so. Thank you, but, Thank but you, I appreciate so that. so I'm just I'm only I'm only differentiating. Have my here. racism appreciated. Not, yeah. All of us, all of us know, all of us know the content creators that make it difficult for us to to critique their work because we can't use those clips. Those clips get uh, copyright struck. All this shit. I don't like any of that stuff. I think that stuff is is hard on us who want to actually critique and talk about media and stuff like that so i mean i would be for lowering a lot of those barriers but i i do feel like this 
you know, fake transformative content is just, I mean, it's a menace. It's a total menace. Here's a, here's a, here's a question. I'm curious about what people think about it. Is there any mileage in exploring the concept of what exactly, how, how do you justify the existence of your very minimal sort of React content? What if everybody did it the same way you did? Would your model still be sustainable? Oh, Would it be hold possible? Hold on, hold on. Before Fringy's question, this is a good question. I have to go though. It's time. It's All time, right. time for what? Care, what could be more important? Than time. Things are just getting interesting. <laughs> I know. I know. No, I, I told Maul I could only do three hours today. You're gonna come back, before, Dev? Only before he invited me on, I was already scheduled to be on Archer's channel. I said I can do three hours. And I gotta go. I gotta go do three hours with him. All right, we'll okay, see you in an hour. Isn't thanks it? for stopping come back. in. Take care. <laughs> okay. So uh, thanks for having me. It was yeah. it was very enjoyable. I always love coming around. Oh, it's always fun. Tell um, people where they can yeah, find your channel. Home. Well, you all know me. I'm sure if I were to talk to you. However, I'm not going to plug my channel this time. This time I'm going to plug my, my new Twitter account. My 18th fucking Twitter account, okay? <laughs> Everyone go on to yeah, x.com. I think wait, you might wait, have a problem. <laughs> go to <laughs> sleepy underscore Devo. I'll post it in the chat. That is sleepy the Twitter Devo. account to follow. Sleepy what underscore is, What is Twitter? I, yeah, well, I got, oh, yeah. Sorry, x.com. So okay. x oh, I know about x.com. Yeah. I've heard of that. I've heard of that. That's the cool site. For cool <laughs> it's kids. got a lot of yeah. brand yeah. recognition. X. So uh, I, I recently got banned. I've come back as Sleepy Devo. So anybody who used to follow me, please consider following me you again. You always get banned. Including all like you guys, by the way. 20 of your accounts, Dev. What's going on? Why? Are yeah, keep following. My... Keep following. Hold on. Well, well, do you want to see <laughs> why I got banned this time? Do you want to see why I got banned this time? Why do you not love this game? Here. Uh, I played, I po I reposted this TikTok. I uploaded it. Yeah, I'll, I'll post it in the chat. I reposted this TikTok to my account and mm -hmm. it got mass flagged as violent, as like threats of violence. Did you, was so, it a repost or did you say something about it? I, I just reposted it. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, it's like a, just, just watch it. It's like 10 seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I don't yeah. want to have to I click on one. TikTok though. I'm against Look, this. that's uh, actually a good point. Is, is just on stream? <laughs> Andrew Miles, it's Andrew fine, fucking, it's fine. Ch oh wait, Andrew Miles, Andrew Chong, what's his name? Ian, 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 Ian Miles Chong. 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 No, no. <laughs> Andrew, where'd you get that from? No, no, the, the fucking Asian guy. Yeah, Andy, Andy, no. Andy no? And, no, no, Andy no. Andy, Andy, Ian Andy, Miles Andy, Chong. Chong. Ian Miles Chong, what? thank you. Okay, I was going to okay. say something racist, but anyway, he does this thing where he posts a TikTok video, okay, in full, so completely ripping off someone else's video, and just puts up like, look at this, this is cringe, mm -hmm. right? Like that is the same problem. Yeah, I, I agree. Yes, I think that's bad. Yeah, and and he gets like five million impressions on that shit. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's essentially yeah. what yeah. well, now that doing. you get paid on Twitter, people it's are even worse. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dev, by the way, this video, a hundred percent could get you flagged for for violence. <laughs> I don't know why you thought it wouldn't. It's really funny. <laughs> Come on, man. Violence it's like so okay, sometimes it's, funny. Okay, let me describe this to chat. Okay. There's a okay. person who's saying, congratulations, you bullied an LGBT kid until he hung himself to death. Here's his, here's your medal. And then it cuts to a kid unzipping a shirt and he's got like a hundred medals on it, right? I so remember that meme. Funny, I've seen it a couple funny, times. But it's, it's like, a funny yeah. meme. But it is, you know, you're basically saying, yeah, like, look at all the kids I killed or bullied into killing themselves. So obviously it's going to be flagged. High quality like, meme, but yeah. yeah. It funny, is, but, yeah. you know, you shouldn't funny, expect but, that. Yeah. But mean. Funny, but mean. Yeah, Yep. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you guys mean. later. Bye, Dad. Um, I'll, 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 I'll probably be back for your. Uh, it, wait, hold on, just in case I'm not. I probably will be. Just in case I'm not. Happy early anniversary. Yay! Oh, thank that's, you. That's, that's in a couple of weeks. I I should be around, but just in case I die or something, you know. This will be our our yeah. fifth anniversary, right? Yeah, or, man. Yeah. Wow. So what what is the five year anniversary gift? Because everyone. Has like, it, there's yep. like wood and you know the aluminum or something. Is it cheese? Uh oh, it's wood. The traditional fifth anniversary gift is wood. So everyone has to everyone give us everyone get your wood hey. out for yeah, Everyone we'll get your wood out. Hard -ons. Yeah. Get, get your right. wood ready uh, right. for the fifth. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have fun. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, was do we have was there anything else on that gone. topic? <laughs> We, do you we remember can... your question, Fringy? Uh, yeah, you yeah. asked the question. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it was, it, do you think that there's any mileage in making the argument that 
if everybody did content the way the XQC does it in terms of React content, that that is unsustainable if everybody did 100%. it. hundred percent. Because hey, nobody 100%, right. any, yeah. any new original material to be reacted to. Conversely, if everybody was making new original content, that's sustainable as like a way for everybody to conduct themselves, right? In terms of creating right. things, because there will always just be new things for people to watch. Right. Well, I think you can yeah. relate this to... What do you think the counter argument to that would be? Well, I mean, wouldn't it just be creating an infinite concept loop if everyone is just sat there reacting to each other's reacts and you'd have like a billion oh, fucking screens kind of, like going into the distance? Funny. This is like eating your own poo. You <laughs> could theoretically do it forever, but uh, no, I don't know I mean, if you I could. Think, but, uh... I think what Chad said is interesting. The notion that essentially reactions to reactions is like a self-sustaining loop. That's kind of a funny thought. It's like when you put a plug into its own, you know thing and it <laughs> loops energy right that's how it works isn't it? <laughs> no, no, there is no energy it's, mm -hmm. it's a it's a funny thought but i guess it's more so like kind of it's kind of like categorical imperative right could everybody conduct themselves in that manner of just you know m very minimal reactions well, what can would... the model only exist as so long as there are people who are actually creating the fully original content or the transformative content for these channels to react to and if so does that have any how much sway does that have on whether it's ethical or not? That's that's mm -hmm. kind of what I'm curious about. We would just create a graveyard of channels who are reacting stuff and no one's watching them. Because all the viewers, the thing they seem to congregate for are the communities that surround them more so necessarily than the streamer sometimes. And so you'd have like a huge top heavy set. And, you know, if XQC, God forbid, something horrible happened and the whole channel stopped entirely, all of those viewers, I believe, would disperse into the next one who's next highest with the next biggest community. At least a of lot of them would. Or they, yeah. I mean, by oh, his no, admission, I, it's super popular. I mean, he said he was replaceable, right? So, like, those viewers... That's, I think what he meant by replaceable was that... And that he's on top because he's the best right now, I guess. argued against the notion, like, that you can't prove necessarily that viewership that funnels through into this would uh, go elsewhere, including to the original content. It's like, well, I mean, you know, if you think you're replaceable, right, then, like, to some extent, the viewership would evaporate. There'd be some people who wouldn't watch as much or they wouldn't watch at all. But, I mean, most people are just going to find something else to watch, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the thing is with, like, React content is past a certain point, it gets insufferable. Like, if you're watching to someone who reacting to react to react to, you know, and it's, like, three layers deep of reacting, it can get a bit difficult to react to it. I think there's like an equilibrium where like, you know, a, a good level of reacting and discussion can promote each other in like a cyclical movement, a cyclical, like cyclical movement, right? And um, oh, go for it. I was going to say like, you know, I've spoken to creators before and it's like, well, how do you feel about real oh, content? And it's like, well, you know, I kind of rely on it because I need people to watch stuff to talk about it to create this kind of loop, as long as it is a react and not just a non-verbal watching it, right? So that, that's what I would appeal to is the notion that if you are transforming it you are essentially creating something new even yeah, though it sure. is reliant on the existing thing so for instance i would say if you do a hyper transformative movie review sure your movie review can't necessarily exist without that specific creation but you have put in a lot of the work to create something that is new in a way that is substantive even if we can't necessarily pinpoint where the line is that it, it you know goes over from uh non-transformative to transformative um I, I think that there's a healthy equilibrium there. I'm not sure that I see as much of a healthy equilibrium with the kind of way that XQC or Hassan does it. And it seems to me that, you know, if everybody did it that way, if everybody did that, that, would, that wouldn't work. And so yeah. it's worth considering if the trend that this is setting disincentivizes people from doing the kind of work that Lemino or uh, that Neo, which was one of the other channels, the, the one that did the Cold Wound Wall City one, like, if this ecosystem incentivizes people to do the kind of React content that's being successful, that's pretty minimal work for mm -hmm. a massive amount of gain away they're, from doing the original creative work, you know? They're, they're curating, uh, like, a video stream. I don't see much difference than, from what they're doing than, like, a television station who licenses content and puts it on their, on their channel. I just, I, I think that they're doing the React stuff just to kind of get around the legality of what they're doing. It does seem like almost sometimes people do the reaction and transformative elements, if at all, begrudgingly. Mm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, they're not, what, they're well, not trying to make something. Well, XUC kept apologizing for pausing, it. essentially. Yeah. yeah. Well, and Fringy I think made a point. You go ahead. Well, I think that Fringy's argument is a really good argument, especially in terms of when we're talking about, like, 
you know, what is, can you exactly prove the harm that's caused to Lemina or someone else if another large streamer, you know, watches their whole thing and you can bring up all the graphs and you say, look, we don't know, see where the drop off is and we can't prove, therefore we can't prove the harm, so it's okay. But, you know, as Fringy's wait, laying out, that's if, not the argument. If, the argument well, wait, 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 hold okay. on, let me, let me, hold on. I'm saying is that sorry. if we allow this, even if, theoretically, I was to grant that, XQC watching that video would cause zero financial harm directly to Lemino by no one that's watched, you know, no one that would have watched from XQC would have watched the original video. Okay, even if I were to grant that, if we allow that behavior, we are basically incentivizing and normalizing that everyone is going to yeah. do this because it's, it's so very easy to do. And it's it so is going to sap... Right. But this is a slippery slope argument. Why is this not happening? Well, wait, wait, wait. Why is it? Well, well. So well, so wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I was go literally going to end it. my argument with that. It is go happening. It. Okay. It is happening. It's just not happening in this space because it's not got to that point. But it happens in a lot of other spaces. Like there's this thing. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called pornography. And like how many people <laughs> just wildly that. steal <laughs> like the amount of pornography that's just stolen. Every day, these poor porn stars, Chud, okay, who get fucked just for your enjoyment, and they don't Yo, get fucked from it. That yeah, that yeah, Mrs. This is any of that Latifah they get who does twice. it twice. I do like that. Yeah, gangbang. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. wait, what, what, what do wait? What do you mean? Do you mean like, like get oh, fucked like by the, the porn star, and then they get fucked by you when you steal their content? Well, no, I'm not stealing. I don't listen. I'm not watching any porn right this second. Okay, <laughs> sure, just to be clear. Sure, <laughs> right this second, I'm not. But what, what, okay, you mean what it's on, on Pornhub, or do you mean these dodgy sites that steal any of these sites? Content? There's like, a, like the amount of porn that's stolen is like, I, I don't know if anyone's ever calculated. I'm sure it's an astronomical. But wait, but wait, but, but, but wait, hmm. there's no argument for transformation there whatsoever because you're, you're literally just ripping the video. Wait, we're not talking about, we're not talking about transformation. We're just talking about just these harm aspect of transformation. Yeah, we're just talking about the harm aspect of like, you know, is XQC, even when he's not doing this transformative stuff which i would not count what but, we yeah, watch if a porn star's content is getting okay. stolen and put in somewhere else they would instantly dmca that that happens all the time any fans women are constantly dmca these websites because... then why wait then why is there so much of it there's I, so they much can't, they can't there's so much they can't all stop there. all of it happening it's going to continue to happen um, it's like okay so but that's my my point is that if you if we say it's okay for xqc or these other streamers to do these like minimal reacts or whatever and everyone says it's fine that's just that behavior is going to increase Obviously, because number one, they can make money off of it. It's fucking easy to do. And people are obviously going to do something that's easy and they're going well, to make money off If it gets to it. a certain point, maybe creators need to do more to DMCA if they're not happy, for one thing. I but agree. Also, on, the, I agree. on the other end of it, then streamers should also do more to reach out to people and get these agreements. And as I say, okay. it's not perfect, yeah. but XQC has done this in some instances. Okay. okay. Well, well I said that would well. be a hey, good name no. for a porn react channel. I just want to let you know. Because <laughs> um, I would say the slippery slope. <laughs> nice. Uh, the, the the when it comes to I assume with porn and kind of everything else, it depends on much effort and resources you put into taking down everyone who's copying over or uh, stealing um, the content, right? And a lot of mm -hmm. people don't want to deal with any of that. They just want to make their shit and put it up. Of course. And a lot of the, I mean, all the effort that is put into trying to protect your property is effort that cannot go into making new property. Exactly. True. And why should you, as a property creator, why should you have to spend so much time and energy defending this thing that you've created? Yeah, when you just steal someone else's. Exactly. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Okay, but that is part of being a creator is managing your IP. And this is something porn stars have to do. I believe Amaranth spends, I think she's got a dedicated person that files DMCA requests against yeah. websites, right? So yeah. this is just part of being a content creator. And that's why if you feel your IP is being infringed upon, you know, you should take steps to protect it, even if it's going to be unpopular, even if it takes time. That's just the nature I, of the beast. I, I'm with you. I do agree, I agree we should encourage it. However, we have already, it feels like it's part of the argument there that we've conceded then that yes, they are ready to be DMCA'd because they are doing something wrong. Yeah, and that's and that is what I believe created the circumstances in the market that allowed OnlyFans to make quite as much money as it has because... A while back, Pornhub and all the major porn sites, I believe, were basically given really solid implications that they might be hosting a lot of non-consensual porn, revenge porn. Uh, I guess, wait, are we allowed to say even the word? Uh, uh, you know, adult <laughs> yes, material that is not, not legally obtained and produced. And as a result, they had to make the circumstance by which you can upload porn to Pornhub very much more complicated requiring like an id check and things like that which then made it so that all the freebooted porn that was on Pornhub 
just got taken down in like a day. And then it wasn't long after that, that OnlyFans became a giant market. So I guess what happened right. in porn is the answer became, all oh, right, the whole economy is just people directly paying the, the content creator and that's right. it. Well, and even even with OnlyFans, I I think there's el other elements too, where it's like, you know, people, you know, they're paying to interact with these, you know, porn people, right? Which you can't get from a porn site, so they have to literally add Great. some extra really? element How, to the is service. Is that true? How do you know about that? We had a whole conversation <laughs> you know on our that? channel when we were talking about whether it was okay, okay whether you're a cuck or not for uh, having your girlfriend do OnlyFans, but um, so <laughs> so we they have to literally you, add an you extra. Were a cuck, by the way, yeah, there you go. But so oh, there's okay. there's a whole, they have to add a whole extra element just to basically get people to you know get their pay for the service that they're creating themselves. All righty, so should we carry on? Anyway, We're excitement about. I'm watching a vid I like to my people. That's it. I'm a fan of the reacts videos, but I feel it's extremely unfair. The original videos provider needs to get a portion of the income from your reacts videos. A 50-50 or more for him. They can claim the whole fucking thing and they do a lot of times. I swear you guys just make shit up for the hell of it. My stuff gets re-uploaded for the YouTube frogs that miss the stream. Get me contradictory analytics or facts. Anything else is ZZ. I know you're not the brightest, but I didn't expect you to be this intellectually dishonest. Nothing inherently is triggering when you view live content on a different platform. It's when you re-upload the content to the same platform and have it copy the same metadata to further cannibalize. I get it depends on the creator whose content you're freebooting, but in your own words just now you claim that you were just sharing a video with your fans with no intention to critique or transform it for fair use purposes. We demonized individuals like Jinx back in 2017. In large we do so as well today. This type of content is even frowned upon by YouTube in large or any web page as repetitive and duplicate content. YouTube will often change its algorithm to fight algorithm abusive content like this, e.g., reply era, initial reactions in 2017 era. I know you've watched The Dark Knight and animes like Hunter x Hunter. Why not re-upload those Which, as well? You know, you on that one, I <laughs> think we all know the reason why is because getting into a fight with Water Brothers or Paramount yeah, is lose. Not only is it an automatic it. loss, it's it's something that could be much worse. And it's and precedent it's setting. Fine. This is like changes the yeah yeah. It changes the website, and then you'll well, be the face of. Remember the guy who got this all started? Wait, who? You mean Jinx? Well, I mean, it, if you are, you don't want to be the face of the lawsuit that began. Right. Essentially you don't want to be the of face of the ad the example. Right? You don't want to be right. Yeah. Yes. Because really, you got to imagine it's only a matter of time until somebody notices. What the fuck? Everybody's watching MasterChef on Twitch, like you know, yeah. before Fox decides that they want to. Yeah, like, it's like you know, wait, do Master Chef, about it. I own MasterChef. But you but, can't. I mean, do this, that. Is a, nice. this is a good point that's being brought up here. Is you know, there's a reason why nobody's re-uploading full watch-throughs of films or television shows. Because you know you're wanting... wrong. Well, I, I, yeah, pretty much. I mean, they just, know. You know Right. But you don't want to deal with getting, you know, an individual YouTuber versus a multinational corporation, you know? Like, it's, well, it's yeah, pretty they, straightforward, isn't it? They know if they upload a movie, they're probably not going to get away with it. But if they do it with a YouTube video, yeah. chances are they're not going to get pushed back. It's like, I can There's, get away with yeah, this. From he, this, I was, this. I mean, we've said this already, but this obviously backs up the point. The reason that there are movie people is because they protect that IP viciously, right? So you know right. that you can't fuck with them. Right. Um and again, it just backs the argument up that if Jessamine genuinely is a problem, they've got to viciously protect their IP. You also realize claiming content isn't a task any creator can just do. It requires access to elevated content management systems only the larger studios and media groups That's have. a fair Educate point. And it, it sort of speaks to the nature of who, who who is the onus on, or should we cultivate a culture where we respect people's creations? And uh, the... Yeah, and, and the their rights that they have, the rights the that they have relating to I, their creations. I, I obviously agree about the courtesy thing, but obviously we've got crimes against, we've got crime against, you know, laws against rape for a reason. It's because people can't behave themselves, right? So, and so we've got to enforce got to, them, is what you're saying. 
Yeah, exactly. So I obviously agree, but unfortunately, people take the piss, don't they? Hmm. Damn, I knew you liked using big words so that people would give your takes more importance <laughs> but filling your unfounded criticism full of Those personal attacks words. and using anecdotal, oh, anecdotal. evidence That's to prove the context. NT is oh cannibalistic by Bro, nature. I get it now, it's all for show. You have no substance. Oh I guess it makes sense that you are oh. upset everyone is reacting to actual good content instead oh, of whatever you post. God. Little brother you know, I used... Got tired. Uh. <laughs> after after hearing XQC talking with like Mahler, this is like him. This is his response. Yep. It's like it's all you. Oh, you're just doing this. Oh, you just do. You're just insecure. It's like that. That's just him. That's the level of thought that he has. He runs to that's um, as high as his brain can go. He goes to motivation, like like uh, ulterior motives, quickly. Like Instantly. you can you can ask him just a couple of questions to try and figure out his position. Then he's immediately like, "What are you trying to fucking do? Like, look at yeah. you trying to." Oh, you're and so it's insecure. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Excuse the 2017 you content sucks. Breaking Zomp. down the inner workings of your mind, you just couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. Twice and tried to cash in his win early. This might get you Twitter drone likes, but you know how this works internally. You have the stats to back it up. You didn't use any because you know how it will show the exact opposite of the phenomenon. Okay, also, so I so he is making the affirmative claim then that the the opposite is the case in terms He's of the benefit that. Being yielded he has said he has lots of evidence to prove that this is strictly beneficial, but that he's not going to bring it out until someone tries it. Is say, successfully proves the opposite. <laughs> that's um, interesting. I mean, that's fascinating, isn't it? Okay. Well, but Your Honor, I will not guy. prove that my what, client be, is not guilty. What's to be guilty. done with that then? It means he can always. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, he well, said he wants that to happen so that he can dunk on them like hardcore as liars, basically. Sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. Uh, bizarre. Right. Talk to most of the YouTubers I take big content pieces from to react to. Maybe send a doof internet a call and compare numbers on uploads. React. I'm on the defense, so I'll let you pull some stats up. After all, I'm the dumb one, right? Until then, keep molding, yeah. little brother. We both know <laughs> why you posted that tweet yeah. in the first place. Insecurity is a fucking bitch, oh. isn't it? Bites oh when you God. least expect it and makes oh. you look weak. All it makes wow, you look weak. weak. Also, You're don't weak. make a money argument type. I'm probably the one that cares the least about residual YouTube drev. It comprises of maybe 1% of my total income. I do it to please my community. You know this already. Well, of course, the obvious follow-up being, if it's, only, if it's such a little, tiny, tiny little piece of your total revenue, you should be very eager and willing to give it out to the people. And he it, said right? to me that as soon as they request it, he'll pay as much as 10 times what he makes on that particular stream at the time. It, re it reminds me of, um, you know, you know how I'm sure everybody's had this situation where someone's like, do that. And then, and then, you know, you say like, oh, I don't want to. It's like, oh, come on. It's not that hard. It's like, well, then you do it. If it's not that hard, you do it. It feels like it's a similar kind of, uh, mm -hmm. argument. If it's so small, then well, why, why run ads at all? You know, just right. don't do it. Even, but, even though not running ads doesn't eliminate any potential harm that's still, yeah. you know, incurred for the original creator anyway. Even if you don't make money off of it, it can still harm them from lost views, potentially. Mm -hmm. If his anyway. argument is that him watching these videos is part of this community effort, okay, and that's kind of like the draw for him overall, then him saying that he's doing it to please his community, like, that's what his brand is. That's a major part of his brand. So even if it's... he gets low ad revenue from the specific video, him doing something to please his community is what keeps him making money overall. Yeah, it's just not as it's it's just not as clear a through line of just specifically it got this many right. views, so here's the number. Yeah, it's right. it's a bit a little bit more abstract. It's just abstract enough to be ambiguous enough to be something that we can just sort and of you can refer to. Behind. Yeah, yeah. You can here, rely on here, it. here, here. Yeah, he's anyway. the one who's you know claim the proof. If anything, it's kind of it's kind of uh it's kind of clever as a uh, as a as a line of a line of argument. <laughs> You just keep pretending you don't. Now write another essay to farm some impressions. Maybe you generate oh enough Twitter God. rev to shut the fuck up the next time you wake up. <laughs> it's been funny about this robot voice saying that. Up and feel it like is. a weak ass soy boy. No one oh brought up God. Soy boy. Soy boy. 
I look, oh, now he's right. back, molding and seething and coping. As an example, except for your insecure ass LMAO, we talked oh. about impressions on the platform being cannibalized. Did your team reach out to mine when you reacted to some of my content as well? Seems not so you can't be using the fact you communicated to one creator as an example. I just want to say, and this is something that XCC's done that's really frustrating is, and this, if viewers do this as well, when I've covered this and criticized XCC is, they'll go, oh, but he's done it in this case. And it's like, well, what does that matter if he's doing bad elsewhere? You know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 totally. great, but what does that matter if he's not content to others? Impressions are cannibalized as they tend to take up finite space in the recommendations engine that will consistently show the streamer over the original piece as the account matures. You can watch a Dark Viper Hour or recently a Jax Films on the subject. This platform is expanding on that that point that is just brought up about impressions because I don't know if we talked about so this it is part much. of the problem. And uh, next week, we're hoping to talk to Dark Viper about a lot of this because we focus okay. on the transformative element. Uh, he's apparently got a, a, a lot of background in the impression side of things. And he talks about like the finite market, the finite people, the finite views, finite impressions. Um, I, I forget her name, but uh, someone came on the debate Ali. stream to talk about that as well. It's um. Gina? I, Ziana? Ziana, yeah, right. I think that was it. Gianna. Um so you know, it, it uh we can we can go over that next week, but obviously our primary okay. concern is just transform the fucker and you're fine. You're in the clear. You can do whatever you want. Yep. Just transform it. Important Ow. to me for the rest of the friends I have on it. So yeah, I get a bit passionate on the subject. Stop deflecting and saying this is for impressions farming on Twitter. My account makes plenty of impressions without this topic oh, anyway. Watch time from oh, impressions. Look, ratioed. Ratios everywhere. <laughs> equals ads equals money. He tried it. Bro tried to pretend he makes uploads out of the kindness of his heart. <laughs> Get yo ass to bed, bro. You look <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. Get your ass to bed, bro. <laughs> bed, bro. <laughs> Stupid. What is the point you're responding to? We're talking about cannibalizing impressions. We know impressions lead to ad return. So you are essentially saying you care about impressions and not about the money it comes with. Gotcha. I'm this out of arguments idiot. on this one. You it is are actually God. interesting. You are like, God. <laughs> what an so idiot. <laughs> Multi-millionaire. <laughs> I'm saying oh, impressions God. lead to a long-term organic channel growth that gets cannibalized when it has to compete with itself as reaction content flooding the algorithms. Obviously, everyone kind of does this more some monetary. Expanding on the the very existence of reaction content of somebody's original creation as competitive content that that yeah. in and of itself is a huge disadvantage. Um, of course, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and the reaction to that is, well, we're also promoting their video by having that reaction content makes people aware of it, and so it balances out. But of course, that's kind of what the discussion is over. Is it balancing out? And do well, you even know? Exactly. And my, I, I feel like the end of the discussion is the fact that these creators don't care if it balances out. They don't, make, they don't ensure it balances out. They don't ensure that something good happens. They just do it and move on. Well, yeah, yep. basically. And if there's a bad outcome, it's like, eh, oh, well, well yeah, hopefully whatever. nothing bad comes when, of when, it. You know, like it's not... When it's, Hassan uh, it's uses, kind of interesting because oh, go for it. When Hassan uses all of Jay's video and then moves on and is told that that was a fucked up thing to do, he'll be like, "Whatever." The channel got a bump, and then everyone shared that screenshot Jay made. You see, huge bump, and it was like 150 That's views. That's right. Yeah, it was a trap. He unsuspectingly I, laid a trap. I think, uh, something I find fascinating about it is it does seem to uh, get people stumped for some reason. The notion of like. Well, what am I supposed to do if I've already watched it and I haven't reacted hard enough? It's like, well, you fucked up. That's it. You fucked up. Uh, <laughs> and now you gotta try to fix the problem. Send like, it, I find it fascinating, the idea of us like, oh, well, I screwed up. Uh oh, or like, oh, well, well, yeah, I guess I didn't react hard enough. Anyway, moving on. It's like, well, no, I mean, you could try to actually, like, get more eyes on that original creator if right, you I'll do, do it after the fact. Anything. Well, do it better. Yeah, you obviously try and do it better before. But, like, you can try to fix the problem that stems from that. I agree. I agree. Well. Benefit. <laughs> but what's more important in the. I agree, brew. I agree, brew, yeah. <laughs> Long term is the growth of channels, which does appear to be hampered with this influx of reactive content. That's all. Reacting to good content. You know, I, I was curious, right? If it's okay that it doesn't do any harm and it stays completely neutral, right? So what if it stayed neutral forever? What if it was always neutral? 
all of the videos that are reacted to never get a bump from it. They're never hurt from it, but they never get a bump wow. from it. So they completely stay the same while the reactors grow and grow and grow and well, grow. Well, that's the thing. You, they'd probably say like, well, yeah, it's, it's great because they're not harmed and I make money. So when we <laughs> <laughs> See, it's no harm. It's like, yeah, even though their content is being spread essentially to way more people, they're just carrying on the same. And it didn't hurt well, like them. It didn't hurt them, but it did, it's kind of the reason why it is so important to try and draw it back to the fundamental principle of if somebody creates something, do they own it? Yes or no. And if they own it, what rights yeah, do they it, have as a consequence? Yeah. This is a bit Sorry. of a wild comparison, but let's say there was a Martian or maybe someone a different galaxy. He, alien comes over here. He's like a scroll. He turns into a normal person. He's like, mm. and, he, and he, he's like, oh, I see this artist, uh, you know, whoever. I'm going to photocopy their work or take pictures that are really good and then sell it back in my home galaxy. I'm going to make a <laughs> shit ton of money, become a super famous star. But it doesn't matter, though, because they can't sell it in my galaxy, or at least they're not going to. So it doesn't really change much in terms of the markets. But you know for a fact, if all those aliens were enjoying that artwork, and then they found out he was taking photos of a different person's work, they'd be like, holy fuck. That, like, yeah, ruins exactly. the entire aspect. There's no work or effort in this. You're just stealing all of it. And he's like, yeah, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Liar. Nobody's harmed. Nobody's harmed. We're, and we're both making money. That's good. True. Obviously, aliens are. I mean, yeah, uh, the thing is, is like, yeah, obviously, you know, you don't have to just say someone shouldn't do something because it causes harm. You can make a, a moral or ethical argument beyond that, right? But some people will. XUC's position is clearly is you can't show I'm causing harm, so it's fine for me to do this. Yeah. Whereas I think we'd all agree that, like, well, there's another aspect to it that isn't as tangible as to why you like a sense of unfairness or a sense of well, uh, you it's know. you know deontological versus consequentialism, right? Um, and it seems like it's... Is it? Uh, I don't know much about this Stop using shit. big words, okay? Well, it's just, if, you, if you're focusing on the outcome and the impact that it has on the creator, it's like, that's a, that's a worthwhile thing to focus on and it's certainly part of the conversation. But again, I think it's also worthwhile to have, like, some fundamental principles about, you know, whether or not people own the things that they create, what that entitles them to, the nature of what it means to transform... Because, you know, you could say it's like, well, what, what, is, what is the point of fair use as a concept... Um, and it seems to me that, like, the, the point of that is we believe that there are essentially exemptions to the general total control that a creator has over the way that their work is used or duplicated or distributed that we believe has some utility that we think is valuable, right? So criticism has a utility that is valuable enough that it should be protected or yeah. educational purposes in, like, a school that these are, we basically agree... Yeah, this has some value, so this should be a thing that exists. Like, a lot of that is a conversation you can have without necessarily talking about whether or not, you know, this kind of React content is giving them a bump or causing them to lose viewers or it's just staying the same way. You know what I mean? Like, you jump mm -hmm. back and forth, but it seems like people get really tangled up in the, in it all. Well, yeah, but then the reason is, is because this is actually his position. If you can't show me harm, I'm not going to stop. And you could explain all that to him. And I just don't think he's going to give two shits I don't think about all this I don't, that's, that's fine, but I mean, you could always try to convince people in his audience or the, in the general, you know, if enough people, mm. if enough people were causing a stink about it, like it, it well, yeah, know, Hassan it is already starting to change and talk about it exactly. differently. Exactly, that's right. Yeah, he's that's true. That on true. It he might continue to steal was... forever, but you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> Um, also, this this tweet, by the way, was a fucking bagger because XQC said, you know, I make I make the good content or compared to whatever you post, but then he's like, you've reacted to me. <laughs> oh <my laughs> god. Look at that! I look at that ratio. Oh my god, got him. Ratio, bro. Stun Instead of whatever, whatever you post, LMAO, bro. I deal with two hundred <laughs> things per day. A quick no, Google don't. search will get you there. How many I sent you three words. the average words. person do in a day? I, I don't know. If 200. you broke it down into the most <laughs> micro tasks possible, uh, uh, I'm thinking like three, three like million tasks probably. Well, I'm I'm curious now. Now it's made me think because you could, I guess you could, you know, like if you're sitting at the computer like doing work for eight hours a day, that could be one task, or it could be like a thousand tasks every time. Two hundred. E press is tasks a task. per day. Yeah, well, press, yeah. I don't know if I'd go that far. I feel like we can subdivide it a little bit more. It's just uh, two hundred things in a day. I, I heard it's like, is that a lot? <laughs> like, actually, I'm wondering I if that's a know. lot if you think about it. I woke up <laughs> to what looked like an extract of the fucking Bible. I closed my phone <laughs> and drank a root beer. It's not that serious. <laughs>
won't read for two minutes, but will watch someone else's work for 90 minutes. Incredible. Oh, got him. Here it comes. One oh, gives a headache, nice. the other one cures it and prints paper. This is a no-brainer, ah, literally. Ah, I feel like that was oh, okay. a bit of a mistake. I don't think he should yes, have said that. Uh, yes. Get it out loud. Freudian is sitting there going, hmm, interesting. Why did you say that? Because <laughs> it's a funny meme. No, Super I mean him, of course. Like, why did he say that? Because now everyone's oh, just gonna be like, say, Prince uh, yeah. Paper, you say. XQC, actually, I'm a thief and proud. Good one, buddy. Some of the <laughs> people Robin going Robin after Hood. me for the smallest things think they can get away with it because I'm under fire from every angle. Just remind yourself that you tried it when it's your turn to face the music. I'm done holding what? back. It hasn't given me any peace. I don't yeah, know what this refers a, to exactly. A, a, a <laughs> like, grammar there. There was some uh, other I drama that he was in. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, was so it? This could be. Yeah, there was some other thing. Does anyone in chat know? Maybe about his divorce shit that's going on. Sure. Oh, damn. I thought this was about I, the I react stuff. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'll be wrong. corrected if I'm wrong. Okay, well let's let's try and break some of the some of the people going after me for the smallest things saying they can get away with it because I'm under fire from every angle. Is he like speaking to the idea of like you couldn't hack it, getting this much flack? He, he's Maybe. trying to he's trying to say like, "I oh, woe is me. I'm such a victim." Oh no, you know, I I'm think so he's saying, unfairly I think he's saying persecuted he's, uh, when you are unfairly I think the point persecuted. He's like, you will I'm, face the music too. I think he's saying like, "I can hack it," and you can't. So, but at the I same think, time, I think, I'm I think incredibly... this is about some housing drama yeah, he... who's involved in with someone called Poke. Poke, Poke, Pokey Lol? Is that the guy or something like that? Fuck, I can't. So I just don't want you to say, oh, yeah, this is because of the React stuff, and that it's not, and then, you know. Yeah, no, that's fair. I could be um, for some other stuff, too. Well, yeah. especially because when he says under fire from every angle, he might mean I'm currently under fire for React stuff. I'm also under fire for something else. Yes. And I'm also under yeah, fire yeah, for that. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. accumulation of things, the, right? The implication I'm getting is that he's saying that there's some people taking shots at him because they feel safe to do so while everything's going on. And that, yes, when, it time, when time comes for them to have to face this kind of scenario, um, just remind yourself that you tried it, I guess is what it is. So he's saying, like, you did it to me, so when you have it done to yourself, remember you that. You steal shit. Well, well, my thing, right? yeah. XQC is Jesus, okay? No, he's oh, the whore. God. He's like, listen, <laughs> he without sin cast the first stone against XQC, all right? Obviously, you know, millionaire streamers like to put a dramatic spin on their life, of course, right? Yeah, so yeah. there's definitely ridiculous. an element of that. Well, what when you said I'm ridiculous? done holding back, it's like, uh -oh. It is ridiculous. Wait a second, Sitch. Have you ever been in the fire before? Has Sitch? Have you been in a, a fire before? <laughs> in, a fire. in a fire before. <laughs> a been fight? under fire. Physical, no, physical no, fight? Like violence, okay. An internet no, fight? No, no. I've been in physical fights, yes. I was just in physical school fight. for fighting, okay. yeah. What's the I'll most internet fight. fire you've come under, Sitch, is what he's asking, I think. Oh, internet fire? Yeah, yeah. Um, not really. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, okay. what? What's the most internet fire you've come under? <laughs> not really. Uh, not really. Like, you, there must Fair be something yeah, where, not really. where, you know, there's I mean, been what, a lot what, of fucking shit going on. You're like, oh, man. I don't know. People yell at me on, on Twitter. I yell back. I don't, like, what? I don't know what you're asking me. Well, the most into trouble Eve have ever got at him was saying that women can't have opinions. Yeah. yeah, that's us. We I don't know off the top of that head what was the most controversial thing I said that got people angry at me. Okay. And I, I don't want to pry into your, your private life. Yeah, probably the Jews thing, right? Your opinion on the Jews? My, yeah, you know what? That's true. My opinion based. that um, that Jews are based. And, no, no, no. Uh, the, yeah, other, the other one. The other one. Uh, what's, the, what's the other one? Austrian Rags? Austrian politician, perhaps. Dot, dot, I don't dot. know. This just it doesn't sound quite like it. <laughs> okay. Is it true that uh, a Jew controls your channel, Sitch? <laughs> Um, well, my name does come first in the show. I so knew it. People would say that Adam, I do control wish? the channel. Adam, you gotta, Sitch, you gotta Sitch, overthrow. Sitch claims he's part of the JQ. That's sometimes a that problem. That is true. So. That is true. Yeah. Do you have a he seat on the He always the talks ADL? about the secret meeting on Wednesday to trigger our chat, which, I mean, it does trigger the chat. So. I think it triggers you more whenever I talk about the secret Jew meeting. Well, just because obviously. Of secret Jew <laughs> meeting. <laughs> yes. So we plan all the... the SJM. Uh, we plan how to, to get yeah. Kanye and, you know, all that stuff. There are people that believe that shit, Sitch. I'm just I know, obviously I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> Secret G in a very long conversation on a Nick Ricada stream about those people. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, huh. any, any, no sorry, I, want to to say, I want to defend XQC a bit more, okay? Just very Do quickly. It. All I'm no, trying to say, ahead, for it. Yeah. all yeah. I'm trying to say is like, this seems like, you know, melodramatic and I totally get that. I think though that like, he does genuinely have some personal shit with his divorce and stuff like that. So it probably does feel I don't, he's, um, he's like pushing out. Right. Divorced, I, I don't mind someone rich? Oh, okay. tweeting this that much. No. What happened was he wasn't even married to his ex for officially. She's trying to claim um uh, legal, you know, the legal cohabitation marriage. So she's going to split fifty percent of his relationship. Stuff. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, so like, like I, said, I don't. Is, I don't mind this tweet. I think well, this is mostly okay. This is just XQC him. He's lashing out a bit because he's under a lot of fire. That's pretty normal. Right? It's just a confusingly yeah. worded tweet. Yeah, it's we're just figuring out exactly what he meant. I think we got it. I'm done okay. holding back. Wait, wait. It hasn't given me any. Let's be clear for a second. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Someone can be rich and they can have someone dying in their life. They could be going through a divorce. They could have True. like a real problem. And you, yeah. And you don't, you don't get to say like, oh, well, you're rich. So I don't have to feel bad for you. That's not what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. The problem okay. is, and he could have real things that are real problems going on in his life. The problem is that when he, if, if he used to associate that and use that as a shield to That's try to huge. deflect from this, the reaction shit where he's clearly in the wrong, to me, that's bullshit. But is he doing that? That's, what, that's how I interpret yeah. this tweet. I, okay. In, in, I, believe... I, I just don't think there's enough meat on the bone to say that. I can understand what where you're is, coming from. What does from, he mean but... when he says people are going after me for the smallest things? Think they can get away with it because I'm under fire from every angle. One of the angles he's talking about is the React angle, I assume is React is included in that, yeah. Right. I, I don't sure. know if, there, if there's anything about Quebec law that makes this any different, but I leave, if you live with someone for a year and a half, you're effectively treated as married by the government. Mm. Oh, it's in Texas. There's there's a whole case about it, but oh, no, it's no. looking yeah. It's it's there's so much drama. Henry Resilient is a great channel if you want to know about divorce drama between millionaire streamers. Okay. Oh yes, absolutely. I do. That's what I. That's what I <laughs> live and breathe. <laughs> I gotta know. Yes, that's my bread and butter. Hey man, Please. I sent through. I sat through a two-hour video on Kendall Jenner yesterday because it was interesting. <laughs> oh, good. I guess. Right. I'm glad it was interesting. Yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> you guys, Galatea, she's been on Such an Adam's channel. Um, she made a really good video on nepotism and children and how they sometimes have skewed concepts of what their privilege was and what things they were set up for versus what they earned on their own. But I never would have thought I'd sit through a two and a half hour video that the first words in the title are Kendall Jenner. But hey, if you make Is a that good you know, neat. That's Authentic Observer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That does sound interesting, yeah. Peace. I mean, Hi, at YouTube Come on and with at Team YouTube. There's been a lot of talk about React content and re-upload of YouTubers' content. It would be useful to have a tag or icon show up with an optional timer on videos that creators can enable if they don't want their videos reacted to. Thoughts? Thoughts? Totally unnecessary over-engineered solution yeah. when you could just react. Like, that's... I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> just transform the shit and we don't have to have yes. this conversation. And if Any you can't transform it, don't react to it. Avoid yeah, asking the, the for permission. Is, or... The problem is everyone would check the box. You could use it as long as it's transformative or for critique. And then we'd be in the same place yeah, as you're we right. are now because they'd be pretending that they were doing transformative critique. So it would change absolutely nothing. Or choosing videos you can actively engage with through criticism or commentary. I realize this is X or Twitter. No one cares about finding you think solutions. Anybody's gonna call Pe it X. I don't know. I hope not. I hope um, not yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a new generation in the future that like grows up with it potentially. Yeah. But I don't know. Well, because uh, well, I guess it's not even remotely analogous. Because wasn't it the Facebook for a while, and then it got called Facebook? I think it quickly got like... changed to Facebook, though, didn't it? I know. I, yeah, I, like I call it, it the really YouTube. So well, <laughs> the YouTube's. I saw Elon Musk uh, tweeted out like a new X logo that's got the Twitter bird in it. So I'm. Oh, right, that was one really? that I saw in the replies. Wow. I saw because yeah, uh, he he tweeted out the new X logo, and then someone just made the Twitter bird, but it kind of looked like the shape of an X. That still doesn't solve the problem because. No, 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 no I'm wondering. Not... I'm wondering if it's a sign he's going to change the name back or do something else. Well, so what he I on X is already has like something. An obsession with X is like a letter. Like he really, really likes the letter X, right? And that's that's where this comes from. Twitter X, like SpaceX. Yeah. Well, just call it Twitter. That's what I would say. Maybe uh, make the premium Twitter. service Twitter X or something, but like just call it Twitter. The year I'm... is twenty XX. Twitter X is the largest no. platform. <laughs>
Fucking people go to him to video get upset. And... Service. So, they, like, he's he's been apparently trying to make it into a video hosting service that can compete with YouTube and Kick and whatnot. Man, and but like, I don't know. Can you compete with YouTube at this point? <laughs> like, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I think that that when I heard that, I think it made a bit more sense to me that he wanted it to not be called Twitter anymore. If his whole deal was like, yeah, it's not just a place where you microblog; it's also a video platform, you know. But I okay, think well, maybe he's playing some 4D chess or something, and it's it's gonna all make sense in the end. That's I mean, I think he still kept it named Twitter and done all that though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't disagree. It just that made it make a bit more sense to me. I'd be like, oh, okay, I guess I can see. <laughs> wanting to not have people be like no i don't use twitter screw twitter twitter sucks i was like no no, no my video is on twitter like why don't you put it on youtube it's like, you don't get it it's better it would be i could see that argument happening yeah yeah sure maybe bring up problems with no hope of a better outcomes taking this post down i'll keep going pure yoink on everyone's content good luck oh, geez. probably not a good thing to tweet either <laughs> probably not <laughs> Look, man, people gave you plenty of ideas in the last couple Look, days. Man, One, <laughs> offer a transformative reaction. Yay. Two, consider Yay. editing down the dead air to the points where you actually provide meaningful commentary and upload that to YouTube. It just suggestions. seems you want to free so boot and not get backlash. I don't have any hate for you, and I don't think many people do. Hey. Just be respectful of the laws and creator ecosystem. Also stop making the lawyer's job easy by just stating you have no intention of fair use and you'll <laughs> yoink everyone's content. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's probably... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, snitching. He said what? Oh, boy. It's like, well, the whole print paper thing, too. It's like, why did, why? Why are you doing that? Stop. It makes it look real bad. And when you make it look real bad. Printing paper, like, it means that you're not working for it. You just, like, generate money. Pretty much. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it, it, he said he doesn't care about the revenue, but then he also said that he prefers to do it because it prints paper. So it's like, oh. I mean, he mm. makes money. All right. Arguably, we're on to the main event now. Okay. <laughs> this wasn't the main event? <laughs> no, this is all prep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is great. I watched oh, this wow. Right. This, is okay. oh, oh, oh. this is great. Rock flashbacks. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, you've been in some <laughs> question. Before. Sorry, question before we start. Yeah. How yeah. anti Semitic can I be in this segment? Uh, three. <laughs> you get uh, three. Okay. So out of, wait, 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 wait. Three out of wait, five. Why are you asking me? Okay, what are you talking about? Why would he ask you, Sitch? Sitch? God. We have a I'm member of the Jews. Wait, mean? does I'm Chud... I'm a member of the Jews. Does Chud know yeah. what uh, Brooks asked you, Sitch? On... Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> you don't him. remember it? Tell him. Remi yeah, I do it. Are you white or are you Jewish? Is that <laughs> he said, which, which one are you first? Line? Which one are you yeah, first? The, the famous which one, last yeah, words? Right. Yeah. I don't remember my answer to that question. I don't remember your answer to that question. Well, if someone was to ask it to you now, what would like, your answer be? If you're asking that question, <laughs> just <hate> reconsider <laughs> your, what you've done in life. Huh. It's basically, are you racist? Or are you racist? <laughs> I guess, well, the, I, I mean, that was funny because the whole conversation was like, you know, how do you, how do you say you don't know what a white nationalist is when you're talking to overt white nationalist? And his, his argument was, well, I didn't know what it meant. I thought it was a white person who was a comma nationalist. <laughs> but then he asked me the, are you white or are you Jewish? I'm like, well, wait a minute. So you do know what's happening here. Is, oh, that was nuts. And, uh, I'm a dog nationalist. Have you spoken to him problem. since, Adam? He messaged me recently, and he said he's not on... I asked him what he was doing, and he said he's not making content anymore. So, Oh, oh good. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it is funny. He, I was he about was to say, I'd be... Foundly... He's uh, profoundly stupid. He may be one of the dumbest people ever I've seen. Well, he was like, well, ex, Chud, well, he's, he was like a punching bag practice for anti-SJW like, um, channels growing up, right? Or oh, anti-anti-SJW channels. Hello? <laughs> I think stupid people should be allowed to make videos on the internet. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. All this our, thing, all I'm, I'm, I'm jobs, the opposite to Rex. I, I want more from him. Stupid people making content no, no, on the it's, internet. No, I, I do. I I'm would not. like to, you know, it's a little joke, but I would like him to make more content because it's hilarious because he's profoundly retarded and that's that's just a very amusing thing. He you said know, don't that... Uh, rags. Don't kill the golden goose, okay? I would never do that. I want him to continue to do what gooses do. Eat grass and do it. poop. And uh, make content goose. for us to review. Yeah, gooses. Yeah. Like if you goose, have a, more goose. than one. Yeah, gooses. 
Yeah. I don't, Obvi I don't like know who's correct about that. It's like geese's, geese's idiot. Or, or nooses. On the looses. I, it's a gruggle of geese's. Of that, yeah, I a gruggle of, of gooses. I had with Brooks was your was your guy's fault. Yeah, I know. Because he called I had, me a known leftist. Yeah, we called us no, known it, leftists. Well, no, because it was like I had met Brooks in person. And we, you know, seemed like a totally fine, nice guy. And I didn't have any issue with him. I didn't really watch his content. And then you're like, oh, Sitch, you want to come on EFAP? I'm like, yeah, sure. And I come on, you're like, we're watching one of, you know, his videos. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is a little awkward, but okay. But it was so then, bad. It, it was a really terrible video. And then while we're watching it, I think he was like really like, oh my God, how is Sitch attacking me on <laughs> <laughs> so this is all oh, your fault. You you started this. It's your fault for associating with known leftist rags. Like, yeah, right. right. We all know rags is a known leftist. <laughs> True. Well, that Since the beginning, I'm oh. I'm the I'm the Anna Kasparian, but like the reverse, right? Mm -hmm. I'm secret. <laughs> I'm secretly, you know, turning into a leftist here. Dang. True. I, no. I, well, not really. As a matter of fact, I, I for the first time in my life. Uh, I am not like the beacon, the vector of hatred for all things Twitch streaming. It's it's now ex it's okay. We can include you. Do you see? So yeah, congratulations. Also, you kind of deserve it. So. Yeah, a little bit. True. Thank you, Apple. XQC for. Fi I decided to try and intercut it, and then I gave up, and just we look at XQC's POV for the whole thing, pretty much. <laughs> Finally, being a oh, guy that like people that? yell at. No, no, I'm at. <laughs> I had that. When they yeah, think of like to make oh, it Twitch funny. streamers fucking suck, they think oh, of like oh, the Twitch streamers fucking suck. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear on song as much as you want to. Oh, you? Because this is my friend. Okay, these days, okay, uh, okay. Listen, he he is right. He's right. Hassan always gets more hate than anybody else um, because he has politics. People don't agree with his politics broadly. If it could... I think there is viability to that, but he also earns it in other dimensions, not just politically. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. Hassan is is an all-purpose idiot, you know? It, it's it's great. Choose a target on who they're going to hear about a certain topic. They always choose him. This time they chose me. Well, to be totally honest... Wait, wait, wait. So I haven't watched a lot of XQC's content, but when I was listening to your guys' conversation last night, I thought he was trying to, like, crap on leftists. Like, I thought that was part of his brand. It's like, I I'm, don't... I'm anti -woke. I have no idea. Why XQC? Okay, I'm just confused how he could be, like, friends with yeah. his own. Tell us, Chad, what's his politics? Oh, he's more of like a, a sort of center-left, more lib guy, I guess, roughly, you would say. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, obviously, he's friends with Hassan because they're big streamers, and big streamers are able to put, you know, their issues aside to work alongside each other. Sometimes. Sometimes. Also, well, unless it's content does and he, money. Does he actively try to keep politics out of his videos, or does he watch politics videos? He watches politics, but he tends to have kind of you know, down the middle takes that aren't too okay. upsetting to anyone, uh, roughly, I would say. Okay. Um, it's only when he gets involved in drama that he get, is, is provocative because he might have a controversial take, like, you know, about the gambling stuff, for example. That could be quite provoking for people. Honestly, you think women are adult um, I don't female. like XQC. I think he <laughs> sucks. I'm just, I don't care anymore. Wait, this guy, this guy in the back is pulling my VODs up. Oh my... This guy's pulling my vo- I can hear in the back- Like X- Which streamers fucking suck. Well, to be totally honest with you, dude, um- The production guy is a trying to- he's I don't like vods. XQC, he's, I think he sucks. He's doing research just, in the background. I don't care anymore. I mean, he's definitely- and He's definitely an total interesting and... figure. Oh, I, I, I will try my best to highlight the Hassad- All commentary here, but like, it's fucking hilarious that Hassad just, uh, in response to Ethan saying like, I hate him, he's a piece of shit. He's like, he's interesting. <laughs> He's interesting. Remember, he and XQC are supposed to be friends. If uh, right. if someone says your friend is a piece of shit and I hate them, typically you go like, "Whoa, calm down! Like, what's what's going on? You know, something." But he's just like, "Yeah, he's an interesting fella." <laughs> would you say that what this is like Hassan trying to navigate the situation in the safest possible manner? Yes, of this course. is probably the most stressed he's exactly been in some time. On. He has to balance between <laughs> Ethan and XQC. <laughs> He's an infringer. Okay, I mean, it is a bit awkward, though, isn't it? You must have that on EFAP sometimes. Um, well, so let me, let me clear it up, right? If Rags were away today, and then you come on and say, thank fuck, he's annoying as hell, I'd be like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, what's going on? I'll just be like, yeah, oh, well, tough. you know, whatever. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say, well, Rags is guy. interesting. <laughs> like, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, it would be more like if, if Rags said, like, that Chud guy fucking sucks. Because, like, Rags is your co-host, and you're friends with Chuds. You're like, oh, shit. Well, I do the same thing. I'd be like, what did he do? Yeah, I'd probably did he piss you off? <laughs> yes, like, what happened? You guys have, like, principles and integrity and, you know... And Allegedly. Supposedly. He's a sellout. 
And um, I think he's. Oh my god, the silence! You know, he sold his fans oh out big time for some goddamn gambling money. No, I don't know anything about the gambling stuff, so I'm not like. Cool. I don't know anything about the gambling anything. I am ignorant of the gambling. So, so what is the conversation happening right? This I can throw like you in if you Ethan's want. Old still... content though. Ethan, just... Ethan used to have like oh, a moral yeah. compass and everything. Like, I what's ha what is happening here? Well, you is turned it... into a leftist. Okay, I'll tell you what's happening. Okay, get between a Jew and their money. Okay. That's oh the, my that's God. The only one, okay? That's the only one. That's the only you should one. not be cut. You should not get between it. anyone and their possessions. Is the There's point one. of what we're saying? Yeah. Okay. In sorry, yes, sorry. including anything. Yes. I love. More. I love the Jewish people. That was a joke, Ethan YouTube. Has... Don't ban anyone. That wasn't Ethan. a joke. I do love the Jewish people. Okay. <laughs> right now. Um, the conversation, I believe, started around uh, Lemino's new JFK assassination video that specifically covers the... Now it's about where the money comes from, and now, oh, I, oh, I get it, I get, I get it, I get it, dude, I get it. Bro, guys, I thought this guy... Okay, no disrespect. <laughs> it's a natural question. I'm not trying to muddy the waters. Didn't this guy have a, like a contract to stream on, on, on Twitch or whatever, and then, and, then, and then they switch or whatever? I mean, business is business. Is business. I don't think I don't think you're you're wrong or more wrong. Business is business. What is that Dang spinning around behind his head? Is that like a fan? Does I don't know. I was curious if um, anyone else would pick it up eventually because I've seen it before, but I don't. I, it's like the slowest fan in down, history. I was trying to track. I was a little bit distracted trying to track down the sound of the clicking. I was like, okay, I guess that's XQC doing the clicking and everything. Um, that's or maybe that's just the sound of the neurons firing, and it happens every <laughs> once in a while. And you just hear it audibly. Um, but also, there's something on his fan that's like spinning around back there. I did, uh, I did listen to all that. I'm, I'm not sure. I think he said it's all business in reference to where he gets his money from. It shouldn't be considered like battle good. It just, it's all business, which is oh, obviously well, that's a crap. horrifically bad. Attitude yeah, that's actually crap. That, yeah, Depository like, yeah slave trading probably uh, isn't great. And I'm actually very excited to see uh, all the other angles as well, like oh God, specifically no, the grassy knoll. Um, <laughs> there it is. Hello. Does it? I I made a meme about this. I was talking to uh, Freaky about how like it'll be an interesting video to watch because you know a lot of people's understanding of the JFK assassination does actually go as far as we're not sure how exactly it happened. Also, the grassy knoll. Like that's like the the total knowledge. Right. Yes, I just knew that there was a grassy knoll <laughs> yeah. involved. Where from? I assume the shot was fired. I have no idea because I just know that this Oswald guy shot the president and then he got shot that's like all that's all i really knew yeah. about it mm -hmm. but now after watching that video i'm basically what you'd call an expert yeah 100 percent. so uh yeah i feel pr feeling pretty oh, good minute. yeah the, we played the entirety of the video oh yeah we, we watched it on stream yeah. on this stream okay we've committed the same sin our ah. hands are tainted yeah because oh, if someone slows goodness. it down in post they'll be like wow you played the whole fucking thing dude that's exactly up. JFK assassination, which is uh, probably one of the most covered assassinations of all time. It's uh, an incredible conspiracy. Um, and what? It's not a conspiracy. Uh, he he was fucking killed. All right. Yeah, but <laughs> but who did it? Rags? Was it the crab was people? He? Was it the government? Was he really killed? Who knows? What are the moon landing? Something to think about. Was it the moon? Yeah. That's the uh, he did this like one hour and 25 or one hour and 30 minute like brilliant super comprehensive incredibly well edited video and of course everybody reacted to it he was trending he's got millions of views on i was first don't even try it nobody should try it i was i literally put everything aside i put the video on the main screen and i did it first imagine being fuck? proud of that it's weird i did it? the shittiest possible reaction before anyone else I just don't. I don't understand like the need to be like, "Hey, I was there first. Like, okay, good for you. I I good for you, bud. Saw it first. Look, is there an element of like I discovered this video? It would be nothing without me. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to say. I think even he doesn't know what he's trying to say. On the and video now, wrong. they can fuck it. They can and then, it. um, people got like someone got very mad that XQC had reacted to it as well, and it like only had like ten additional minutes of runtime oh, wow. off of the original video. And they just like posted a screenshot and were like, what the fuck is this guy doing? You know, but did he upload it to his YouTube channel? Um, I believe he did, yes. That's <laughs> I believe he did, yes. yes I love I this. He did. Stressed out Hassan, um, who's like, he wanted to go on his whole thing like of like how unreasonable the people who complained about. And then this Ethan's like, yeah, but did he do it though? 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like so you just... got Ethan as a YouTube guy and then Hassan in his own world. They're about Ethan, to clash. Did... Ethan made... went uh, like what? through a 10 year lawsuit where he was like worried about losing all of his worldly possessions over fair use, over a fair yeah. use case that somebody brought against him. So obviously he's got a he huge feels, dog yeah, in this. Right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, and then of course Hassan is like, allegedly there were theories in which people speculated that possibly there may have been people involved in something that may have been talked about in some way, sure. Potentially, mm -hmm. allegedly, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe. not at all. Who knows? We'll never know. No really. one can know. Next topic. I don't even, I don't even know why anything. Fucking well, and, crazy. I, if you look at the, um, if you look at the, on YouTube, it says Lemino uploaded his video july 24th mm -hmm. xqc uploaded his reaction july 24th <laughs> yes. same day. he's mm -hmm. okay he's proud like, of it he's proud of yeah and he was first no one can claim really otherwise bad. he was first he got in there i watched it before you could have possibly watched it on the origin original channel Four hundred thousand yes. views watched it before lemono did well to be <laughs> fair hassan Hassan covered it also on July 24th. Yes, as well. and Hassan's is longer, so at least there's that. <laughs> it's it's uh, longer. Because the original Lemino's video is 1 hour, 38 minutes, 11 seconds. Hassan's reaction is 2 hours, 23 minutes, and 13 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, and XQC's is 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 36 seconds. So. Right. It's the precise time of day we need, though, to know who exactly was first. Well, Hassan yeah. uploaded his 11 days ago as well, so the mm. same day that XQC did, so he was also pretty quick on that one. And his is, yeah. <laughs> oh, what I think, a you know, uh, go to the tab. I think you know, XQC live streaming the video is one thing, but if he's re-uploading it, and he has a shitload of money, and he has an editor working for him, uh, why couldn't they have just chopped out all the stuff where the video is just running with no commentary. His yeah. response I mean, to that is that they wouldn't have the context shit. to understand the commentary. And from having the well, whole I think video that's bullshit because I, th I think if you just kept in like 10, 20, 30 seconds of the video before that's each true, of yeah. the, the, in, the things that he said, that, that would be sustan substantial enough to let people know what it is he, he's talking about. He said to right? me that sometimes there'll be a, a whole like 10, 15 minute segment that needs to be shown before you can hear his opinion and understand it because of context. And that's Where, just... So like, you boil it down to the fundamental, it's just that having the whole video in there means that you can act as a complete replacement of the original video Absolutely, which yeah. uh, will get you more views. Right. And you can also oh, add... Well, yeah, because it's longer true, too. Yeah. That's right. It's longer, so you can run more. I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well, it would be, it would be like even longer this. if you paused uh, more, though. It would be longer if you paused more. Okay, Just that would be, it wouldn't be worth the effort. Everyone wins if you transform it. Everybody. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's takes, the that true win-win. That is that the takes... true win-win scenario. Uh... Excuse. C had reacted to it as well, and it like only had like ten additional minutes of runtime oh, wow. off of the original video. And they just like posted a screenshot and were like, what the fuck is this guy doing? You know? Did he Something upload it to his YouTube channel? Um, I believe he did, yes. <laughs> um, I believe he did, yes. <laughs> it's the demeanor, it switches completely. So yeah. concerned, yeah. Um, Ethan's like, whoa, and, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, <laughs> what do you do? You know, a lot of Twitch streamers do stuff like this. Uh, I, yeah, I, mean, I reacted to it as well. He's like, uh, I do well, because too, by the way. This thing, I think XUC has more, much more of a spine than Hassan. So right now, he's like, what do you mean we do? Th there's nothing wrong with what we do. That's what he's getting confused at right now. Hassan has yeah. basically conceded this is a problem already. Which is, well, you know... In the past. He's, yeah. the, what, what I'm, he, no, I'm saying had, right now, his language it, it indicates that he thinks this is wrong already. But you can tell from the way Ethan asked that question. He's like, uh-oh. Ethan thinks this is wrong. I don't know if I want to have that argument, so I guess <laughs> I I'll concede, you know? It's like, oh yeah, a lot of people do it, you know, and it's not great. Mm. A lot of the same people that were yelling at him were also trying to yell at me and be like, he's the same, he's the, he, Hassan does this as well, and, um, and it, it, it didn't Why really take off. The he well, there's a couple different reasons. I mean, look, I'm not gonna be... Guys, there's a couple different reasons. Okay. You know what, champ? You cannot have it both ways. You can never play two cards at once, okay? And you, because you will be caught. It's one sometimes I try my best to not play two cards at once. They went after me for the video I watched. They did not go on my fucking... Hassan's editor went after me for the video. They did not go on my YouTube channel. The one that I watched, and it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not... He's talking about the dense population one. In, in any VOD, nowhere, right? 
they went at me for that. And also went at me for the one that I did post. And it's gonna act like one is different for the other. When they're going after both of them, they just... So I'm going to say this, as much as he did leave in one of them and didn't in the other, I don't know that there's that much difference between the two of them in terms of how and much all... he's transformed them. How, yeah, much, totally. yeah, how much commentary is that? All you could roll on is, yeah, but with subtle facial expressions, it's like, is that enough? Do you, do you, do you get what know. he's basically saying? Yeah, I didn't transform the population one, but I didn't upload it, so it's fine. Meanwhile, I yeah, did transform the Lemino yeah, one yeah. and did upload it, and it's like, you didn't transform either of them. I mean, yeah, I understand totally. that and, and, as why he got to that conclusion, but at the end of the day, you still streamed it. Like, that already. Yeah, you know a mean? lot of like, people apparently don't take issue with that. We still typically do. <laughs> but, I mean, even, even he admits that the, the majority of his income comes from the act of streaming itself, right? Not the VODs that he uploads. So, if anything, it should matter more in terms of, the, in terms of how it relates to him and his business on stream compared to the re-upload, right? I mean, yeah, I, I think there's definitely an argument there. Just pick and choose and they select when they want to push the argument and which one to push based on who they're talking about and their audience. Fuck this fraudulent behavior. This is, this is fraudulent behavior. Be like, oh, what? he's not reacting. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's the fraudulent? I don't, what's the, it's he's fraudulent? stealing something. They're, them complaining I think he's about saying it's fraudulent? What is happening? They're using <laughs> his approach with one video and they're condemning yeah. him for a different one that doesn't have that approach from his point of view. But from oh, our okay. point of view, it's pretty much the same approach. So it's like, mm -hmm. if I, if I go into a store and I steal, you know, a hundred dollars worth of merchandise and no one catches me. That's one, and you criticize me for it, and I go, okay, fine. So I go back to the store, and I steal $100 worth of merchandise, and this time I have a gun, and I say, fuck you, I'm stealing $100 worth of merchandise. And then you criticize me again, and I'm like, well, wait a minute, I can't win. It doesn't matter how I steal the merchandise, okay. you complain well, either I, way. I feel like you made it more complicated than it was. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you've got a habit of I doing like that, the okay? example. So let's just be honest. But both of you have. But no, listen, here's the thing. It's because Ethan is saying the problem is uploading it to YouTube. Obviously, Ethan does have problems beyond that but he's kind of addressing that point. And it's funny because a lot of people have said, well, he didn't upload the one where he walked away to YouTube. And that's a fundamental problem is he's seeing it as if I'm not right. uploading it to YouTube, it's not a problem. Obviously we disagree. And I think even Ethan disagrees, right? Well, yeah. And that's why Fringy brought up that uh, he feels like he's making more money on the streaming portion of it. And so in a sense, if that's yeah, what people are yeah. yeah. Well, but even if, enough. even if Ethan is even if Ethan's primary concern is uploading it to YouTube, okay? Unless Ethan is the one that levied this criticism in the past, this is pointless because other people levied a different criticism and he's saying, well, it's fraudulent because Ethan doesn't have an opinion that aligns with everyone else. I don't, yeah. I mean, a lot of it gets, everyone is mixing everything up in terms of everyone's arguments. And so, you know, this happened, we, we probably done it a few times as well. It's, it's a mess. No, it's difficult not to, but yeah. No, or it's not transformative enough. I don't know. I haven't watched his reaction or anything like that. Well, we did. But we can't. Did he take but, it down? Yep. Um, no, no, look at, look at Ethan taking the initiative here. <laughs> yeah. Let's check it out. <laughs> I, mean, I don't yeah. even think Lamino personally has said anything about it or has like uh, it was still allowed to have a perspective on anything it. like that. But he well, so yeah, there is this angle of um, like people claiming like yeah, white knighting. Did. It's like you're complaining about something they're not complaining about. But there are so mm -hmm. many instances in life where we complain about events that the people involved don't necessarily complain about that I just don't care. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, Limino might not want the backlash from XQC's community anyway. Absolutely. There could be all kinds of reasons he's not saying stuff. Probably we shouldn't just reason. assume it's because he you absolutely loves what's happening. You can to a broader issue that if you as a content creator may be affected by it in the past or at some point in the future. It, like, if, you, if you're in this ecosystem, of course you're going to have a vested interest in these sorts of conversations because it might affect you. Yeah, you, you might want to really put perspective out. That's like unless you're gonna file a lawsuit. Anyway, I complain about so plenty of things that don't worse. affect me, though. I feel like we all do. Yeah, we love a wine, don't we? we love yeah, wine we like a bit of a wine. Tell yeah. people what we reckon. Affect me. Chad Logic, he likes white wine. He has oh, taken it down. Hold on, let me look. I haven't. I haven't paid attention to the XQC side of things. Why would, but... why would I? The very same. Hassan says, <laughs> "Let me know." Didn't say anything about it. Didn't take him down. This guy goes, oh, let, well, let me check on that. Let, well, dude, whoa, 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 let me check. We got to go check that. Well, Wait, no, you, I think you misunderstood. He wants to see the video. He wants to see what your reaction is, right? I, I actually Isn't would say that, that I think all Ethan wants to know is this, if it's still up, because it seems like he's already, as far as he's concerned, like we're confirmed that it's a bad reaction. It's non-transformative. Like if Hassan was to say, well, no, it's a, it, it, like, I, I, I don't, he says, I think it's still up. I don't know. And he's like, okay, I'm going to check. Like. 
This is what I mean. There's several right. things happening all at once. XQC is like, it's allowed to be up. You already said Lemino's not interested in taking it down. But it's like, that's there's so many arguments to be done right now. All Ethan's just trying to do is confirm whether or not it's up. We'll have to see what he does with that information. This. You're saying that he's not mad about it? What? No, shot. That can't be true. Uh, people that have no been way. like making this their live's mission to just, you know, criticize React content in general, especially Twitch streamers and how they're the like uh, off, technically uh, <laughs> the same as. Like... He's a poor victim. They're all coming oh, for him. People complaining us React streamers. Just let him make his. Let him print his paper. Ooh. Rapists his are doing sexual assault if they're doing uh, reacts to the capitalist realm. I mean, look. Some people make it their life's work to make things, make sure things. Well, are it's fair. just saying it's life mission. It's like, all right, calm down. You know, like people are just, <laughs> you're saying just trying that to dismiss like all the people who criticize you. That's all you're trying to do because you're somewhat related to the problem in terms mm. of. That's what I mean. If you start motivation you farming, content. be like, I wonder why you're in favor of it, Hassan. Your motivation yeah. <laughs> could be tied <laughs> to monetary mm. incentives. Who knows? It's, True. You're saying that he's not mad about it. What? No, shot! That can't be true! Uh, people that have no been, way. like, making this their live's mission to just, you know, criticize React content in general, especially Twitch streamers, and how they're, like, uh, technically uh, the same as, like, rapists doing sexual assault <laughs> if they're doing uh, Reacts to uh, YouTube videos. Uh, See, uh, what is definitely. that, if, if nothing other than poisoning the well? Like, it, you know, people it's... say that this is akin to raping people. It's like, oh, thanks. That's... Yes! Okay, that, I've reacted yeah. this already, so I'm a bit quiet because I've already said a lot of this stuff, okay? But Hassan has pinpointed the absolute pinnacle of the worst criticism about React content you've ever fucking heard. And he's I hanging his hat it. on that. That was something the Dark Viper said, like, months ago that I don't think he's repeated. I don't think he's still on that point. But he focused on that to make it sound ridiculous, right? Right. Well, yeah, why else it, say it, right? It sounds like, is he specifically talking about Jay here? No. No, it's Dark Viper. Viper that made the point, the rape point. Oh, well, yeah, and I haven't, bit. I haven't seen that in its original context. Um, but like, uh, you know, a lot of people are claiming he just, he said straight up rape. I don't know if he talked about sexual no, no, assault no, versus rape or whatever. <laughs> it's just funny to say rape, okay? Not that rape <laughs> is funny. It's no laughing matter. But he made the point that like, it's like they're not respectful of consent. They'll take someone's work and not think of consent in a in a, in the right way or something like that. It was right. Right. I I actually didn't mean the R word thing. I meant just the idea that a bunch of people have been really Retard? angry. Streamers, <laughs> yeah, that's my art word. Thank you, but um, but uh, it, what do you? I guess can we back up like ten seconds? Because what he said just before that was like, yeah, lately a lot of people have been getting really pissed about Twitch streamers using content, and I was like, uh, is he talking about what happened with him and Jay? Like, a year ago? is is Dark Viper against any reaction content, even if it's transformative? Because I, I mean, I've watched some of his videos and I can't really tell. You think um, he is? Yeah, right. I, but I think he said that um, if everybody was transforming it, he wouldn't really be making these videos. Well, okay. But he would probably still agree that harm can be done with transforming them even still, which is technically well, you, true. Look, if you're but... doing a critical movie review that you're saying this movie's a piece of shit, don't go see it. Obviously, you're trying to interfere with their That's what I mean. It, it, there's so. loads of stuff that we'd have to discuss on top of that, but his main thing is that if they were transforming it, he probably wouldn't be complaining, which I feel like is the same for everybody. Yeah, totally. Videos, they, they were they were up in arms about it. Chat, yes, the problem I, I is like do, there I, is. I have to react more to this uh, video because well, I don't want to get game CA'd. So. But there is certainly truth to some components. Uh, like, of the <laughs> criticism. I, oh my god! Look, it's transforming uh, uh, now. He's transforming <laughs> it. Actually, transforming the image. Let's go. I mean, he hit the transform been button. Swirling so. around about React content. He's so dumb. Um, he might I be serious. Have, uh, absolutely been. Uh, someone who is, oh you know, has broken some of those boundaries, but I usually try what to. How did? Which boundaries did you break? Um, what... I love this. <laughs> I'm trying to remain vague, and then he's like, "Let's get into that. Let's get more details yeah, on that." Go no. ahead. Right, this might make me start is... respecting Ethan again. I know, right? It's I crazy. Know. I think you'll agree yeah. with this as well. It's just like don't leave the video running when you get up. A hundred percent. To go pee. Yeah, you can't that's do like that. That's like pretty basic Chat? stuff. You you, Hassan just said that's pretty basic stuff. Do, do you yep, remember the whole basic. fucking arc we went yep. on looking at oh, Hassan's man. shit? Yep. Pretty basic, yep. my dude, huh? How about that? Oh, no, he learned. He learned. He learned. Okay. He grew as a person. He evolved yeah. as a critic. Do you guys remember... I you only remember do it with the videos. Do you guys remember the videos Ethan would make when he was in the lawsuit over... 
transformative content? Like some other content creator sued him for making, I you know, would you even call it React content? I mean, he was basically critiquing their videos. Well, that's another problem with all this. All of this stuff, all of this editing stuff, and someone basically tried to sue him saying that they infringed on his copyright. And like he'd spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on lawyers and attorneys fighting this thing because he raised money from the community. He was like really losing sleep over whether or not they were going to win or lose this court case. Do you guys remember any of that? Yeah, yes. well, I mean, he was the precedent, right? Uh, so yes. He would be understandably stressed because he really didn't have any idea how that was going to work out. Right. And also, I think he would have to pay attorney's fees, the other guy's attorney's fees. And I don't even know if he had money to cover those attorney's fees. So it got to a point where he was way out over his skis on the risk reward for even bringing this lawsuit. So this is like a huge deal to him, obviously. Yeah. I usually only do it with my sad, uh, videos out. that I know this are really from sad. my friends, like okay. Noah Samson, uh, Second Thought, things like that. And it's you do not, not have my permission to walk away from. For my the videos. record, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> Jeez, actually. I know, even, right? Damn, he sounds yeah, pretty like, serious too. I cannot oh, do this. No. Yeah, walking away from oh, the time, I'm like. What are you supposed to do if uh, if there's an emergency and you have just to say up? wait? I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, uh, if only yeah, Jay had video. said this. Was, yeah, <laughs> where was this just on oh, all those all those months oh ago? Oh my god! That's so funny. It, this is funny when you have the context of all the shit we went through looking at Hassan's content. By the way, like with React stuff. You couldn't fucking accept that this is the obvious answer. Ethan just throws it out. And what's Hassan's reaction? Yeah. You can, oh, yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah. and also you can pause it, but the problem is, yeah, pause the video. when you pause the video, it's just, like, makes uh, the content awful, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, like, say, that's, no, I'm can't... just telling you, no, no, I know, I, 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 you're right. You say, say guys, put on you're, a song or something, you know what I mean? Fucking you're absolutely show. right, you're 100% right. You 100% right. 100%. <laughs> okay, oh, he's, uh, man, he's really come, he's come a long way. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's the thing up. is, like, you know, I was watching, I've reacted to this already on my own stream, and it was so insane to me that this is like complete opposite, like to what he was saying, obviously, in response to the JXE stuff. And you're I'm just sitting there, point. like, is this genuine, or like, is it just because he's no. under pressure now? Like, I, what is it? I don't know, but I, I think find I find his thought process kind of remarkable because to me, I just find it so strange that he can't like. It's like, oh, but. I suffer, like, if I pause and then go away and there's nothing playing. Like, that affects me. So what am I supposed to do? And it's like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, deal with that? Yeah. Just, like, deal with the fact that some people might leave because there's nothing playing. And if you want to get around that, just play your old stuff. Like, play some highlights or something. You could pay someone to make those for you and then play them during the breaks if you're so insistent on having something for them to watch. It's just fascinating that he can't square that away. Like, I, it blows my mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I don't want to suck myself off too much. Cause, do uh, it. You know, I had a shit on. I shit on. No, shit on that's fine. Minute. It's fine. It's great. It's but it's so simple. All you do is you play your latest YouTube video, um, you know, and then you play that, and then afterwards you go, okay, guys, um, we'll get back to the video now. Go and check that video out when you after the stream, right? And then you're promoting your own stuff. It's just so straightforward. Genius, right, right wow. there. Self promotion. Crazy. I think you should just record yourself and then put that recording of yourself in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> of you like randomly responding to chat, but chat doesn't notice that it's recorded. Yeah, <laughs> be amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Archer, the Archer voicemail message sort of thing. Sander had a fake GIF or something of him <laughs> fake reacting, didn't he? I'm sure he did. <laughs> Someone back me up on this in chat, surely. Anyway, sorry. Oh, don't oh, you do know that. What's gonna, that would be like we're, we're actually that's a joke. unironically we're actually unironically only probably like a year or two years away from you being able to put. So like hook your chat into chat GPT and have it like respond to the chat for you. Yeah. And just have like it like modulate your voice or something. Yeah. But I think that be be right back screens though can be their own kind of cool thing. Like my, my uh, I know I never mentioned her, but my wife does gaming streams too. And I made her be right back screen out of just an old video I shot of her dancing in the kitchen while she was cooking one time. And I just put, like, X-Ray Girl will be right back at the bottom of that. And I, there's people in her chat that flat out say, sometimes I tune in just for the be right back screen. Make it a good <laughs> one. That's, that's All right. sad. That's sad. <laughs> I, happy. I was like, they didn't even know I made that. Yeah. I thought Damn. they were complimentary. Gotcha, suckers.
a BRB okay. screen. Yeah. Um, or I People should just don't mind waiting. I mean, I go to the bathroom mm, all the time. Breaking. It's like, hey, guys, I'll be right back. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. True. Um, <laughs> over the course of it. Well, I want to have a button, chat. I want to have a, anytime I walked out, chat, I create a bunch of chat, and I have AI XTC that talks to you guys for a little bit. And oh, there you go. Hey, I would prefer that. Go for it. That'd be great. There you go. Chat. But be a lot the, the, smarter. That's enough. And I ended up being fuck it, dude. I'm not gonna do that shit. Might be, and I, yeah. I, I, I give yeah. up on it. But that was my initial I mean, intention. It would be a lot smarter. Every time I had to get out walk. Yeah. AI XQC kicks in. Boom. But it's pretty slow though. That's a problem. Eight-hour stream though. Of course, that happens way more frequently than you would, uh, you know, because eight it's the nature ten hours. Of the beast, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not taking it's a about, pause. It's about it's about filling it. Eat. It's about filling that space a little bit better. You could plan something ahead of time. You could film something. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. Oh, shit. Set it up. Just all the arguments that have been said. Oh my god. I don't know. Yo, what I, what I, what One, I thought about doing when I started doing a little question. bit is like, I'll play a complimentary video that is like off of Instagram or TikTok or something. <laughs> that's what mm. I started. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what I started sneaking in. Don't worry, but depends. What does he mean? Does he mean his own from there? Or does he mean someone else's? Well, I, I go to this, like any old TikTok, just slap that on there, but I'm not sure. I need to like get up for a second. Oh, so you know, it's not the original does video. That I thought was a pretty good idea. He plays like highlights from his stream or something. When he has oh. <laughs> it's like every single suggestion. <laughs> that's a that's an IRL stream. You, play your you own can content. do that on your IRL streams. Like mm. you have uh, readily available clips yes, that true, you can just like true. play the highlights. Back in the day, especially, I used to, I used to have a setup where I would cook simultaneously. I didn't have a camera in the kitchen, but I would cook. But I also had a monitor in the kitchen. So I would watch the I video. I don't know why he thinks this matters at all. Like, oh, well, I'm still watching the video. It's not about whether or not you're watching the video. It's about whether you're fucking commenting on it. <laughs> Look, I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm adding. I'm cooking. He I'm keeps transforming. saying it like, oh, well, I'm still watching this. Like, I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> it matters to him. And I would run he back. He still <laughs> thinks that this is fair. Like, this is why he's bringing it up. He still thinks there's some reasoning behind this. There isn't. To the okay. desktop and pause it. it if I wanted to chat? say something about it. See, at least in the but chat. it was bad optically. I see. Yeah, it was bad optically. <laughs> it was bad optically. It was just regular bad. Oh, yeah, it's bad optically. Yeah. yeah. That speaks also to bad. his mindset. It was, That's what he cares was, it, about is the optics. It does, doesn't it? It's yeah. bad optically. Mm -hmm. I mean, principally, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> People got very upset. So I. I recognized that that was wrong. I, <laughs> People got very upset. that So I recognized that that was wrong. Remember, it started with optically yeah, bad, uh, therefore, people upset, I recognized I was it was wrong. Yeah. Fascinating. Uh, it is, it really is. That. That's but good. now, you know, you'll you'll still catch- Guys, guys. <laughs> the priming. Chad said it, Ethan cooks you. Where? Catch me getting up. I don't get cooked anyway. I have to pee, or I have to take Kai is out there, is for there, a Is there any actually getting cooked, but like, cook. timestamps? I get my food right, delivered. Calm down, dude. Here's what I'll say, I mean. <laughs> what is that? I mean, you the timestamp for what he apparently he wants to be cooked. Roast me? Shut okay. I mean, here's and the XQCs, which I'm looking at now. This man uploaded five videos in one day. There's no fucking way that anybody's putting any effort into this. Like here, oh, I watched this video. Wow. Andrew Tate's. You punch could. You could have mm. multiple editors. I mean, I have multiple editors. Let me see. This video, Andrew Tate's controversy, have finally caught up with him. I watched this video, so let me see. So the criticism now is based on how much I'm uploading. Well, no, come on, do a little bit of legwork. His, it, it, like, the position that Ethan is basically positing is if you're uploading this much in a day and you look at how much the runtime is on each of those videos, it just doesn't seem like it's possible that somebody could have gone through all of that and curated it and edited it and chopped it up. Unless, <laughs> as Hassan said, there were multiple Unless editors, he has and, a then, lot of editors. and then Ethan said yeah. there's not. Right. Switch, exactly. Like, I'm, yeah. Entire, that's just seems. Oh, so I have to go. <gasps> but uh oh well thanks for having me on Mahler. that's and okay you you're you're, you're neat you're all right yeah all right you're fine wow wow you know what okay for having me on not good not great it was an okay experience it was, it was and this was an okay yes. this was this experience was acceptable mm. that's true okay i like that with a little uh, bit of effort it could be decent <laughs> but yeah no uh, it's a fun topic i unfortunately fun topic. i Fun topic. Unfortunately, I have a graduation party of a friend to get to. <laughs> Lisa. So, oh, great. Oh, you have friends to graduate. I like it. It is. Uh, but Take thanks for having me. Uh, no problem, Mo. You'll get Always to enjoy you, talking to all of you gentlemen, everyone here, except for Adam, oh, who right. I talk to too much. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk Ooh. to you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, see you tomorrow. Oui. Can't wait bye. to hear Bye-bye. See you. Bye.
Have you got your topic sorted for tomorrow, Adam? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not Pretty really. confident answer. Yeah. Well, we like just chatted a little bit. You want to cover React? Your XQC React drama? Ooh. Because Black let me tell you, it's, I in NYC. it's Kai the Senate has just conflict. led the blacks in NYC in a riot. That's right up your street. I want to talk about Barbie. Okay. That's up your street? You live there? <laughs> My God. Because, man. The, NY, oh. the NYC riot? That's, I mean, what is there to say about that, really, Chud? Uh, you true. could be incredibly racist for about three hours. Not a lot. Not a lot. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. That just seems like he's just mauled, but this shit is fucking farming. From a police raid on their mansion resulting in... Huh? And of this course, XQC not... wouldn't care about uploading this because he doesn't have any moral... Uh, well, okay, but you're, you're watching like Andrew Tate's controversy have finally caught up to him. It's not necessarily like a... Huh? Like this isn't even... Moral what? Is what? Hassan going to be Moral saying there's what? nothing you can say to that? No, no, no. Yeah, XQC it's, baffled by the concept make the, of morality. You're going to make the news really argument, uh, Hassan is. What, 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 what moral? What? What, is the <laughs> what morals? It, indeed, <laughs> what morals? Uh, I think the most Hold offensive... on, go ahead. What are you saying? It's not what. This isn't even that huh? bad. Like you're. How this... do you know? I just started it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jeez, Hassan. <laughs> get, him, get him, Ethan. Get him. Is no matter what it is, it's probably like a. Is it just a bunch of news reactions? No, it's something? a video. Oh, it's just one singular video. Yeah, it's that he's one video. To? I know because I watched it. This is the end for Andrew Tate. I watched it from Internet Ar uh, Anarchist. Yeah. That's not. Oh shit. Hey guys, this video is from it's from the guy. Um, yeah, guys, I watched it. Guys, it's the, from the guy that's um on the screen. I'm gonna I'm gonna read his name. Yeah. It's from the guy that's on the screen. <laughs> I'm going to read his name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. this guy because it's on the screen right now. Got him, dude. Oh, he, that's the guy. No, I know this guy. No, he didn't, did he? He didn't even read his name. He didn't look like it in the video. He probably does at the end, maybe. I don't know. I think he means I'm going to read it in my head. So oh, maybe. true. Okay. Very true. He probably did that. Maybe. Maybe. 50-50. 50-50. <laughs> Is, ironically, is the guy that uh, fucking Aiden Ross copy strike because uh, false copy strike because he thought he was That's my mom. Trying to change the topic. Uh, okay, That's the that guy. I was like, what the f uh, sound? So, like, I mean, just right off the bat, what the fuck is this editing? There's 10 seconds of him sitting there like a moron. By the way, sorry, I just I listen. I can't let that stand. Go so for many it. people. Okay, Aiden Ross. It's not true that he false copy striked people. There's certainly some criticism somewhere for Aiden Ross, but he's using a third party digital rights management company that automatically claim your video if you use a certain amount of Aiden Ross's content. Primarily, it's designed to stop people doing full rips of his stream. Um, but unfortunately, people that do do fair use content get caught up in it. Dude. But normally, if you do the content ID thing and say, you know, this is a, 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 an incorrect claim, it's fair use, they'll release it. So Aiden Ross gets a lot of shit on this, a bit justified, but a lot not justified. That's all I wanted to say on that. Fair enough. Cool. I don't know anything about it, so. Me neither. No clue. Because my YouTube is a stream cut down. You old person. <laughs> you old person. <laughs> I, all all so even highlighted was YouTube that video. You, you could have chopped out the first 10 seconds of doing nothing. That's all he said. You don't have to be old to think that's true. Like Wouldn't I said. That's the first 10 seconds I of the video. I said I had integrity. Though. No, not the first 10 seconds of the video. It, there's nothing happening in the first 10 seconds is what Ethan said. But even okay. still, you could cut that, even if the video was playing, right? We talked about this earlier. All the way through, yep. and I've said this for years, I don't care to make YouTube content for YouTube. The YouTube, so people that don't want to watch the whole broadcast and the whole pausing and shit and the dumb, dumb shit, it's a cut down of the stream. YouTube is an extension and a condensed version of Twitch for the YouTube frogs. But it's, it's still a YouTube video. It's on well, YouTube. It's just, this doesn't really do put it on YouTube. Like, well, Ethan's argument is, yeah, but this isn't good enough. Like, it's like you could say this and it would, it would just be the same thing. It's like, yeah, it's not good enough. You need to do more. There's no other. Built off of him reacting to other people's this YouTube channel, if you look at way behind, way back when, the YouTube video was. We got somebody never sending made. in like a, a chat where they were saying that Ethan does the same thing. I don't know, maybe. Because be Ethan did do reaction content, but it was not like this. Well, his was highly refined and transformative. Uh, yeah, his reaction videos would 
I mean, they didn't do the thing of including the whole video. Like, I'm not even sure what he thinks about the idea of including the whole thing. Um, but his certainly didn't, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, they're, they're really good videos. They're the reason why everyone felt like he fell off is because those videos were so yeah. good. Popular or viral, there was no editing that was made to create something. It was something to translate to people that want to watch on YouTube for cut downs. This was not meant to make money or be good. It never it was it meant, never to, meant, be good. Make, meant but, to make money or be good. But this video is totally monetized, right? Like it has ads and stuff, I assume. Like this is a monetized It's monetized video for sure. As far as I'm aware, the only time it doesn't get monetized is if uh, other people claim it and then you just let it go. But it's not supposed to be good as a priceless line, I think. Yeah, it's not supposed to be good, which I believe you. Um... Never was. It is now. And now because it is, I have to change a formula. Because Ethan says, you sh wow, this is, this is looking like a YouTube video. Uh, this was for my community, bitch ass. That you posted on Imagine YouTube, dumb fuck. My cut down dog shit content is surpassing oh. your old balding man content. <laughs> <laughs> man, he really that, likes that really, the whole that thing. That really matters to him it. then, the views. Like, that's really, really important to him then. My re-uploads of taken videos has more views than your old bald content. <laughs> Which again, it's just, I guess that really, really, really matters to him is how many views it gets. And, and how bald you are, I guess. And how bald you are, yeah. Well, he's, he stated, like, the whole, look, my content's just better than everyone else. The reason that their content, they're only upset because my content gets but a lot of views. it's not meant to be good. It's not meant to be good, and, it's, it's and, and I'm replaceable. And I'm replaceable, easily replaceable, but I'm the best. Well, he told yeah. me on um, Destiny's stream that he considers himself and along with the others to be bottom of the barrel, like, scum, basically, in terms of content creation. I remember being, I had to, like, try and wow. defend him. I was like, you're not worthless. You do add, and he was like, no, 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 no. I was like, okay. <laughs> I tried. And you're mauling about it. Imagine the trash cutdowns are so slopping you and you're molding about it yeah. it's insane huh? yeah i mean it's huh? not what it's not fuck? high effort if I want yeah this is a thing i mean this is a very common twitch um behavior is you attribute um what could be reasonable criticism or issue to being mad and angry about it right i don't know if this happens in your space as well uh um, well i mean i guess it's like a human nature thing to some extent right to be like you're not even serious you're just jealous like you're jealous you're angry yeah. you're upset you're... yeah Molding is like it came from Twitch, right? It started up as a thing. It's so mad that you're balding, right? I Which think so. A, yeah, I hate it. It's dumb. It's stupid. <laughs> it's so mad People you're never balding. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a Rogan move or something. There's like a, I remember the line being like, "Yeah, he's molding." It's like, what does that mean? It's like he's mad and balding. <laughs> it makes. <laughs> he's so angry. He's losing his hair. It's... No, I think. Just, it's not. I think it wasn't that. It was just, hey, he's angry, and it's worse because oh. he's all bald. Like oh. it's worse because like, he's bald. That, that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> I think I was about to say. I think that's not as funny, but it's like I, that might be as funny. The idea of like you're mad and you're also bald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was an efficient way to express these two things. Ah, yeah, and they the found a way. Yeah. The most clever of portmanteaus. Hey. For a I refined would... Twitch audience. Slap all these fools combined times 20. If I want to become a YouTuber, I would fucking wipe their ass. With... Dude, holy shit. No, no, no. It's, this the is like is not that. High effort. I mean, hold yeah, on. No, it's not. Let me get. We're doomed as a species that XQC has an audience. <laughs> a little bit. Like, little we're bit. just, we're, we're fucked. We're absolutely fucked. That's the ultimate black pill. The human from race. This entire situation. The human race is molding. It is. <laughs> Humanity is molding. Let me get Slowly a case. It's, matter it's kind of funny how, like, this stream is a hell of a lot more transformative than uh, his reactions to the videos because he's actually responding to the things that are being said. <laughs> yeah, you can tell because he's fucking passionately invested. We're actually getting, yeah. like, a transformed bit of content. It's great. This. Why wouldn't they cut that? Kristen Tate being held in a Romanian jail cell for over Look at him. Yeah, he doesn't I even know what the fuck he's watching. I think the main the main problem <laughs> here probably is true. On, dude. the main problem here should be that if this is on your main channel, you should definitely edit it more for sure. Hold on, Hassan. I really want to see. I want to get a feel for it. People that watch the stream will understand why the video was not full a full screen and why it's getting stalled. People that watch this is the, it's literally meant for Twitch viewers, kick viewers to get VODs 
Okay, and a, conde and a condensed version would not have to look for them. You keep saying that, but it's not. It, it's like he's talking right past Ethan. Like yeah. it's, it's like he can't even understand like where Ethan, what, where Ethan's trying to go with it all. Like Ethan make these arguments about how it's not transformative. It's like no, it's it's a vod. It's like <laughs> like it just doesn't. Yeah, well, I think it's strange. it's pretty clear to me still. Like especially after us watching uh, XQC going over the assassination video that. He sees the live stream as a watch party, and his um, audience thinks the same way. That's hence why yeah. they're always mm. saying, like, why are you pausing it, bro? And I can understand the, the want for an online watch party, and there are some legal channels for that. I mean, there's uh, Disney Plus, I think, has a feature for it, and, like, Netflix. But, like, you all have to be subscribers of the platform and, and it, like, have, and to have paid for a subscription and then that gives you the access to the content and then so of course they don't care if you're all just going to get together in a little group and watch the same thing but like he, you can't equate that to this where you're digitally broadcasting something and anybody can just jump in and watch the dark night because xqc felt like watching the movie and you know you, you don't have to you don't have to pay well, for it like like these other I'm, situations with I'm, um... I'm pretty sure that um Twitch has, has got like baked in Amazon Prime um watch parties. Um I remember when Borat came out, the latest Borat movie, a bunch of people were watching that as a watch party thing. Um but I right. think because it put it obviously if you don't have Amazon Prime, you're not gonna be able to get involved. So I think obviously streamers are just not gonna bother. Right? But obviously on kick, you can watch the Dark Knight and you're not gonna get in meaningful trouble for it um, as you would yeah. on Twitch. So I think one of the reasons XQC is so stubborn with this is because he's like on an entirely different ball field. Yes, like ar correct. argumentatively, he's 100%. the way he takes criticism. It's like w w you're telling me I can't watch videos with my friends. Like get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like I can do whatever I want. Don't tell me what to do. And it's like, dude, it's not about you watching stuff with your friends. You are distributing copyrighted material in a way where anybody can jump in and access it without without paying for it and like just letting it run on so long uh but for some reason yeah it's like the live streaming is okay but like when you upload it people get get people are but apparently on the he uploading also of it for some reason though. it's weird to me sorry what was that it's, well it's just is this not a contradiction of the l doesn't he, he believes that this is transformative right like of uploading the but like it's it's almost like he's making an appeal to the argument of like no you don't understand I'm not making edits because it's a re-upload of the vod like it it's almost like he's simultaneously making the argument that it both is or isn't transformative unless he is just relying on the chat being on screen I mean, it's like I'm that's not, enough to make it transformative I'm not actually sure what if he believes chat is transformative or isn't uh, if you remember Abba said it was and I think that threw XQC off in terms of what oh, he thinks okay. it is okay. but well, I don't know exactly what he believes about that anymore. <laughs> right. Um, I, I think, think the other thing people are pointing out though is he also has got this other argument as well, which he isn't really talking about now, but this idea that it doesn't cause harm to anyone. So he is seeing it as I'm sharing it with my stream pals, my viewers. No one's getting hurt, so what's the problem? Right. Yeah, I mean we've gone over that a couple of times, right? Like the the act itself yeah, yeah, sure, doesn't necessarily probably, have yeah. to harm someone for it to be uh, yeah, absolutely. Condemnable. But then, but then, but then the thing is, is like. If we're accepting, obviously, he's got a different headspace about this and he views it in that way and he's not going to change his mind. This is why, A, reach out to XQC because he says he'll give you 10 times the ad revenue. Yeah. So if you're a creator... That was my conclusion with him in the debate. Out, I boy. encourage yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the creators to get their bag, so to speak, and to for, for XQC when talking to Ethan to make sure he mentions all of that because that's going to be the thing to fight him on now. Uh, if you want to try and argue he's like hurting people, if he's offering them 10 times whatever he makes on the video, it's just like, I want to see someone collect that. I want to see what happens. They look at it and they understand. It. They understand it. this is a stream and a YouTube video. And that's why they watch it. If anything, it wards off the people that don't like this content that watch it. So they don't uh, watch me and don't watch the other video. This literally reduces cannibalism. This practice quite literally reduces potential cannibalistic behavior. Are you, in are the you, you satisfied with with this I, argument? I'm not sure what <laughs> happened uh, in this argument. You know what I mean? It felt like. Did anyone Some... follow it? 
It seems like there was almost like, uh, it just like switched at some point right in the middle. It seemed like his argument was, the way that I upload my VODs leads people to the, con like, it will, it will sway away the kind of people who would have the problems that Ethan has. So consequently, I'm reducing cannibalism because those people wouldn't watch my stuff, which would contribute to it. Like, that seems to be the through line. Uh, help me out here. Is that, help me out. <laughs> is, is, is anyone else got here? anything on that? Because it confused the hell out of me what he just said. He's not talking about no, I don't know. people, right? Sorry. People? Not, not actual cannibalism? Not no! Like <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> Still don't know. Analytics! Literally! And he's cooking me for it. That's insane. That, that's... that's the way to spend like, this is like my fan... Uh, this is like... XQC sounds like one of those crazy people who represents themselves in like some in horrific court. mass murdering trial, you know? Like, no, I will represent the, the, the blah, 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 myself. Fan owned and operated channels that just like straight post VODs, like straight rip VODs, you know what I mean? Past six months, but with the recent developments in their case, it seems like this is just the beginning. Hi. I'm the internet anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentary. I mean, this is already theft. He didn't end. He didn't even intro it. He didn't talk about it. He's literally just sitting there quietly for the first thirty seconds. You should sue him. Fuck you, XQC, you thief, <laughs> bitch. Rude. <laughs> just Ethan going nuts on it. Paul Hassan. What's he gonna do? What is he gonna say? Yeah. He's just sweating oh, over there. Oh, um, I'm not he's, surprised he's stealing people's videos. He steals he's, people's he's money too. So I'm not gambling. On this. I will demonetize this segment of the stream. I will. I, I just. I just turned off. I just turned off subs, follows. I took my brain off. You know, dude. Ethan. 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 I turned the fucking power off, dude. I'm bro. I turned everything off. Just, just sorry. There's no stealing going on here, dude. Why is everything so tainted about money all the fucking time, dude? I'm so tired of this. It's crazy. That you know, that sounds like something a rich ass person says. It is interesting, yeah. right? Like, you, why is everyone obsessed with what money is going on? It's like I don't know for people who deserve yeah. to have the money, I guess. Also, this doesn't make the video go away. You can turn off your subs or whatever, but the video's still up. You're still like you're still producing views and everything with um, it. it. Just I might just... be easy to say money's not a big deal when you've just uh, gotten a hundred million dollars from a oh. pick. What? Yeah. That's like a hundred of a million dollars. A hundred of those. Um, I'll do it there's, for half that kick. There's some people are basically saying in, in my chat as well that they're saying like, uh, oh, XQC got permission to upload this anyway. The problem with that is XQC is not saying that now. He's making other arguments. And I believe it's only later that his editor confirms to him that he actually had permission to upload it. So even if that's the case, I've not seen actual evidence of that. Maybe it's out there. Well, and I think he's not saying that now. You've just proven as well that whether or not he has permission, he's doing it, which we already know to be true. You, you said like in post, if they give me, uh, you know, requests on taking it down, or if they want money, or if they want this, yeah, or they yeah. want that, they can ask all that. I'm putting it up anyway, and then we'll solve solve it afterward. Crazy dude, that they make everything about money, and when you bring up the topic of money, they back down, they extract. Just go to Twitter chat and look at my, look at every person that try to argue against me, right? Anytime they made it, all the hints at money, and I say, yo, dude, money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said money? Who said money? Who's thinking about money? And they, they get all get insecure, like, bro, you are trying to make it's it about money. Again. I'm calling your ass out. Uh, just own up to it. This, uh, by the way, it I don't actually know what the point of that was. All of those words, and I don't know what the point was. <laughs> was he again talking about like how everyone's obsessing over the money aspect when he's not or something? So it's, basically, his argument is people will talk about the money, but then as soon as I bring the subject to money, they want to run away, run away from talking about money. I, my I best guess would be that he's referring to when he basically says, we all pay them 10 times the money, then they want to retreat to a different argument, which the funny thing is, they could still do that. They could be like, all right, we've solved the money problem. Now we can get again to the principled position, you know? Like it doesn't necessarily end the conversation. But again, no, cool. I don't even know if that's what he is saying. I, I actually don't know. Or if that's just an argument that I made. <laughs> And I'm not gonna believe the XQC thing about paying people ten times. Like I, I don't. I think that's just a lie. I don't think he has any intention to do that. And when he starts doing it, I'll believe it. But until then, fuck no. I don't believe anything this guy says. He's doing Dude. this to get out of his current situation, and that's it. It. This is just a, a band aid to get himself out of 
the 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 current talk that he's doing, and tomorrow it'll be like it never happened. No, he's got to look. commit to this. Surely, if he's saying it, he's got to commit to it. Because if a creator comes forward and says he said he'd do it and didn't, then he's gonna get more shit. Like I said, I encourage I the streamers to to do it. There's that one that was yeah, complaining on Twitter about the fact that he just streamed it and didn't really even talk about it. It's like you do it. Go, go, go. Yeah, go. Please, please do. Let's see if he's a liar. You're you're talking to someone who I do not care about IP in the same way that you do. We have differing opinions on it. You don't, you think that you should be able to take people's videos and re-up? Also, when they were watching my, they were watching my clip, wasn't there reactionary, was it? I'm on his screen right now, and there's not much reaction going on. There isn't much of a, of a transformative uh, value to this. Yes, there is. <laughs> yeah, there is. They're, <laughs> they're actively having a conversation using your vehicle as a, uh, your video as a I vehicle think... to do it. The mistake that XQC might make here, and uh, I guess I can understand how, is that a lot of people will be like, you're not reacting enough, because Ethan said, like, it's 30 seconds went by and you didn't even say anything. And then he's like, yeah, but that 30 seconds just went by of you not saying anything about me doing that. And it's like, okay, we'll get real tangled up, because technically speaking, they're reacting to now Internet Anarchist video, not you. They're not reacting to anything from you, because you're not doing anything. That's precisely what they're pointing out. So if anything, Internet Anarchist might have a point. But I'm pretty sure we're okay with the idea that they can have a 30 second segment where they don't say anything if the majority of the uh, coverage is actual content, like they're talking. Obviously, they're not going to cover more than like a minute of this. So, you know what I mean? Like, I think he's just trying to have some fun. He's like, ah, you're not transforming me either. <laughs> so, you know. Um, I'm being thiefed. I'm being thiefed in a more way. I'm being way. thiefed. In a more way. <laughs> I'm being thiefed in a more way. That I I'm agree. This guy, it seems like if somebody has a lawsuit. It seems like it's me on them. I mean, that's what it looks like <laughs> to me. Blood them. Got him. I well, not necessarily. I think not necessarily. Still, I think you should still uh, abide by certain standards. But overall, I don't those? really care. What? I don't really care if someone rips my IP. I, no, no, no. But you're reason. talking about IP law. Or are you talking about what your preference is? My personal. Why I said the MCA wars are stupid and don't help anybody. I'm, That's I'm, I'm a lie. This is somewhat the only person who says this is a person who has everything to lose if they get DMCA's. Oh, no, don't do it. It doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help anybody to do this. When it obviously does. DMC is, 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 is essential to being able to protect your copyright and your stuff. There's all kinds of uses for them, right? Like, even um, when people are like defaming you using content of yours in like a malicious way, you can DMCA them for doing that. It doesn't have to be strictly that you're re-uploading uh, entirely, but I'd still say that's a valid use of it, of course. The whole, I'm going to sue him, he's going to sue me, because this isn't the way to do it. This is stupid. It's stupidity. And you don't fuck with the law with, like a dumbass. You don't fuck with the law. No, it's not fucking with the law. It's using the law for its intended purpose. That's why it's there, to be mm. used to protect your stuff. I think it's weird that he said you don't fuck with the law like a dumbass when he's the one that streamed The Dark Knight and Hunter x Hunter on kick. And the kick staff had to come into his fucking stream to tell him to stop. Hmm, interesting. But that requires like a memory, mm. knowledge of prior events, and consistency, <laughs> which XQC is it. just not <laughs> capable of doing. I fuck around a bit, I find out, Tabernacle. <laughs> the law, man. Law is sacred. Don't fuck with it. Personal preferences. Law is sacred. And don't I... fuck with it. <laughs> law is sacred. <laughs> 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 oh, Whatever. Uh, I haven't heard that one before, right? I think, uh, it's just, my it's personal just preference, preferences and what I believe and how I believe IP should be run is significantly more uh, How should IPs off. be run? How should uh, IPs be run? I have to go full screen I now because that, I have to go full screen now. Uh, there should be a... Uh, there should be a what? There should be, there should be a, a similar structure to how patents are supposed to exist. Patents? For all content creation that um, after a certain amount of time has passed for like television productions or for uh, even movies in general. Do, um, do you mean, yes, I, I'm do talking you mean public, about do you public, mean public domain. domain. Why is he taking so long to just say he would like public domain to be like entered in pretty quickly? Shorter. He because wants it okay. to be shorter, seemingly. Right, I just want to make a quick point about this, because Asan talks a big talk about supporting the fucking actor's strike and the writer's strike and stuff like that. And the that. workers of the world, yeah. Right, yeah, right. If you had this in place where stuff was public domain sooner, that would limit the residuals that actors and writers get paid on yep. their works. So he's arguing for something which would actually hurt actors and writers. And residuals is one of the things that actors and writers are striking about because the streaming companies are not paying them as much. So it's like he virtue signals about supporting these strikes, but he 
wants something in place that's going to make it worse for actors and writers. Yep. Sorry, I just wanted to point that out. It's true. Well, it's just, you know, if you're if you're making this take and you, you want to actually delve into the nature of who owns, like, creative works, what do you think it comes from the idea of getting residuals if not people essentially claiming some amount of ownership of their creative work? Mm-hmm. Like, how yep. you know what I mean? It's, it's like he seems to divorce that between... But I don't know, like, doesn't he watch, like, Hell's Kitchen and stuff on, like, his streams, or... Does he watch television shows, or does he not do that anymore? I think he stopped. Or is it other people? Am I mixing him up with other people? He stopped like, because the law is sacred. <laughs> well, that was, that, was, that, was X, that was XQC, right? Not Hassan didn't say I, that, did I, he? I was making a joke. Ah, okay. But I'm just trying to get it. So, so Hassan doesn't watch like Master Chef anymore. No, I don't think. He, I don't know that I know of. No, I think that's kind of tapered off quite a lot. If, if at all. maybe he's watched them all and he's done. <laughs> he's seen every season of Master Chef. Yep. Did Hassan um, stop doing that kind of thing a while ago, or just now because it's such a stink with uh, XQC? I, I can't remember the last time he watched Master Chef and stuff on on stream. Um, I do, you know, as much as I, I've got criticisms of Hassan, he does seem to improve his whole React stuff. And... It's, it's only social pressure, though. He has nothing to do with his principles. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it, I'd agree with that. Yeah, one hundred percent completely lifted and you can make derivative works off of that with ease well, that's like a with, here's my reaction that didn't really... not even i, don't know what talking about. I think it should be shorter than that so he thinks it should be shorter than basically what public domain is now i'm sure yeah it does at the okay, very least right. i'm sure he would take it to an extreme one uh number two i think that uh as I far as like no rigorous control over ip um listen person... to his words yeah the we words mean things. Don't have it. I don't. I don't believe in it. I don't think it's a good what thing. What do you mean you don't believe? Wait, what? I, don't I think what he doesn't believe means. in I, I. Wait, he doesn't believe in IP. Does he? So does he not believe in the ownership of like no, intangible like ideas or creations, art? He doesn't believe in that. Not if you call it property. I need to call it labor. I mean, he. It's what he said. I don't know what else we can do with it. But I don't believe in IP. I, I guess it, I guess I'm I'm it's almost like I've got the same as Ethan. It's like, do you actually believe that? <laughs> like really and truly. I, Intellectual I property the, is theft, okay? You think that people should be able to steal your videos and upload it. Yeah, which is why I have Why? How is that fair to anybody? <laughs> do you really believe that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, Ethan is really like he's not letting him go on anything he's Love saying. It. He's yeah, he's well, holding them I mean, to even it. If you literally search Hasanabi, there so, are a thousand channels, pretty much, that yeah, literally agree, take yeah. every... Because things, most things on social media, things like are meant to be shared, shared, you want it to be shared. Oh, wait, you want to control how it's shared and whatever? Based yeah, because it's all that it belongs has. to them. That's, yeah, oh, that's, that's like what it's... copyright is. Yeah, that, yeah, and, and again... So much of this comes down to the fact that XQC is really stupid and unfathomably wealthy. So he doesn't have to worry about any of this. He, it, this is beyond him. This is not a problem he ever has to worry about. All he does is steal shit, somehow churns that into millions of dollars because of the retards that watch him, and it's done. He does not have a dog in this fight. Not in this sense. He can just keep hey. stealing shit forever. Until it, until why does he think it's like a, why does he think it's a binary in terms of sharing? It's like you can want something to be shared on your terms, like how that's not unreasonable. I think yeah, I agree. <laughs> it seems like you're just mad that the things aren't being shared the way that you want them to. Yeah, which yeah. is their right. On other people's behalf, and it's cringe as fuck. Within reason. Everything obviously. I do on my stream and re-upload it I know and that make you, money. No, I know that you don't care, but yeah. I'm talking, you're talking about, like, the Exactly, the, the rules for everybody. In a perfect world, I, I don't think... care that much either about what people do with my content. <laughs> yeah, but in I'm a perfect world, yeah. I think that uh, content of the- The law says that if you're, if you're at the fucking baseball game and somebody throws a peanut at you, okay, you've just been assaulted. The uh, law- there's, there's a pun in there somewhere. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, well the pun is two peanuts were walking down the road, one of them was assaulted. Yeah. Huh? Lawsuit. Oh my and god. Whole, yeah, uh, a real are you gonna sue the person behind you that threw a peanut at you by accident? Uh, you're not, probably not gonna do that. And that's just how it is. Okay. That's irrelevant. <laughs> There's plenty of laws that are in place that we don't agree with, sure, that's fine. Saying the, the, saying the validity of, of, of laws and misrepresenting. Well, so that's not what Ethan is actually secret, saying. Ethan, so. Ethan is asking whether or not you would want these rules applied to everybody. Like, just because it's your perspective, do you think that you would want everybody to be following these rules? 
So it's kind, you could say it's kind of appealing to the law, but it would be more so appealing to, again, ethics. He Do you also, think that this is the way that the world should be run? He threw in by accident, too, in the middle of the example. He was saying, what if someone oh, did threw he? you by accident? And it's like, wait, wait, is it an accident? Because then, yeah, it might not be a crime. Because the person's like, hey, did you just throw that peanut at me? You can say, no, I tripped and my peanut spilled and it bounced off this thing and hit you. That yeah. That is... Good luck actually being able to like do that and get someone like arrested and everything. Yeah. Yeah. True. And, and, and human behavior is a fucking brain dead. Act what am I saying? I'm saying it is a stupid to say, well, technically, according to the law, you cannot watch this. You cannot do this. You cannot One, the laws are already blurry enough. But the laws are sacred. Wait, what did he say? What? The laws are blurry enough, is what he said. Not here, they aren't. Not with uh, not with you watching Master Chef, or, well, uh, Hell's uh, Kitchen, or, or, or Dark the Dark Knight, which he stopped because the law was so fucking clear. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to be what? insanely ignorant or stupid to think you could do it in the first place. And he knew you weren't allowed to do it. He just thought he could get away with it. Right. And two, some people don't care, or some people actually care, but they want that. They want their video to be stolen. Uh, there's more people that want that than not. And you're saying that you're going to have arrived a, at that conclusion. The, well, the, even if he's correct, right? There's a plethora of different responses from all different kinds of people, but you're going to have one approach with it every time, which is to do it. Mm -hmm. If 51% if of people say it's okay to just randomly walk into their house and eat from their fridge, do it. Because 51%, that's most people. It's so most. just do it. Fuck it. Also, try that around here and find out what happens. And the I thing is, well, it's like most creators, if you read the responses, say transform the content. That is their one sole wish in this whole trauma. Yep. You know. Or give credit, you know? Yeah. The yeah, say, nobody steal. Everybody stand back. No, guys, stand back. Nobody steal. I got you guys. I, I, guys, I got you guys. I am the hero of this. You want to be stolen? No, 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 you don't. Trust me, bro. What? You don't, you don't want that. You don't want He's that. talking about White Knight in. That you're saying it's dumb as fuck that we would ever take issue with something when the person that's getting quote unquote stolen from isn't uh, raising the stink themselves, even though people well, have in the past. Yeah, so, so why do I have to have a personal stake in anything to have an opinion on it, especially when it comes from a moral or principled position? I don't know. Like it's that's it's ridiculous. That that's incredibly dumb. And plus, you can't even say that because it might be my video that gets stolen tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah. Well, also, what is he basing the idea that? Is it that most people would be happy with the bump in exposure? So therefore, he's saying most people would be happy that it's being responded to by him. He has made that claim just now very boldly. But is he saying then that means the people who aren't okay with it don't matter or don't exist? Uh, I mean, it effectively either one to him. It you know, either way. I'm, they, I'm having they, a lot of well, this it goes into the, the walking into people's houses thing I said earlier. Like in his mind, if most people are okay with it, then just you have carte blanche to just do it to anyone. He doesn't ask for permission before he does it. He doesn't take any of these precautions or any of these steps. He's just saying, "Well, most people would like me to do it, so I'm just gonna do it willy nilly, where and how I see fit." Okay. You guys over there, you don't want this. I got you. I'm the hero here. This sword. So cringe. Would oh, uh, man, what would a be Lord. heavily cringe. subsidized yeah, so by cringe. government yeah. subsidies cringe. in the arts you, in the field of you art. would be subsidized. Everyone, every every type of content creation would be heavily subsidized. That costs so that money. Wait, 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 wait. Every so like I yes. could, the government would pay me to make YouTube videos. That costs money, dude. Well, yeah, the point everyone. that I made with this is that look, obviously, you know, the market is good uh, in, in in some ways. For example. With media, it's more views equals better equals, you know, money goes that direction, to put it simply, right? So under mm -hmm. this system, could I just broadcast a fucking video of my wall and then get paid by the government fucking, uh, you know, central committee for my content? As long as you, dog shit? As long as you tape a banana <laughs> onto it, you'll be fine. Okay. No, you're making it <laughs> Well, you, so he's saying, so I guess Hassan really is being like, the government should subsidize content creation just making things and yeah. i mean I, I i suppose in some elements there are tax credits well, I mean, for specific do, things yeah, in specific yeah, places in different but if we're talking the realm of streaming and youtube videos like um but he's like, saying broadly he's saying like sweepingly as opposed oh. to like i don't know specific like british columbia or like uh, uh, georgia or any of these places the uk like in terms of their specific 
like but localizing be, industries for the But arts. if a Republican senator anyway. proposed this, he'd be screaming fascism. Because this is well, the government well, controlling the way that art is made and created. Well, exactly. I mean, if, if all art is getting government subsidized, I would imagine that the government might have a perspective on what kind of art can be created. Well, of course. Government money <laughs> always has strings attached. But yeah, what world <laughs> always. would it just be as long as you qualify that as gay shit, creating they say. something? that gay shit in there. Sorry. If it, like, it wouldn't be as simple as as long as you create, we give you money. It's, it's going to have strings of some kind. You have to say these things, it has to have this amount of stuff, and it has to have this and that and this and that, and so all of that content would be what the government approves of. And which not, just seems like such an antithetical thing to what I well, would assume this is about. Has he, has he even remotely No, Fringy, he came up with this now. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 we're I, I genuinely believe this in real time. Well, yeah. Really That's what I'm saying. Well, obviously, Biden's in office, so, you know, he's probably thinking, great, I can do all my progressive content, but when DeSantis or Trump wins in the next election, it's going to be, you know, you've got to make content saying how gays are all redacted, you know? <laughs> Um, and then he's going to have to either do that, which he probably would, to be honest with you. He'd probably think, fuck it, I'll do it for the paycheck. For the money. Yeah, or he's going to have to quit. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Hassan will, absolutely. When Look, he was talking wouldn't... about public domain, I really thought it seemed to me like he thought he was inventing the concept of public domain as he was thinking of it. And that he well, just. He it... might believe that. He... Yeah, that might be in his head. Because he didn't know the name for it, but he was well, like, sort he of was describing was like the concept. And like, now I don't. I don't like with patents it's that after some period as well that can expire and then it becomes available to a whole bunch of different companies right isn't that like with pharmaceutical products so um, but after some amount of time anybody can make a generic version like for mm. instance of a patented drug yeah so the, the yeah one of the easiest ones that people know both the generic and the um brand name for is Advil or Motrin is ibuprofen. Ibuprofen being the generic name. And generally that happens... And acetaminophen, it, yeah. Yeah, I forget, acetaminophen's Tylenol. Um, but I, I'm not sure what the time frame is or if it's consistent worldwide. And now my pharmacy office... Well, I mean, it's the same with copyright. Copyright, I, I can't remember which one's which, but I, some places it's like from the moment you create it, some places are like X number of years after your death. And it varies as well, like the number of years, you know, depending on which country you're into. Mm -hmm. Not be art would not be created. I don't for the feel sake like you're like, into like a real world right now. Yeah, which is yes. why I'm saying that's my yeah. own. He, by the way, now, he just goes like, that... yeah, like you agree, and it's like has, you don't like, agree. That was a criticism. That was saying that you're. It's entirely unrealistic and almost nonsense. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, well, yeah. it's just his, his, yeah. Like you can't say yes. You don't agree. No, yeah, of course I hate not. when people do that, and I, it, I just want people I mean, to call that know, shit out more often. Stop like, saying yes, you don't the, agree. We don't agree. Does Hassan think that, like, for instance, Disney would ever want this world to exist? Have, haven't Disney, like, fought for years at this point, like, yeah. extending and extending and extending Mickey Mouse in terms of public domain? Like, you think any major corporation's gonna be on board with this? No, I, they want to hold on to that shit forever. For as long I, as yeah. I can. I mean, well, not even, people do. People believe in this. Yeah, and individuals want to, because... What like it's 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 a good incentive to create things if you know that you get the economic benefits from the thing that you create because you own it. That's a but huge incentive to that create more than stuff. Else. The thing you need to bear in mind is Hassan is probably conceiving of this within some sort of socialist or communist vision because that would be his ideal system of government, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, would it would it be a world where we get universal basic income combined with funding for the arts for every individual? Correct, and then you can go and make your lesbian slam poetry, you know, <laughs> to uh, your heart's content. No issues. What? It, you're truly uh, a utopia. Yeah. He, he understands that uh, if, under if that's open to everyone, that means that no, people are, only, even he will only be able to ever do YouTube streams or Twitch streams or whatever at certain times, because if everyone has the ability to do that, that means everyone else is also going to have to chip into. Make sure the crops are grown. Make sure the roads are built. You know, all the things that in a socialist society <laughs> get done. Well, yeah. I don't know if you've seen the threads where they go, what would be your ideal job in a communist hey. society? <laughs> no one's like toilet cleaner, you know, sewage worker. It's always like, Digger, oh, I do, theater, you know. Yeah. I, I, I want to be some... the, the commune's poet, you know. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I want to grow up to be the shit about shuffler. the struggle. <laughs> Yeah, it's all these lofty, oh, I, I want to be the person in school who teaches all the next generation 
about the struggle of the working class and communist ideals, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we've got 79 Dude, million. Dude, what's their guy? I was like, I just want to, you know, wander around and write poetry and just, yeah, and just live, you know? <laughs> like, I wanna, okay. You want Witcher? <laughs> you, you try to call me out for, for not asking for people if it's uploaded the videos when I have a track record that my editors ask people more, way more often than other people's editors. If okay, but, like, you need to do it all the time is the criticism. Not like, Sometimes. If you were to actually flip and show the ends of your positions, I have a bigger track record of as permission than any of these motherfuckers. Any of them. Any of them. And you still do shitty? I, hmm. I have That's something about the state of the world, doesn't it? Than any React Lord out there. And I will fucking prove it if they, if they, if they, if they come out and say, show dick size, I will show my, it will flop around their fucking faces, dude. And I hope I'm gonna get a fucking apology at that point, bitch. Understanding of the world versus what is happening in the real world are two separate <laughs> issues. Okay. Or two separate so, scenarios. So you believe that IPs, people should just be able to steal your content. I don't, I don't consider, it. well, first of all, for, I don't even consider it game. theft because people do that already. And I have given allowances for people to do that. No, However, I'm not saying people are stealing your content. So yeah. Well, they I'm are talking about IP laws in general. Uh, I think that the protection should only exist for, uh, you know, people like YouTube channels and whatnot, people that are smaller, uh, independent operations. And so, that... the, so I hate to break it this to you, Hassan, great. but that will never happen. The only thing that could ever happen would be the opposite, where the protections are really strong for massive corporations that have teams of lawyers that can fight on this, and then individual creators are screwed. And, and if the world does how come do you to even that, draw it the means... line? How, how big is too big? And what does that mean? So, like, if you make a million dollars or something in a year, the, like, does that reduce the amount uh, of, like, time left until your thing becomes public domain? Or does that happen instantly? Like, what does uh, this world look like? And there's also two other problems as well. One is once you hit a certain thing, like, you hit a $10 million and it cuts off how much you can claim. Number one, pirates are going to come in and start pirating your shit because you can't protect it. And number two, other networks are going to go, oh, their thing's expired. We can take, put that on our network without paying for it. Lovely jubbly. It just, it's an insane concept that just wouldn't work in any sort of practical way. We're going to see Mr. Beast, Beast videos all over Disney Plus soon. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's going to be the, the big corporations have the ability to pay for massive marketing and they already have these established platforms and services on the internet, and they're just going to take everything that exists and plop them on their services, and you, you might be able to take their stuff, but it doesn't matter because you can't broadcast that like they can. They have these massive megaphones across the internet, and you're a guy, so you're going to get drowned out. So that doesn't even make the playing field level at all. The restrictions should be heavily heavily limited for larger corporations so how do you decide who's a smaller and who's a larger that's actually a really mm. good question i don't have an answer for that i've thought about it a lot but i do not I have an answer for it yeah, i don't do know have an answer. I, I think like Man, isn't that like the most important fundamental question Jay's yeah gonna... like wouldn't you wouldn't your like uh like placeholder answer be oh it's based off of income or employees or you know gross you don't generated, need a specific whatever. line but some yeah, criteria like... would be nice some like general said, Rag, money, size of the actual company, um, like something. Yeah, public <laughs> versus privately traded or something like well, that. It's just, or, he says yeah. this is the way that it should be based on this principle. It's like, okay, where do you draw the line? No idea at all. Like, all right, then. Okay, this all is not right. very workable, Hassan. By the way, I'm sorry, this is so funny. Someone said, why did neither of uh, anybody on the cast point out that Hassan and Ethan, neither of them are bold or bolding? <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know. That's just what XQZ said. Like, well, I guess it just like, didn't even occur to me to I didn't talk th like, about that. Yeah. <laughs> such I, an I, absurd, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think XQC might have seen that, that Photoshop picture of Ethan going around where he's, like, twice. Oh, yeah. Totally bald. Oh, okay. And Ethan even made that his Twitter picture. So I think that it's possible that might be a thing that XQC misunderstood. <laughs> it's weird because but, he's looking at Ethan now. This is, yeah, this is brand new and he's got a full head of hair. Like, you know, it's shaved down, but still. Hey, I'm trying to be good faith. It's not always easy, okay? I was good faith yeah. just now. It's okay. You can be good faith yeah, and critical. Yeah, oftentimes, Ethan and Hassan, like, oftentimes, they probably look like each other just, like, flipped upside down. Sure. <laughs> some guy, maybe some guy has a 10 year old video, right? That's 10 seconds long, right? Uh, from some old TikTok and has like nine views on it, right? 
and you show it on your stream, and the guy goes out of his way, right? Wakes up in the morning and says, oh my God, I was just robbed of my stardom. This video was about a fuck no, robbed off of his intellectual the property. I mean, it's, yeah, but like the actual damages would just be all of that engagement you got to take from his video. He doesn't get any of it. And what did you do with it? Like, It's not like we're saying that? he becomes the most famous TikToker ever overnight uh, if only you hadn't reacted to it. Yeah, why does it need these ridiculous extremes? It's just that you got a whole bunch of... You, you extracted all of the value from that guy's creation, from that guy's work, and he gets shit. Much. ...world and make millions of dollars. My eighth video, my eighth view video. This was about a farm, and I was just fucking... I was just stolen... I'm gonna sue everybody who watched this. I'm going to sue everybody in court immediately because the DMCA laws say they shouldn't have watched it. I can't fucking believe it, dude. Holy fuck. Nobody thinks like that. This is a brain dead. I mean, they very mental well might. gymnastics. You don't know. The thought that you think this is a bad argument is sad. It is sad. Sorry, man. Maybe revenue structure wise, like after a certain. So what you just, hit, you just hit. I love the yeah, term hit, like, brain dead number. mental gymnastics. That's hilarious. <laughs> And then you have cap, and then it, it limits down what if, like, yeah, a, like a progressive not, if, taxation structure uh -huh. where it like basically limits the amount that you can maintain uh your own intellectual property patents what if uh -oh. you that's Yo, how you make the living. so they take your AP, ip away and then all of a sudden your business goes bankrupt because everyone can steal <laughs> your content what do you mean <laughs> why would your business go bankrupt your business potentially you're making money by creating uh proprietary or unique content Okay. So once you were like, hey, my business is doing great. I'm making $10 million a year. Mm -hmm. And then you lose. I guess you stop making content and you find other ways hmm. to make money because that's not reliable anymore. Yeah. That's killing well, all of that potential content. This is the problem is Asan is in peak lefties do this quite often. They view a movie bit, movie um, studio as just the top end. The executives getting paid fucking buckets of cash. What I think about is they get profit from movies and they invest that profit into other movies, which pays, you know, yeah. All the crew, like er everyone involved, right? So it's creating further jobs. Um, so right. yeah, it just, it's kind of absurd that like this pro worker person doesn't see that aspect of it and just sees the fat cats stuffing money into their pockets. Religion, non-specified. Well, when they say the movie has to make twice its budget to break, or to, uh, yeah, twice its budget. General rule, at least. At least yeah. twice its budget is a good general rule because they only get a certain percentage from the actual theaters. Of course, as you know, the marketing, as I'm sure you are aware, uh, but, rough yeah. production budget usually. But the thing is, the at least the production budget part of that, that's all the little people getting paid for the most part. Maybe take out twenty million for Robert Downey. Yeah, Jr. that's the product. Yeah, the pr that's the budget for the production, which yeah. is all those those big names at the end of the movie. All the, all those names that scroll by, and most of those are probably just production yeah. guys. Yeah. All the people in the CGI dungeon, and all the grips, <laughs> and all of the camera this. And all of the hair floofers and dressmakers and wig shakers and uh, brain spritzers and all that stuff. That's all them. That's all the grunt work. The biggest reason movie making is expensive is because especially for a union production, like a Hollywood movie, even if it's not being shot in Hollywood, is you have to pay everyone, every single person, a certain minimums that are actually very strictly controlled by the union's that operate around the entertainment industry. And so a, a lot of that money is going to paying all of those people who yes. are like, have had people fight for their right to say, hey, we're worth this much on a set. Now, I personally am not thrilled about lots of those rules because I had trouble getting work as a cinematographer in Toronto because I wasn't union. And I was like, well, how do I become part of the union? And they're like, you need union credits. And I was like, um, okay. And yeah. Then I joined the army for 10 years. So socialism would change all Did of you that. Have a, were you in a union in the army? I'm technically the army. Like, we will not shoot this mortar until our barracks uh, get sandwiches in them. And we need new knee pads. Well, you could maybe argue that the whole military is both the union and the employers for every soldier. So uh, kind of, yes, but also it's like, well, they can also send you to die at any given moment, really. So... You know. Okay, so I've got a, a question, a super chat I just want to read. It's a little bit inappropriate, but it should be okay. <gasps> no, do it's you right think, up rally, then. <laughs> do you think they are concerned with little guys in the adult film industry? If so, do they pay for porn? 
When you said little guys in the film, I thought you meant like people with small penises. <laughs> they, they, they just mean the guy that's shooting the fucking shot that might get fucking G well, shoot it, over them in the money shot. Right? Guys, that's the same. The um... Now, when you when you say shooting the fucking shot, are you like the money shot? <laughs> if you're talking about production, I can say for sure. No, um, it's it's all non-union. <laughs> So just, but to Chud's question, or at least the super chatter, um, the further question on that would just be to the piracy, right? If you want to support people who make movies and why pirating, huh? What's that about? But with the porn one, a lot of people watch sites that have ads on them. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, that I mean, would... I, I, you know, I'm told that there's a website called Pornhub from what I'm I told. Yes, I've been informed and, uh, of this. Uh, uh... Is there? Apparently, there is. Um, I don't know how bad it is now since they changed up something because of the payment stuff. But there's like pirated stuff on there. Apparently, that isn't justified by the original actor. Mm -hmm. I guess it would just be. It's up to the production company to DMCA it, right? Like, if you're on Pornhub, you're not going to know. Uh, oh, oh, I better check to see if this is copyright or whatever. Like, that's up to the people to protect the copyright. And if it's on Pornhub and you watch it, tough shit. I don't know. Yeah, some people are looking for a link so that they can avoid it, obviously, just to ban that link. <laughs> yeah, makes Por sense. You said it was just so, yeah, just so uh, I don't know that you say it's Pornhub, P O R N H U B. Yep, correct. Yep, put it in your uh, blacklisted okay. you know, websites. <laughs> Never go there. Black, okay, let me add that to my bookmark. Blacklisted websites here. Who's your IP? Okay. Um, All right, thank how you. How does that make sense? Because it's it's still unique content creation, which well, means that just start reup. Guys, I'm not saying don't. I'm not just saying don't and say shit like that, right? Because oh, guys, he's just he's just cloud sharking it. Guys, I have a very pure vision of what of how the world works. Okay, and here's how I here's how I see the world. Okay, okay. You're only simplistic. A cloud you, cloud sharking is as stupid as an ideology. It's Unless you have ideology, substance. I'm not scared of anybody. <laughs> I've never been scared of calling anybody, be around anybody. But on the side, I could be, they could steal my viewers. I don't give a fuck, man. These people have no substance. They have nothing better to offer. Dude, I could sleep on fucking stream. It's better content than ninety percent of these dumb fucks. What the fuck do I? I'm not offended by that. I'm not insecure about it. What the fuck do I care? Uploading it. <laughs> I think he's been captured by this idea that he's like talented, and now he he like believes it. Like, I could sleep and I'll get more viewers than a lot of these people. So, well, yeah, obviously, view count, that's really good content. View count translating <laughs> to, uh, you know, talent slash value. And funnily enough, like, Transformers value. Transformers is the best movie because it makes lots of money. And everyone watches it. It's like, woo. I, I, maybe it's not talent. Maybe he's just like, yeah, well, they like me more. Fuck you. Like, because he's like, I could, I could sleep and make more views than you guys make on a stream where or at whatever exactly he said. But he basically said I could be asleep, which by the way Amaranth does. I think she gets like 6k a night when she does sleep streams. So What does that mean? Up. That's sleep. What what does that mean? She's what just sleep sleeping in a bed. Yeah, she's sleeping sleep in a bed. So. Yeah, and then you masturbate to her and then Wait, that's the content. What? No, you just enjoy a little sleeping view. No, some people do that. But there is another person called like Casey Tron and others do this too. This is absolutely shameless, way more shameless than what she does. But they will be asleep, not on the stream, anywhere, and they're just broadcasting movies. Oh, right. come on. <laughs> okay. Come on. Inception. Fringy, you, you, like brought up a, Fringy, you brought up a point about movie theaters and how movie theaters, by this XQC logic... Oh, right? oh, well, again, it seems like it was more the other line of thinking, right? Like, could a movie theater say, well, why would I need to pay any cut to the, to the movie studio? Me as a theater... It's providing the transformative experience of you watching it here with this audience on this big screen. Yeah. So why should you know the how movie far people how far do you extend it? anything? Yeah, we've we've transformed mm -hmm. it. Yeah, because we put well, you we in a room. It's been room. transformed. Abolish IP. <laughs> okay. And as Ethan Is abolish obviously IP pointed the new out, abolish money. It's just like that'll crash and burn very soon after you abolish it. Like the whole system. Yeah, and then you're, and then you're. So that's why, so why I think that all these videos are insecure. This is it's all it's on security. All of it about about money, fame, clout, views, appearances, looks. It's all out of insecurity. I don't give a fuck how it looks. What how it. I, I know that. I present practice, views, analytics. I don't give a fuck about it. And I, I show. I, you know, I he does, right? Movie. Because earlier he was saying that he believes that the way that he does it is more ethical than the majority of people who do React content, so that's not true. And once, once there's enough pressure, be it legally or socially, he's going to change, too. He already yeah, did with the Dark Knight and... Once, once it actually becomes significantly economically detrimental, you'd stop. Mm -hmm. 
that's kind of the other thing. It's like, well, dude, in the, I mean, as much as it's not like, well, your opinion doesn't count because you're rich. It's like, well, dude, if you just got a hundred million dollar contract, you can't say, oh, well, I don't care about this stuff. So why should anybody else? With the well, it feels the same with her son, doesn't it? You know, it's easy for you not to care because you don't rely on it to the same extent that somebody could, where they're like barely scraping by, and like and and the re-uploading of their content or the reaction could end up being a massive hit to like potential income. Actions that have only talk. That's why I'm offering anybody these dumb books an, an argument or debate. Bottom line is gonna get crushed. Like yeah. yeah, you will. You'll certainly. Well, on your old library content, on your old library content, you would still have like some. You see that this is so much more complicated yeah, than it is. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I. I do. Why? Why make things? You more agree complicated, that it's more complicated? Okay, I think I know what he's doing. I, has anyone here ever hung out with frat bros? Now the ones I've hung out with were Canadian. Oh, see. Uh, now it, it's a it's a genre of male. Anyways, oh, so, genre of male, gotcha. So often, if you're talking to someone about, uh, if you're talking generally to frat bro type dudes or who like interacting socially the way those guys do, and you start going full blown autism like I do sometimes, it, they tend to say, yeah, 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 and then kind of look for a way out. So I think the repeated, yeah, 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 isn't him agreeing. It's him saying, yeah, yeah, can we change the subject, nerd? <laughs> So it's not, it's, so what you're saying is, it's a verbal trick. I think it's a verbal trick he's trying to use on Ethan, which isn't working. It's not working. Ethan is relentless. He's kneeling on him. And for the record, I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. Just saying that that's the impression I got. Stand up. Well, I mean, I think this is still, the way that it currently exists is still pretty complicated. It's not that complicated. It's like... I mean, the the only I mean, complication it definitely is complicated. People people abuse DMCA. You know True. this already. Like people, uh, it's not complicated. Are, like, people I, abuse it. That's not complicated. Even it's even in the way simple. even in the way that I have. Hi, chat guys. Guys, am I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish this on kick chat? I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over there, chat guys. I'm I'm I'm, I'm over the shit. Okay. Um, what is this thing? If I destiny, well, that's kind of part of what I wanted to go to kick as well. Um, I want to have destiny stick on it, but I don't know. Uh, also, 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 Overwatch, also this, also everything. Wow, um, twenty eight months. Can I get a thunk shaker? I think is where it moves I, over I think to the DMCA structure. Yeah, moves over to just, kick okay, now. But, but that's not my point. But then is they that... DMCA other fan channels or even my channel sometimes. They try to DMCA me with my content and they're abusing the DMCA structure. But it's so, not it's not complicated. It's just that it, up, you just need to sue someone to find actual resolve. Yeah, yeah. You, you have the law to... is pretty straightforward, I feel like. You have to have well, bad actors uh, are always going to exist, which is what okay, so, dude, dude, the guy <laughs> quite literally. He, he said that I, I was a thief, and what I was doing was stealing live on air, and I proved that it wasn't. Like, you didn't prove. I don't think anyone wants to call you didn't. Thief. Imagine if you put another crime, in, in, instead of instead of thief, how bad the label would be. Imagine imagine how damaging it could be to somebody's image, somebody's career, and how damaging it could be um, for the future. If you, that's not something that you should be doing. Uh, Why you need to have some regulations, some laws around it, which is what I'm saying. I, I, I agree with you on that. Um, there's always going to be people that violate it. I got Ultimately, disagree with if you, you want to understand IP why thing. I have this opinion, what? look, I grew up in Turkey. Um, we did not have access to uh, movies when I was growing up that, in a timely manner. Oh, is he going to do like the ethical piracy thing? Yeah, you can make you can is, make loads of ethical somehow related ethical piracy arguments. There's loads of them. There's nothing to do with this conversation, though. Yeah, this is completely not relevant. Access to video games when I was growing up in a timely manner. True. And the only way yes. I was able to enjoy all of these video games when I was growing up in Turkey was uh, cracked video games. Was, was there's a, a massive black market. Um, yep. that was readily available where you could go and purchase a I don't know why we would equate that when you're sharing the platform with the original video that's available game uh, in a brick and mortar retail store mm -hmm. that exclusively sold like pirated material basically pirated movies and pirated video games and the only way I had Chat, I don't know if maybe you remember we watched a documentary about I think it was Brazil or Portugal or, or, or something like that and they had a massive network of, of uh, they had like an internal system of sharing music because even if they wanted it or they wanted to buy it, they can't even buy it. It wasn't it wasn't fucking available. It was it Cuba? I remember, but it was multiple of them. 
It was crazy. I had access to uh, anything. Like okay. the only way I had right, access to anything was going on was the difference. in the rest why, of the world. Why would you be what? bringing up this argument when the videos in question are like YouTube videos that are freely accessible on the same platform, like he said? Why, why bring this up? I don't know. Because Hassan thinks that this is, I guess, in his mind. See, like the law says X, but you could ethically do Y to get around law X. So that sort of relates to some defense that I have for my IP or take, I guess. In his mind, he's just, he's putting the two together. So I know a bit about black market PC games in Eastern Europe in the early 90s. And I, why, why, Hassan? Why, <laughs> why are we there? Why is this happening? Well, wow, what is the reason why it's difficult to acquire through games? Through a black market substitute, uh, cracked video games and... Okay, okay, yo, yo, do you have any uh, more timestamp of, of, of him cooking? Because I, I don't want to react to the whole thing. I'm, I'm, I don't want to do that. It's not... One, they say it's not transformative. Whatever, they're getting a mold. So that, I, I, it's not... The, 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 it's not transformative. He thinks that this isn't transformative. I think mm. it mostly is. He's doing okay. Yeah, he more do me. far I worse. I don't want to react to the whole thing. Meanwhile, back to the Dark Knight, everybody. <laughs> it's, it's not transformative. Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, oh, it's only this part. Oh, this is all bullshit fucking politics. Oh, which other In uh, pirated movies. So. Sounds like they figured it out for themselves over there in Turkey. Yeah, because it was not. There, there was no way that you could access it. And I this, still don't see the solution of making I, everything IP list. Yeah, connect us back, Hassan, please. Well, if the Cold War ends, I mean, I guess we'll be able to react to each other's videos again. Yay. So my point was, but that's a violation of IP. That's like heavily illegal. And good for, and I mean, I'm not saying on, that they shouldn't do that. I mean, whatever, you know what I mean? Do so what you gotta do. So you're, you're, it, but you're you do fine. Need laws to protect your fucking so you're, okay, property. Okay, so we're, we're not that far off from one another on this issue I'm then. I'm not saying that in Turkey you should fucking have your hands cut off or something. I don't care. No, I, I mean, first of all, there's no hand cutting in Turkey. I know, I'm just, I'm just but saying. My, my point was that, um, okay, so y you and I are in agreement on this then because it's more of a wink and a nod where it's like, hey, listen, you know, sometimes you're going to steal some it, movies. If X Sometimes you're gonna steal some movies. Oh, Meaning, sometimes happens. you're gonna have to steal some videos. Is that what he means? It yeah. Is that the logical like thing? It like, really you know, feels like we're trying to wedge it in to... when this is an entirely different scenario. You have no access to it other than piracy. Therefore, piracy in this case becomes ethical. That was the scenario he gave. How the hell is that related to this at all? XQC reuploads one of my videos and just sits there watching. I should have the right to sue him. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about something else. What did I, you think that? Yeah. If you well, regardless of my own personal belief, I think that there. Uh, yo, Hassan needs, Hassan needs to be very careful about this, right? He needs to be super careful. Why? And I think he gets. Uh, well, to be fair, actually, he's probably because uh, I remember this part. He he talks about how that means a bunch of people could sue Hassan. It's like that's true. This right? If he says yes to that, then if he gets. 10 lawsuits the next day by everybody he made he made content about that resembles what I did he has absolutely no argument and he cannot back away from this this is a this is a um this is a lock in position and if he does that then there's nothing you can do at that point to back away from that position wow, and that's an observation a yeah <laughs> i mean he, he, it's kind of Fair funny enough. because he's highlighting why strategically speaking it's not good to admit that this is a bad thing which i not hope is the reason ethically. yeah yeah like <laughs> You, you hope that's not why XQC sort of avoids admitting it too. There's like, well, yeah, I can get in trouble. Like, no, you... Lost or put the potential severe cost. So you gotta be careful with that. There's still, there needs to still be some limitations to what you can and can't do because there's going to be bad faith uh, abusers of that structure. Is right. XQC a bad faith abuser? I think XQC is uh, working within the bounds of of a lack of regulation around this sort of thing. But it's never, it's not going to be regulated. That's the, that's the, I mean, it well, is, but you, again, you need to be sued. There's no like his, mechanism. His perspective on it, his perspective it. on it is like, as long as nobody comes after me, why the fuck would I stop? Which I kind Which of is, understand because that's how I approach like uh, IP from like MasterChef, for example. You know what I mean? Like big television productions of, of shows right. that. Uh, and they, well, I'm not the you're Ethan then. Right. <laughs> like he's already annoyed. I have to deal with this too. Not anymore. Well, I stopped doing that. Okay, I think I think I'm doing it. Okay, I think 
talking about. I wonder if uh, Ethan is typically like this with Hassan on the show, because it seems like here he's really lost patience with him. Like, I think just he's... the way he talks, his body language. He's, it's like, I've had enough of you, dude. Like It's kind of what's been mentioned. The, he's got a history with the whole IP stuff, and so seeing this so brazenly done by XUC is driving him nuts. But at okay, the same time, yeah. I don't know if he realizes how much Hassan is like on very good terms with XQC, and so it creates chaos. Okay. Right. Talking about the prices in the past is okay. I think what, what I'm currently doing, what we're currently doing, I don't think there's any evidence of that that you could bring up, right? Uh, uh, currently? Uh, they, they could uh, sue no you, and they, would, and, and they would be right to sue you, I think. They would be yeah. in the right. I, I think so. I, I... You know what Hassan should well, be saying. Wait, I thought, I thought the... Hassan's point is like, well, no, because I believe that the way that the system should work is that we don't have like IP laws as they are, that people yeah. can freely disseminate and share this material. Unless Hassan is saying by law they could do it, but I don't consider but that thought... a good thing or ethical. Like that's that's not good. It seems good. like Ethan is saying, no, you, I, it, it seems like Ethan is appealing to like morals. He said, yeah, he's using should. They should sue yeah. you. Drop the hey. lawsuit. He just he just got the locked in position right there. Yeah, I don't. But, but, I, mean, I think it's. But ultimately, I think that's like kind Wait, of. Wait, Hassan's Master Chef. That kind of structure is kind of ridiculous. For example, um, here's why. When, like, as Twitch streamers, when we're watching stuff or when we're reacting to things, like we quite literally get paid by uh, either Hollywood Studios to react to certain things or. React well, to trailers, yeah, okay. well, that, or yeah. even sometimes react to entire uh, videos, right? Like entire. Well, the episodes. conversation doesn't pertain mm. to when it's licensed, that... though. Yeah, exactly. If it's, it's licensed, that agreement. addresses yeah. exactly. So why is he even bringing that up? He's, he's been, trying in... to. He's he'd be trying wiggling, to climb, hoping that Ethan will change the subject and he can squirm out of it without saying anything at all. International IP restrictions. When you do that, there's a. Uh, there is a, 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 a tremendous... Guys, I don't like the fact that they're using uh, uh, law whenever they want to, using morality when they want to, and there's no clear You line. use neither. It seems like they just pick and choose when to use what, for what argument, and there's no consistency, which is, I think, the most appalling part of all these conversations, is that they say that something is either immoral or illegal based on who's doing it, what's being done to, and the timing of it, and I think that's just... I mean, there's a lot of arguments coming from a lot of people about a lot of things. I, I, I guess yeah, I agree with him. It is annoying it when it all gets mixed up. Just, just disingenuous, really. Tremendous amount of limitation on what you can watch. Um, you have to geo-lock your content, for example, if you are watching anime. Like, you, you might do, like, a Crunchyroll spot, where Crunchyroll will be like, we're going to give you money to watch an entire episode of anime. Mm -hmm. When you do that, you have to geo-lock... Uh, where your content can be watched. Mm -hmm. You have to uh, abide by certain sets of restrictions. And I feel like with respect to larger budget productions like that, the reason why I'm mentioning the ad uh, component here is because like obviously multi-million dollar corporations and billion dollar corporations see value in you know someone like a twitch streamer reacting to their oh, yeah, this is all so curated yeah it's so curated and it comes with all of these restrictions and strings attached and these stipulations it's not just yeah everyone just watch our stuff for free do it fuck it watch the dark knight watch the anime do it just stream it to your tens of thousands of whatever viewers they they, they don't do that it always comes with stipulations yep because they don't actually think that that's a good thing to just let people watch all that stuff I'm sure Content. corporations would love to have like a big famous streamer watch their stuff without critiquing it or giving, you know, saying it's bad. You know, it yeah. is kind of a celebrity endorsement. So I'm sure those kind of stipulations are in there. They would much rather have Hassan just sit there dumb and happy and smiling about how great their movie is than Mahler ripping it to shreds. Well, yeah, there's, you know, there's like a non disparagement clause whenever I show some shitty mobile game. Where it's like, yeah, you know, exactly, exactly. Like, Please don't say anything harsh about the game. You know, just you know, we're, don't yeah, really we're nice stealing say, money. Don't or... Basically, stealing money on this product. Don't disparage it. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Because there is value to it. It is uh, you're marketing this material yeah. to a broader audience. Um, they don't see it as a market substitute. They see it as a good thing. But also on top of that, even when you're you doing assuming that, they see it as a good thing. Well, why would they give money? <laughs> if it wasn't a good thing, oh, why well, would no, they Sometimes Jack. they'll do it to promote a show, oh, nice. but in the case of like Master Chef, I don't believe... Nobody's yeah. ever reached out to you and been like, you're good to go. 
giving yeah, like, no, no. Clearance. Well, but like if if Crunchyroll is like, yeah, we want to pay you to watch this new yeah, show. Yeah, I'm just using that as an that example. I'm using like one of the. Yeah, and it feels like they try and wedge it in. They'll be like, this this happened at some point. Therefore, it was beneficial therefore. to them. Therefore, I could be able to do it with everything, right? Yeah, we should be able to steal just steal content and watch it to our heart's content. Mm. I mean, examples. Let, I mean, consequences be damned. What that'll do to you know the create you know creative incentive that companies and you know studios have to make stuff if people can just take it to show you that like yes i think there is a conversation that can be had about the value of like watching something live there of course there's value there is no doubt about value the value is under is the value is a misunderstood right now it, it not only is it misunderstood it's it's being underplayed and underused and it's backing up the entire media fucking uh, 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 it's backing up everything Okay, if companies were more understanding and they were they were more uh, adventurous with it and smarter, we would be sitting in a spot right now that's fucking insane. You have no idea what that. Is. Yeah, we, we it would be insane. It would be nuts how much less we have and how less willing people would be to create things if we lived in a world where everyone could just just this, um, broadcast it freely. This is all about the whole social aspect, the community coming together, people like enjoying it. That that aspect of the value. But I find it so interesting because it seems to me that that can be repeated and recreated not only by like AI and bots and stuff, but also just the next person who has a lot of people. Like, it, it, also, all you need is just a lot of people to congregate. It has nothing to do with like XQC particularly or anyone else. As we've already gone over, sometimes his chat feel he gets in the way. So at that point. Uh if we freed up IP, wouldn't it just shake out that all of the corporations would run stuff like Twitch Plays Pokemon or Twitch Watches Pokemon or Twitch Watches Power Rangers, where there is no host, it's just chat and the content. Yeah. And that would dominate. Don't, don't all these guys follow, like, viral trending content? Isn't that really what people are there for? So yeah, if, and to experience it with, along with people, stopped. to meme with them and to emote with them. But of course, who's it right, benefiting but, right now? It's individuals who have host of these streams. Like but as soon as QVC stops doing viral trending content, like they would move on to the guy who is doing viral trending content, right? Not really necessarily if they really want to stay to watch and play Overwatch, which as far as I know, he built his audience that way. You can build your audience in all kinds of ways, right? But there's something that universally seems to be enjoyed by um, sort of uh, YouTube audiences, Twitch audiences, which is watching videos. That's pretty reliable, I, I, right? I honestly feel like that could actually that could work pretty well. Like imagine if there was a channel that was just showing Buffy all day and then at 8 p.m. every night there was an actor or like Joss Whedon would come on and answer some super chats. I think <laughs> it's, people would watch. That. It's something they've toyed with. Could end up happening. And like I said, if we did the IP abolishment like Hassan suggested, we could have companies that are tailor made to create these sort of curator streams, and it would probably kill a lot of the uh, individuals that are trying to get to the top, because now we can like recreate the experience with no cost of a host. But well, um, it's, it's funny because some of these digital rights management companies are, are trying to um, strike deal like licensing deals. Um, so, like, let's say you know someone wants to watch a football match, this digital rights management company wants to make it easier for a streamer to get that licensing deal so they can watch it on their stream. Um, you know, so I think I think streaming and reacting, like we're getting to something where it's like it is the kind of future in some way. So people would like to consume content that way. So if there's easy licensing deals to be had, then everyone can win. You know, streamers can just react without saying anything. The company making the content gets paid. Do you see what I mean? I think that yeah, that's a completely different model, though. Obviously, and and just to address a game thing, I I, I think there is a tangible distinction between building a channel on gaming and building a channel on just watching content. Cause there is some kind of skill level that goes on while you're playing the game. I don't know that QVC could just watch random YouTube videos, but boring videos, videos that nobody else is watching. Well, yeah, but the, be as he considers he part of his input, the careful selection. He knows which ones work and which ones don't. I mean, anyone can go to the trending tab. It's not that difficult. No, like, I am with you, I know. Really even, is he even really even curating the content? I don't feel like he is. Like, the reason this video is, he watched it was because it, he knew it was going to be big. It was trending. That's the video that got him in trouble. He you wanted know? to watch the video that everybody else was watching. Hassan was watching. He was watching. Like, as soon as he stops doing that, as soon as he says, no, look, I'm just going to watch whatever, he's no longer the... The popular guy. I just, oh, okay. I just, this That's not true, though. He's going to get views regardless. 
for uh, maybe for gaming, but not for watching videos. Like it's a completely different thing. Yeah, well, but again, you, he can so just you, do whatever so he wants. He doesn't think... have to do any, he doesn't have to do anything on stream. He could just come on and talk about his personal dramas and strifes and people will tune yeah, in. Yeah, you still get high engagement, that's true. Okay, so you think he could just watch boring content? Um and it would it would have think... we'd have different results. There would be play people who get bored in the audience and maybe try something else for the day, see what else is going on. So like the How much of the his how many how many people say, look, everyone's watching this, watch this now. And if he says no, I'm not gonna watch this, do you think his his viewers go down or you think they stick around? No, I'm gonna watch this boring thing that nobody else is watching. So I think I, I, th I think I understand what you're getting at. So for me, for example, I've got a core base of about 300 viewers, roughly. Whatever I'm watching, people will tune in, and from there, it will fluctuate up and down. You know, dependent on if I'm covering some really big, juicy drama, it might reach 500, 600 will. viewers, right? And then if it's less interesting, maybe 400, 500, whatever, right? But the thing is with XQC is it's such a high level and it's got such a big audience that even if you watched a boring video, the drop off in his audience would not be tangible enough for that to be a concern for him, I don't think. And, and XQC is correct in that much. a lot of his audience turn up because the audience is there. Yes. So XQC's like, 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 I'm going to go watch him. You know, Destiny has well, his problem. No matter solved. what Destiny's just doing, watch, for... Sorry, just watch boring content. <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> Well, but that's the yeah, but that's the key aspect is this. Boring, he would rather the gun. Issue. So his like top level plays on Overwatch are pretty engaging for his audience, and also the best videos on YouTube are pretty engaging. Of course, that's my whole point. Yeah, I mean, well, watching he would the, watching the he, good he, videos is what you saw from the the look, tweets. He wants to do it for his community. He considers it like look, a, I would love to do. I would love to do a peer reviewed study where we have one QVC watch C span for a, a month and see where he's at, and one C. And and one QVC watch all the viral content that everyone else is watching and see where they're at. I I would be willing to bet that the C-SPAN watcher is going to be super unpopular. I mean, <laughs> people if, ask if you why you keep saying one... QVC. Yes, yeah. XQC. <laughs> but the Whatever, thing is, if, QVC. Oh, <laughs> obviously, if you if you you know pigeonhole yourself into one particular slim line of content, which is you know you, you're, you're probably going to have an impact on viewership. Because that's so yes, different to what he normally of does. Course. Look, that's, but that's why an I'm extreme just... example, isn't it? He built his platform doing this, though. You, he built his platform Chad, gaming. Todd, will you do this experiment for us? Will you watch C-SPAN for a month and see how your platform <laughs> fares? Just so we can well, have... First of all, I think I do very added, well out of that, okay? Because I'm very clever in my political takes. But secondly... Um, <laughs> but secondly so, no, no, oh, I mean, so you're uh, saying you could do it. Look, that sounds like no, a no, challenge. No, 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 I couldn't do it. It, it would fuck me over too much. I'd, you know, obviously rely on this for an income. But then you and I are, you know... I mean, I don't know. But, we, you know... I'm a smaller creator, okay? So I do need to pick better topics as best as possible to make sure More I'm... More viral you know. topics, the topics everyone else is talking about. You know how it is. Yeah, but he has his take he on it. He wouldn't even man. be... He wouldn't even be the person he is without stealing content, so... so I, I think that, though, it's it's two kind of different things because you were saying about he built his career on this one, he built his career gaming. I don't think XQC would lose anything if he just went back to going full-time gaming and just never doing react streams ever however if he was still doing react streams but to really boring content i think there would be no effect after a week and then you'd start seeing some attrition over time and eventually yes guy that streams boring stuff yes totally I, they'd be I, like this chud totally different story if he's just like yeah i'm gonna stream half as much but i'm only gonna stream was it minecraft was what he was big with or league i don't know what was his thing it was Overwatch, Overwatch, wasn't it? But the, the problem I've got is I think you're thinking about XQC kind of maximizing for viewership and stuff like that. And I just don't UBC, really think he conceives... Can't say it correctly. I just don't think he's conceiving it as what do I need to do to maximize viewership? Whereas at a smaller level, like, I do need to think about that because, you know, a slip on viewers could potentially mean I don't, um, you know, <coughs> long term. Well, well, hold on. My only point is that you have to... Like, he doesn't get to that point where he doesn't have to think about it unless he is thinking about it when he's at your level. That's my point. Um, yeah, but then, I mean, it would be it'd take an insane series of events for XQC to be a 500, 400 viewer streamer or whatever, right? Sure. Well, I, I mean, I don't know why. Why is this even a controversy if he can just do gaming streams? Why is he even doing this? Because he wants uh, to do it. Because these. he wants to do it with his audience. I can't, we keep looping back around to the same point. He wants to and fuck you. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. Yes. <laughs> 
tell you. Yeah. It is when the future of everything. Like, hey, I want yeah. you to do this. The video, the entire gaming industry, especially something you wouldn't normally be watching. Like you wouldn't yeah. normally sit down and watch a fucking episode of uh, because you know, ever since TikTok, everything people understand now that, that the social aspect of things yeah, is massive. Social aspects of of content. I don't know how massive the social aspect is of watching of someone stealing content on Twitch. You know, like, is it there? Yeah, sure, it's there. But to call it massive, I think we're, I think we're coping pretty hard. I think the I, difference between watching something on stream on Twitch with someone with with a with a, a chat, you know, and watching it by yourself on YouTube, the you know, you know the original. I do not think there is a massive difference between those two things at all. I think there is from where he's sitting. Oh yeah, he he requires it. Like the entire crux of his justification comes down to it being a massive thing. Um, he he needs it to be. He requires. Oh, no, it wait, to wait, be. but but as a viewer, if you're watching a video by yourself in your room, you're watching a video by yourself in your room. If you're in chat, you're watching it with fifty thousand other people, and you're interacting with these people constantly. Like there's a tangible difference in one's head about that. Well, and that's all right. So I said there was a difference. I don't think there's a massive difference. Do you watch streams though, like this? Like, if you don't watch them, then you're probably not going to see the difference in a significant way. But then, if you do watch it, you're probably going to think, "I don't want to watch a YouTube video by myself. That's boring. I'd rather watch it with my favorite streamer and all the other people that we hang out with eight hours a day." Yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be a massive difference. Okay, <laughs> I think there's a difference. I think there's a tangible difference. I said that there. Okay, I'll say it a third time. There is a difference, okay. but to say it is a massive difference. Maybe we're operating on, maybe we've all forgotten what the word massive means, or we're just coping really hard. Well, no, it's just, you're not going to see the difference significantly because you don't engage in that kind of content, right? Like some people like to go and play golf. I don't know, do you play golf? No. Okay. I'm, so it's just really, like, I'm, you know, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty darn good at putt-putt, though. Okay. <laughs> I, could, like, I would say, call it a... what's the difference between walking around and, and playing golf? It's the same thing, basically. But there's someone that plays golf, they're going to be like, no, there's <laughs> that's, a massive no, difference. That's a, that's that's a horrific things. analogy. That's terrible. Well, I'd, say, I'd say it's a qualitative difference. I don't know how you're, what massive means. So. Well, I, I think what Extremely big. That it's not, but the point I'm making is if you engage in the activity, you're going to see a bigger difference than someone that isn't engaged in the activity. Yeah, I'm going to see a chat scrolling by that's faster than I can even. It keep doesn't up matter how much I explain it to you because you're in a different fucking headspace thinking about this, right? So this is a pointless disagreement that we're never going to fucking come come to agreement on. I think I see both your sides, and I think what Regs is, I mean, or let me know if I'm Kathy Newming you, Regs, but I, I think what he's saying is that functionally, the the person is doing effectively the same thing, and that I, I guess you could argue is the objective aspect, but the subjective aspect is that chat might mean way more to that person than the video they're even watching. It's the same argument that retarded mums make when they go, oh, why are you watching someone playing video games? You can just do that yourself. But obviously, but that is, someone that but watches... That's, a, that's literally an interactive thing, though. Yeah, so is watching is... a video. I can't know, I was, point... How is watching a video an interactive thing? No, but the point is, if you're playing a video game, the idea of watching someone play a video game is even more absurd if you're saying that playing a video game is interactive. No, they they be two different things. I, I think watching someone playing a game and playing a game, there's even more difference between those two things than me watching a video on YouTube or me watching a streamer. But what I'm saying who is, essentially, to, 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 isn't okay. saying anything. Watch that video. But maybe we're okay. But from the perspective of a retarded mother, they don't. They, they they think it's absurd that you would watch someone play a video game when you can just do that activity yourself. Like, why would you bother both... doing that? But we both disagree with the mother here, so... Oh, yeah, okay, so maybe this is the wrong angle. <laughs> really doesn't understand when it's a game the kid has. Because, like, wait, you're sitting in here watching someone play this game that you could fire up your PlayStation and play right now? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, but... I just, there, there is a qualitative difference between going to the movies alone and going to the movies with a friend. I just, yeah. like, it's so easy. <laughs> And I think, yeah, I know there's a very well, different well, I, experience. Well, I even think that, I think that is even way more than a bunch of random anonymous people in a chat. Going, I'd much rather watch it's anything analogous. with one not friend. anonymous to the people. They know each other, they know each other's yes, name. Yes, in the chat, they know each other. And also for some of them, that might be the closest thing they have to a, a friend group or a support network. Yes, of course. Right. <laughs> Well, then no, we've discovered it's one of the things I said. Like, I did say it's like I a bit. I get to watch some 
it feels a bit dystopian. You can watch the most like... retarded person on the internet who's at filthy rich and think, oh, look, I'm, I could be rich. I'm retarded too. Well, especially if they, you know, you spam the right things or press the right buttons at different times and it actually changes what's on screen, right? People feel uh, a connection. And are we at like an all time high for loneliness or whatever in the world? Yes, what? totally. Yeah, well, I think, oh like, especially following COVID, a lot of people have been like holed up. There's a huge demand on YouTube for not just somebody's content, but like being a part of a group dynamic. We where have a... like you're you're interacting with chat and you're typing things that other chat members and the host can see and they could potentially respond to you and interact with you. It's almost like being in the room with them. Like so... uh, there's a huge demand for that, I think. So this is a symptom of a broader societal issue. <laughs> is it right? No, uh, look, I don't I don't necessarily like the all the lonely people in the world. I think it's just fun, even if you have friends in your life. So it's a, it's just a different experience. Oh, well, I, I guess the, yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I watch. Look, I'm sure you have friends in your life and you're doing it and you understand that it's fun. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't, I, I have probably watched hundreds of hours of both EFAP and yes, Sip over the totally. past I'd say that's that's safe to say, and I'm um, yeah, I, I have a wife I never talk about and two puppies. But <laughs> what I mean though is I think that just because I can do both, just because I, I have real world support networks and re real world people who love me and real world friends, that that doesn't okay, mean it's not a contest. Calm down. <laughs> no, okay, I'm just saying that most of us probably do in, in this context. But anyway, the point is there might be someone in my audience who doesn't, and I like I think that. It's at least it's at least proper for me to I don't know think uh, at least assume that they've I, got a valid perspective. You know, like, look, I I would like to know what the percentage is of people in the chat or watching these videos that have zero friends to their name. I would people sometimes t talk about it being like eighty ninety percent. I would put no. an estimate more at like ten percent, maybe five percent. It seems like people enjoy this activity uh, aside from hanging out with friends in the real world. Yeah, I didn't mean to give the wrong impression. I don't, I don't have any problem with people enjoying it. I enjoy it. I'm just saying that um, that yeah, could be an fun. explanation for why people consider it, for, for, to use the word, a massive difference. There could be plenty of people out there who would be like, I can't fucking watch anything without you know, a community around it at this point because I, I don't want to go back to just being on my own watching things. There may be people oh, out there who oh. feel that way. I don't know. People... People like to people watch, and well, this so, is like people watching. People are going to start fucking topping themselves if you're not careful. We need to tone it. We need to tone it back up a bit, you know. But bring the energy back. Oh, oh. The the. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Are you saying our stream's getting suicidal? Bring up yes, the C-span. Exactly Let's what watch some C-span. Exactly. <laughs> Ex regular exposure to XQC could make someone suicidal. I can I can see that. Okay, true. Yeah, but then I can imagine burning two years of high school in lockdown, though, man. That would, that would probably have turned me into a different person. Incredibly important. Yeah. And the React watch parties is quite literally the best combination of content and social aspects together. And it forms a super... I'm going to be honest with you. I can't think of um, anyone better. Going to, there's, there are many movies that if I'm going to be watching them. And you said, we can pop on a chat. If you want. I'd be like, I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, I, don't, I just I just couldn't care fucking less about what a chat thinks. When you go to see Oppenheimer, it's like, would you like XQC's chat at the <laughs> side? Oh my god, <laughs> this is boring. When is there gonna be an action scene? Boo! Massive. It's like Exodia of content. Uh huh. Exodia Tits out, guns content? out, anime or whatever it is. Yeah, well, it's not just anime. Uh, the entire year old like girl I said, with the entire video game, the entire whatever. gaming industry relies on. Uh, let's play as a as a way to market their product. Mm -hmm. Rely is a uh, Rely, is yeah. a, is a strong word to use. It seems Uses. that there is a it it yeah it's I, utilized well, as a would, tool. Well, it's just what is the implication? The video game industry has obviously grown tremendously, but I mean over the last you know twenty years, but the video game industry still had massive bestsellers. It's an absolute juggernaut internet. whether or not let's plays are happening. Well, I think it just stems from video games as a medium. Like, video games as a medium have a lot of value. Uh, it's really, really, really appealing. So, and so then the question would be, well, do Let's Plays benefit or detriment uh, the gaming world? And it's, it's I, feel, I feel like it's really hard to say one way or the other. 
maybe it's beneficial, maybe it's detrimental, maybe it would make no difference and it would level out. Yeah, I don't know. know. But the idea that the video I, game I industry relies on let's plays, I don't know. It, I don't know if we go that really, far. Nah, it doesn't rely on it. It's beneficial. It probably helps increase sales. But remember, all these companies have got massive marketing budgets, and some Part of these of it, marketing. But sorry, go on. Oh well, so something that I would throw in the the conversation is that I think live service games probably benefit a lot from this. Yes, because live service games rely on the sense of community, and if you can have these big prominent, you know, let's plays who help further sort of uh make it feel like a community that probably does have some benefits for things like call of duty warzone or fortnite or the like but yeah. as for like single player games like especially single player cinematic you know games i don't know if it was like it's a little bit harder to say uh whether they benefit but just I mean, by I've... broaching into the area of games is you have to accept this difference that in order to get the full experience of the game you're watching you have to buy it and play it for yourself it is not a movie that you could get the full experience by watching on a stream in in its yeah. totality and you just well, you that's know. um that's why battle royale has been so successful because each game is a little adventure in itself you watch it on a stream and you're like holy shit that's so cool and then you go and get it yourself right apex legends was promoted primarily through streaming i believe it was that, like a soft launch i think that speaks to the point right is that viewing a video game and playing a video game are two different experiences yes. compared to watching the lemon video and then watching yeah, just... the last video through XQC. This is Especially... probably also a big part of the reason why people watch streams or content of games that they have played or are currently interested in. Because, oh, I've interacted with this, I can relate to it, I understand the things he's talking about, and I can actually use this later myself. I could also give the streamer pointers, and then he might be like, hey, thanks for the tip. Or he'll ban you for backstage. He'll ban you. Is what no, will happen, yeah. Mm. Which is why I'm not saying then there are symbiotic relationships, yeah. Like that. I'm not saying that. Which is why, for example, <sighs> video games could be subject to the same kind of DMCA restrictions that, uh, um, that um, any kind of content that you consume online could be subject to. I could, I would take it even one step further. This one sucks. Um, things that you show, Chad, is anything, is anything, is anything, is anything, is anything, is anything or not? Oh, yeah, he's, he's gonna cook me. Hold up, some keys, what? uh, paid. He's looking for when he gets cooked. Thirty Why million dollars to play fucking, um, one hundred steak or whatever. One hundred million dollars to play steak. I mean, that's like. Well, he's not. I don't know if he's playing steak. Uh, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that, the time and all that was so good. It could be like a TV show, you know. I don't know. Right. I mean, why? I don't think he. Him? I don't think he's gambled. Or so, maybe so, I don't know. I don't watch cake. Why do people watch? Why is he so? Why is he so mad? So he, you do, or you, you don't? I don't know. Bro, he, he literally just said that I, I've been streaming, I've been streaming sick, bro. What is wrong with this guy? So you don't? What is wrong yeah. with this guy? I don't think he, I don't think he's gambled, or so, maybe so, I don't know. I don't watch K. Why do people watch this? Like genuinely? Let, let me watch this now. So that's a, why men can't get matches. There's on another dating. question, uh, Ethan. People say why does Ethan continue to say things that are verifiably untrue and can be verified not only on the fly, which in part? Real time. They can be ver in real time. Literally, he can. He Google's the dumbest fucking videos of me. Like he just Google. Um, they're your videos. They're the ones you uploaded. These are yours. I'm not sure exactly. Googling what he the means, dumbest. Yeah. Oh, any yeah. VOD yeah. of any kind. You could just say X stake on any. He'd be proven wrong. Why, why? Oh, you're talking about the gambling stuff. Maybe. No, I. Oh, I guess maybe. But is that dumb stuff? I. I mean. I don't Either know. way, he's referring to his content and calling it the dumbest stuff. I muddy the waters with a false and on a recorded, bro, on a recorded live segment. Like, this is what he could have edited this out. Like, and he and he posted deliberately. What a stupid fucking thing to do. Say that about. What you did he say that was wrong? I got so conv I don't know what's happening anymore. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what. Let's we'll move to the next point. Wrong. I guess. Sure. Yeah. They say <laughs> that about me all. No, time. but he's not saying anything. But it. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, some people like it. Profile. It doesn't he matter. Is. Some people. It doesn't matter if he's not saying anything. Some people like it when he plays other people's content. I so did. I. There you go. Fuck it. I mean, we did. We did. Established this a while back. It's true. A lot of his chat like it when he doesn't speak. Yep. He so is that's very uh, like non-transformative content on mm -hmm. his platform. <laughs> Meaning they like the video. Yeah, like of course. I am representative really, of he's like a human a curated the average gamer. A picture to make it seem like he has friends. A picture in Paris to make it seem like he's cultured. 
What is wrong with I just you, want bitch? wait pause for a second. You know what's funny? What? Uh, all of these videos are kind of fire to react to. Like I I'm I'm watching this and I'm like, damn, I should react to this video. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. Say but, some shit and you're uh, good. Don't just sit there. Yeah. 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 Say some shit and you're good. Yeah. True. Say some shit and you're good. Right. Okay, yeah, dude. Some... And we dig that shit up, dude. And hey, and people, hey, you know, chat, you know, chat, they hate me saying this, chat, and they're going to hate it forever, okay? A lot of these content niches and small little things that, that we, we found, it was chat and me together finding that shit, and we were first at the fucking pot on more of them. And I get it, chat. I'm not a hero for discovering some of the cool reaction that I think it has value. Uh, so he's saying he's he he and his chat were the ones that discovered the good react videos to take basically. And that Yeah, he, obviously. Right. I'm pretty sure that's just a lie. It's well, just, I, just a it, lie. It's, I, I was going to say it's embarrassing that he's thing. like he's like trying to be humble like hey, you know Yes, it was I that found this first. You know, the concept of watching other people's videos and not saying shit all. I think, I think, I guess he's referring to like, oh, there's a specific type of content that I've watched. Like good videos. First. Yeah, like a good little source of videos, like a little gold mine of videos to react to. Um, I mean, again, if he was like actually transforming it or something, whatever. But like, he's just often sat there not really saying anything. And this is, again, going back a long time that he's been putting this stuff onto YouTube. I just, I'm amazed that he's taking pride in the fact that he just, he sorts by g good videos. That's all it is. It's just videos that are engaged with. Of course. Obviously. Good job. Well, was, was he like, taking, every... was he taking credit by virtue of the fact that maybe someone in his chat said, hey, this would be a really good video for you to watch. Well, no. And uh... that found it as opposed to just going to the trending page? Um, well, it wouldn't matter either way, right? It was, all the concept is, is just videos that people enjoy. There are billions of easy ways to find that out. The the stopping point for most people is they don't want to fucking steal them. But he's, like, taking pride in the fact that he just would. It's like, good for I you, man. I found out you could just steal. As though there aren't better ways of doing curation that don't involve the consumption of the entire product. Like, I mean, he I mean, just like the, you know, like the front, I don't use Reddit. This front page of Reddit, is that, like, that's almost, you could say that's like a curation and then of itself, There's, like, like I said, countless ways to be to, to find all the best videos. And of course, like they know Lemino by name now because they'll just do it with every single video he puts out, every new one. Mm -hmm. That's reliable too. It's like oh, oh yeah, just like with JCS, right? JCS yeah. is another reliable one. Finding that shit, and we were first at the fucking pot on more of them. And I get it, chat. I'm not a hero for discovering some of the cool react shit. You're not a hero I for think anything. I value. I think at this point, everybody does react shit. And I think it's kind of cool to find new shit that other people react to. Well, no, not well, everybody videos does videos you're reacting everybody to. Did it, there wouldn't be any videos. There wouldn't be any more videos being made for you to react to. No incentive to make them if everybody can just reacting. instantly, yeah, monetize it their own needs reactions. It to be emphasized more. Like, if 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 this is incentivized as the way that it's done, there there is no more react content because there's nothing to react to. It can only persist so long as there are people who seemingly take on, like, the possibility of having months and months and months of their work uh, just get immediately absorbed up by some other creator. So Dave L in the EFAP chat says, chat finds the videos for him to watch and he lets them do the research. So I, I think maybe what he's saying is, yeah, my chat finds the best videos. So it's good that I'm doing this because once I react to something... <laughs> That's hilarious. Did Donald Trump say that? My chat finds the best videos. I have the best chat. The best content. <laughs> We have the best reactions. Okay, listen, let me throw you a comment from my chat, okay? Just it's very it constitutional. Okay. How are the drags so Jacob doing? Jacob B. The dra <laughs> <laughs> Jacob B asks, can you ask them if he gets permission from the creator to post to YouTube but makes it all okay? Um, yeah. I, I think that uh, once you've gotten permission, it clears up a hell of a lot of the stealing angle, of course, but at the same time, why not actually make something instead of just taking it off people, even if they concede, like, yeah, fine, just do it, I guess. Wouldn't it be better if you have the original creation exist as it is, as the complete work, and then you have somebody who's created something that is, like, beyond just th the same thing, but with maybe five, ten minutes of additional commentary, like, that it's a new piece of, you know, almost a new piece of thing, uh, content in and of itself. Permission changes everything for me. If he gets permission, he can just upload the video. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially the moral I mean, the equivalent of a license. Huge part of it, yeah. It's, I mean, it has to do with the fundamental idea that the person who's created it 
has some right to uh, dictate how it's distributed or copied. We wouldn't be here if not for people just failing to do basic credit or failing to get permission beforehand if you want to just fully re-upload. You wouldn't need to do any of these things, by the way, if you just transformed it. Mm -hmm. Well, no, if you transform well, it, then you, you get past all of this. This is fake transformation, though. That's a, where he's hiding. Back to you know what, dude? I don't think it as an insult. I don't care what other people copy it because it's meant to be shared. It's the same argument about React as a whole. It's meant to be shared. It's meant for more people to do it. The whole ecosystem grows. He acts like these videos just like meant. grow on trees. They just appear <laughs> out in the wilderness. Just... And I look, I find them and I put them in my basket. Well, you can just pirate music, right? Because music's meant to be shared. It's meant to be listened I wonder how to. Much of it, I wonder how much of it stems from a lack of understanding of the amount of work that goes into these things that you almost perceived it as being that's as... Huge. Like, I think that's huge. Like, not I difficult, think it's a big you know, part. or not time-consuming. Well, well, we've seen that. And, you know, even, unfortunately, in parts of our own audience, but it is a thing that is out there in the internet that I think a lot of people just flat out do not understand. They do not get how much work goes into, like, like video, the Lemino video yeah. about the, you know, JFK assassination. I can't fathom the amount of work and effort that went into not just compiling all of the stuff. It, it, it just, the data compilation in and of itself is a, is a job, but then there's the putting that into a video, then there's the graphics and all that stuff. Like, I, I can't imagine. Well, I don't think it's any surprise that Lemino's videos only come out, like, once a year. Those yeah. videos probably take a year to make. A year to make, um, yeah. Because, of course, you could look at your own stream and be like, well, yeah, I mean, what's the problem with people? Like, it takes as long to create as it takes for me to, you know, it takes as long to consume as it took for me to create. Uh, and there'll always be, like, new stuff that's replacing it that's brand new that's still going to be on the forefront on your channel. Um, mm. I don't know. I wonder how much that factors into it. I mean, I think we've got... Um, how many VX... Uh, v uh, that's a short... Fuck off with a short... Um... Yeah, I thought I was going to give an answer here, but all right, carry on. I was looking up how many VFX artists works on worked on like Endgame in total. Oh, we're talking like <laughs> thousands. Yeah, thousands yeah, thousands. It is maybe tens of thousands, genuinely. Because Avengers, it says that fourteen thousand VFX artists worked on the movie's epic climax for this. I can believe of time. that. And so, that's just the climax. That's just the ending, not including all of the VFX over the prior years. I mean, that film took like four or five years to make. Like, from pre-production all the way to when it gets complete. Like, it takes a long time. I mean, an episode of, like, a, a, an episode of, of like, uh, an animated television show, you know, people think it's like, well, I mean, you get, like, you know, 10 to 20 episodes a season. But, I mean, each of those individual episodes is worked on for months. It takes a long time to make this stuff. It, it just sucks. does. Now... Anomaly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the source for this. It's Except from it's it's, like, Yeah, that's one week. <laughs> yeah, this is from BollywoodLife.com. So who knows if it's true? Um, but this says it's getting the source from a, um, uh, a trivia in Cinema Blend. So I have no idea if that's real or not. I have no fucking clue. But there's a lot. I mean, just sitting in the credits through those movies and seeing all the effects artists and stuff, like all those names. I mean, YouTube videos are basically, though, scaled down, uh, except they worked on the script more. Uh, but the, uh, yeah, just, just, just imagine. A lot of work. The, the tides rise, all ships go up or some shit. Whatever that is. Okay, <laughs> get matches on True. dating apps. Like, I feel like yep, that's, ooh, that would be like an eight hour video for me. <laughs> I would watch this fucking 10 minute video and lose my mind, probably. Actually climbing mountains to make it seem like he's adventurous. After some hard work, the profile is ready. The woman doesn't feel safe sharing a lot of 40 seconds. So she chooses not a single she... comment or introductory statement. Or... Okay, okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, okay. I get it. You're like 90 years old, okay? You haven't been in, into a school or anything in the longest time, okay? Let's put you in the classroom with a teacher and let, let's, let's make the teacher teach you about algorithms. And if he talks, and after 40 seconds, you haven't interrupted him or paused him for a question, you're a fuck? fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? If you don't what? interrupt your teacher in a school, then you're an idiot? <laughs> what because is happening? I'm playing someone's video. How, d how stupid is this guy? Like, XQC is actually retarded. The teachers, they're, they're paid to teach you. <laughs> You well, no, you need to interrupt it to make sure that their class is fair use. 
you and transformative. Are... <laughs> you have to transform the teacher's content with your fucking you to, insipid with your commentary. commentary. You are the what? master. <laughs> what have we? What have we done? What? In the class. He's getting you facts. Watch you. You have to stop him. Stop it. What? Yeah, no, why? a teacher can go for as fucking long as they want. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the same thing at all. This is it. Hey, um, oh! here are the stats. The number the of the teacher number is the streamer 40 here. 40 seconds. 43. <laughs> 48. 52. 52 seconds of no talking. Yikes. Bro. And the sad part is that he's going to say all this, and there are a lot of people in this chat going, wow, True. this is a profoundly good analogy, and it makes everything so simple and clear. XQC is very intelligent, and that's why I watch him stealing content. A closer analogy would be the teacher just pawing through a PowerPoint and not saying a word. Because the teacher would be the streamer, and the lesson would be the content, and the teacher is paid to comment on the content and relay it to the audience, being the class, right? I'm listening, I'm listening to the fucking stats, bro. What is wrong with this guy? Or anything. Confined. No words from him, frankly. And she's ready to go. They start swiping and hope for the best. 45 seconds. <laughs> At the end of the day, 50 when the woman seconds. checks her phone, her like counter is full. Practically every profile she likes is an instant match. Soon he's going. She's yeah, but he's just all saying that. Yeah, when will it happen? Man, I wonder man, when. We should have taken bets. For the man, it's a different Is story. he even watching the video? <laughs> is he just like looking at a Makes fucking, you... like, one of these cat things? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy's bricked. I can't do a chat. Ch I can't do it. I can't do it. This I mean, you're not saying life, anything, my dude. A fair question. You're not fucking saying anything or engaging with the content. Are, are you doing something else over there? Are you looking at porn? What's going on? Are, are, hello, XQC. Are you there? This guy is that he's just trolling. He's just that fucking dumb, isn't he? You know what, chat? I defended him earlier, chat. I said he's not doing it deliberately. At this point, this is a so stupid. It has to be deliberate. It has to be. Nobody is that fucking dumb. I refuse. You are, uh, but you still d avoid avoid talking about why you're not saying anything. Don't talk about that. I'm being told. Oh, sorry. There's story. another criticism. I want to throw you away. Okay, do it. I'm just gonna pull criticism from my chat because. Uh, oh my it's... goodness! Yes, give it to me. Yummy, 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 yummy. So, a law math says, do you think EFAP people are responding so much because they have something interesting to say, or because they feel the need to react? Feel well, you see, the thing is, those those two kind of go hand in hand, right? If we feel like we have something to say that will manifest in us reacting to a topic that we're interested in, I mean, yeah, like you, it can't hurt no matter what. And you try to not simply repeat a point or to drone on about something that doesn't make any sense, like you don't just throw in something for no reason, you try and have something that's relevant, and that's what we try to do. And it has the added bonus of transforming, which is something that we consider to be super important when you're trying to take someone else's thing. What about you, Chad? What do you do? Uh, I mean, I sometimes get the, you know, you're pausing it, but I just immediately ban people that say I pause too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're, oh, create, you're, you're creating XQC refugees. Yes, because exactly. I, can, I can see someone said there's nothing to engage with in the content yet. Uh, I'm assuming they're talking about the, why, uh, the XQC video that he's watching. You can already talk about the art style. You can already talk about why he, would he have set up the comparison this way with the male and female... Uh, people on Tinder or whatever this is. You talk about why why you believe that the, the case is that men have less luck than women on on dating sites. You do all the. I this mean, is what Hassan yeah. meant, by the way, when he said this looks like fire to react to. He said he would turn into like several hours worth because he has loads of opinions on why this is the case himself. You can transform it. If you can't, fuck off. I well, can easily see an opportunity to spend thirty minutes talking about why women deserve nothing. Yeah, there you go. How insanely um, based and probably correct. Criticism is the best way to respond to a video, though. Obviously, if you don't have criticism, there's really not a lot to say. There does what get to the... be, yeah, a level of commentary that's like, oh, you're just padding, you know? You yeah, don't really exactly. have anything to say. You're just sort of like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. You know, the, the sniper wolf kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, videos that you disagree with are generally oh. probably going to be the most interesting and engaging. Morley, you're getting called a pussy, to put it simply. Um, mm -hmm. Not my opinion. But <laughs> saying, why didn't Morla have this energy last night when you were in the call with XQC? Um, I he compared did. XQC to Big Joel when he was debating Destiny. 
and I said that I did have uh, th I, I got every issue out that I wanted with him and I concluded that he's got an entirely different position morally that I can't do anything with he wants a world where IP is essentially abolished that everyone reacts to everything it's like okay he bit all my bullets all the ones that I had to give him he was like yep I would do that yep I would do that and I was just like what the fuck when Abba said he would be okay with me uploading his full fucking channel onto my channel and he just said yes I was like what what do I do now? He's like, lying. that's <laughs> okay. not true. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's nothing I could really oh, do at that point. If you did that, the amount of copium that Abba was huffing was uh, potentially lethal. Wait, someone said didn't call him stupid once, or a liar. I didn't call him stupid or a liar just now. I did. He's stupid. I did. <laughs> but I to be fair, lying. I'm pretty sure me and XCC would have traded some insults. Mine would have been more subtle, more than likely. Like comparing him to Big Joel, which is not a compliment. They want a unicorn of a stupid brute retard or something. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I try to do that with anybody I'm talking to in a fucking conversation. Like, you know, I wouldn't call Chud a stupid retard while he's here. <laughs> <'Cause I'm... laughs> a, we'll give him a little bit of a little bit of you know graciousness for him coming onto the stream, but uh, my opinion of him is uh, practically subterranean, uh, and oh. and there won't be any confusing that. Why do people always have trouble with this? I'm always nicer to people when I'm talking to them directly as opposed to in their videos. That's just normal. And they can pretend <laughs> that they don't do that themselves, but, um, yeah, we, we you know. When I mean, I'm talking a to a human being, to being nice to people. it's not even tactical, it's just normal, it's nature. Like, when I'm with a human being directly, I'm of course going to talk to them slightly differently than when I'm looking at them in a video, when they're just saying stuff that's already pre-scripted slash pre-recorded. And that's by the way, everyone does it. Yeah, everyone in chat that's criticizing you for this would do exactly the same thing. They yeah. just like to act like they Probably. would be totally different in if they were a streamer. What I needed to bring to XQC case. was that I disagreed with them completely, and I told him that at the beginning and at the end. And you, also, you, you, with XQC's you, dynamic sorry. of being like a crazy Adderall psycho lunatic, uh, being coming across as calm and kind of lucid is in and of itself, you know, playing a strength. I think even if you really no. don't like someone, if they're willing to come on your show and talk to you, like you want them to feel comfortable so they'll speak on, you know, whatever the yeah. topic is. Not too much. The, the other problem as well I think people have got is they feel like, well, they're saying like XQC has dealt with this. He's saying he'll pay people. He's saying he'll do this. He's, uh, so these issues are resolved, but you're still going back to criticize him, you know, for issues that they see as resolved. Like, the I, mean, I, I don't mean like don't ever push back on them on anything, but like there's no need to be rude, you know. I don't think. Yeah, I didn't lie Unless about any of my positions. Girl. I was pretty explicit. In the conclusion, we are still at the end of the story, and I don't even know what this is about yet. It's a new video. It wants me to have a take on it or our reaction. What do we need to react to? What the what video? Also, what what must also react I mean, to? I think he's, he's watching the video. He's probably looking at chat. There's mm -hmm. a. Well, if you have, if you are playing a video and you have to ask yourself, what is there to react to? That's the, that's the sign of you need to pick a different video to watch. Yes. Also, maybe you're just a shit streamer. That's always kind of like, potentially, maybe you're just really bad at this if you can't think of anything to say. If you can't be insightful or entertaining and you're just there to babysit a bunch of losers so that they can watch oh videos. Then have you got maybe... a problem with streamers or something? Is that what's going on here? He's a streamer. I'm, streaming. I'm a streamer. Yeah, yeah, I don't you know, like when these. I'm, cutting close I'm for specific. Chad here. Chad I'm, I'm specifically out. talking about XQC. I, I'm You're talking about XQC. I'm specifically talking like in a, in a in a like a narratively um, metaphorical way to XQC right now. Not you. <laughs> Your chat no, no, seems sure. very interesting. So I yeah, I wouldn't say that about you, Chad. <laughs> hey, I'm sure they're not lonely at all. They're insightful and social. I mean, all the more XQC fans at the moment, it seems, so... Um. Oh, are they? Well, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, a lot of stimuli no, when... No, I'm not! Uh, I wasn't reading chat! I was, I was paying attention! Which is the only thing you can ask for somebody reading your video! Was it, they, 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 they were reading your video! You're live streaming. I wasn't being quiet, I was paying attention silently. I'm in Brilliant. familiar with that brand He's of absorbing frame. the video. Uh, he certainly was. So it's like hard to 
exactly figure out what's going on. You don't need to defend him, Hassan. I'm not defending him. I'm <laughs> defending myself. <laughs> That's what it is. Because, like, I've gotten the exact same uh, types of criticism. Oh, my gosh. How did Hassan... How... Where did he get the... Is he wearing the giraffe back there? Like, as a shirt? Oh, no! Those are little... Those are, like, leopards. Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Did it take you all this time to realize <laughs> he's got a bunch of cheetahs on his uh, shirt there? No, I think I just sort of, like... I don't know. Maybe I was focused on something else. I was tuned out, like, visually. Maybe I was looking at something else. I mean, I am looking at something else. I'm looking at all sorts of things. You know me. But, I don't know. I just... I guess I just put together the giraffe in the somewhat resemblance it has to Hassan's shirt. So, I don't know. Sometimes it just hits you. It just washes over you. And you're like, wow, how about that? Interesting. Criticism, and you're in front of the White House. make the exact same types of criticism yeah, about can. me, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah. The reality is I that... Uh, but you don't upload it to YouTube. Yes, that's the that's I mean, the that's major, the big difference. That's yeah. the major difference. Yeah, because if people watch on YouTube, you know what, chat? The people on YouTube that are watching the video are not allowed to see the story, right? Before you explain it, or have it, you have it taken. The video editor should have cut the story out. Yeah, they can really get the story if they watch the original video. You just when he says story, it's it means context. So you mean like, yeah, the context of the video. And so, but he has to let the first minute plus whatever play, so that you have context for what's being commented on. Because if 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 XQC says anything, then he'll destroy your ability to understand the context of what he's talking about. It simply can't be done. He has to be quiet and sit there and let the content play. There's no other way. He's trapped. To the point where the guy says, here's a match on Tinder. And I go, wow, that's a match right there. That's insane, guys. And she's like, what is he talking about? We didn't see the story. Doesn't care, though, because it's transformative. And it cuts with his next snap. Yeah, there's no I solution. That's transformative. No solution to that other than playing the whole video. That's the only thing yep, it's either It's either you saying, wow, the thing he's, that they just said now in my voice or it's letting the content play there's no other option it says the guy has eight matches wow we went from one to eight matches that's like eight times the amount boom cut again go to the next segment the guy's sad oh my god the guy's sad something happened to him will we ever know what happened to him it's interesting that in his his in his brain the hypothetical of what he could do is just saying what happened in the video he can't even think about something that could be said no implying it's not even possible it simply well, can't be done. The, the thing is, like dating, like he's got a lot of experience with that. Surely, like he could just say, "Oh yeah, I know about this experience," and you spend five, ten minutes elaborating on an experience relative to what's been discussed there, like the swiping on dating apps, say, you know, shit like that. Easy, easy stuff to talk about. When Destiny talks about the the red pill stuff and the dating stuff and the strategies and things, like he talks all about things you should do and in, in the trends that he notices and you know things of that nature. Well, and, and if he has nothing to say, to. he doesn't upload the video. Or at least yeah. he punished the editor if they did. What happened to him? No, we don't. Because we cut the part where the guys tell the story. We'll ne we'll, we will never know what the story is because we have to cut out of the video because it's, just, it's, not, it's not transformative. What a fucking... You are bald. <laughs> if you it's ever not. see a video like that on YouTube... Remember, Rags, bald is a state of, like, a mental being. It has nothing to do oh, with your Oh, it's hair. mental. Okay, all right. It's like, uh, okay, yeah. It's, it's metaphorical. Like, uh, You're metaphorically bald. Yeah. You're metaphorically bald. YouTube, yeah, it is most likely from a fan Hairless channel of the mind. that took a straight bod rip and posted it on YouTube and is monetizing it themselves. It's yeah. not It's not touching me in any capacity. And Can I be honest with you? What? There will be a time, in my opinion, where there will be some legal hammer that will come down on streamers and there will be a time you know, you know, yeah. chat, you know chat you know chat you know chat there will be a time where people don't even use cars anymore dude there used to be that joke people were gonna start flying <laughs> you know chat there's a time chat <laughs> there's a time chat where people are gonna be teleporting dude oh not me i don't want to die bro oh, people look back at me like damn i missed the, I, that was well, so what is your point his there, point what? is that in the future there will be things that are different from now well, That's because yeah. Ethan said the hammer will come down on you eventually, and he's saying, like, yeah, so fuck it, whatever, things will happen in the future, sure. They'll be flying cars eventually. It's like when your dad says, so hey, meantime, come over here, and you say, I'm coming, and he says, so's Christmas, and he thinks that's really funny. <laughs> the, the thing is, obviously, what Ethan is presenting is, is there's some truth to that, and there are, like, YouTube had problems with this, I believe, in the past. Yeah. Uh, they had to crack down on stuff. Like, yeah, absolutely, this is a worthy thing to be concerned about.
Well, yeah, because a lot of people worry that if you bite the hand that feeds a little too hard, you might ruin it for everybody because they'll come down on everything. Things oh, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to rock the boat. You want to kind of chill. Boat. Dream you'll you sleep, know, in the boat. sleep in the boat. Yeah. Well, the thing like, is, everyone oh, agrees we're happy with, uh, you know, full reaction and, and transforming it. We don't want to be taking each other the fucking core over DMCA shit. That's going to cause loads of problems. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yes. Um, it would be nice if we didn't have to DMCA each other, of course. So that's my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Content. Like, that day exactly. will come when you guys will not be allowed to do this anymore because it's just so risky. It's not like Tourette's. Uh, um, it's, uh, because there will be legal I agree. And so, am, I, am I canceled? And so I, I, that's truly what I think. But again, my, really? my criticism of him right now is that he uploaded this to YouTube. Because I understand the nature of live streaming. You sit there, stuff yeah. is going on, like you said. The th the but difference... for him to be like, yo, okay, so this was actually fire. I'm not going to... He's a... Um... No, no, no. I, 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 I think it's, as long as you're operating from ignorance, it's not... It's bad, but I, I apologize for that. I, I shouldn't have roasted him for that. I didn't, I, I... I think he's talking about how he made fun of his Tourette's and he feels like you should probably pull it back, which... Makes sense, yeah. Uh, people have done it before with Ethan without realizing. I can't remember. I want to say it was one of the. I don't think it was Keemstar, but someone got in like a serious amount of trouble trying to make fun of the way he like moves his head and stuff. Which is, yeah, most people don't know his Tourette's. I actually didn't know. Um, but that doesn't matter anything. Guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop focusing on that. Stupid. Edit it at all. I'm going to cut this. No, you're done. You're done. Yeah, basically, basically their video. At all because there's no. Because uh, there's never been any kind of. I don't think he's ever gotten criticized for this even. What? Yeah, he has. Um, he's got shit for this no, all the time, uh, doesn't he? No, up until this very moment, there has never been an XQC never. is bad for doing There has. I don't there's know why Hassan is saying been. this. Yeah. I think it's to do with Hassan trying to be like, it's always been about me. It's always been me. No one else. But he's wrong. Um, um, he's ta nah, Hassan maybe. has tanked some of the criticism, but XQC has been floated about as, yeah. a, as a culprit, right? Doing this? I'm telling you huh? this because has, I've yeah. been getting yeah. shit on for years, in spite of the fact that yeah, I have. Yeah, but deserve it. There's been like the the 80 page a schizo rant that it, that it is quite literally the most ill piece of document out there that they came up with, and that was like a the most ill piece of document ever. I I'm not in. I don't know these words and their usages. I'm not sure it's who he's talking about me. as well. Yeah. Based his accent he was a francophone first and probably earned ling english as a second language maybe in high school or so uh, it, it, there a lot of people from rural quebec especially tend to not even learn english until they're grown well i wish hmm. xqc would learn english it'd make this a lot more easy for us to tell what he's saying a year ago or two years ago and i was put into that and, and used it as an example and called a bunch of names by it and I even reacted to a part of it, it was on YouTube, and they reacted to the react of it, which honestly is, I'm just being thieved. I'm being Robin Hooded. I, I, I should have I should have called for help, but I didn't. Uh, anyway. I have like these boundaries on Robin how Hooded? I make this kind of content and what I choose to upload onto my actual like owned and operated page that's like heavily edited. Um, regardless of that, I've been getting shit on online for years and years, and not a single peep was ever made about XQC in that right? process. I thought, I thought and he never right. fucking sidestepped to be like, hold up, guys, let's stop now. I mean, I do this too. It's kind of ridiculous. He's never fucking come out and, like, defended me in any... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Throw down. <laughs> yeah. Hey. This is Mr. Chasana. You guys, you guys, you guys, I still like Asana. I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. Okay. I think you want to spice the content, Asana. This is, this, is not only, this is only for content, right? This is for the sake of everything. When Ethan says some dumbass fucking shit, okay, you should call him out. Son. Because that's what I do to, to Hassan. And I'm, I'm Hassan's friend. And I call his ass out when he says some dumb shit. Okay? And that's me doing that right now, right? When Ethan says some dumb shit, you should call his ass out direct. In a way that, it, that he has to respond and not... But I don't think... The problem is that neither of these two have the capacity to do that here. Because Ethan's just right. Well, I, I, it's also interesting. I feel like XQC is not addressing what just happened. Which is that Hassan said, like, you know, my friend didn't come to my defense. I feel like if he, that is, I, I think weird. he'd be more annoyed by that. I don't know if he missed it or or something. That was... I'm not sure either because you'd expect that to take up the you know bulk of his attention because that's a pretty pretty serious accusation if you're on that level of a friendship. Yeah, I don't know how friendly they are, but I mean, <laughs> it's pretty much like you you left me out to dry, man. It's like ooh.
and they just throw him under, throw him under the rug and continue talking. Because you know that if it was an argument about him, he would, he, would, he would defend it more arduously and he wouldn't let it go under the rug because it's an important point before you want another point. Otherwise, it's intended or, or uh, uh, everybody knows that there's some sort of agreeance there and people move on and they think that Assad is on that side and they, they agree with it. He, it's, it's agreeing. It's an echo chamber. And he should call his stupid ass out. He's saying that it's an echo chamber on Leftovers, the podcast? Right now, yeah, he feels like Hassan should be calling out Ethan. Right now, it's just an echo chamber. When... I mean, it's not an echo chamber. It's an argument. Yeah, and, and is Hassan like, is boy. trying to push back, but really subtly. He's like, yep. edging He it. doesn't want to make it like a full-blown sort of argument. He's yeah. being a little bit soft in terms of uh, his approach. Capacity, despite the fact that he himself was... Uh, a, a, a regular abuser of the same structures, uh, if we're being real. The same goes for, again, oh, Charlie, Moist Critical, any kind of uh, Asmongold, any kind of live streamer that is live reacting to content can always have this kind of footage cut out uh, of them because they're live for but 10 he hours a day. This to YouTube. It's the same. I understand. But the that whole video matters, that, though. It's not a clip. Why, but I think the imp it's not a clip or an article review. It's not a fucking TikTok review. The TikTok is eight seconds long. It's a this. Your reaction is eight seconds long. It'd make a great TikTok. Maybe that could be a venue for him. You know, you have a couple TikToks of him reacting to the the big video. You know, really condense it. He's mostly just repeating that he needs to have the full video's context. He has to. He has to have the whole yeah, thing there. He has to. You, you can't do the thing where you watch the first 10 minutes and react to it, or the first 5 minutes and react to it, and then say, if you want to watch the rest of the video, go to da 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 That simply can't be done. We don't have the technology. Video is important, and that's all I give a important fuck about, thing man. to mention it's, here it's, is that uploading that kind of VOD uh, content to YouTube without any editing, any editing whatsoever is not good. And right now, uh, XQC is really in defense mode about the creative integrity of the video that he's covering. We have to see the full thing. We need to know the context. It's really important for the story that we're all watching unfold together. But I have a feeling he's not going to care really all that much about the creative, you know, about the, the creator's ability to control their own content, even though he seems to be really uh, focused on the, you know, creative integrity of the product itself that they make. And I still want to highlight how amazing it is that listening to Sam talk about this compared to when we covered him on the React stuff. Like, he's so he's... timid and sheepish now. He seemed to flipped on so many things. It, it's all coming so easily to him now. All the resistance that was put up. Remember all the people he was banning? Yeah, he's banning everybody. He was making fun of them for being working class. That was uh, weird. It was really, yeah, really like bizarre. <laughs> like, guys, Hassan's a bad <laughs> person. <laughs> and it it's. Um... It's not a good product in general, but listen, the one the one thing I have to mention here is that it's no different than when podcasts first came out mm -hmm. and people would get clipped out of context all the fucking time on podcasts because that was the first time that we were experiencing like an uninterrupted three hour. My energy just updated me. We uh, we we got the uh, upload uh, uh, verification for this video as well. B both videos used both videos used in this podcast. Both of them. We got we got the fucking uh, uh, permission for both before this even aired and went live. That's fucking insane. Sure. I, I, uh, I can't, uh, good job, uh, by the way. The medium of content. You know, it's it's got, weird got, that that's just now coming up. Well, yeah, he said right? he's got permission yes. now, and it's like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> like permission in post is great. The producers misled me on this because they were like, oh, no, actually, you got permission. But now watching it now, it's clear that that didn't become apparent until like, you know, what? 40, 50 minutes into the, him reacting to it. Mm -hmm. So he, if he'd have said that at the start, he would have had a stronger kind of ground to stand on, but yeah. he didn't know that, did he? People yeah, if you're still watching right now, dude, if you ever need help with that shit, you're an employee, I'll hire somebody else. I, if you, if you know, if you, to battle these fucking absolute morons, if you need more help, I will hire an entire new person just for contacting other people, then no, I'll you won't. fuck. If we make a track record, of condor asses out, they will back down like little rat moles and go back into their little rat cages. Back in their little rat cages. <laughs> They're balding rat cages. People that were not media trained to speak for three hours. So you could very easily chat someone off guard and make them appear. Uh, how long in, how, how long streaming? How long do you have to be a streamer until you sort of like get better at it enough to be able to talk for three hours? That's it's not like a big deal, right? Don't know. Talking for three hours, because like we do it every week. It's not, it's not like, you know, 
in some insurmountable task that just can't be done, especially if you've done this for years and years and you're, you know, so trained at it, so famous, and you have all this money and access to resources and, you know, contacts and stuff. You know, talking for three hours isn't really a big deal. A lot of people do it for free all the time. They won't shut up, so. I don't know. A certain a way. Thing to say. I don't think you need to make excuses. I mean, look, just own it. You do that shit. What do you mean? <laughs> you do that shit. You watch, I mean, you and all these guys. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I do that shit. You don't have to like make no, analogies and excuses and stuff. Just be like, I do that. It, I do not, that so shit. you're not, not gonna do it again, then, Hassan? Uh, you, I'm sure you will. Hundred percent. So you're not gonna do this again and making all of these like pretty feeble excuses. Analogy at all. The point is. You have to, if we're- It really is like an ego thing. He really wants people to just come out and say it so that he feels like superior, that he doesn't do that thing and he can virtue signal. All of this is a simple high road. It's just a high ground argument. The whole thing is, that's all he wants to do is be superior in a certain way because he's old. Everybody's young and- Because he's old. Because he's old. That came out of nowhere because he's old. He's like, oh, okay. Ethan, man, you're getting on, okay? That's why you're doing this. You're old. Oh, all right. That ad lib didn't finish how I thought it would. He wants to have some sort of upper hand. XQC so, I mean, talking about ego it. is pretty rich. I mean, it's I just yeah. the sheer arrogance, constant doubling down, ad hominem. Everybody's brain dead who disagrees with them and molding and whatever. We're all insecure, molding, molding, and, molding and, old. and old. They were born too long ago. Hey, bro. We're talking about it like bald. live reacting. Bald. If we bald. go back to like the live reacting on bald. Twitch uh, side of things. I like that there are no legal limitations and to you know, it. Did, of course you like that there are no legal limitations. It's like, this is funny. And, and, you, know, and, you, know, and you know what, Ethan? When I went to that party, when I went to that party, all your employees are young and full of energy, and they get all these things, and they're all chill, dude. And you hang out with people, dude, that you wish you were because they're young, and they know what the landscape is, and you are bald. <laughs> I think it's a good thing. I know that... Uh... People watch him voluntarily. I don't know what the fuck to do with that. Thousands voluntarily tune in to watch this person stream for hours every week. He makes millions of dollars. <laughs> it's just it's wild. You, you sounded you you really pretty bold right now, Rags. Bold. You, you did, can't yeah. Can't process it really. Can he not see him in the video? That's not. He's it's not bold. It, it, it's not about the hair that you have. It's a mental state. It's a. He's, it's, he's like, if Hassan, who is for all of, of his flaws, of which You're there bald. are many. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the idea that oh you you just hire young people because you're jealous of their youth and their being in <laughs> touch with the modern world is like you're talking to Hassan Piker he's the zoomerist of the zoomer years. He's um, and I know too. you know that uh, <laughs> the YouTube live DMCA mm -hmm. structure is uh, definitely ripe for abuse. That's number one. Well, and it's the same the DMCA YouTube... structure that governs Twitch, isn't it? Just a, it's just a it's a set of laws that. To yes. provide platforms yes, the means the automated to... process the, and the way that youtube has set it up yeah. has made it so that you can like very quickly shut down uh most uh live productions you can wow. very quickly shut them down or you can immediately monetize them i mean you've had this, you've had this issue there's a reason why like you can't even watch like a tiktok video because you're worried that if there's 10 seconds of like music that slips in then all of a sudden your three hour content that you produced with a team of of brilliant producers and 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 put together all thank of a you, sudden is gone because of a of, of like a slip up and i don't bro, think that structure is bro, con yeah, is yeah. Good. can we get a zoom in on the yawning right there is this like talking live to a live audience and and uh, 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 i guess and you're yawning you thought mate gee bro is yawning yeah, I, or I don't making think, good i don't think yeah, it's a natural I, thing I, 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 yeah. human body so it, i mean I'm sitting here engaged, but I've yawned a few times. It just it just happens. It I happens. don't know what to say, man. I can't. <laughs> it happens to us Sorry. bald people, you know. Yeah, us balder, us yawning balds. I don't think it's like something old. they're even really stressed <laughs> or, or about. But old. I do think that... <laughs> you fucking old yawner. It's like the not so great debate all over again. <laughs> old, old. It's good to acknowledge, like, yeah, we are doing this thing that's probably not right. And I'm thinking about ways to better address it. Because it looks like you said, it's the industry standard. It's the norm yeah. of how people operate on Twitch. And, and I do what? think it's worth acknowledging. You know, you know, you know what would be really cool, chat? I get it, chat. Since Rick is a big deal now, people, you know what you should do? I think it's, this would be pretty cool. Um, if people had a tag in our video, a tag uh, in their tag at the bottom, or a, a YouTube feature where they could click on something when they upload a video, 
Because I don't want my video. Oh, I think so. You know the tweet we saw where you talked about the. Oh, so um, was this the genesis of this idea? Yeah, I think he actually writes it up while he's talking about it. Um, we shall. See, I suppose. Reacted to, and they can they can they can set that when they upload a video for the first eight hours of the video is up for the first day for the first week, and then it's reactable, right? And things are well, things will be different and more so, clear in that so way. So what and would they, what do you think uh, he would say then you if he brought up the transformative argument in relation to should there be any time scale for if it's transformative? I don't know. Because of course just... we if if someone puts out a video that's like awful and we cover it instantly and they say hey whoa 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 you got to wait a week we'd be like no I don't like, have to do that you. at all. No, it's transformative. It's it's beyond the scope of uh, yeah. You don't have a right to the. The transformed used. content that we've created. Nope. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. We don't need your permission, even if it's uh, your copyrighted material. I wouldn't care, dude, because I watch videos when they come out because I like them. But I could wait a week, and I'm okay with that. I think that would be a great feature to have, since Reddit's a big deal now. And if you want to make this argument a year ago, maybe they wanted to go for it. But if you do want to put a button, but you can like do this yourself. You could just well, look at a video just, like, after... shoot an email to any of these people. Yeah, like, and, and he the proudly claims yeah. some of them he has that situation with. And it's like, yeah, just keep doing yeah, like, that. It's great. Just have do it that. Be the norm. Or plan it out a day in advance. Like, if you see a video that you might be interested in, like, shoot him a message or an email or something to say, like... It's like, it really is the whole asking for forgiveness rather than permission, yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I don't know, in this case, it's like, I don't know, it wouldn't hurt to ask for permission, would it? I mean, all you have to do is just be transformative. If you did or that, none of this would matter. Yeah, exactly. Then that would, that would be the end of it. That's just okay. out of the question that that can be yeah, done if, at all. If that Lemino video was like three hours in length, right? I don't think anyone would, and region was what, one hour 40. I don't think anyone would have any questions about, well, that's clearly going to, you know, transform it enough, right? Maybe not legally again, but that's a lot of extra shit, isn't it? What you mean if he if he talked about it if he doubled the length essentially what he yes. yeah I, well if it was like I mean that is that's a lot better than only ten fifteen minutes of extra uh, runtime that's for sure. On the video and maybe a little blue thing or a little red thing, a little eye with with the thing that says I don't want my video reacted to, and maybe tomorrow, maybe today, if you want to put a date on it or something like that, right? When it, when it expires, like a like a premium tag. Where right now my video is in premium state, right? And I want it to be reacted maybe later when it's not in premium state. So it doesn't really ruin the algorithm. Because the people say, the people. Uh, watch, the people well, you would just be abused, yeah, like we I said. Was about, I, was, I was about to say, though, like, why, if there is no harm incurred, why would there be any need for anybody to have a provision limiting when people can react to it, you know? How can you simultaneously make the argument that, like, what you're doing isn't detrimental to the creator while advocating that they have this option of, like, a limited time of exclusivity, presumably to advance their own interests? Or would he be like, well, we put this system in place. They're wrong. They're incorrect on the facts, but, like, give it to them so it makes them feel better. Either it's that or he Do genuinely does think... Remember, people can take them down at, at whim and it's like, oh, so you don't even feel the need to protect your transformed versions of their works. You believe that they own it anyway if you let them have full control over everything, right? There's always these little subtextual pieces that are like, sounds like you yeah. think that you're not doing the right thing. The fact that you're not willing to defend your work. But then it would be, his position would be, well, it's not even a matter of transformative. That's like not relevant to the conversation at all. D I, <laughs> it gets, yeah, yeah, it gets a bit confusing. Know. This video was in it ruins the algorithm, right? If that's the problem, then use a feature and put your video in premium state while you're in the prime of the algorithm until React kicks in and gives you another life for your video. And then we can even use analytics to go against every argument that was made in the other. Well, you can just voluntarily not go and watch videos until they've been out for a the week. Onus or two is weeks. Placed on, uh, the onus is placed on the creator here instead of on uh, the yeah. reactor. When you Which can obviously engage all the stuff that's himself. That's nice, isn't it? That's like nice and easy for you. It's up <laughs> to you. You have to. You don't have yeah. to change anything about the way that you do things. It's your fault you didn't lock your door. You know. Instead of uh, checking a box of like, I don't want this content being reacted to. I wonder. I wonder if it would be useful to do something like, when you upload a video in the metadata page, there would be an option, uh, of like, this is a reaction, and you check it. And then you'd make an adjust, or YouTube would make an adjustment to the to the algorithm, 
being that uh, uh, yeah, but if... nobody would ever check check that box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would would never, if it, yeah. If it blocked would you I... down in the algorithm, nobody would be checking that box on their reaction. Not only that, that right? but it'd probably have a built-in like revenue share thing to it. No, well, yeah, anybody who would I, do I thought this that's where you were press going with that, that John, was yeah. that it would have a revenue share, right? Like that. Let's say in the hypothetical world, we got the super duper YouTube computer that can identify specifically the video that you're reacting to, and you check that, and it immediately funnels. A significant portion of the ad revenue from your reaction to that channel. How many people would be doing that? Well, I, I was actually, Mike. I was Mike. Sorry, go ahead. No, go for it, John. Well, I was just thinking the adjustment to the algorithm specifically. What I was thinking was that it would be a simple check at the beginning. If is uh, a video a reaction? If so, it well. If it's not a reaction, put it at the top of the search results list on like a home feed or whatever a user searches for. And if it's a reaction, sort it like you normally would, but underneath the original material. That way, like, all the reactions aren't sucking up all the views. Well, the thing is, people... is that if you Go look ahead. at for some of these videos, the original video is still at the top, but the next ones are the reactions to it. Um, right. I mean, there's an argument to be made that even if it shows up at the top, if you get presented with, well, I could watch the video, but I could watch that video in full with 15 minutes of additional commentary. The, the <laughs> fact that that option is even there and available for you, how much does that influence the viewing uh, preferences yeah. of, um, you know, just let's say some rando who doesn't even know who XQC or Hassan or any of these guys are has, like, no affinity for their specific brand. Yeah. And it is true that you'd probably have a bunch of people saying, you know, like, making uh, reactions, but they won't tick that box. To, to like artificially put it at the top of the search results. But then I think, <laughs> I think you could police would... that. You know, like uh, people you could police that, sure. would be like, hey, this, you didn't flag this as a reaction, but it clearly is. I'm going to, I'm going to flag this and send a complaint to YouTube or whatever. And then YouTube would be like, hey, you can't do that. This is clearly a reaction and you didn't label it as such, you know? So I would like just if... never, I just never would do that. It's like, there's, it literally only hurts me and I have every right to make this video anyway. There's not a single video that well, I've ever sure, made but, and I've built my, you know, career and everything. would be referring to the XQC way of doing, or the Hassan way of doing reactions where they would even seemingly own the fact that theirs isn't as transformative as a comprehensive breakdown yeah. or something that's thoroughly edited. But the question is, would they press that button if they knew that it, no, it, it, that it bumped them down? <laughs> You're basically right, yeah. you're basically asking thieves to police themselves. Where is the bulk well, of the I... revenue stream from? With the He's what? talking the about the bulk seems? of his revenue stream. Yeah, any any of these guys like Hassan um, streams ten hours a day. Well, Isn't the bulk of the I assume the deal for a... ads on Twitch. What is it? Like having you know subs and running ads is likely his uh, main revenue source, I presume. And of course, with XQC, he's got that kick deal, which is a good chunk of money on its own. Yeah. Okay. So, but he part of his business model is he has to be on stream ten hours a day in order to keep those that money. Yes. Because the more you stream, be, the more yeah. ads, the more subs you get, etc. Yeah. Okay, well, and there so might even he... just be minimum requirements for him. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. So the biggest stream is... Need to be streaming. The biggest stream is people on Twitch, yeah, will have a minimum, like, 200 hours a month, 250 hours a month, something like that, they've got a stream, yeah. So he basically would, would needs he... 10 hours of content a day just to keep himself entertained so he can be online. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons that you have this, men you know, this, this meta of watching videos. Yeah. Is because you need to fill 8, 10 hours a day, 2-hour video. I mean, for me, that would be, like, 4 hours of content, but... For XQC, that's two hours, ten minutes of content, and that's plugged into the stream, right? And that's easy content, right? So yeah. On every H Y factor, I win, you win, the world wins. But wait a minute, people will not advocate for that button because they know that their ass will not fucking use it because they only care when their broke asses aren't getting the views that they should be getting, and they get insecure with their fucking view count like a bunch of bitches. That you know, in some cases, it's not right, which you have done. Right. Yeah. And so, and I, you know, I, that's, that's my, what it is. And I, I like that there is a, like a less automated process, though, I will admit. Probably One, because it's obviously personally beneficial for me. But two, I think it's better for making. Oh, I'll tweet about it right now. I got you. I got you. All right. Well, there you go. You can skip that part. Yep. Ah. Yo, what the fuck is this stupid ass fucking icon? Yo, I I'm blocking this guy. 
I don't know what that's about. I don't know either. This is uploaded on. Is the Windows the, taskbar uh, in, the, in the middle of the screen now? Is that like for Windows 11 or something? The Windows taskbar? You can put it in on. What? As far as I know, you can put it anywhere you want on the left. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can go right, like, top to bottom. Okay. All I think right. I think you're, the like default the position though I think is the middle now. Yeah, like Apple. There's more oh, back okay. middle. No, this is it's my... on the bottom. No, no, no. In the middle, on the bottom. Did you see that oh, before? That it was like you know how in the same way the task Apple's, bar, I, you know, is oh, the on icons the, on the, the taskbar. Yeah, yeah, like on they Windows were from 11 the default, out, right? So it's middle out. Yeah, it uh, it defaults to having them be towards the middle. I prefer them stacking um, to the okay. left, though. I'm, I'm just used to it. I don't know if it's a preference that I could even rationalize. It's just I it always looks it looks odd to me any other way, you know? Yeah. I don't think I have a preference now that I because I'm on Windows 11 now and. I've used 10 a whole bunch. I don't think I have a preference either way. Um, so it's just it's just one of those like, oh, this is different. And then, you know, you're used to it and that's just how it is. And then if it went back to being the other way with Windows 12, I'd be like, oh, all right, that's how it is now, I guess. You know, it's, it just doesn't really matter to me. My VOD, it's important the VOD. You can have the exact same VOD on Twitch, Twitch. on my website, <gasps> and on YouTube. They're all the same. But it's more thing about this one specifically. Gotcha. Right. He has only received a couple of likes and okay. has zero minutes. Oh, here we go. He becomes frustrated. No, nope. false, false alarm. <laughs> <laughs> this, is this, this is the chat like that. It's actually more than the VOD. Actually, this is more edit than my VOD. This is actually more effort. He, if, he, if he was going to shit on this, he should shit on the fucking Twitch, Twitch VOD. This is much better. Man, what? Ten. This is Whoa, better than okay. something you've made? I can believe it's better than something else, but I don't think it's good. I can, yeah, I can believe things could be worse. Yes. On that, we agree. It could be worse. But, Look at his face the there. Oh, we had it paused. It's just the face he was pulling. Like the sheer amount wearing... of attitude. <laughs> like Wait, he was wearing... just... He was staring daggers at the video. Just like so mad. I feel, I feel like there's a lot of funny faces <laughs> Look at here. Ethan's Look at the face that Ethan's making. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a beaver. Look at him go. Like, we got to munch on them trees. Face looks funny there too. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the very flat <laughs> sort of expression. <laughs> Like is it a is it a coincidence or is XQC reacting to another video that he did this day? Because he's wearing the same shirt, the same Metallica well, shirt. It's a that's a jumper or a jacket. Oh, is it a? Oh, I need to. Uh, oh yeah, it does. How go, is that possible? That's not, po that's know, not possible. Does he have his sleeves time. rolled up it's in the not, bottom it's one? It's not possible that somebody could wear a jacket on two different days. What I'm, yeah, what I'm, I'm I, I literally, I, see, you need to pay attention to my words coming out of my mouth hole okay, because the first right. thing that I said was, is it a coincidence or dot dot dot? He did well, say I that. I have no idea. Okay. okay see, yeah. yeah. No, coincidence right. is the only option. This, because otherwise, it's uh, no, time-wise it's it's impossible. No, it's it's not impossible. That you oh, no, you can wait, 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 wearing wait, wait. a shirt. So, well, I mean, because they're no, watching wait, a video you... that's on his YouTube from days ago, and he's watching live. Well, that today was Rags' now. question. I don't know when this was yeah, uploaded. That's why my fir the first they're thing okay. I said from my little muzzly. <laughs> Nobody right? listened to Rags. This is weird as fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's strange. I have things worth listening to. Damn it! I have value to contribute to this stream. I promise. Yeah, you're a good. Boy. I asked because it is strange if you because I you know I have I have a well I mean I don't I I don't wear clothes but my my person right he right he has an array of things that he wears and he wears them multiple times it's a really cool tip for saving money and you know it's like it it's possible absolutely but you know there's an element of oh it's interesting how in both of the I love videos how he's there's wearing the same two thing. people in Chud's chat calling you petty you literally asked whether or not it's from I'm the just same day. Asking. It's not even criticism. Fucking listen. All he asked yeah, was, was this know. from the same day or not? He doesn't know. I saw the Christ. same shirt. My mind is, is this all something that's being reacted to on the exact same day? Which is odd because we have to be like four layers in. We have to have XQC do the first stream, and then we have to have that be uploaded. Then we have to have the Hassan and the, the, uh, the Ethan guy reacting to that. And then that has to get put out and made, and then Ethan, and then XQC has to react to that, and then put this out or stream it, and so it slayers like a big cake of stupid. Also, someone asked, why am I looking at Chud's chat and not my own? My chat's doing just fine. They're making bold memes. I love them. Go nuts. That's <laughs> my joke about Regs being petty, possibly being a dog joke. I know, Rocky, it was funny. I am a dog. Yeah. Not yeah. possibly. By the way, EFAP viewers, come and look at my chat, Chad Logic, and subscribe <laughs> while you're there, and uh, see all the, the, you know, there's lots of arguments. You'll if you're tired it. of bold memes. Chad Logic. 
Yes, Big Chud Lover 3000 on Twitch. Sign up for his merchandise. Mm. Buy his yeah. Metallica shirts because IP shouldn't exist. We have EFAP shirts on Sitch and Adam if you want to head on over to our channel. Yeah, go to, oh my go to sitchandadamshow.net and buy the EFAP merchandise. All that I'm going to upload goes straight yep. to us. I'm going to upload all of Adam shirts, and Sitch's channel to my channel. $15 anoraks. Buy two, get one normal price. There's so much effort. What the fuck is he even talking about? Who is he talking to? <laughs> is he mad? I'm setting up a nice bro. I could tell uh, you don't really watch Twitch at all. Matches? I but, listen. I'm like, on YouTube is, right now, dude. Yeah, Just this is like giving someone ecstasy and saying, "I can tell you don't take ecstasy ever." Yeah. Well, but understand. he's right though. He said, "I'm on YouTube right now, not on Twitch." Yeah. So. Yeah. It, I'm... Now he's mad and not speaking English properly. Oh. Uh, oh. oh no, okay. Like, okay. Pot meat kettle. You don't really. YouTube live streaming is very different due to the uh, automated I'm DMCA listen, structure. I'm judging you this. would not be able to do this listen, on I'm YouTube. I'm judging this as a YouTube video, which is what it is. It is a YouTube video. Correct. That's. Rude. I understand that. Yeah. I know. Oh, <laughs> back up oh, instantly oh, on every mind. Him. Like, I know you. You. You're feeling that's defensive like, because I, you feel because like I'm YouTube looking at that and I'm like, well, that's, <laughs> if I was if I was watching this on Twitch, <laughs> I would be perfect. <laughs> what broke him anyway? I guess I'm not. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna hate. You, you can say what broke me. I don't. I'm not gonna get mad about it. What broke this person from to be so upset about life? Not life. He just doesn't want you to steal shit. It's really content. straightforward. Don't, he yeah. doesn't want you to steal well, shit. I mean, this is not really like Ethan's rich. I, I don't really see like the point of doing the whole like who's got more money. They're both rich. Absolutely. Um, these are three. These are like three millionaires having yes. three very, very, <laughs> very wealthy people. Very wealthy people. Look, the truth yeah. is, Ethan's just arguably old. one of them deserved it, but like so, so one of three. Ethan is just bold. That's the truth. We're Fucking, watching a bunch of one percenter socialists. Yeah, what broke him? Okay, listen, sorry, someone's given me money to ask a question, so I must do this, okay? Do, do it. it. Fuck it's, it. It's, yeah. it's long. It's long. Money speaks. They mentioned how in XQC's world, he would just go into houses because everyone are okay with it. This is not the case because people build doors to their houses, locked down with a lock to show their intentions of not being intruded upon. So similar to movies, why don't they have a 10 seconds at the start of the video stating that this video is not to be reacted to, to act as doors, stopping from good actors from harming them and making bad actors clear to DMCA? So basically, right, so the us to have like the same copyright like warning that films and television shows have yes okay you, but you don't you don't need to have the warning to be able to enforce your rights for the thing that you've created yeah you don't yeah also i don't need your permission to use your copyrighted content if i transform into my own way regardless exactly. of the warning right and still just door sidestepping the whole ask yeah. forgiveness not permission thing every single time and I mean, you could still put it up there, and then someone could just be like, nah, and then still react to it, which then puts you... Yeah, that's yeah, kind of funny. That anyway, what difference that's... would it fucking make if these people don't respect it, which, typically speaking, they don't care. Well, they don't care just, to find out. Yeah, worked, you're asking... worked with film and television? They have these warnings. Yeah, well I mean, we literally... Them? Like I said earlier, this is asking thieves to police themselves, and they're not going to, especially when their livelihoods are at stake and they've made a living off of thievery. They're not going to do and it. And I just like this and whole, like, please put at the beginning of your videos, do not thieve, if you feel that that is something that you need well, to put on there. I think that the part that they're saying you're missing here is that by doing that, if anyone does breach that, you can feel more justified to DMCA them because they've breached well, that. But that XUC wall. and Hassan have already said they feel that the people would be justified in taking their shit down. Oh, you said that didn't, uh, X so XQC watched The Dark Knight. You know, The Dark Knight would have the same warning at the beginning of the film as yep. well, like on the DVD or the Blu-ray. And, and at the end of the credits as well, because it's usually there in the credits as well. I mean, how effective has that been? And like, regardless of whether you warn somebody, you still own that, and you can still enforce your rights to that. Well, the it thing would, is- It would only, it, it would only probably scare off people who would- use that constant content transformatively because they want to follow the rules because they want to do the right thing because there's a lot of people especially like smaller youtubers or youtubers where this hasn't happened before where they get like a dmca notice or a copyright takedown or whatever and even though they're 100 percent totally in the right and they should fight it they are you know they feel like they they get 
afraid they get scared at that because oh shit like a copyright strike and what does this mean for my channel and does it give me a you know does it put a limitation on my channel and oh my god three strikes and my channel's terminated and so they understandably if they're not used to the system they back down for fear of thinking that you know either of the repercussions or that maybe they think that they're in the wrong when they aren't so i feel like this would that would do more harm to essentially the law abiders than it would the people who would just be thieves they'd steal it anyway they know what they're doing is wrong so Someone in chat says as well about the, the Dark Knight thing is that like you just loop back round to well the reason he's not fucking with Dark Knight is because the movie studio protects the rights to the Dark Knight already. So well, it just no, comes it back. would be the, with it, it's Warner Brothers. It's a big, massive, multinational like yeah. corporation. They'd be more aggressive in pursuing it, and they'd win. Whereas an individual YouTuber, that's like a way easier fight to get into than getting into a fight with Disney. And like we said, XQC concedes and Hassan does, and I think, I'm not sure if Destiny does as well, but just any claims from any of these YouTubers, they just immediately say, yep, take it, because they know which, they know they're not in the right with this. Point being, they already know. Putting that disclaimer at the beginning is only going to change it uh, if they agree to that ahead of time, which I don't even know that they would. But then why again is it on the creators? I don't see why we keep making it their responsibility to do anything instead of just asking people not to steal their videos. Well, just trying to sure. cultivate a landscape where people are not going to be doing this in, in as high uh, numbers. Two videos. Yes, it's that's lost what I'm right? criticizing. It's fair. Yeah. Fair game. He's ugly as fuck, yeah. To answer that question, Good comment. you need to understand One the numbers behind 120. apps. I made a simulation of a dating app with 1,000 dummies to try to understand why men get so few men. Minute 30, no commentary. Dating apps can... Yo, because they got a... Oh, we got a big screen. Here it is. Complete... <laughs> guys, 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 I feel like this is just like... Jack, can you just bring it, bring it down? Just evolutionary, like... This is just like normal, like, like animal space. type shit, dude. <laughs> it's like, you gotta compete, bruh. Can we transcribe that? <laughs> I feel like this is animal shit. He's talking. Right? This is animal shit. I'm trying to talk this about evolutionary shit. psychology. Uh, to continue the, the, the one ones right now, he's, um, he's busy. He's trying to talk about evolutionary psychology. Look! Look! Ugly moron! He's trying to talk about evolutionary psychology. Wait, you what's going compete, on? Bro? What, what is, what's happening? They're memes. Just to try okay. and break it up so you're not falling asleep, okay? Can we transcribe <laughs> that? I feel like this is animal shit. He's talking. So. Yo, can we, can, we, can we transcribe the balding pattern in his head? Maybe there's like some hidden <laughs> messages in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't... Balding. If somebody oh, really didn't even know about this whole like just calling people bald, bald is like a meme. Yeah, the world. it's just a description. It's like saying, "Ha ha, he's he's a he got brown hair." Let's around. see if there's any secret messages in his bald hair. I just like, okay, yeah. Yo, yo, uh, do we have any? Do we have any uh, experts it, in baldness? Have you guys ever seen Talladega Nights? Yes, but not in yeah, ages. I think so, but very long time ago. Their thing is they just say "shake and bake" at uh, ah. Sasha Baron Cohen's character. Hey. He's like, what the hell are you saying? He's like, you know what it means by how it makes you feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I don't really mean that, it. It's just like, yeah. Is that the car racing one with Will Ferrell? Yeah. 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 Ricky right. Bobby. Is any hero glitch in his head right now? Can we check that right now? He's trying to talk about evolutionary psychology <laughs> yeah. and saying that, like, uh, the reason XQC's for this, wheelhouse uh, is evolutionary psychology. For men, uh, you guys, we the experts on the color of hair and the grinness in, uh, um, Growing males, so we can see if there's any um, any maybe rare patterns in there. Anything? What kind of what kind of part we got? Comes from anybody? Uh, You're giving him a lot of alien drops. Gotcha. I mean, I understand, what he's, he's 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 I understand what he's trying to say. That's what he's trying to say. Well, you can do all these tricks and add all these 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 feathers that are all these. See, there's the editing. And we got the bird. We got the Rolex. The, the women. It's just, it's just a, it's just a brown Rolex. bird. Because. The menace of appeal the it was best so nice. This is an edited video. I've just I, well, this, is, no, this, this part's fine, even though I think he sounds like a moron. It's okay. Fine, right? uh, I've just, but it I took will... him two minutes to fucking say a goddamn yeah, single well, word about that, it. Well, first, you got to establish a narrative. Well, what are we watching? You know what I mean? Well, he didn't do that. Well, the, he let the video do it, I think. Well, he oh, that's the problem. He's letting the video <laughs> do the work. Guys, I would be happy about losing it if it was in like a, a whatever neighborhood. But it was in a very, very, very rich neighborhood that I lost it in. So it's like it's not even somebody that that, that, that needs the money that's gonna get it, that's gonna get the lost watch or whatever. It's Interesting. not gonna talk for okay. two minutes. I mean, he's... listen, that's I'm just telling, I'm, I'm just telling it like this is what it is, dude. This is a video. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? 
And even though I think he sounds like a moron, it's okay. Fine, right? uh, I'm just, but it I'm took old. him two minutes to fucking say a goddamn yeah, well, single word about that, it. Well, first you got to establish a narrative. Well, what are we watching? You know what I mean? Well, he didn't do that. Well, the, he let the video do it. I think. The problem. Well, he yeah. needs to do it. I yep. mean, you know. I mean, not you know. Talk for two minutes. I mean, you know. I mean, he's... listen. I'm just telling. Jeez, I'm just that sounds so like, pathetic. Just, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's just like, it's, not, it's okay to say that you think it's wrong, but that also you do it, and that also your your loyalties are divided right now. <laughs> this is what it is, dude. Well, guys, this Baldwin person wants me to, to let the video play out, right? They, they want me to, he wants me to re-explain the whole video's premise, and then react to my own take, uh, or my own understanding of the- He's just saying it's your job to create content, that's all. Hassan it's is not thinking that complex, you know. It's not that complex. His only concern is his own optics. Premise back to back. He, this guy, this guy, he just wants me to make a new video. Yeah, All he wants kind to do of. Is make, he wants pretty to much, video, yeah. Sit down. Yeah, I mean, yours is shit. Make one that's not shit. New video from scratch with no of this. It just say, and just. Can you know, wait? Make a video from scratch. Like make a like content. Create content. I'm confused that's because. Not, you know, like, the video's premise up to this point was, uh, you know, I, I, I want to compare what it's like for men and women to be competing on, like, Tinder websites. So I took uh, a thousand of each, and I did basic profiles. I put um, a picture of going outside, a picture of climbing, a picture with family, and the, the point of these pictures is to blah, blah, blah. He says all that stuff. Whatever comment you have, is it impossible to provide the context within the comment you say for whatever comment you have on whatever part you were talking about? Or do you have to have all of that? Is it actually just not potentially possible? As I Does feel like I'd be able to do it without asking... the two minutes of the video. Well, yeah. Why don't you ask questions about, oh, I wonder where they got all these people from. I wonder what their income brackets are. I wonder if they, you know, got a, got a contestant, not contestants, uh, subjects, I suppose you could say, that are across the strata of, you know, all society, things of that nature. And that adds to, you know, adds to the video to ask these questions and say, I, I think that you'd probably have to do these things to get the most accurate, you know, sort of results. And, you know, let's see if they did that. I think now that you can reasonably create an AI, like AI art e-girl, you could probably actually run that study very well by just ha having specifics of like this type of person in this type of photo in this area and then mix it up so that you'd actually be able to get pretty accurate data, so long as the people believe that they're real people. Well, it has uh, gone to the point now where people are expecting there to be... You, you combine the AI sort of uh, girl art with the VTuber stuff, with reacting to videos like this, and anyone can create a channel that'll be hyper-successful because of that community aspect. Just like, I don't know what the future holds, but we've got a couple of different things that can cross and create okay, something. Okay, here's a question. What you guys are talking about, react this, react that, blah, blah, blah. What is the correct amount of reaction? a terrible impression of us, but go ahead. Okay. What's the correct amount of reaction? What do you think, Chad? Yeah, what do you think we all say? Uh, increase the runtime by, I don't know, 30%, say. Something like that, maybe. <laughs> do you think that's what we'd say? 30% increase in runtime. I think we already well, talked no, about this. Fringy, Fringy has actually given you the answer earlier this stream. Yeah. I wasn't um, listening. Oh. That's all right. Oh, okay. Well, well, so you know, basically, you know, the, the, uh, the point I would make is that there is no like clear line on when you transform something, but just because you can't tell exactly when it's happened, like he's wager. you can't distinguish between... Yeah. Like, yeah, between something that is not sufficient and something that is sufficient. Because you could even have... I think something that was mentioned earlier is that you could... You could take the entirety of the video and just chop it up without any additional commentary on your part of like your voice or anything, and that could be transformative principally because you've you've changed it in a way that makes it quite different from the original creation, even if it's comprised one hundred percent of that original creation. Which is you know like if that's the case, then it's hard to say that there's a total runtime that you would need compared to how long the original video is. I think it's a case of you know it when you a... see it. Yeah, would it kind be best of. to come up with some metrics just to have, you know, some some basic rules? <laughs> oh, <man>. Pra <laughs> pragmatically, wouldn't that be better? I mean, yeah. if you're talking let's come about up with some rules that no one's going to follow. Sounds like a good use of our time. Well, no, I, I'm, <laughs> look, obvious, obviously, we're theorizing about a, a solution to this problem that may work for society, which obviously no one's going to listen to what the fuck we have to say anyway. But I'm just saying, 
would it be better to have some ironclad rule like if I mean, you're gonna watch you've... the whole video 30 percent is you have to hit 30 percent just to avoid this nightmare your version is like a different experience than watching the original that's like a key factor how much you should well, add to it is complicated. Well, so here's the thing. Would you find it acceptable? Like, if we if we tried to do just the hard and fast rule of runtime, would it be fine if that person just paused and then just went... <laughs> like, for about two or three minutes or something, and then they do it ten minutes later and just go... Yeah, probably not. Like, they just keep doing that, and then it's like, <laughs> well, it pads out the runtime. But, like, that's <laughs> that, cool, that, that, Look, that would create a kind of friction that would eliminate this problem because QVC obviously can't Why add. Why do you keep calling it that? What was the right name? <laughs> yeah, PVC, whatever his name is. Like, XYZ. he cannot, he cannot add... Look, if he has One, to two, add three. 30%... Me. <laughs> if he has to add 30% of his own content to this, like, that's just... That's not going to... He can't entertain an audience for 30% added runtime. Literally, he's only watching these videos back to back with no pausing commentary because he's got to stream for 10 hours a day. Well, Just like it's, uh, it's, Chud it's, said. it's kind of the problem in terms of, you know, that blurry line. It's like, you know, when it's not transformative, you know, and you know when it is, but the actual point where it crosses over is really difficult to ascertain. But that, that, like, I'm in a way talking that it about be... just from a pragmatic perspective. I think, that the, I think that a better thing instead of just like a hard and fast. Once you do this, then you're good. It would be more like general guidelines for the way to approach something. Um, like, you know, f like bearing in mind yeah, the goal of creating a newer 30%. experience. <laughs> no, yeah, but like, the again, new I don't... experience thing. So, would you be happy the then again with the 30% if it was just making it is weirds down? A new experience. <laughs> Look, it, it, well, like, if, if, we, if just... we talk about like a substantially new experience, which again, if... I know that that's like not a thing that has like a strict definition. But I'm, I'm not sure what did, the better one would be. If he did strange sounds for an additional 30% and an audience was willing to suffer through that, oh. I say let <laughs> it go. I say, I say he's done his duty. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I, I mean, it, would, I it would add world, more material. Look, I, that's true. Yes, but. I believe in a world where that is not a possibility. And maybe I'm wrong. It's but not a possibility I, I think, to do the sounds and then no, that no, makes no, you no, fine. no, no. It's not a possibility to do those sounds and build a, an audience that is going to. Oh yeah, but that. I mean, we live in a world where that might be the case. If it is, we will we will we will re adjudicate sounds. this yeah, situation. See streams. Okay? I mean, come on. Look, if it if that's the case, then I think you got to you got to accept reality, Adam. You got to you got to be a realist. Mm -hmm. Nothing beats well, the think... just transform it, and in this case, transforming means going well beyond fucking saying one comment per five minutes. But would 30%, okay, let's just accept your premise hypothetically, Fringy. If he did that and added 30% more to the runtime, would you accept that as a transformative piece of content? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I would have I would. to. Look, it's become like a performance art. Like. Well, I, that's my thinking as well of the idea of performance so, okay. art, but so again, well, what is the, like what is I said, the disagreement I'm not sure. here? Well, well, I mean, is it performance art when for one minute he makes an observation? Like, is that sufficient? If he adds one minute and that one minute was just like some loose, like, thoughts? I mean, it's a performance, right, to some extent, if, because he's like, broadcasting he... live to an audience. I, I... You know what I mean? No, Would that I... be enough for you? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go there. Well, it's, it, again, it's kind of expanding out. Like, I don't know what the line is. I don't. I don't know how long it would need to be before it counts as being transformed into something else. Well, that's why I'm. That's why I'm saying this. Obviously, I don't look. I, I don't think this matches. The, I don't. I don't think, think I'm in a position to determine where the line is. Like, I. I don't know if I can. I could say that there is one and it's blurry, but like, I don't know if I can like we, basically we, say this is the line all the time. You have to, I mean, we have to put a line on it, obviously. We all agree that there's transformative content and there's content that is not transformative. Yeah, but we also so can see this content that we would struggle to decide if it is or not. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think that's it's... unacceptable. I don't think it's unacceptable that you could be in a case where it's hard to tell and then you basically make your case and the other person makes their case. 
Like, there's plenty of that, right? If you want to go from a legal aspect of interpretation this, of the law, this is the problem. Information the law. per case. I would be way happier if we were law, trying to figure out. Has to be explicit. If we were trying to figure out if XQC had transformed it or not, if we were actually at that point, we're like, oh, maybe, eh, kind of, yeah, that would be way better. We're not in well, that that's position. that's why I asked. I'm if, sorry, if, Adam, if Adam, Adam I've got something really important to say to you. This from a super chat. It says, <laughs> Adam, please, from everyone watching, stop talking for five minutes. Oh my God. Adam. Oh, all right, I'm, I'm going to take off. Thanks, guys. No, wait, wait. no, no. What you did, them. Chud. Stuck. No, big I've, mean I've bully. I was, enough, just, I, was, I was just reading uh, the super it's, chat. It's cool. It's cool, guys. Thanks for having me on. It's not a big deal. Aww. I'm tired anyway, so. And I, now Chud has to live with the guilt and I, shame. I was going to say, wow. I wanted you Having here, numbers. Adam. Well, I, wanted I want to you to stay, Adam. We invited yeah. you, not yep. accidentally. Well, I, I mean, I'm just trying to make a point here. I mean, if it's if it's too uh, if it's if it's too um, I would tell you to stop talking there, to everyone. That was one random I person. I think it's fair to raise the point. I just the fucking pussy and say a piece. I think I think it's fair to raise the point. I just I couldn't I couldn't give you an answer as to where exactly the line would be. That's that's all I'm saying. All right, cool. It's Wait, so are you saying? <laughs> you gonna... No, I, actually, I think I'm going to take off. Oh, Thanks for having me on, guys. Uh, Love yeah, you, Adam. You we'll sure. catch you around. Resume. No, 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 no hard feelings. One. I don't Look, I don't want you to think <laughs> there's any hard feelings here, but I'm tired. Okay, like listen, you know, anyway. it genuinely isn't because of the Super Chat, is it? I was fucking around, okay? <laughs> well, I mean, it is a little bit because of the Super Chat. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. God, no, you can't listen to... You run a comedy show of your own. You can't listen to yeah, random look, Super Chatters. Look, we have our Super Chatters too, but it's just... They're just know, not whatever. as rude, what huh? Yeah, but Chuds are dumb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ours are big, smart. Okay. Many brain, much neuron. Zap, wow. Oh, oh no. I, I see it. Oh, <laughs> I Adam. You happy with yourself, Chud? Yeah. <laughs> you like you like a big man? <laughs> Leave, did I? Like a big man. I thought it was just banter. I thought it was banter. Oh You're mean God. to Adam. If Sitch was here, you know what, Chud? Sometimes actions have consequences. <laughs> yeah. Real nice, Chud. I I quite yeah. liked Adam's points. Like he made one about um, the sheer amount of time these streamers have to fill to fulfill their um their contractual obligations which is a like motive to day. to swallow up the videos yeah yeah and that sort of that perpetuates the culture of like well i want to fill this time up with videos i don't want to just play games for 10 hours or i don't want to just talk for 10 hours cuz i don't know what to talk about for that length of time so let's just watch videos oh um God. and I, I i could also see on his other point about like um like if if you were to make a video where the commentary is just like going like I could see myself actually making a, a video like that as a satire on like uh from you know yeah like is that parody commentary you know, that is, is that that's another whole thing as well yeah I mean, yeah right yeah I mean that okay. sort of be, be like a one time one and done thing because the joke's done after that but. You know. There's another super chat, but please no one leave if I say this. It is a question, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, all right. I promise. Give me your back. I won't leave. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just, can you ballpark it, please? The bar for transformative enough, I mean. Uh, By the way, content it's... creators have any yes or no for the vid is based. Sorry, go on. Like, um, uh, like... <laughs> if we consider that doubling the length of the original is, of course, for every second of the original, you are adding a second yourself. That's not unsubstantial, yeah, but um, I think it depends on how that's sort of spaced out and how, you know, in, in how substantive it is, because I would probably say that the less time's worth that you're adding to it, the more oomph it needs to, it needs to have, right? And it can't, it, it's got to be more than just, oh, ooh, wow, really? Oh my god, I can't believe it, or just restating something that the video said. You know, it needs to be, like, you providing something not just you echoing what we're already watching. Yeah, yeah, I think my standard would probably be if it can reasonably be argued as transformative, which I think, that, I mean, that sounds really reductive, but I think it, it, you can probably make the case for any, com, any content which actually is. You know, where you can say, hey, no, no, the, there's clear analysis here. The person who watched this was thinking about it. They They offered opinions that 
it clearly shows they were paying attention and that they have some insight into what they saw or that it confused them and they they don't really know what to make of it and they're sorry they can't offer any other commentary but i think that if you, if you just kind of say yeah well i watched it and me being there is enough of a contribution i think i think that one makes the puppies angry i'm more concerned with what the added content actually is and what it does to the video overall as a almost like a genre like so my addition to it and what i cut away turns it into me reviewing it or being critical of it or remixing it or par uh, parodying it or something instead of it just is what it is and i go huh or whoo or even like i don't know if it would count if I, I just we have the events play out and then i spend a minute saying what those events were i just repeat all of it and then we play another minute, and then I do that, and then another minute. Like, I'm more concerned that the type of video is now evolved from what it used to be. And, you know, with, yeah. the, you know, with the metrics, like, we've been talking about them, adding more stuff, talking about particular things, blah, blah, blah. Like, eventually those will convert it into something else. That's why people probably want these more specific items. But uh, I think someone said it in chat. It's really not quantitative. It's more qualitative. How, how it, what does it turn into? What is it considered once you're done with it? I mean, it was uh, it was brought up earlier the Sargon Akila obviously thing. Yeah. He didn't add any original material apart from the title, um, and everything else was just edited after that. So you know, it's you know even you know even that has the quality of completely changing the meaning and the context of everything that was made. And he didn't make anything new in terms of material. It was arrangement that was used to make a point. Oh my goodness, what's the this? in original. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. Uh, we even read the even chat. All of chat? Because I don't. Yumbos, cheeky grumbos. Noids Yum. of the log. Noids. <laughs> Angry cheddar, rhino's worth of milk. Fringy's goo, metal's tears. Ooh, Beach. I wonder what... Speed. So... I think... Speed or speech? Speed, I think. Could be, yeah, it typing? could be. It looks like my. Yeah, it could be speed. Um, it looks like a typewriter. Speed running or speed. Fluffy like meme a, dragon. Oh, this that's guy's supposed the, to be Alfred. Yeah. Abby Smash. S class A team and Nuggy Kang. Oops. Nuggy Kang. Yoda bottom. Don't worry, chat. We read you. Bottom. I like this. Yoda. Uh, I was top gonna mention bottom. that one of the things that I, I often tell people that are, are looking to learn how to edit is one of the best things that you can do is take a show that you like or a movie that you like or something and then a song that you like and try to just cut a music video using that footage to the song you know, you're just making it for yourself because it's it's an editing exercise but it helps people not only work on their timing and pacing because music is really good for doing that but then they can kind of be thinking huh how can i tell a story with this footage and this music so uh, i i think that that's Kind the of emphasis a... is on creation, right? Like the emphasis is ultimately on creation. Are you creating something, mm. or, or are you are stealing you just it, extracting <laughs> all of the value of the existing work? A distorted I'm not what the real dating world is like. This Whatever. is this better. But yeah, more XUC is a moron. <laughs> True. I I really dislike him. I don't okay. get the hype. Um, did we did we make any uh? Mm -hmm. Do we do we touch any new ground on uh, the the ethics of live streaming? I feel He's like right. we, we need Wait. to summarize it. Like okay, a DLD. Sure. If I say the facts, if I say all the facts, okay, people are gonna get mad at me and people are trying to cancel me. So I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna state any actual facts of this guy's life. Oh, we know you won't. Me, I'll let him have it, dude. I'm not gonna reply to it. I'm Star of it. Here's what I think. I don't think what you're doing makes you a bad person or wrong or something that you should feel guilty or even get dogpiled. I, do. I don't. I don't even feel guilty about what I'm Some doing. Some of those things are <laughs> too. Yeah. Of course, it's not true. You should feel honest. guilty. Oh, I don't understand. He just conceded he's done it and he thinks it's wrong. It shouldn't happen, and they could sue him for it. And now he's saying like, I don't feel guilty. Like, okay. This is the problem. This is why you're a bad person. How do you do all those things and then not feel guilty? Okay. Same. But Ethan what seems I disappointed about that. Is that it's good for people streamers to start acknowledging the bound there are boundaries and there are certain things you can and cannot do right or there are things that that make it better and there are things that make it worse and right. i think it's good for react streamers to start acknowledging those things and trying to work to make it better yeah okay. yeah i mean i i don't want to make it better
<laughs> I don't work to make it better. There you like, go. Okay. Yep. There you go. I do not work ever. Let me get a video better. I watch a video because I want to watch it, right? And okay. uh, if I'm excited about this one topic, I can talk about it with chat. It's literally made for that the the actual broadcast that we're trying to having is better for the chat to have, to have a better product. I don't give a fuck if it makes the whole thing better. That's not the as point. one example. I not have, walking away well. I have yeah. I've gotten criticized. I've gotten criticized a lot for this for many many years. And uh, regardless of the personal vendetta or the genuine interest that like uh, my interlocutors in those situations had about like they aren't whether, interlocutors. Whether be That's not what that word means. Well, you didn't get to they didn't get to interlock. You ignored all of them. Well, tried yeah. to reading cloud for themselves or whatever. Um, uh, even though didn't I get very swiftly walls. apologized for it and and tried to make amends for it. Uh, and they just refuse to recognize that. That's not what happened. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. We saw what happened. You that wasn't Weasley what happened. You little liar. He's lying. And just he was more stubborn than anyone. Yep. It's about how big of a piece of shit I am. True. Uh, what was that, which what made me <laughs> drop uh, any <laughs> pretense of trying to respond to these people oh, altogether. Come on. There are, there are truthful I'm watching, yeah, aspects watching. to their criticism, which I've taken to heart. What does it keep looking at over there? What the fuck is it over there that it keeps going back to stare at? I guess it's a big Chat? studio, so something's over there that's interesting. There must be something shiny. And is has, or... It's reflected in his glasses, a bunch of screens, I don't know. You're talking about Hassan, right? Or... Yeah, Hassan, yeah, Hassan's yeah. looking to the right from his perspective, not not what he's even... <laughs> Someone said he's looking at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I would Changed, be if I was uh, in. The I'm way like, that I live stream even on top of that. Good. I disagree. Um, you know. the, I guess like the other... The main criticism are big blocks, right? What what he's changed or what I changed, what people change are the small things around the blocks. But the main blocks of their the upset blocks. and their criticism have never been changed Pieces. and will never change. That, that, that is the actual take. No, so, he's actual... Hassan, so is he saying Hassan... So is he saying Hassan hasn't done anything meaningfully different? I think he's saying just that the criticism has always been the major blocks have been the same major... major of the argument. I'm not actually 100% sure. ...problems that people bring up, the algorithm, they, they, have, they have not changed that. It's a small little, little, little well, I, I paused when I went to the bathroom. Well, these are things that nobody gives a fuck about, let's be honest. ...side of this is that if and pressure here keeps we are. mounting in yeah. this regard towards uh, uh, live streaming and like uh, live streaming uploads onto YouTube, I'm going to have to start cracking the DMCA whip on my own uh, Hassan Abbey Clips Industrial Complex, like fan channels. Right. Guys, guys, you know what I'm saying? Guys, uh, I think, I think Eden's creative vision is, 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 he's a genius. In the middle of Hassan's talking, we just heard some pipes drop in the back. That is a true epitome of transformative content and visionary style creative mindset. There, he just dropped some pipes. Let's hear it again. Let's do it again. On my own uh, Hassan Abbey Clips Industrial Complex, like fan channels. Right. Because... Fuck it. Wanna, you, you wanna drop some pipes? Is, I, I got anyone. I, I, I don't really have much. It this is a this is a serial content thief who steals other people's videos uh, and does everything he can to do to justify his laziness and destruction of the sort of cultural mindset of this entire, I guess, uh, form of entertainment. And he's going on about the pipes. Yeah. I don't. I I guess someone, someone dropping some pipes. Background. It sounds I, I, like it was an accident. It wasn't a creative choice, but <laughs> uh, so it's transformative. I think he meant how quickly he plugged his own stuff. He's like, like people will sometimes come to Hasanabi's, and they, he basically said like a URL, but super fast. What? So I think you, yeah, I appreciate the hustle there. I believe. No, there was <laughs> something drops in the background. It makes a sound. Something fell on the floor. Oh, okay. And he's suggesting that it's a bunch of pipes, uh, but I don't. I don't fucking know what's going on. Uh, one, it's not it's good content in general if you're just like leaving that dead air, and if you're not editing it so to in order to make it. Oh, someone says it's a whip sound bite because he said he's gonna have to crack the whip. There you no, go. But, but XCC said those were pipes. Well, but <laughs> I, I think... the whip crack makes more sense to me <laughs> than pipes. Get I want to crack the whip. Just to be now. clear, I... you're talking about. Not, and channels that upload wood. your clip yeah. wholesale. Yeah. Not you. Yeah, VOD rips. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just not me. Because you will not find, I don't think, I don't think you'll find a video uh, from my own personal channel where, like, say, 
I'm not. In you good, won't. I in, and in I can vouch faith, for that. Like uh, no. watching a video with the. I will say because we could probably stop here now because the only thing that happens now is SQC points out that Hassan has essentially the same thing on his channel where he curated sort of edited and finalized videos from his streams end up getting put on YouTube and they are still, you know, it, 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 they're bordering on, on whether or not they're even transformative. There's not that much of a difference between what he does and what XQC does. Yeah, right? and I like, feel like XQC has a point to point out. It's like, why the fuck are you being all like, oh, I'm the good one when like you basically do uh, what I do? Yeah, I'd say like... <laughs> I don't know, um, it's, it's kind of it's interesting, isn't it? Hassan's being a lot more, uh, weaselly on this one, whereas yeah. I feel like XQC's being a bit more blunt and, uh... Oh, it's way easier well, to respect XQC on this sorry. topic compared to Hassan, for sure. But, okay. Well, especially if he actually... Oh, sorry, go for it. I was gonna say, I've not watched Hassan's videos, are you certain on that? Are you certain it's still No, I've seen problem? this, this part is all in here. Uh, XQC goes and finds it himself, and that's why I'm summarizing it now instead of going through it all. It's the... <laughs> because what, one thing to bear in mind is, like, Hassan does this thing where he says, oh, well, the fan channels do it, and I've got no control over that, but, like, that obviously is um, XQC goes to his channel, and to be fair, they're more edited. Every time Hassan speaks, the camera zooms into him, and I think there's a bit of cutting out of, like more dead air but the thing is xqc counts him in and he's like that was a whole minute well, of you not and... talking and he's eating on some of them so xqc is like how is this different from me and to be fair i've not got a great argument for why it isn't similar okay. it is quite similar and okay. then the, the another question as well is what about the stuff that doesn't get uploaded to youtube in terms of reaction does he still do the thing of getting up absolutely not uh, well, pausing? Uh, was he it, still does that was it dev that said that even as recently as like a day ago hassan Yesterday. got up yeah, yeah. yeah. You mentioned yesterday on something. So oh, there you go. Uh, I forget what he was uh, Well, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Which the other? Go ahead. I was going to say the other thing that he does as well is he hides behind these fan channels that he's got. And uh, someone in chat pointed out earlier it was a good point, but it's like you know he kind of does this thing where it's like he gets the benefit from that in some fashion because normally it will bring attention to him or his name is in the algorithm and people yeah. are seeing him, right? And it'll just be like that's nothing to do with me. But he could stop it if he but wanted. Still, of he course can, he yeah, could. He can. Yeah, that's right. And it probably wouldn't even be that hard to. He could probably just ask people to stop, and they, that might be enough to make him stop. At least some of them, anyway. And yeah, but you're saying... right. There's still a utility gained from those fan channels existing and uploading them because they still bring attention to him as yeah. a, as an entity in terms of funneling into streams. But he's saying that he yeah. would have to, if he agrees with everything that's been said today, he'd have to start stopping them from doing that because they're uploading the things that he's doing without, you know, sufficiently transforming them or whatever. But of course, XQC is trying to point out you already pretty much upload that to your own channel anyway. You haven't edited them enough, you know? So it's like a big old mess of points that are happening all at once. It's really a fascinating social dynamic, isn't it? Yeah. Like Hassan, like caught between. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Between it's causing so much stuff. fucking tension because he's trying to wear him out. He just wants to get out. You know, he wants to get he out wants, of this. Yeah, out that door. And I, uh, you know, uh, for us, it's like the people we've covered in the past. They've been a lot more um, honest in a negative way. Like, remember, I think it was our relevant who said, "You're what I rely on when I'm out of content for the day," meaning YouTubers. And then Denim's. She didn't give a single fuck. She would, she would play a whole stream on other people's content if she could, without even being there. And then Hassan was probably the worst in terms of he was just going nuts, trying to recharacterize everyone's arguments well, into crazy ones, banning everybody. Mad. Yeah, and he called. He said Jay was a part Molding. of a Nazi kill stream. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're the kill stream. That's well, because I think I think the first thing he said was like, I think I think what happened was that somebody said. Oh fuck! Was it as simple as like EFAP is like Nazi kill they stream. disagree or no 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 something that someone said in chat and then he said fuck EFAP I don't watch their dog shit content yeah like, the second he found out we just you <laughs> yeah. just heard you just heard of it you don't know anything about it yeah so uh, you know what what have we learned it's like well they're all interest it's all this very self interested industry yeah um and so they they'll be like well you know. If somebody says, like, fuck it, I don't want you doing it to my stuff, then fine, I'll stop. Just because I don't want the hassle of actually getting into a legal fight, potentially. Or uh, because I don't believe I've transformed it, I'm just using it. That's the truth, and, it, it, you know, all that needs to be done to fix everything. And I'm talking about even, like, Mutahar and everyone else who's complaining about it. Just transform it. Everybody would be totally fine with it. And you have the cap you have the capability to do it. I believe in you. We have you the it. technology. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
And whether or not chat, so, chat has told us in the past, we've managed to beat it out of them over time to not pause. And we're like, you know what? Enough yeah. of that. Too bad. Because, I mean, yeah, part of, part of this is on the viewers, right? Like, all of the people in XQC's chat saying stop yeah. pausing. If, that, if, if in larger number they were saying pause and say something, that would slowly but surely change the approach that's taken to it. Because it seems like, in uh, some sense, it's driven by essentially community feedback for him. Like, it comes from the viewership and the expectation that you can go to some guy's stream, essentially have them curate all of the relevant, you know, videos mm -hmm. that everybody's talking about right now, and you're doing that instead of funneling your viewership and, you know, ad revenue or supporting on Patreon, the original creations that you are getting a substantial amount of that value from. It's a uh, cultural shift is kind of uh, necessary, I would say. But and, as for... Uh... Happen. As a closing of the next chapter, since this isn't gonna fucking end, it's like, what do you think's gonna happen next? Like, it's probably gonna get worse. That's probably gonna get worse. Yeah. Especially with the onset of everything to do with AI, I feel like that's only gonna accelerate things further. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like this, it, it's worse than with Jinx. It's worse now. Agreed. Maybe Jinx will return. <laughs> <laughs> The hero of the world, the world needs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anything closing on that subject, everybody? Um, hmm. I I don't, I... but I think I need to I need to go as well. If uh, you're moving on to something else, no, we're gonna we're gonna end here. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> May as well stay for letting people know where to find you. And all yeah, that yeah, stuff. sure. I'll, I'll stay to the ends completely then. That's fine. Well, as far as I know, we just hit it. So, Chud, why don't you tell people where you're at and where to find you? Uh, you did an excellent job defending XQC today. I think it was brilliant. Thank you. Appreciate that. No um, I am Chud Logic. I'm a commentary drama guy, primarily. Sometimes talk about politics in a very based way. I'm racist, misogynistic, transphobic. Come and check me out. Chud Logic <laughs> on YouTube is the best place for all of you to find me. What have you done recently? What have you covered? I video. covered the super mega drama in oh, yeah. which a woman tried to falsely accuse a man of sexual assault to try and bring down a, a YouTube channel. And I staunchly defended the YouTube channel and the guy getting falsely accused. Wow. Oh, well. Wow. Sounds dramatic. Okay. Very dramatic, yeah. Hmm. Um, well, of course, thank you for joining us, especially for as long as you did, good sir. Mm -hmm. uh, pleasure. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Yeah, good work. John! Okay, right. Oh, wait, you can get... Yeah, you can leave if you don't want. <laughs> if you want to leave. Okay, no, no, I'll stay. No, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm being rude. I'll stay. I'll it's just, all good. It's go, all right. Go, um, go. Um, I'm waiting. Go. John, CJG, what are you up to? Where people find you? What's, what's going on? Uh, John Graham on YouTube. I do a show called R Being the Chief. I did Master Chief Sucks at Halo. That was my first thing. So I like to write stories and uh, shoot them like movies and upload that. And I'm doing a satirical review show now called Professional Reviews. I just did Zelda and Oppenheimer, and they're just total bullshit. I mean, but I have a lot of fun writing them. They're just meant to be funny. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. I'm sorry to interrupt. You did Arby and the Chief. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, no you did. fucking way. I used to watch that show. I, no way. That's crazy. I've been sat in this corner so time. I got no fucking idea. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm starstruck now. Jesus. Greetings. Oh, thanks, man. Wow. Yeah, I love that show. Congratulations on. Uh, well, I don't know what to say. Wow, I feel a bit cringe now. Uh, don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Uh, it's very nice of you. Genuine expressions of emotion is cringe, as we all know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was really nice to hear from you today. Thank you. It's too. not very red pill of you. <laughs> uh, Mark the Cyborg, what have you been up to? Where can people find you? Uh, well, if you want to see me playing video games, I've mostly been making my way through Baldur's Gate 3 and Final Fantasy 14 on my Mark the Cyborg channel. I also have a channel I run with my wife called Human Cyborg Relations, where um, we talk about relationship stuff mostly, and we do normally have a show on Saturdays, but um, EFAP always takes priority. Bro, oh. Bro's you know the deal but uh yeah and actually on monday i have um the authentic observer galatea coming on to to talk about some stuff on my interview show on that channel um i, I guess i could share the link if you want to share it or uh, sure uh, there you go and this is a show where you what did you say you were discussing sorry 
I do. Uh, we mostly talk about relationships, dating, communication, social skills, things like that. Um, mo mostly things that part part of why I've likely spent more time thinking about the idea of social isolation and how that affects people's ability to communicate. I kind of started a channel where I, I'd maybe maybe help people work their way through it because I guess if you haven't been able to tell my my communication is not 100 percent awesome all the time and um it, it used to be far worse so i think there are some people who are for further behind on that road who i could help but yeah all right it. um rags fringy what do you guys want to mention if anything oh gosh i guess nothing really to report work carries on i'm making pretty good progress on things but i'm not certain when the um I'm not certain when the final product will be finished. So, um, yeah, that's uh, all I can really say at the moment. Uh, I guess my update is related to your update because it's on the Ant-Man video. I'm very, 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 very close to finishing up everything that I need to finish for the, uh, for the visuals. And so, yeah, yeah so it's, getting, be... it's getting real. It's very close to the end. Like, I, yeah, I'll, I'll be done with all of my stuff in like a day or two, which uh, just means, yeah, hopefully we're making good time in terms of keeping to our the expected our release. Plan. Yeah, and always, it, yeah. For my end it would just be the yeah, got heavily interrupted with a bunch of the React stuff and the the Descent Evap movies, which if anyone doesn't know, that is out on Moolah. Go check it out. We talk with Neil Marshall, the director, about the movie. It's awesome and <gasps> fun and great and you should yes. probably it's check it out. It's informative, magical. Mm-hmm. That but, was uh, so cool that you had him on. I was Man, yeah, he's a legend. Love, love his movies. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, Mad Max type movie called Doomsday. He did. It was like, Mad yes, Mad. he did. Really, certainly, he did. Um, what else was I going to say? Something. Well, in any case, yeah, we got next week. <laughs> we've got two EFAPs that are already planned, so that'll be it then before the anniversary. So we'll see you for those. That could be Friday and Saturday. We've organized wow. some other stuff. Uh, what else would there be? Yeah, I mean, I'm basically just going to be getting back on with, with, with Ant-Man fully until I reach the deadline, and hopefully it comes out exactly on time. As I mentioned before, there's one thing that I need to get in place that's beyond my control, so if it isn't in place in time, it may be delayed, unfortunately. But the video itself is very, very close to completion. Yes. We're looking and forward to you guys one. to see it. Yeah, it's a big it's, boy. It's Chungus. big. And, uh... I'd be curious to see if somebody can uh, count that, uh, like how many Simpsons references there are. <laughs> there are, <laughs> there are a few, yeah. There are, there are, yeah, there are a few, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that's it for, like I said, the next chapter of the React saga. I'm sure it'll come up again in a year's time when someone steals something else and everyone will go nuts and we'll rehash everything. Um, though, we do intend to have a chat with little dark viper at some point to go over the finer details about impressions and stuff that'll be next week um and yeah i mean we'll see you there for that and the other efab that may be happening as well not a hundred percent certain but um with that thank you so much for keeping us company and for hanging out with us so long we will uh, the, the donations will be read in a separate video we'll, we'll try and get them out on wednesdays Obviously, we've just been the schedule's been filled up as of recently with all kinds of bonus shit. If you don't know, there are two debate videos that have come out in the form of EFAP minis on uh, Moolah as well. A lot of stuff. Just check them out if you want to find some more things to listen to, if you want. But for now, we shall say good night. Thank you all. Yeah, see everybody. Okay. Thanks everybody. Bye bye. Good night everyone. Bye bye. Say something, puppy.